Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 1051 to Chapter 1100 Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys! Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 1051, Fire Bodhisattva Pill Lush greenery covered the enormous valley. Occasionally, a fire-red maple tree could be found mixed in, making it extremely soothing to the eye. There was a spacious square that was built from crimson-colored mountain rocks in the middle of the valley. The middle of the square had a stone stage that was over a hundred feet tall. There were quite a number of human figures currently around this square. Most of the people were wearing red clothes. Clearly, they were the disciples of the Burning Flame Valley. There was a somewhat tall platform located on the other side of the square. Its height might not be comparable to the towering stage in the square, but it was coincidentally able to overlook the entire place. The view from that spot was extremely good. At this moment, quite a number of people were standing on this platform with their hands behind their backs. If one were to carefully examine them, they would see that they were those so-called alchemist grandmasters from the large hall earlier. The rushing sound of wind materialized amid the private conversations that were going on in the square. Immediately, four figures rushed over from the distance and gently landed on the stone stage. Their figures were revealed to be the valley chief of the Burning Flame Valley, Tang Zhen, the red-clothed lady called Hua Er, Xiao Yan, and the external elder of the Pill Tower, Grandmaster Huan. The appearance of Tang Zhen caused the private conversations around the square to weaken. All the disciples of the Burning Flame Valley present knew that Tang Zhen was going to join hands with two alchemist grandmaster to refine a medicinal pill. Naturally, they did not dare to randomly make any noise, fearing that they would interrupt the refinement of the medicinal pill. Tang Zhen landed. His gaze slowly swept around him. After which, he turned his head and looked to Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan. He smiled as he asked, Are the both of you prepared? Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan nodded when they heard his question. The medicinal pill that the old me wishes to refine this time around is called the Fire Bodhisattva Pill. It is a tier 7 high grade medicinal pill. This is a portion of the medicinal formula. The two of you will get one each. All you need to do is follow the instructions on the medicinal formula during the refinement and perform your allocated task. Tang Jin waved his hands and two scrolls flew to Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan respectively. The two of them hurriedly received the scroll. After which, they immediately inserted their spiritual strength into them, swiftly remembering the medicinal formula in their minds. After around 10 minutes or so, Xiao Yan finally opened his closed eyes in a slow manner. The medicinal formula recorded in the scroll was incomplete. There was only a portion of it. It was likely that Tang Jin did not wish to allow the two of them to learn the complete medicinal formula. However, Xiao Yan had no objections. A tier 7 medicinal pill formula was extremely rare. How was it possible to randomly give it to another person? However, just a portion of the medicinal pill is already so complicated. I wonder just how complicated the full formula is. It is indeed worthy of being at the tier 7 high grade. Although Xiao Yan had only seen a portion of the medicinal formula, he was able to vaguely tell the difficulty of refining this medicinal pill. Have the both of you finished reading? Tang Jin smiled and inquired after seeing Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan open their eyes. The both of them nodded. It is likely that refining this medicinal pill will require a long time. Therefore, both of you should be mentally prepared. Do not allow any accidents to occur midway through. Tang Jin's expression was a little solemn when he spoke. He greatly valued this pill refinement. If it were to fail, it would result in quite a big blow to him. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan were both experienced people. They were clearly aware of this point and did not make any objections. The old me is not an alchemist and does not have as precise a control over my spiritual strength as the both of you. Hence, I will perform the refinement of the medicinal ingredients. However, the merger of the medicinal ingredients will depend on the both of you. Tang Jin pointed to two sides after speaking. There were two stone seats there. If there is no problem, please take a seat. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan exchanged glances. They smiled and nodded to each other. After which, their bodies moved and they appeared on the stone seats. After which, the both of them sat down. Tang Jin's feet pressed on the ground after seeing that the two of them had taken their seats. His body appeared on a rock chair on another side. With a glance at the red-clothed lady beside him, he commanded in a deep voice, Hu Er, do not allow anyone to interrupt us during this pill refinement period. Yes, father. The red-clothed lady called Hu Er lowered her chin slightly. Her pretty eyes swept around and stole a glance at Xiao Yan. After which, she leaped down from the stone stage and began to organize the disciples of the Burning Flame sect, tightening the defenses of this area. 
After arranging everything appropriately, Tang Jin's expression gradually turned solemn. He waved his sleeve and one could see an enormous item flying out of his storage ring. After which, it landed heavily in the middle of the stone stage. Its heavy weight caused the stone stage to tremble a little. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan looked at this ten-foot-large medicinal cauldron. The medicinal cauldron was fiery red in color. There were numerous drawings of volcanoes erupting on the walls of the medicinal cauldron. A wave of violent aura would pounce on one when one glanced at it. Xiao Yan had just taken a look at this fiery red medicinal cauldron when he became aware that the quality of this medicinal cauldron was likely not poorer than his 10,000 beast cauldron. Mountain Melting Cauldron This is something on the Heavenly Cauldron Ranking. It is unexpectedly held in Valley Chief Tang's hands. How it leads one to feel envious. Grandmaster Huan looked at this fiery red cauldron. The envious look in his eyes was extremely dense. I only found it through good luck back then. Tang Jin smiled. After which, he waved his sleeves once again. One could immediately see densely packed medicinal ingredients continuously flying out of his storage ring. After which, they lingered in the air above this stone stage. From the looks of it, there were at least a hundred of them. A dense medicinal fragrance spread the moment these medicinal ingredients appeared. Clearly, they were not ordinary items. The requirement many medicinal ingredients in order to refine this fire bodhisattva pill did indeed live up to its reputation of being a tier 7 high grade medicinal pill. Tang Jin's expression became more and more solemn after these medicinal ingredients were summoned. He clenched his hand and a silver colored flame surged. Nine fire dragons swam around within it, emitting a shocking dragon might. Grandmaster Huang, consume this medicinal pill. It will allow the nine dragon lightning flame to feel a little more affinity with you. Thus, you will be able to endure for a longer time. Tang Jin tossed a silver colored pill to Grandmaster Huang. He immediately glanced at Xiao Yan and smiled as he asked, Young friend Yan Xiao, you don't need this thing, do you? Xiao Yan nodded. His soul was protected by the glazed lotus heart flame. This nine dragon lightning flame might also be a heavenly flame, but it was unable to do anything to him. Tang Jin smiled when he saw Xiao Yan's response. He flicked his finger and the silver colored flame rushed out. It immediately entered the mountain melting cauldron. With a chi sound, it transformed into a fierce flame. The nine small fire dragons within it swiftly expanded. After which, the dragons opened and closed its mouth as they swam within the medicinal cauldron, spitting out numerous silver-colored flames. Since everyone is ready, let's begin. The smile on Tang Jin's face was withdrawn as he solemnly spoke while looking at the silver flames rising within the medicinal cauldron. A glaring glint shot out of both of Tang Jin's eyes the moment his voice sounded. Both of his hands grabbed at the empty space. The medicinal ingredients floating in the air immediately rushed down. After which, they were continuously thrown into the medicinal cauldron. These medicinal ingredients had just entered the medicinal cauldron when the nine fire dragons let out deep dragon roars and pounced over. Immediately, they swallowed them in one go. The fire glow on their bodies suddenly became dense. While Tang Jin began to refine medicinal ingredients, Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan hurriedly focused their minds. Their spiritual strength surged from between their brows and swiftly entered the medicinal cauldron under the protection of their own flames. The two of them sensed the frightening temperature within the cauldron the moment their spiritual strength entered it. It was still alright for Xiao Yan, but the expression of Grandmaster Huan changed a little. The nine dragon lightning flame inside was even stronger than during the test. However, it was fortunate that Tang Jin had given him a medicinal pill earlier. Otherwise, it was likely that he would have difficulty enduring for a long time. You too, the first batch of medicinal ingredients is about to complete their refinements. I will leave the matter of merging them to the both of you. Tang Jin's voice suddenly sounded beside their ears a short while after their spiritual strengths entered the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan felt their heart tense the moment they heard his voice. Their minds flipped through the first part of the medicinal formula as they prepared to act. Around 20 minutes or so later, the nine fire dragons in the medicinal cauldron suddenly shook. Their enormous mouths were opened as cluster after cluster of substances that contained extremely dense medicinal fragrances spat out of their mouths. These substances were the essence medicinal strength that were left behind by those medicinal ingredients. Some were in starch form while others were in liquid or solid forms. At this moment, they were all suspended within the medicinal cauldron. Do it. These pure medicinal strengths, that had just had their impurities removed, had just appeared when Tang Jin's solemn voice quickly followed. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan inhaled a deep breath of air when they heard Tang Jin's words. After which, their spiritual strength swept out. With their respective knowledge of the medicinal ingredients, they began to separate some of the medicinal liquids that belonged to the medicinal formula. After which, they used their spiritual strengths to wrap around them. Their respective flames surged out and began to slowly merge these refined medicinal strengths according to the instructions on the medicinal formula. With the sweeping spiritual strength of Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huang, the medicinal ingredients suspended in the medicinal cauldron were completely swept away. The both of them were veteran alchemists with extremely great experience. Although it was the first time they cooperated, no flaws occurred. Tang Jin sighed in relief when he saw these two people working precisely without making any mistakes. A thought immediately passed through his mind as another batch of medicinal ingredients were sucked into the medicinal cauldron. After which, he began the refinement once again. 
On the platform a short distance away, the alchemist grandmasters hurriedly threw their attention over when they saw that the pill refinement had begun. When they saw that Xiao Yan was able to easily keep up with Tang Zhen and Grandmaster Huan's pace, their faces became somewhat unnatural. This was especially the case for the Grandmaster M.O. His expression was the ugliest. Earlier, he had even said that Xiao Yan was only able to pass the test because he was relying on the might of the Heavenly Flame. However, this current scene was just like a ruthless slap to his face because he clearly understood in his heart that even if he personally joined the refinement, it was impossible for him to follow the refinement pace of Tang Zhen and a Tier 7 alchemist. Tang Huayer's pretty eyes were staring unblinkingly at the stone stage from the side of the square. She only sighed in relief when she saw that Xiao Yan did not appear to panic. She immediately smiled and softly muttered, looks like father's eyesight is quite precise. This fellow is not some country bumpkin who only know how to make excessive demands, however, I wonder if he will be able to help father successfully complete this pill refinement. Chapter 1052, Fuse The refinement of a tier 7 medicinal pill was an extremely troublesome matter. This fire bodhisattva pill, being a high grade tier 7 high pill, was even more troublesome to refine. Silver-colored flames furiously burned within the medicinal cauldron on the stone stage. A low dragon roar was repeatedly being emitted from within it. The high temperature had caused the surroundings of the stone stage to become slightly distorted. Many medicinal ingredients lingered in the air above the stone stage. Occasionally, they would be thrown into the medicinal cauldron with a wave of Tang Zhen's hand. After which, they would be swallowed by the nine fire dragons within. However, it must be said that it was extremely convenient to use the nine dragon lightning flame to refine medicinal ingredients. The nine fire dragons were just like nine small versions of medicinal cauldrons. They could perfectly refine these medicinal ingredients. Of course, Xiao Yan clearly understood that these nine fire dragons were ultimately still under Tang Jin's control, but his control over the flame's temperature had reached a peak. His attention was split into nine, but one could not find the slightest mistake. One could imagine that if Tang Jin really possessed the qualification to become an alchemist, his achievement in the alchemist field would not be low. Xiao Yan felt somewhat unable to see through Tang Jin. By relying on his exceptionally sharp senses, he could vaguely sense that he was a frightening existence. However, it was difficult for Xiao Yan to sense anything through his aura. It was likely extremely appropriate to use the description of unfathomable to describe him. Although Tang Zhen was a giant with an extremely terrifying strength, he was quite courteous when dealing with others. He did not possess the arrogance of an elite Dozun. Perhaps it was because he had a friendly character or that he had it himself too deeply, but Xiao Yan ultimately maintained a healthy amount of fear for him. How could an ordinary person become the leader of a faction like the Burning Flame Valley? It was the first time that Xiao Yan had attempted this kind of cooperation to refine a medicinal pill. However, there were no flaws. His pill refinement experience was not weaker than anyone present. Moreover, his task was the simple merger of the pure medicinal strengths. With his current spiritual strength, this was not considered too difficult. Moreover, by owning the glazed lotus heart flame, he did not feel threatened by the might of the nine dragon lightning flame within the fire cauldron. The stone stage was completely silent. Only the sound of a fire burning was emitted. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan had their eyes shut. They focused their minds and controlled their spiritual strengths in the medicinal cauldron. A jade green glow was vaguely visible within the silver colored flame that was sweeping all over the medicinal cauldron. The interior of this cluster of jade green flame was occupied by Xiao Yan's spiritual strength. At this moment, many different types of medicinal ingredients that had been successfully refined were gradually merging together at an extremely slow speed under his precise control. Qi. A slight sound suddenly appeared from the quiet jade green glow. When one's gaze shifted over, one would see a drop of colorful, viscous liquid appearing within it. A dense medicinal fragrance was seeping out of the liquid. Just this first merger step has taken up nearly three hours. This tier 7 medicinal pill is indeed unusually cumbersome to refine. Xiao Yan let out a gentle sigh after having merged the many medicinal ingredients into this colorful, viscous liquid. Immediately, his heart became tense. He knew that this was only the beginning. Refining a tier 7 medicinal pill was not something that was as easy as he had imagined. After having sensed the difficulty of refining this tier 7 medicinal pill, Xiao Yan involuntarily rejoiced a little. If he had not luckily entered that mysterious condition when he was helping Kai Lin refine the medicinal pill at the Inner Academy, it was likely impossible for him to successfully refine the medicinal pill with his alchemist skill back then. Now that he thought of it, luck was indeed the main reason for his success. However, with my current strength, it is likely that my chances of success would increase significantly if I refined it again. Moreover, there is no need for me to place my hopes on entering that mysterious condition. Satisfaction surged in Xiao Yan's heart when he thought of this. It was wonderful that he was able to reach this stage. Young friend Yan Xiao is indeed surprising. He has completed the initial merger so quickly. Tang Jin's voice suddenly sounded beside Xiao Yan's ear. Clearly, he was extremely surprised at Xiao Yan's quick efficiency. It should be known that the external elder from the Pill Tower, Grandmaster Huan, had yet to complete the initial merger at this moment. Xiao Yan merely smiled at Tang Jin's surprise. After which, he transmitted his voice over, Valley Chief Tang, is the second portion of the medicinal ingredient completely refined. Kuko, it has been waiting for a while. Tang Jin laughed. A thought passed through his mind as the nine fire dragons abruptly widened their mouths. 
Numerous medicinal ingredients, that had completed their refinement, were once again spat out. A portion of it was separated before entering the jade green light where Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was located. The refinement of the fire bodhisattva pill is divided into eight portions. This is currently only the second portion. However, with the both of you lending your hands, it is likely that the chances of success this time round will be very high. Eight portions. Xiao Yan could not help but quietly become speechless. This was indeed worthy of being a tier 7 high grade medicinal pill. Xiao Yan swiftly focused his mind after exclaiming in his heart. After which, he began to merge the second portion of pure medicinal strengths. A short while after Xiao Yan had begun merging the second portion, the Grandmaster Xian slowly opened his tightly shut eyes. His heart was quite shaken when he glanced at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's performance had really exceeded his expectations. This young man called Yan Xiao is likely also a tier 7 alchemist. Such talent is really outstanding and brilliant. Grandmaster Huan gently sighed in his heart. His spiritual strength swept over the interior of the medicinal cauldron. He sucked the second batch of refined medicinal ingredients essences over and once again began the merger. The tediousness of this fire bodhisattva pill refinement had somewhat exceeded Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan's expectations. From the looks of it, this pill refinement was definitely a time-consuming task. It was likely that they would not be able to successfully refine this medicinal pill if they did not have 10 days time. 10 days of continuous pill refinement without rest would be extremely exhausting, especially when they had to place a portion of their attention to block the corrosion of the high temperature of the Nine Dragon Lightning Flame. It exhausted their spiritual strength while they merged the medicinal ingredients. Xiao Yan was still alright in terms of this. However, Grandmaster Huan's body was vaguely unable to endure any longer after reaching the fifth round of the merger of medicinal ingredients. It was fortunate that he had prepared quite a number of medicinal ingredients to recover his strength. Otherwise, it was would likely be extremely difficult for him to endure. Time swiftly flew by as the many medicinal ingredients suspended in the air above the stone stage gradually reduced. If one counted the time, the pill refinement was approaching the seventh day. During these seven days, the three people on the stone stage did not show the slightest activity. The only change was the thick medicinal fragrance that seeped out of the medicinal cauldron. All the alchemists on the platform not far from the stone stage looked at Xiao Yan, who had endured for nearly seven days. The solemnness on their faces became denser. After seeing Xiao Yan's performance during these seven days, there was no longer anyone who dared mock him because they knew that if they were in his place, they would not be able to last until now. If I have guessed correctly, this Yan Xiao should also be a tier 7 alchemist. An alchemist from the platform suddenly sighed as he spoke. Everyone were stunned when they heard these words. They immediately let out bitter laughs. This matter was something that was a little difficult for them to accept. They had only obtained this achievement through many years of bitter training, yet a young man, who appeared to be in his twenties, had surpassed them. Grandmaster Mo's eyes were startled as he looked at the stone stage. His face contained a defeated expression. At that instant, he appeared to have become a little older. Tang Hua Air stood prettily at the side of the square. Her tall figure was exceptionally alluring. Her eyes were also similarly focused on the stone stage. Both of her hands were tightly clenched. The pill refinement had entered the intermediate stage. She hoped that nothing untoward would happen. Time swiftly flowed by amid everyone's expectations. Another day passed in the blink of an eye. The eight portions of pill refinement had reached the final step. At this moment, the medicinal ingredients that had been suspended in the air above the stone stage were completely poured into the medicinal cauldron. Powerful fire affinity energy filled the surroundings, causing the air to feel a little distorted. The silver-colored flame within the medicinal cauldron had become much fiercer. A dragon roar was repeatedly being emitted from within. After which, it rose in a vast and mighty manner while spreading over the entire valley. The expressions of Xiao Yan's three-man group were exceptionally serious at this moment. If they were unable to pass this barrier, this current pill refinement attempt would completely fail. You too, the old me has completed the medicinal ingredient refinement. The subsequent merger is up to the two of you. Tang Jin's eyes glanced at Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huang. His expression was solemn as he cupped his hands and informed them in a deep voice. The remaining task no longer concerned him. Whether this pill refinement succeeded or not would depend on Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huang. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huang clenched their teeth and nodded upon hearing this. They immediately focused their minds. Eight tiny lights were suspended within the jade green glow inside the medicinal cauldron. Soupy medicinal fragrances repeatedly spread from the lights. These were the medicinal liquids that had been formed after the fusion of nearly a hundred types of medicinal ingredients. Xiao Yan's current task was to completely fuse these eight clusters together in the next nine days. If his fusion failed, the pill refinement this time around would naturally end up in failure. At that time, he could forget about the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Xiao Yan suddenly clenched his fists when he thought of this. This time around, he was only allowed to succeed. He could not fail. Chapter 1053, Unexpected Turn of Events Xiao Yan's mind was focused on the eight tiny lights suspended within the jade green glow. Some liquid or powder-like substances were vaguely revealed within the light clusters. After Xiao Yan's nine days of merging all the pure medicinal strengths, these eight clusters of pure medicinal liquid contained the medicinal might of nearly twenty medicinal ingredients gathered together. 
Who? Xiao Yan let out a deep breath. He exchanged glances with Grandmaster Huan on the opposite side. The both of them immediately shut their eyes as majestic spiritual strength surged out and entered the medicinal cauldron. The solemn expression on Tang Jin's face became more apparent as he sensed the actions of these two. The success or failure of this pill refinement would depend on Xiao Yan's and Grandmaster Huan's subsequent performance. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength charged into the jade green light circle in a turbulent manner. A thought passed through his mind, and two drops of colorful liquid immediately descended before beginning to slowly merge. A ripple was formed on the surface following the contact of these two droplets of medicinal liquid. This was a kind of resistance that was created before these two types of medicinal strength were merged. Xiao Yan needed to use it to find the equilibrium point between the two. Only then would he be able to merge them perfectly together. This kind of merger required extreme precision of one's spiritual strength. If any mistake were to occur along the way, it would lead to the failure of the merger. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength transformed into a countless number of tiny lines that spread over every inch of the two droplets of medicinal liquid. Any slight changes within would be immediately noticed by Xiao Yan. The first step of the merger was extremely troublesome. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan was extremely experienced. Additionally, he had a great amount of spiritual strength. These two types of medicinal liquids were at a stalemate for around an hour while his spiritual strength maintained a stable pressure. Only after the period of time did the merger really begin. Although this was extremely slow, it was only a matter of time before completion. Time swiftly flow by during the quiet refinement. Around three hours or so later, two droplets of colorful liquid were finally merged together. They transformed into a brilliant colored, viscous liquid that was gently suspended within the jade green light circle. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he saw that the merger had succeeded. A thought passed through his mind, and a black colored powder-like substance flew down. It slowly fell into the brilliant colored, viscous liquid. The merger of the medicinal ingredient's essence was an extremely time-consuming step. One must not feel the least bit of anxiety during this period of time. Otherwise, a slight error would result in the failure of the merger. Moreover, it would cause the precious medicinal ingredient to turn into waste. However, it was fortunate that everything was proceeding very smoothly on Xiao Yan's side, and he was exceptionally careful because the failure or success of this pill refinement would determine whether or not he would be able to obtain the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame. Following the flow of time, the eight tiny lights within the jade green light circle were slowly merged under Xiao Yan's control. Tang Jin focused his eyes on the medicinal cauldron on the stone stage. Every single action within it was swiftly captured in his mind. This Yan Xiao is indeed extraordinary. Not only is he able to maintain his merger speed, but he was able merge then without the slightest error. Moreover, his spiritual strength is also exceptionally vast and mighty. It is many times stronger than Grandmaster Huan, who is also a tier 7 alchemist. With Tang Jin's ability, he was naturally able to tell that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength was much stronger than Grandmaster Huan's spiritual strength. Tang Jin's eyes once again turned to Grandmaster Huan while this thought flashed through his heart. All he ended up seeing was his somewhat pale face. His heart immediately sank. It seemed that merging the medicinal strength within this nine dragon lightning flame had exhausted him. Although Tang Jin was worried, there was nothing that he could do at this moment. He could not substitute him midway through. Hence, all he could do was pray that Grandmaster Huan would be able to endure until the end. Due to some of the changes on the stone stage, the people present were all clearly aware that Tang Jin had already completed his role. Now, it was up to Yan Xiao and Grandmaster Huan. If they were able to successfully merge their respective portions of medicinal strengths, the pill refinement this time around would likely succeed. However, if anything happened to either one of them, it was likely that this pill refinement would end in failure. I wonder if that Yan Xiao is able to endure until the end. These nine days have likely exhausted a great amount of his spiritual strength. An alchemist grandmaster fondled his beard as he slowly wondered aloud. They have already lasted until this stage. It would really be too regretful if any mistake occurs. Another alchemist grandmaster opened his mouth and replied. Those around him nodded with the same thought. Yan Xiao does not show any signs of becoming weary. Instead, Huan Feng, his spiritual strength is clearly beginning to weaken. An old man, standing right at the front, suddenly sighed as he added his thoughts. The surrounding immediately became silent when everyone heard his words. There was some dullness on everyone's faces. By putting it in this manner, did that not mean that this Yan Xiao was even better than Grandmaster Huan? No one knew just what to say the instant this ridiculous thought flashed through their hearts because this old man was the other external elder from the Pill Tower. His eyesight was far greater than all of theirs. Hence, none of them dared to open their mouths and question him. However, they still quietly muttered in their hearts. Clearly, they did not quite believe him. The old man was too lazy to bother with the mentality of these people. His eyes looked at the stone stage and a slight expression of worry was present in his eyes. Based on his senses, Wan Feng's spiritual strength was indeed weakening. Things would be quite bad if this went on. Ugh, hopefully he will be able to endure. Refining a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill is indeed a little too straining for Huan Feng. Time swiftly flowed by during this merger. The medicinal strength merger of Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan gradually reached the end. Under the countless number of eyes, the natural energy on the tall stage gradually became wild and violent. 
In the face of this violence, an unusually dense medicinal fragrance quietly spread out, causing the attention of anyone sniffing it to focus. Tang Jin and everyone became more awake as they sensed the change on the tall stage. Was the merger by these two people about to be completed? Xiao Yan's expression was unchanging in the face of the many anxious eyes focusing on him. He did not dare to relax his mind even a little. After this long period of merger, this face contained a threat of a faint pale whiteness. However, this was nothing too serious. On the other hand, Grandmaster Huan's condition was much worse. His face had turned completely white. However, he still continued to tightly clench his teeth without giving up. Fuse As the density of the medicinal fragrance on the tall stage increased, Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan opened their eyes at almost the same time. Their mouths emitted a cry as their hand seals quickly changed. After the change in their hand seals, the spiritual strength within the medicinal cauldron also changed. The pressure surged and completely merged all the medicinal liquid together. Qi A green and a red glow suddenly surged within the medicinal cauldron the instant they merged. They were just like light pillars as they reached a hundred meters in height. The two waves of medicinal fragrances had reached the limit of their density the moment the intense glow surged. At this moment, everyone present revealed a joyous expression. As the merger succeeded, Tang Hua Air's tensed heart had finally relaxed while she stood on the edge of the square. An alluring smile also surfaced on her pretty face. Tang Jin suddenly stood up on the stone stage at this moment. The joy on his face was difficult to hide. However, he was not a reckless person. He knew that the pill refinement was still not a complete success. He cupped his hands to Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan. He said, the medicinal ingredients have been completely merged together. Next will be the most important pill formation. Xiao Yan slightly tilted his head. He glanced at Grandmaster Huan. He was involuntarily startled when he saw the other party's expression. He inquired somewhat hesitatingly, Grandmaster Huan, can you still continue? Huan Feng braced his attention upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. He waved his hand and laughed, relax. Although he spoke in this manner, his expression was not too convincing. Nevertheless, since Grandmaster Huan had said this, Xiao Yan was naturally unable to say anything else. If he did not possess the glazed lotus heart flame to protect his body, it was likely that he would have ended up in a similar state as Huan Feng. Tang Jin also sensed that Huan Feng's condition was not quite right. At this moment, however, he did not have time to think of anything else. All he could do was clench his teeth and say, please proceed. If the merged medicinal strength is left alone for too long, it will end up affecting the chances of successfully refining the pill. Xiao Yan and Grandmaster Huan nodded. They inhaled a deep breath of air and their hand seals changed. One could see the green-red glow within the medicinal cauldron suddenly soar. Immediately, it transformed into a two-rainbow glow that appeared in front of everyone's eyes. These two glows heavily collided in the middle of the medicinal cauldron. Bang. The two droplets of liquid, that had been formed from the medicinal strength of nearly a hundred types of medicinal ingredients, emitted a deep sound the instant they collided. Immediately, a circular and unusually powerful energy ripple erupted from them. The ripple collided with the medicinal cauldron's walls, emitting a clear bang-bang sound. Due to the spiritual strength being mixed with the medicinal liquid, Xiao Yan emitted a moan during this collision. His body also slightly shook. Grug. Xiao Yan was able to endure this energy shock, but Grandmaster Huan, who was currently at his limits, appeared just like the last straw that caused a camel to collapse. His face immediately turned pale white as a mouthful of fresh blood was wildly spat out. The entire place immediately turned silent as everyone looked at Grandmaster Huan, who suddenly spat out blood and collapsed. The smile that had just appeared on Tang Jin's and Tang Hua'er's faces slowly stiffened. Everyone knew just what kind of consequences would occur if something were to happen to the alchemist at this moment. Is it still going to fail? Tang Jin muttered to himself. His face appeared to have become much older in an instant. Outside the square, Tang Hua'er's face had also turned snow white. A sorrow vaguely materialized in her pretty eyes. Did this mean that fate had decreed the end of her life? Xiao Yan was stunned as he stared at Grandmaster Huan, who had collapsed. He swiftly recovered an instant later. His gaze suddenly turned to the medicinal cauldron. If this pill refinement ended up failing, he could forget about the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Would all his effort really come to naught at this final moment? An unwillingness and a ruthless expression immediately surged into his eyes when he thought of this. Chapter 1054, Turning the Tide The entire square was quiet. Everyone's eyes carried incomparable regret as they looked at Grandmaster Huan, who had fainted on the ground. After having endured for ten days, no one expected that it would end up in a failure at the last moment. Two red-green glows were interacting with each other within the medicinal cauldron. Rich medicinal fragrances spread over the entire square. However, it no longer caused people to feel relaxed as it had earlier. Instead, everyone felt their hearts become extremely heavy. Tang Jin's eyes were dull as he looked at the medicinal cauldron. His defeated expression was unbearable to look at. A giant-like person was revealing such an emotion. It was really heartbreaking. At the edge of the square, Tang Hua Air's pretty face had also turned white. A moment later, she let out a grieving smile. Her lovely body staggered a little. 
The few disciples from the burning flame valley behind her hurriedly stepped forward to support her. The entire square was completely silent. That solemn atmosphere caused everyone to feel extremely pressured. No one dared to open their mouths to speak at this moment. The silent and pressurizing atmosphere continued for a while before a low, deep voice suddenly sounded, breaking the pressurizing silence of the square as it did. Valley Chief Tang, may I continue the refinement? Even though Tang Jin was in a dispirited state, he involuntarily raised his head in shock when he heard these words. He looked at Xiao Yan's serious face before slightly widening his mouth. Some hope had suddenly surged from the despair in his heart. Young friend Xiao Yan, are you able to refine this fire bodhisattva pill alone? Xiao Yan slowly shook his head. They really thought too highly of him. Even with his current self, there was likely an extremely low chance of success when refining a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill. Nevertheless, it was at least better than simply sitting and doing nothing. If we continue the refinement, there is perhaps still a chance. However, if we give up now, we will have completely failed. Xiao Yan's eyes bore down on Tang Zhen. His eyes possessed the vigor of a young person. His experience during these years had created Xiao Yan's tough character. He had seldom mentioned the words, give up. If he had given up midway through these 20 plus years of training, it was likely that he would be unable to escape from being the trash of the Xiao clan, much less reach the stage he was currently at. Tang Jin's heart was slightly shaken when he sent Xiao Yan's searing, hot eyes. His gaze turned to the green-red glow that was being emitted from the medicinal cauldron. After a brief moment of hesitation, he finally clenched his teeth and spoke in a deep voice, Young friend Yan Xiao, since you have put it this way, please proceed. No one will blame you even if it ends up failing. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face when he heard Tang Jin's reply. After which, he slightly nodded. Valley Chief Tang, please help guard me. Do not allow anyone to interrupt me. I will try my best. Fate will determine whether I end up succeeding. Xiao Yan spoke in a solemn manner. He immediately shut his eyes slowly and the seals formed by his hands rapidly changed. The spiritual strength between his brows swept out without being held back. Immediately, it was just like an endless tide as it surged into the fiery red medicinal cauldron. Tang Jin straightened his body slightly when he saw Xiao Yan begin to act. The defeated expression on his face was swiftly withdrawn. His body gradually rose into the sky while his stern eyes swept around him. Finally, he commanded in a deep voice, from now on, no one is allowed to enter anywhere within a hundred feet of the stone stage. The hearts of the disciples from the burning flame valley coldly shivered when they sensed the sternness within Tang Jin's words. Immediately, they cupped their hands together and acknowledged the order. After which, they gradually stepped back without creating even the slightest noise. All the alchemist grandmaster on the platform were stunned when they saw this scene. Their mouths involuntarily parted after having understood something. That Yan Xiao was actually thinking of refining the fire bodhisattva pill alone. Although only the final pill formation step was left in this pill refinement, it was definitely not something that he would be able to achieve. It should be known that a person who could refine a tier 7 high-grade medicinal pill was quite rare even in the pill tower. Although everyone was full of disbelief, they did not dare to randomly open their mouths after seeing the sternness on Tang Jin's face in the sky. All they could do was hide their doubt deep in their hearts. Xiao Yan's face had a solemnness that was never seen before as he stood on the stone stage. His spiritual strength controlled every inch of the medicinal cauldron. That was why he was able to sense the frightening aspect of a high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill. The medicinal strength contained within it had reached a terrifying degree. It could even cause the natural energy around to fluctuate. If not for this mountain melting cauldron, it was likely that the external natural energy would have become disordered. Spiritual strength poured out and completely wrapped the green-red glow within the cauldron. Immediately, it separated into a countless number of energy strings that slowly merged into the two clusters of light. The spiritual strength had just invaded the two clusters of light when Xiao Yan's body abruptly shook. The green and the red viscous droplets might be small, but they contained the strength of a hundred rare medicinal ingredients. Moreover, all of these medicinal ingredients had grown over a long period of time. Currently, their medicinal strengths had been merged together. This was sufficient to tell just how dense the medicinal strength within these two droplets of viscous liquid were. Perhaps it was due to the two viscous liquids having made contact, but the medicinal strength within them appeared exceptionally wild and violent. It was extremely difficult for the fusion to proceed. Moreover, the wild and violent medicinal strength was emitting a repulsion that attempted to push away the other party. Xiao Yan was quiet for a moment before he discovered that the medicinal strength within the two droplet of medicinal liquid did not show any retardation. Instead, they became even more intense. The gap between them was also slowly growing. If this continues, forget about fusion, even getting them to make contact would be an exceptionally difficult task. This troublesome matter was something that Xiao Yan was meeting for the first time during all these years of medicinal pill refinement. It was not this troublesome even when he was refining a pill back then at the Inner Academy. Of course, that was because Xiao Yan had entered a mysterious condition at that time. Currently, he did not possess such good luck. Thus, he could only rely on his own abilities. Continuing in this manner is also not a solution. Xiao Yan let out a deep breath as he sensed the intense resistance being transmitted from his spiritual strength, which was wrapped around the two droplets of liquid. A thought passed through his mind, and one could sense the spiritual strength that permeated the interior of the medicinal cauldron surge out. Finally, it crazily suppressed the two droplets of liquid. 
Bang. A deep, solemn noise sounded within the medicinal cauldron. Under the full strength of Xiao Yan's spiritual suppression, the two green red droplets, that had just parted, were ruthlessly pressed together. However, they did not become calm as a result. Instead, an even fiercer retaliation erupted an instant later. Wave after wave of unusually fierce energy ripples spread from the two drops. Each time they collided against Xiao Yan's spiritual strength, they would cause his body to slightly tremble. After so many years of having refined pills, I don't believe that I cannot resolve you two little things today. Xiao Yan was also a little angered by the retaliation of the liquid energy. His heart turned fiercer and the majestic spiritual strength within the medicinal cauldron immediately agglomerated into a spiral form. It began to wildly spin. Following the spiritual strength transformation into a fast rotating spiral, the pressure from it suddenly soared. The green and red liquid slowly made contact amid this fierce pressure. After which, they were forcefully kneaded together. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind the moment these two droplets of liquid were kneaded together. The soaring pressure was immediately reduced. At the same time, a jade green flame appeared from nowhere, swallowing the green red liquid. The increase and reduction of the pressure as well as the release of the flame were perfectly controlled by Xiao Yan. If any mistake were to occur during this period of time, it would result in the loss of some medicinal strength, and it would end up reducing the chances of successfully refining the pill. Although Xiao Yan had kneaded the two droplets of liquid together, it had also exhausted Xiao Yan's spiritual strength. However, he was currently not considering all this. His spiritual strength was continuously inserted into the green-red liquid. After which, he captured all of the slight changes within it. From this, he began to carefully control the pressure and the flame's temperature. There was complete silence outside of the stone stage. Tang Jin's looked at Xiao Yan's trembling body. His heart was raised to his throat as a result, especially when he saw Xiao Yan's expression gradually turn pale. Even with Tang Jin's calmness, he could not help but feel his heartbeat increased. However, it was fortunate that the trembling of Xiao Yan's body did not continue for long before it gradually calmed. At this time, Tang Jin sensed a jade green flame suddenly appear within the medicinal cauldron. His eyes looked over, and he saw the green red liquid slowly churning within the flames. There was even the vague signs of a liquid solidifying. This scene was not unfamiliar to Tang Jin. He knew that this was the precursor to the formation of a pill. His heartbeat suddenly quickened. An excited expression also involuntarily surfaced on his face. He had never expected Xiao Yan to rely on his own abilities to complete the final step. Tang Jin might view all of it in an easy and relaxing manner from the outside, but Xiao Yan had put in a great amount of effort into it. If his spiritual strength did not far exceed those alchemists of the same tier, he would definitely not be able to complete such a difficult task. Even though this was the case, it had also caused his mighty soul to gradually show some signs of weakening. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air in his heart. He forcefully suppressed the weak feeling within his soul, and he focused his mind on controlling the fire temperature and spiritual pressure. Under the repeated grilling of the jade green flame and the moderate spiritual strength suppression, the green red liquid gradually solidified. The silence within the square continued for an entire day and night. During this period of time, the place was dead quiet. Not even the slightest sound appeared. However, no one left during this period of time. Everyone's eyes were focused on the stone stage. Everyone really wanted to know whether this extremely young man would be able to complete this final step or not. A ray of morning light suddenly scattered from the sky and broke the dark night in the mountain valley. The natural energy within the enormous burning flame valley suddenly began to fluctuate the instant this ray of morning light appeared. Tang Zhen, who was seated cross-legged on the stone stage, suddenly opened his eyes. His gaze revealed a wild joy as he looked at the center of the stone stage. A pill fragrance suddenly scattered from the medicinal cauldron. Rumble. Dark clouds suddenly appeared in the sky without any forewarning the moment Tang Zhen opened his eyes. Lightning rolled within the dark clouds. Silver snakes flowed all over, producing a shocking and mighty sound as they moved. Chapter 1055, Seeing Pill Lightning Again Thick, dark clouds gathered in the sky above the valley. The ray of morning light, that had just appeared on the horizon, was blocked by the clouds. Within an instant, the entire valley had become exceptionally dark. Only when the silver-colored lightning cut through the dark clouds would the valley below light up. The medicinal fragrance on the stage had reached a peak saturation when dark clouds gathered in the sky. Even the surrounding natural energy of the stone stage was drawn by this pill fragrance, emitting a slight vibration as it did so. A jade green flame fiercely burned within the medicinal cauldron. A green-red spherical medicinal pill was slowly rotating in the air above the flame. A shocking energy was repeatedly being emitted from it. The energy collided with the walls of the medicinal cauldron, emitting a clanging, metallic sound. Xiao Yan looked at the medicinal pill that was rotating within the medicinal cauldron. A smile involuntarily surfaced on his pale white face. His eyelids were slowly shut and a fatigue spread from his soul, causing him to feel a little giddy. The pill formation this time around had really exhausted him a little too much. If his will has not supports him from within his heart, it was likely that he would have found it difficult to succeed. The thunderbolt that cut through the dark clouds within the sky lit up Xiao Yan's pale face. He appeared exceptionally frail. Everyone knew that he had used up all of his strength once they saw his condition. Young friend Yan Xiao, a mere thanks does not do a great favor justice. 
Leave the pill lightning to the old me. You can rest for a while. Tang Jin woke up from his excited state. He hurriedly spoke with his hands cupped together when he saw the frail condition of Xiao Yan. Tang Jin was just about to fight with the so-called pill lightning after speaking these words when he suddenly heard Xiao Yan panting, Valley Chief Tang, leave the matter of the pill lightning to me. Tang Jin was startled when he heard this. He hurriedly said, young friend Yan Xiao. Rest assured that this pill lightning won't be able to harm the old me. How can you still receive this pill lightning in your current condition? Of course I am aware that you can receive the pill lightning. However, my earth demon puppet still requires the pill lightning to refine its body. Xiao Yan rolled his eyes and muttered in his heart. He immediately waved his hand and the bright silver earth demon puppet appeared with a flash. He glanced at Tang Jin and softly laughed, Valley Chief Tang, this pill lightning is useful to me. Please do not snatch it away from me. After the refinement by the pill lightning last time, the strength of the earth demon puppet had undoubtedly risen. If it were to undergo another refinement, it was likely that the might of the earth demon puppet would increase again. This thing was a top-notch fighter for Xiao Yan. It would naturally be best if its strength could increase. Tang Jin was startled when he saw the earth demon puppet that appeared. A surprise immediately flashed through his eyes as he exclaimed, Puppet. With Tang Jin's eyesight, he was naturally able to identify the earth demon puppet at a glance. Xiao Yan did not feel any surprise about this. He raised his head, looked at the dense, dark clouds in the sky, and nodded. Since young friend Yan Xiao insists on doing so, I will allow your puppet to face the pill lightning. You can just voice any concerns if anything happens later. Although he was unaware of why Xiao Yan had such confidence in his puppet, this pill lightning was ultimately something that Xiao Yan had summoned and Tang Jin was unable to comment too much. Moreover, Xiao Yan had already done him a massive favor by helping him successfully refine the fire bodhisattva pill. Tang Jin would naturally not say too much about such a small matter. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His eyes looked to the sky. He weakly raised his hand and softly said, Go. The order had just sounded when the earth demon puppet's feet violently stomped on the ground. Its body rose like a rocket and paused in midair. The thick, dark clouds were emitting lightnings might around a couple hundred feet above its head. The surprise in Tang Jin's eyes involuntarily increased in intensity when he saw that the earth demon puppet was able to remain suspended in the air like an elite dozone. His heart let out a praise. He discovered that he appeared to be unable to see through this extremely young man. Not only did this person possess a heavenly flame, but he also possessed such a great achievement in terms of pill refinement. Now, he had even took out a puppet that was comparable to an elite dozone. All of this caused Xiao Yan's identity to become much more mysterious. All of the changes on the stone stage were captured by the eyes of those present, especially the case when they saw Xiao Yan summon a silver-colored human figure that flew into the sky. All of them were stunned. Due to a puppet not possessing any breath, some of those with sharper senses could tell what it was after probing it. It is actually a puppet. Does Yan Xiao intend to use this puppet to block the pill lightning? The pill lightning formed by a high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill is not child's play. Even 5-star and above expert dozones will barely be able to block it. Can that puppet receive it? Everyone present felt really uncertain about Xiao Yan's. Due to his earlier shocking performance, however, everyone learns to be a little better behaved. They did not dare to randomly ridicule him because everyone knew that this young man, who appeared much younger than all of them, possessed an achievement far from what they could compare with. Although this was quite harsh to these alchemist grandmasters, it was, after all, the truth. They would not be able to escape it regardless of how difficult it was for them to accept it. Since they could not escape, they could only forcefully accept it. Of course, they were not the only ones who possessed such thoughts. The Burning Flame Valley disciples around the square were unable to make heads or tails of Xiao Yan's actions. If Xiao Yan was at his peak, they might still believe him if he wanted to receive the pill lightning. However, he was completely spent. Forget about receiving the pill lightning. Even a random Burning Flame Valley disciple would be able to defeat him at this moment. What is father thinking? Although that puppet will receive the pill lightning, it is clear that it is connected to Yan Xiao. If the puppet is destroyed by the pill lightning, Yan Xiao will suffer an injury as a result. With his current condition, it is very difficult for him to receive such a blow. Tang Hua'er's eyebrows were vertical as she studied the silver-colored figure in the sky. She involuntarily and softly muttered to herself. Xiao Yan was unconcerned about the numerous doubtful eyes around the square. He also did not do anything about them because the dark clouds in the sky had unleashed their might after a brewing period. A loud thunderous roar continuously rumbled. I wonder if the Earth Demon Puppet will advance in grade after absorbing this pill lightning. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. The Earth Demon Puppet was divided into three grades, the Man, Earth, and Sky Grade. When the puppet was initially refined, it was mixed between the lowest man grade and earth grade. However, after being refined by the pill lightning once, it had leaped into the earth grade. Just a mere earth grade earth demon puppet was able to fight a 5 to 6 star dozone. If it was the highest grade sky demon puppet, it was likely that it would possess the ability to fight even in the face of an elite dozoon. A dozoon class puppet. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily turned fiery hot when he thought about this. It gradually calmed down. It was definitely not so easy to reach the sky grade. This kind of thing must be taken slow. Bang. 
Thunder suddenly exploded across the sky when this thought appeared in Xiao Yan's head. Immediately, one could see a thigh-thick silver bolt of lightning tearing through the dark clouds like a silver, giant python. After which, it rushed toward the medicinal cauldron on the stone stage in a lightning-like fashion. A thought rushed through Xiao Yan's heart when the silver lightning shot out. The earth demon puppet in the sky immediately rushed down. It appeared on the stone stage, widened its arms, and allowed the silver-colored bolt to violently smash into its body. Boom. Silver lightning struck the body of the puppet while an unusually deep, muffled sound appeared. This sound caused everyone's hearts to suddenly jump. The body of the earth demon puppet was pushed down by the silver lightning bolt by nearly 10 meters. Only then did it forcefully stabilize its body. At this moment, a countless number of silver-colored lightning arcs were flashing as they repeatedly entered its body. If it was an ordinary person, it was likely that their skin would have split open long ago. However, the earth demon puppet did not feel anything. Instead, its shriveled body was gradually becoming stronger as the lightning entered it. It is actually absorbing the energy of the pill lightning. Tang Jin looked at the puppet which was fine despite having been struck by the silver lightning. It was instead absorbing the strength of the bolt. A surprised expression involuntarily flashed across Tang Jin's eyes when he did so. Bang. 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 After a silver bolt of lightning was easily received by the earth demon puppet, the dark clouds in the sky began to intensely churn. An instant later, another three lightning bolts, even stronger than the first one, rushed down from the dark clouds. The rumbling sound of explosions followed. Boom. 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 Faced with these three silver bolts, the earth demon puppet did not hesitate even a little under Xiao Yan's control. It appeared just like a lightning rod, attracting the three silver bolts of lightning to its body. The earth demon puppet fell under the fierce strike of the three silver lightning. It smashed into the ground. Both of its feet were inserted deep into the hard rock ground. However, it rose after the silver lightning scattered. Its entire body was emitting a dazzling silver glow as it floated into the air, appearing just like a majestic war god that would never fall. The pill lightning appeared to have become angered in the face of this provocation by the earth demon puppet. It repeatedly spat out enormous bolts of lightning from the dark clouds. After which, it appeared like a machine gun as they were beckoned to the earth demon puppet body with a crackling sound. This spectacular scene caused those viewing it to feel their breathing turn sluggish. Xiao Yan's eyes looked at it, the earth demon puppet that was smashed down again and again by the pill lightning in the sky before it would rise again. A smile filled with anticipation involuntarily surfaced on his face. He wondered just how much stronger the earth demon puppet would become after being refined by the pill lightning this time around. Xiao Yan's heart was filled with anticipation when he thought of this. Chapter 1056 Successful Pill Refinement Silver lightning rammed down from the sky covered in dark clouds. They rapidly materialized from all over the sky. The entire sky slightly shook at this moment. The dim valley appeared like it was daytime because of the continuously flashing silver lightning. A loud rumbling sound resounded unceasingly over the entire valley. A bright silver-colored figure floated in the sky amid the pouring of the silver lightning from all over. It attracted the surrounding silver lightning to itself. Boom. 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 Each silver bolt of lightning that fell from the sky would forcefully cause the silver-colored figure to descend because of the enormous strength present within each bolt. The muffled sound that was emitted when the two made contact caused some people's heads to turn numb. If it was an ordinary person forcefully receiving the blows head-on, they would have turned into a piece of charcoal. Xiao Yan's eyes intently stared at the earth demon puppet suspended in the sky permeated by lightning bolts. Due to the connection between the two of them, he was able to vaguely sense that the strength of the earth demon puppet was gradually rising amid these silver strikes. The earth demon puppet was unable to use Do skills. However, it possessed an extremely terrifying physical body. This physical body would not only not be destroyed under the smashing pill lightning but would actually end up absorbing the lightning strength within it, strengthening its body that did not feel any pain. The pill lightning that is created by a high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill is indeed extremely strong. Even with the strength of the earth demon puppet, one would be barely able to block it. However, it is fortunate that the earth demon puppet is able to absorb the strength of the lightning bolt and allow it to gradually get used to the pill lightning. Otherwise, even if it did not feel any pain, it would still be unable to endure after being struck by so many silver bolts of lightning. Xiao Yan glanced at the ferocious, thick layer of dark clouds that did not disappear for a long time. He then involuntarily shook his head and softly muttered to himself. However, it will be soon. The speed at which the pill lightning is descending is clearly inferior to its earlier peak. What a strange puppet. It is likely that this puppet's fighting strength alone would not be inferior to that of a seven-star dozone. Moreover, from the looks of it, this puppet can still absorb lightning power to strengthen itself. If this continues and it ends up experiencing a couple more pill lightning, it is likely that even an elite dozone will not be able to do anything to it. On the stone stage, Tang Jin revealed the surprise in his eyes as the earth demon puppet remained unharmed in the face of so much silver lightning. Such a puppet was something that he had rarely encountered even with his experience. It is really unexpected that Yan Xiao is able to receive this pill lightning by just relying on this puppet. This young person really causes one to feel continuously surprised. Tang Jin let out a soft sigh in his heart. He naturally sensed that the shocking pill lightning in the sky was gradually approaching its end. 
Of course, many people present also had such thoughts. Everyone was clearly aware of the might of the pill lightning formed by a high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill. Each time a medicinal pill of such a tier was born, one would require a couple of elite dozones to join hands to provide protection during this final pill lightning. However, the pill lightning that had given quite a number of alchemists a headache was easily received by a puppet that Xiao Yan had summoned. This naturally caused quite a number of people to be filled with disbelief. If word of this were to spread, it was likely that even some alchemist gurus would be interested in it. After all, as long as one possessed this strange puppet, one would no longer need to worry about pill lightning when refining pills in the future. Another loud thunderous roar resounded over the sky while various thoughts were churning through everyone present. A five-foot-large silver lightning bolt cut through the sky with a crackling sound, appearing just like a silver dragon as it did. It ruthlessly smashed into the earth demon puppet. Boom. This powerful collision ruthlessly smashed the earth demon puppet down. It immediately landed in the square. Rock fragments shot out, revealing an enormous pit that was over a hundred feet in size. Numerous arm-thick crack lines repeatedly spread out like a spiderweb around the deep pit. The sudden and unexpected change caused the many burning flame valley's disciples to hurriedly withdraw as though they had suffered. They immediately looked at the enormous pit and inhaled a deep breath of cool air. The thick, dark clouds in the sky gradually ceased churning after emitting this strong silver bolt of lightning. After which, it swiftly thinned. Numerous light rays penetrated through the dark clouds, transforming into a countless number of light spots that landed onto the burning flame valley, which had just experienced the destruction of pill lightning. The sunlight scattered down and swiftly expelled the darkness within the valley. The shocking lightning's might from earlier swiftly disappeared as a result. Everyone present sighed in relief upon seeing the pill lightning disappear. Immediately, numerous gazes were thrown to that enormous deep pit in union. They faced each other. Did it fail at the last moment after having endured so many thunderbolts? Young friend Yan Xiao, are you alright? Tang Jin was also shocked at the last pill lightning that had erupted. He looked at the deep pit below before turning to Xiao Yan and hurriedly asking. Xiao Yan's expression was as white as a sheet. He waved his hand, but his laughter appeared to be without strength, Valley Chief Tang, rest assured. Xiao Yan's hand seals changed after speaking. Immediately, a deep sound appeared from the deep pit. A silver-colored human figure rose before steadily landing on the stone stage. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly landed on the Earth Demon puppet in front of him. After this pill lightning refinement, the bright silver color on its body appeared exceptionally pure. It was as though the puppet was made of pure silver, making it extremely eye-catching. Xiao Yan's hand rubbed the Earth Demon puppet. The icy cool metallic-like feeling meant its skin was hard. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yan to be somewhat disappointed was that seemed to be unable to find a golden color on the body of the Earth Demon puppet. The Demon puppet was separated into three grades, Sky, Earth, and Man. It could be differentiated through the color on its surface. The Man grade was bronze in color, Earth grade was silver in color, and Sky grade was gold in color. Currently, the Demon puppet was bright silver in color. Clearly, it was still at the Earth grade. When it turned into a golden color, it would finally be truly called the Sky Demon Puppet and not the Earth Demon Puppet. Although the puppet did not turn into a golden color, Xiao Yan clearly sensed that the strength of the Earth Demon Puppet had risen after this pill lightning refinement. According to his guess, it was likely that the current Earth Demon Puppet would be able to barely put up a fight against an old demon on Fei Tian's level. One might not dare to say that it would defeat the other party, but it would be a threat against Fei Tian not like in the past. Looks like it is quite difficult for it to advance to the Sky Grade. Xiao Yan softly sighed. He was just about to store the Earth Demon Puppet into his storage ring when his hand suddenly trembled. He stared at the empty eyes of the puppet. There was actually a vague, dark dull golden color at that spot. Golden color. Although this thread of golden color had an extremely weak luster, it was exceptionally obvious in the empty eyes of the Earth Demon Puppet. Hence, it did not escape Xiao Yan's notice. Xiao Yan's heart was somewhat excited as his eyes stared intently at the thread of dark golden luster. This golden color was extremely faint. Nevertheless, it caused him to identify the advancement method of the Earth Demon Puppet. This method was using the lightning strength within Pill Lightning to refine the Demon Puppet's body, strengthening it and allowing it to achieve the final quality change. Looks like I need to think of a way to allow the Demon Puppet to absorb Pill Lightning in the future. If it can absorb it and advance into the Sky Stage, it will be a great help to me. After all, this is a true trump card. Moreover, the matter of betrayal will never happen. Xiao Yan suppressed the excitement in his heart and softly muttered within it. Xiao Yan extended his hand after making up his mind. He returned the Earth Demon Puppet in front of him into his storage ring. After which, his gaze turned to the interior of the medicinal cauldron. There was a green-red, round medicinal pill that was rotating there. The rich pill fragrance it radiated caused one to feel relaxed and happy. Is this the Fire Bodhisattva pill? Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled as his eyes paused on the green-red medicinal pill within the medicinal cauldron. He flicked his finger and the cauldron cover automatically flew open. Immediately, a green-red glow rushed out of it in a lightning-like manner. It did not pause as it flew into the sky, looking as though it was attempting to flee. Valley Chief Tang, I will leave it to you. Xiao Yan smiled as he observed the medicinal pill that was attempting to flee. 
a medicinal pill at this tier had already formed some spirituality. It knew how to avoid danger. Hence, it fled by itself the moment it left the medicinal cauldron. Tang Jin laughed out loud when he heard Xiao Yan's words. He immediately nodded and grabbed with his palm toward the sky. The space in the fleeing direction of the fire bodhisattva pill solidified. The pill collided with it and rebounded. Tang Jin waved his sleeves and a suction force surged out. He easily swept the fire bodhisattva pill back before he swiftly took out a top quality jade bottle. After which, he stuffed this green red pill that was still attempting to flee into the bottle. Tang Jin sighed in relief as he held the jade bottle in his hand, appearing as though he had released a heavy burden. His expression was solemn as he turned to Xiao Yan, cupped his hands together, and said in a deep voice, Young friend Yan Xiao, thank you very much. The old me will remember this favor. I was also doing as tasked. Xiao Yan shook his head. An unusually fierce tiredness and frailness suddenly swept out from deep within his soul. Immediately, the area in front of him slowly turned black, causing him to fall from the stone chair head first without any ability to resist it. A high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill is indeed not something so easy to refine. A mutter that carried a bitter laugh sounded within Xiao Yan's heart just before he fell unconscious. Chapter 1057, Yin Yang Life Soul Pill By the time Xiao Yan woke up from his unconscious state, he was surprised to find himself lying on a soft bed. The entire room had a serene fragrance drifting within it. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes. A dullness remained within them for a moment before a life force gradually surged into his dark black eyes. Xiao Yan lay on the bed for a moment as he roughly glanced at the interior of his body. He did not find anything wrong with it. His originally exhausted spiritual strength from having refined the fire bodhisattva pill had also significantly recovered. That kind of weak and weary feeling had also long since disappeared. This is. Xiao Yan quietly sighed in relief within his heart when he sensed these changes. He immediately sat up on the bed and glanced at the empty room with some uncertainty. After which, he rubbed the storage ring on his finger as a reflexive action. Only after he found that he did not lose anything did he let out a heavy sigh of relief. You have already been unconscious for five days. A familiar voice suddenly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart while he was sighing. It was actually Tian Hua Zunjia whom Xiao Yan had not heard from for a long time. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced at the white-colored ring on his finger and involuntarily laughed in his heart, Old Mr. Yao, it has been a while. Your condition seems to be good. I can be considered all right. By borrowing your blessing in the heavenly mountain blood pool, my spirit was also nourished by it and gained some benefits. After which, I did not reveal myself due to there being Dozun experts appearing around you all the time. Tian Huazunja's voice quickly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. Xiao Yan was involuntarily startled when he heard this. He asked, has your current strength recovered to the Dozun class? How can it be so easy? Do you really think that it is so easy to recover to the Dozun class? Tian Huazunja snappily replied when he heard Xiao Yan's words. If I am unable to find a suitable body, it is likely that I will never be able to recover my Dozun's strength. Xiao Yan quietly laughed. With Yao Lao's ability, even he had difficulty truly reaching the Dozun class without a physical body. It seemed that a body was of great use to the advancement of one's strength. Old Mr. Yao, don't be anxious. I will help you resolve the matter of refining a body for you as soon as possible. After having entered the middle region, which was the center of the entire continent, the experts whom Xiao Yan had to face possessed terrifying strengths. Although he had currently broken through to the Dozun class, it was not enough to allow him to roam the middle region without fear. Any one of the top tier factions in this place has some old demon present within it. He was in possession of many treasures. If someone ended up getting jealous and wishing to forcefully snatch them, it was likely that he would face continuous trouble if he did not have some strength to act as a deterrence. An elite Dozun would naturally provide the most deterrence. If he had an elite Dozun guarding beside him all the time, he would be able to straighten his back when he did anything in the middle region. Hence, he needed to try his best to bring forward the matter of helping Tian Huazun to refine a physical body. However, if one were to think about it, refining a physical body was also not a simple matter. According to what Yao Lao had told him back then, it would require three items, the first was a bone-growing blood-fusing pill, the second was the essence blood of a tier 7 magical beast, and the third was the skeleton of a Dozon. The last two among these three items were not too difficult to find in the eyes of the current Xiao Yan. However, that so-called bone-growing blood-fusing pill was not an ordinary item. The bone-growing blood-fusing pill was a tier 7 peak-grade medicinal pill. It was rumored that it was a pill that could save anyone who had a breath remaining. If one were to compare it, this medicinal pill was of a higher grade than the fire bodhisattva pill Tang Jin wanted to refine. By looking at it from this point of view, it would not be overboard to place this bone-growing blood-fusing pill into the 8th tier. Some of its mysterious and unique effects allowed it to possess the qualifications to step into that tier. Although Xiao Yan had reached the level of a tier 7 alchemist, he was not confident he could refine this bone-growing blood-fusing pill. Of course, forget about him, even some old renowned alchemist grandmasters, who had remained at the 7th tier for a long time, had a low chance of success when refining a medicinal pill like the bone-growing blood-fusing pill. 
The level of difficulty when refining a tier 7 medicinal pill was something Xiao Yan had personally experienced. If he had entered into that kind of mysterious condition in the inner academy back then, it was likely that he would end up failing. This time around, he could not be considered to have refined the pill alone. Instead, it was the combined effort of Grandmaster Huan, Tang Zhen, and himself in order for it to succeed. Although Xiao Yan had put in the greatest effort among them, it was likely that he would have difficulty successfully refining the fire bodhisattva pill if he had to refine it alone. After all, a high-grade tier 7 medicinal pill was not an ordinary item. Since the chances of successfully refining this fire bodhisattva pill alone were so low, there was no need to even discuss the bone-growing blood-fusing pill, which was a peak-grade tier 7 medicinal pill. Based on Xiao Yan's prediction, unless his strength soared once again, he could forget about refining such a medicinal pill. However, the increase of his strength had become much slower after having advanced to the Do Zone class. Many Do Zones remained at the same level even after training for many years. From this, it could be seen just how difficult it was to advance within the Do Zone class. Hence, he did not know just when it would be before this so-called soaring strength would occur. According to ordinary circumstances, Xiao Yan could forget about refining the bone-growing blood-fusing pill without two to three years' time. If this was the case, the matter of the physical body refinement would have to be pushed back. However, even if Tian Huazunja could wait at this moment, it was likely that Xiao Yan could no longer do so. Therefore, he could only think of other methods to help Tian Huazunja refine a physical body. The bone-growing blood-fusing pill is too high tier and I am unable to refine it at this moment. Hence, I can only use a medicinal pill with an effect similar to it as a replacement. The effect of this might be a little poorer, but there is no other choice. Once I have my abilities increase in the future, I can help refine an even better one. Xiao Yan's eyes revealed an expression of being deep in thought. He immediately shut his eyes and his spiritual strength entered the dark black ring Yao Lao left behind. After which, he swiftly searched within the ocean-like medicinal formulae. He needed to find a medicinal formula that could replace the bone-growing blood-fusing pill. The interior of the storage ring contained Yao Lao's entire collection over his lifetime. The volume of the collection was extremely frightening. Hence, the search this time around exhausted over two hours of Xiao Yan's time. Two hours later, Xiao Yan finally opened his tightly shut eyes. He clenched his hand and a pale green scroll appeared in it. Yin Yang Life Soul Pill. A tier 7 middle grade medicinal pill. It possesses the mysterious effect of fusing a soul and returning life. The refining ingredients are the soul revival demon fruit, life soul ghost face flower. This so-called Yin Yang Life Soul Pill possessed an effect that was similar to the bone growing blood fusing pill. Moreover, it was only a middle grade tier 7 pill, something Xiao Yan could coincidentally refine. It was quite a good choice to replace the bone growing blood fusing pill. The medicinal ingredients needed to be refined are a little troublesome. Moreover, there are some extremely rare, precious medicinal ingredients among them. However, it should not be too difficult to find them in this middle region. A middle grade tier 7 is something within my acceptable range. I can guarantee the success rate of its refinement. The only flaw is that this pill is not as perfect as the bone growing blood fusing pill, however, overall, it can be considered not bad. The imperfections in the medicinal pill can be made up in terms of the skeleton and essence blood. Xiao Yan absorbed the information of the medicinal formula into his mind. He mused for a moment before he softly spoke. Yes, I will leave this matter up to you. Everything is fine as long as I am able to possess my own body. I have already had enough of being in such a state. Tian Huazunja spoke without any objections. You can rest assured that I will find the medicinal ingredients to refine the Yin Yang Life Soul Pill as quickly as possible, and I will begin to refine the pill upon having gathered all of them. I will definitely allow you to possess your own body within the shortest amount of time. Xiao Yan nodded and spoke with a smile. Tian Huazunja also grinned when he heard this. He said, if you have the time, you should practice the five ring flame expelling technique that I have imparted on you. The might of it when you can form the five ring flame expelling formation will definitely not disappoint you. Xiao Yan's heart was also a little excited when he heard this. The five ring flame expelling technique was a D-class high level Do technique. Its might was something that did not need to be described. However, it was quite troublesome to control. With Xiao Yan's previous strength, he could barely form a fire wolf and it was impossible for him to form a formation. He wondered just how many fire spirits he could form now that he had broken through to the Do Zone class, if he was able to form all five of them, he would truly be able to unleash the might of this five ring flame expelling technique. Of course, Xiao Yan clearly understood in his heart that only if four of the five types of fire spirits in the five ring flame expelling formation were formed from heavenly flames, only then would the five ring flame expelling technique be unleashed at its peak. However, that level was likely something that could only be achieved after Xiao Yan had obtained the 3000 burning flame. Old Mr. Yao, please relax. The five ring flame expelling technique is your greatest skill. The old me will naturally not abandon it so easily. Xiao Yan's heart became a little boiling hot when he thought of the skills might at the peak level. He softly laughed in his heart when he did so. The old me has not lied to you. Back then, this five ring flame expelling technique shook the entire continent. Unfortunately, the current Dochi continent seems to be unaware of my old name. Tain Wazunja's tone contained some pride. Clearly, he was also quite a famous person in this Dochi continent back then. 
Xiao Yan slightly smiled. Any expert who could become a Dozun were all renowned individuals. Hence, Xiao Yan did not doubt Tian Wazunja's words. After chatting for a while with Tian Wazunja within his heart, Xiao Yan leaped off the bed and moved his body a little. After which, he walked out of the room. Since he had already helped Tang Jin refine the fire boat up a pill, it should be time to settle the matter of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Chapter 1058, Hindered Creek A tightly shut door was gently pushed open and Xiao Yan slowly walked out. After which, he raised his eyes and looked around. There was a garden outside of the room that was filled with many beautiful flowers. A gentle breeze blew over as a faint flower fragrance drifted over the entire garden. It gave one's heart a tranquil feeling. Have you woken up? A clear lovely voice suddenly sounded while Xiao Yan's eyes were sweeping around. He looked over, only to see a red-clothed lady sitting within the garden. She had a long upper body. Looking at her from the side, her body appeared to reveal an alluring figure that extended from her neck to her hip. Xiao Yan had seen this lady before and knew she possessed a high status within the Burning Flame Valley. Immediately, he smiled and nodded to her. The red-clothed lady stood up. Her tall figure was beautifully accentuated before she swiftly walked to Xiao Yan. After which, she revealed a bright smile. My name is Tang Hua'er. Thank you very much for your help this time around. As the both of them were standing close to each other, Xiao Yan was able to sniff the faint, serene fragrance that was being emitted from the body of the lady in front of him. He raised his eyes and was coincidentally able to see some redness within Tang Hua'er's pretty face. Xiao Yan had run into quite a number of beauties during these years. This Tang Hua'er's appearance might not be comparable to the bewitching looks of Kai Lin, but she possessed a demeanor that belonged only to her. She appeared graceful and valiant, possessing an alternative charm. Xiao Yan observed Tang Hua'er as he revealed a smile on his face. He cupped his hands together and said, Greetings to Miss Tang. Don't call me whatever Miss Tang. If you do not mind, you can just call me Hua'er. You can be considered my savior, hence, there is no need for you to be so distant. Tang Hua'er waved her hand and quickly replied after Xiao Yan formally addressed her. This Tang Hua'er, who did not possess the haughtiness of a young lady of the Burning Flame Valley, gave Xiao Yan quite a good impression. He immediately nodded with a smile. He was aware that Tang Jin had wanted to refine the fire bodhisattva pill for this lady in front of him. However, it was not his place to ask too much about the use of that medicinal pill. This was, after all, someone else's private affair. You have been unconscious for five days. Father has told me to bring you to him once you have awoken. I think that you are intending to look for him now, right? Tang Hua'er's bright pretty eyes swept over Xiao Yan while she laughed in a lovely manner. In that case, I will trouble Miss Hua'er. Xiao Yan smiled as he responded. Follow me, but I wish to also ask you why are you so interested in the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame of my burning flame valley? Tang Hua'er had just turned around when she suddenly remembered something. After which, she asked somewhat curious about why he wanted it. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He hesitated for a moment before saying, I can only say that the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is extremely suitable for me to practice. Tang Hua'er was somewhat surprised by Xiao Yan's reply. She raised her eyebrows and said, There is actually such a thing. But my father has already said that one requires a great talent to practice the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Her words caused Xiao Yan to become dull, especially after he sensed the somewhat fiery eyes of Tang Hua'er. He involuntarily and bitterly laughed. This woman appeared to be even more competitive than some men. Tang Hua'er covered her mouth and laughed when she saw Xiao Yan become a little embarrassed. She turned her body and led the way in front. She talked to him as she walked, no matter what you think, I will naturally not be able to say much now that father has promised you. However, I shall remind you that it is not an easy matter to obtain the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Even if father has given you a chance, it will be extremely difficult for you to obtain the Skyfire 3 mysterious change if you do not possess some ability. Xiao Yan quietly tilted his head in acknowledgement. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change was a carefully guarded secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. It would be unusually difficult for him to obtain it. Nevertheless, he had already come to this place. Why would he end up giving it up? Xiao Yan followed Tang Hua'er out of the courtyard and walked through the interior of the valley. They met quite a number of Burning Flame Valley's disciples. These disciples hurriedly bowed and said greetings the moment they saw Tang Hua'er. She not only possessed a special status within the Burning Flame Valley, she also possessed outstanding training talent, enough to get the admiration of everyone within the valley. Xiao Yan, who was beside Tang Hua'er, also attracted quite a great amount of attention as a result. The disciples within the Burning Flame Valley were familiar with this young alchemist grandmaster, who had aided the valley chief in refining a pill. During these couple of days that Xiao Yan had been unconscious, talk about him had become hottest topic among the many disciples within the Burning Flame Valley. Xiao Yan followed Tang Hua'er for over ten minutes in front of the many eyes. Only then did they stop outside a large hall with a magnificent aura. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change is the top secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. According to the rules of the valley, it cannot be taught to an outsider. Although father is the valley chief, he alone cannot make the decision over such matters. 
After all, the interior of the Burning Flame Valley still has an Elder's Council. Those pedantic old fellows are not so easy to deal with. Tang Hua Air softly explained after stopping outside of the large hall. Xiao Yan slightly nodded upon hearing this. It seemed that this attempt would not be a simple one. However, you can rest assured that Father will definitely put in a word for you since he promised you. He is the Valley Chief. Even the Elders' Council cannot easily refute his words. Tang Hua Air quickly added, appearing afraid that Xiao Yan would have other thoughts. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He replied, with Valley Chief Tang's status and position, it is naturally impossible for him to deceive an unknown little person like me. An unknown little person does not possess the ability to refine a tier 7 medicinal pill. Tang Hua Air rolled her eyes at Xiao Yan. After which, she maintained a somewhat normal expression and waved her hand to him. After which, she turned around and walked into the large hall. Xiao Yan hurriedly followed behind her. Xiao Yan successfully entered the large hall with Tang Hua Air leading him. At this moment, the atmosphere within the large hall was somewhat pressurizing. There were quite a number of fully armed disciples of the Burning Flame Valley around the large hall, causing the atmosphere of the hall to become much more solemn. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly swept through the hall after having entered it. Tang Zhen, who was bursting with life, was still in the leader's seat. However, there were two additional white-haired, red-robed elders flanking him. These two people wore faces as deep as water and possessed an aura of being mighty despite not revealing any anger. Moreover, the thing that shocked Xiao Yan the most was the majestic Dou Qi that vaguely seeped out of the bodies of these two old fellows. Although they were far from the unfathomable level of Tang Zhen, it was likely that they were not much weaker either. Around ten old fellows were seated below these two white-haired, old men. These elders possessed great strength. Elder Qi Hua, who had brought Xiao Yan to the Burning Flame Valley, was among them. Clearly, they were the elders of the Burning Flame Valley. Yan Xiao greets Valley Chief Tang. Xiao Yan's expression was unchanging in the face of the pressurizing atmosphere within the large hall and the many gazes focusing on him. He slowly stepped forward, cupped his hands to Tang Jin on the leader's seat, and spoke with a deep voice. Cuckoo, young friend Yan Xiao, what's your recovery like? Tang Jin's eyes swept over Xiao Yan. The smile on his face also increased as he inquired. Valley Chief Tang, thank you for your concern. I'm fine. Xiao Yan grinned and replied. You are that Yan Xiao who wants the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame of my burning flame valley, right? An indifferent, old voice suddenly sounded. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced over and saw that it belonged to a white-haired, old man seated beside Tang Jin. Xiao Yan slowly nodded in the face of the old man's question. The old me is the third elder of the burning flame valley, Wu Chen. This time around, you have helped the valley chief refine the fire bodice up uphill. The old me shall represent the burning flame valley and thank you here. Wu Chen's expression was indifferent. These words had just sounded when he continued, however, the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame is a secret that my burning flame valley will not pass to an outsider according to the rules of the burning flame valley. May I inquire if you will change your condition? As expected. Xiao Yin coldly laughed in his heart. He knew that this matter would not proceed smoothly. Third elder, the old me has promised young friend Xiao Yin. Are you trying to get me to eat my words by saying this now? Tang Jin's face sank as he questioned while sitting in the leader's seat. The third elder involuntarily became a little dull when he heard Tang Jin's words before replying, although Valley Chief has promised him, according to the rules. The rules are dead while people are alive. The old me is the Valley Chief. Don't tell me that I do not even possess this bit of authority. Tang Jin faintly spoke. Valley Chief, please do not be angered. Third elder is only saying such words because of the rules of the valley. After all, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is not an ordinary secret technique. It is likely that even the first elder would think twice about handing it to an outsider if he was here, no. An elder on the side, who had yet to speak, slowly opened his mouth. He suddenly glanced at Xiao Yan below when he spoke until this point and continued, moreover this young friend, who is called Yan Xiao, has ultimately not revealed his true face. Don't tell me that the Valley Chief wishes to hand the Skyfire 3 mysterious change to a person whose background is unknown. Tang Jin was also startled in the face of these words. He immediately frowned. With his eyesight he had naturally seen through Xiao Yan's attempt to purposefully hide his appearance. However, he did not expose Xiao Yan. Second elder has overestimated the young me. It is natural to have another layer of protection when roaming around. Hence, I have hid my appearance. Since second elder does not like it, I will remove it. Xiao Yan slightly smiled. His hand rubbed over his face, revealing his actual appearance. Everyone present, including Tang Zhen, was startled when they saw the even younger Xiao Yan after he had recovered his original appearance. That second elder stared intently at Xiao Yan. His eyes narrowed. A moment later he suddenly and faintly said, Earlier, the old me coincidentally made a trip to the northern region of the Central Plains. Xiao Yan slightly knit his brows when he heard these words. Recently, the greatest commotion in the northern region is related to the grudge between an unknown, young man and the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Moreover, this young man had charged to Lightning Mountain alone, defeated Feng Qing Air from the Wind Lightning Pavilion and left. 
Second Elder ignored Xiao Yan's expression as he continued to speak as he pleased. There was an unusual flicker in the pretty eyes of Tang Hua air by the side. She had also heard a little of this matter. That young man is called Xiao Yan. Second Elder spoke with a soft laugh. Immediately, he looked at Xiao Yan with deeper meaning in his eyes. He continued, the old me is thinking that Xiao Yan and Yan Xiao should be one and the same, right? Chapter 1059, Test Everyone in the hall was immediately stunned when they heard the words of that red-robed, old man. They all immediately revealed surprised expressions as they looked at the skinny young man present. No one had expected this young man, who had such a great achievement in medicinal refinement skills, would possess this ability as well. The Wind Lightning Pavilion might not be comparable to the Burning Flame Valley in terms of strength, but it was definitely considered a powerful faction of significant weight in the Central Plains region. Yet, this Xiao Yan was able to leave peacefully after forming a grudge with it. From this, one could tell that this person was definitely not simple. Tang Hua Air's pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yan. The itchiness on her hand suddenly became much more intense. She had never met an opponent of similar age who was on par with her. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of the many surprised gazes in the hall. He glanced at the red-robed, old man and faintly said, I am indeed Xiao Yan, but what has this got to do with anything? All I did was simply change my name. The red-robed, old man, who was also the second elder of the Burning Flame Valley, smiled when he heard this. He said, your enmity with the Wind Lightning Pavilion is because you possess the Wind Lightning Pavilion's 3000 Lightning Movement. This has ended up causing them to chase you with killing intent. You are not a disciple of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Where have you obtained the 3000 Lightning Movement? Moreover, you currently want to obtain the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change of My Burning Flame Valley. Don't tell me that you have an interest in other people's dough techniques. Xiao Yan's expression was calm as he replied, The 3000 Lightning Movement is something that I obtained by chance. There is no need for me to account to Second Elder regarding this. As for the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flame, I am in possession of a heavenly flame and will be able to unleash the might of the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change to its peak. This is the reason for me to come to the Burning Flame Valley. Whether I am interested in other people's dough techniques is not something that Second Elder can manage. Xiao Yan's words were blunt. Hence, the second elder's expression slightly deflated. Xiao Yan, this place is not the Wind Lightning Pavilion. It will not allow you to act in such a presumptuous manner. The third elder of the Burning Flame Valley, Wu Chen, frowned and coldly reprimanded. Xiao Yan was too lazy to be bothered with these two noisy old fellows. His eyes looked to Tang Jin in the leader's seat, cupped his hands together, and said, Valley Chief Tang, I have come to the Burning Flame Valley for the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Please say something about how to resolve this matter. If you also feel that the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is a secret of the Burning Flame Valley that will not be passed to an outsider, all you need is to say the word and Xiao Yan will leave immediately. I will not hesitate even a little. If I am to really say those words, the hat of being untrustworthy will be worn on my head in the future. Relax, since I have promised you, the old me will definitely keep my word. Tang Jin waved his hand. His expression gradually turned cold. He glanced at the two elders beside him as he indifferently said, I have already made up my mind about this matter. You two elders need not make things difficult for Xiao Yan. The old me is also aware of the rules within the valley. Hence, I did not say that I will give the Skyfire three mysterious change to Xiao Yan. According to the rules of the valley, the core disciples can obtain the Skyfire three mysterious change after passing through the test. Hence, if Xiao Yan is able to pass it, there will no longer be any objections from the others. Anyone who disobeys will be punished according to the valley rules. Tang Jin's voice contained a sternness at the end. The second and third elders exchanged looks with one another after hearing these words of Tang Jin. Their expression slightly changed. After hesitating for a moment, the second elder finally clenched his teeth and said, The matter of the core disciples test has always been designed by the elders council. May I know if the topic of this test will be decided by the elders council? This pedantic old fellow seemed to be really unwilling to allow the Skyfire 3 mysterious change to land in the hands of Xiao Yan, who was an outsider. Hence, he was thinking of all means to hinder Xiao Yan. Tang Jin's face slightly sank. He immediately replied, If second elder has such an intention, please tell us about the test topic. Second Elder's heart rejoiced when he saw Tang Jin being a little less stubborn. He opened his mouth and said, This matter has serious implications and cannot be done casually. Therefore, the old me shall personally be the tester. If Xiao Yan is able to last ten exchanges in the hands of the old me, the matter of the Skyfire Three Mysterious Change shall be decided by Valley Chief. The large hall was immediately a little quiet after these words sounded. The many elders below looked at each other and involuntarily let out bitter laughs. They were extremely clear about the strength of Second Elder. The peak of the Doe Zone class. He was at a frightening level only one step away from advancing to the Dozun class. If he was to be the tester, it would appear as though they were bullies. Tang Hua Air's eyebrows were bunched up a little. Some fury also flashed through her pretty eyes. This old fellow was clearly making it difficult for others. The peak of the Dozun class was a level in which even she would have great difficulty lasting for ten exchanges. To think that Second Elder is able to say such words. Tang Jin faintly laughed. His voice contained a little mockery. 
This caused the expression of the second elder to become a little unnatural. He had only voiced such a test because he did not wish to hand the Skyfar three mysterious change to an outsider. If Valley Chief feels that second elder is unsuitable to act, please allow me to do so. It is rumored that Xiao Yan even managed to kill an elder of the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. I think that he possesses strong trump cards. It should not be an impossible task lasting for ten exchanges in my hands, will it? Third elder Wu Chen slowly opened his mouth to speak after seeing that second elder faced some difficulty with drawing his words. Xiao Yan slightly frowned as he looked at Wu Chen. His strength was a little weaker as compared to that second elder. However, he was definitely in existence comparable to the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion Chief Fei Tian. He would be a little troublesome to deal with. Tang Jin hesitated for a moment when he heard this. He immediately suggested, there is too much of a difference in the status of the both of you and Xiao Yan. It is not really nice for you to act. I think we should allow Hua Er to do it. If Xiao Yan is able to defeat Hua Er, he will be considered to have passed. What do you say? The eyebrows of Tang Hua Er by the side were immediately lifted when she heard Tang Jin's words. Miss Hua Er is indeed a good choice. However, Xiao Yan only recently helped her successfully refine the fire bodhisattva pill. Moreover, she is a lady and will involuntarily show mercy. Therefore, she is also not very suitable. Second elder slowly shook his head as he continued, I think that third elder's suggestion is not a bad one. It is the fairest for him to act. As long as Xiao Yan is able to endure ten exchanges in his hands, he will be considered to have succeeded. The expression of itching to go ahead, that had appeared on Tang Hua'er's face, stiffened. She furiously glanced at second elder. Her appearance was as though she really wanted to charge forward and beat him into a pulp. Tang Jin's expression sank when he saw that second elder did not agree with his suggestion. His inner heart became a little frustrated. These two pedantic, old fellows really did not listen to nice words. Valley Chief Tang, since second elder insists on letting elder Wu Chen be the examiner, we will do as he say. Xiao Yan, who was standing in the large hall, finally opened his mouth to speak when Tang Jin was about to open his mouth and reprimand them. Tang Jin, Tang Hua Er, and the others were startled when they heard Xiao Yan's words. Xiao Yan, Elder Wu Chen's strength is that of a genuine eight-star Dou Zone. He is even stronger than Fei Tian from the Wind Lightning Northern Pavilion. Are you certain you wish to let him be the tester? Tang Jin's tightly knit his brows. His eyes bore into Xiao Yan as he spoke with a deep voice. There was a tone of reminder in his words. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. His eyes swept toward the third elder who was also a little startled by his words. Xiao Yan knew that if he did not do as these two old fellows wanted today, it was likely that he would not be able to smoothly take the Skyfire Three mysterious change from the Burning Flame Valley. Since this was the case, he would do as they wanted and test this third elder's strength. Although the strength of this Wu Chen was not weaker than Fei Tian, the current Xiao Yan had already stepped into the Dou Zone class. His strength was many times stronger than when he had been chased by Fei Tian back then. It should not be as unbelievable as what an ordinary person imagined to last for ten exchanges in Wu Chen's hands. Moreover, if he was really pushed to the limit, he would also get this old fellow to suffer a little today. Tang Jin frowned even more tightly when he saw Xiao Yan nodding his head. He glanced at the two rejoicing elders beside him and helplessly nodded. He said, since you have made this choice, the old me does not have any other method. You only have one chance. If you fail to pass the test, it is likely that the Skyfire 3 mysterious change does not possess any affinity with you. Therefore, I hope that you have your own plans. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. He was not a reckless person. Since he had agreed to this test, he naturally possessed some confidence. An 8-star Dou Zone might be strong, but Xiao Yan was also not a simple person. He might not dare to say that he could defeat the other party, but when it came to enduring for only 10 exchanges, it was likely that these old fellows had underestimated him. Valley Chief, please rest assured that the old me is aware that he has done a favor to the Burning Flame Valley. Therefore, I will not hurt him. If the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was not a top-tier secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley, the old me would not have intervened. Therefore, I hope that Valley Chief will forgive me. Third Elder slowly stood up, turned his head to Tang Jin, and requested his forgiveness. Tang Jin glanced at him before uttering three words from his mouth, pedantic and stubborn. The third elder was noncommittal in the face of Tang Jin's evaluation. As long as he could prevent such a secret technique from landing in the hands of an outsider, it was fine that he was pedantic. This place is a little too small. We will begin the test outside. Moreover, I think that the disciples in the valley will be a little interested in this. Let's allow them to observe. It will be beneficial to them. The third elder looked all around the hall and laughed. After which, he took the lead to walk out of the hall. When he passed by Xiao Yan, he uttered, On account of you having helped the Valley Chief refine the Fire Bodhisattva pill, you will be allowed to choose a Burning Flame Valley Chi method or Dou technique that is not in the top tier category even if you fail the test. That is not necessary. Moreover, Third Elder should wait until after the test before saying such words. Otherwise, you will have difficulty retrieving your face should any unexpected changes occur. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. He ignored Wu Chen, who had become stunned as a result. After which, he turned around and walked out of the hall. Wu Chen finally recovered after he looked at Xiao Yan's back. 
He immediately laughed out loud and said, the young people these days are indeed arrogant. All right, the old me shall see just how you will cause the old me to be unable to retrieve my face. Chapter 1060, Fighting Wu Chen The area outside the hall was a spacious empty tract of land with a great view. At a glance, one sight would extend until the edge of the empty land. There were some lush green woods located on the edge, forming a circular shape that wrapped around the large hall. Xiao Yan stood outside the large hall. His expression was a calm, but the Dou Qi in his body had begun to slowly surge. The feeling of being filled with energy spread across every single corner of his body. Numerous elders from the Burning Flame Valley had swarmed out of the exit of the large hall. The one leading them was naturally Tang Zhen, Tang Hua Air as well as the two elders. Due to this large hall being a place that many Burning Flame Valley's disciples frequented, quite a number of these disciples caught sight of the elders when they had just appeared. From this lineup, all the disciples knew that something had happened even without being told. Hence, numerous private conversations spread in all directions like a wave of water. Within less than 10 minutes, the surroundings of the large hall were densely packed with red figures. Xiao Yin ignored the surroundings that had swiftly become lively. His gaze merely stared at a red-robed elder across from him. This person was Wu Chen. At this moment, Wu Chen's hands were placed behind him. His old face contained a faint smile. The gap between his strength and that of Xiao Yan was like that of the heaven and earth. Although he had heard some rumors related to Xiao Yan, this did not cause him to be overly worried. In front of absolute strength, trickery, and unorthodox tactics would be completely useless. Tang Zhen, who was on the stairs, frowned as he glanced at Wu Chen. After which, his eyes helplessly turned to Xiao Yan as he asked, Are you really certain? Xiao Yan smiled and nodded to Tang Zhen in the face of these words. Wu Chen was indeed very stronger. However, from the current Xiao Yan's perspective, Wu Chen was not as thorough as those prehistoric wild beasts that were unmatched. He had the confidence to last for ten exchanges. What a stubborn fellow. Tang Zhen could only sigh when he saw Xiao Yan nod. The smile on Wu Chen's face increased when he saw that Xiao Yan did not change his mind midway through. He looked at Xiao Yan and spoke with a faint smile, there is no need to say anything else. If you can last for ten exchanges in the hands of the old me, it will be considered your victory. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change will also belong to you. However, if you fail to endure, it will only mean that you do not have any affinity with the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. However, you will still be allowed to choose one of the other high-class Qi methods or Do skills from the Burning Flame Valley. Some of the disciples from the Burning Flame Valley immediately burst into an uproar when they heard Wu Chen's words. Numerous disbelieving eyes looked to Xiao Yan. Although quite a number of people were aware of Xiao Yan's alchemist skill, being a brilliant alchemist did not mean that one was strong. Wu Chen was the third elder of the Burning Flame Valley. There was hardly anyone whose strength was greater than his, yet this young man, who looked to be of similar age as them, was actually thinking of fighting him. There is no need for Elder Wu's reminder. If I fail to endure, the little me will immediately leave and will not have extravagant hopes about other Qi methods or Do skills. Xiao Yan spoke in an indifferent manner. He did not really like this old fellow. Wu Chen did not mind Xiao Yan's tone when he heard this. He smiled and nodded. As long as he could prevent the Skyfire 3 mysterious change from landing in outsiders' hands, it was fine even if his reputation deteriorated. In any case, there must be someone who acts as the bad guy. Otherwise, everyone would think that the top secret technique of their burning flame valley was something that others could just randomly obtain. This was really a little too childish. Wu Chen gently took a step forward. An unusually majestic, fiery red Dou Qi surged out of Wu Chen's body. At this moment, his white hair scattered, and his red robe fluttered. The momentum was extremely shocking. The fiery red Dou Qi was just like a fire cloud that permeated the air. The originally ordinary and calm eyes of Wu Chen also emitted a piercing glow. He looked to Xiao Yan while his voice contained a powerful and frightening tone, Are you ready? Xiao Yan gently took two steps back. Dou Qi began to flow rapidly within his body. His expression also gradually became solemn. Immediately, he beckoned with his right hand and said, Attack! Wu Chen let out a loud laugh when he heard this. Under the influence of the majestic Dou Qi, the laughter sounded just like thunder as it resonated over the sky. Wu Chen took a step forward and his body instantly disappeared. In the eyes of an ordinary Burning Flame Valley disciple, Wu Chen appeared to have disappeared in a strange manner. However, in the eyes of Xiao Yan and those with similar or greater strength, it was possible for them to vaguely see a red figure creating a deafening sonic boom as it suddenly arrived. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. A silver glow swiftly surged under his feet and his body immediately shook. Boom. A fiery red fist appeared in a strange fashion and heavily smashed into Xiao Yan's chest. Immediately, it carried a low, deep sound as it penetrated his chest. After image. He, this should be the 3000 lightning movement from the wind lightning pavilion, right? It is unique. Wu Chen's face did not show the slightest change after his punch proved futile. He let out a cold smile and shattered the afterimage. Flames lingered over both of his hands and these hands gradually became a little larger in the process. Looking from a distance, it appeared just like a pair of warhammers. Xiao Yan flashed and appeared around a couple of dozens of meters to the left of Wu Chen. 
He lowered his head and glanced at his slightly charred, black clothes. A solemnness also flashed across his eyes. Wu Chen was indeed worthy of being the third elder of the Burning Flame Valley. This strength was indeed quite shocking, however, after the earlier attack, Xiao Yan was able to vaguely estimate Wu Chen's speed. It seemed to be inferior to Fei Tian. However, the strength of his attack was much mightier than Fei Tian's attacks. If Xiao Yan was struck by an attack of such a level, he would immediately lose his combat strength. Xiao Yan's body had just appeared when a caution flashed across his heart. He strode to his left in a lightning-like manner. Qi. Xiao Yan's body had just moved when a fiery red, large hand suddenly brushed past the clothes near Xiao Yan's abdomen. The hot dochi contained in the flame caused Xiao Yan's skin to feel a slight pain. Pure Yan Cotton Hand. Before Xiao Yan could swiftly pull back after narrowly dodging this large hand, a low cry suddenly sounded. Immediately, he saw the fiery red hand strangely extend by half its size. The wrist turned and slammed into Xiao Yan's waist. Bang. A low, deep sound appeared and Xiao Yan's body flew back amid the exclamations from the crowd. After which, his feet stepped on empty air, forcing him to roll in the air. After which, he landed with one knee on the ground and abruptly raised his head. A trace of blood was vaguely present on the corner of his mouth. Wu Chen's strange Dou skill had caused him to suffer a great loss. Wu Chen's body also appeared a couple dozen meter away. His fiery red hands were clenched while he looked at Xiao Yan. He faintly said, Pure Yan Cotton Hand, one of the high-class Dou skills of the Burning Flame Valley. If one reaches complete mastery, one would be able to make one's hands extend as one pleases. It will be able to obtain quite a unique effect when fighting with others. You are indeed worthy of being the third elder of the Burning Flame Valley. This tactic is indeed admirable. Xiao Yan rubbed off the trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. The glazed lotus heart flame within his body swiftly surged and swallowed a wild, violent hidden force, which had entered his body, in the most rude, violent method it could manage. After which, he stared at Wu Chen and laughed, again. Wu Chen was startled when he looked at Xiao Yan, who had not fallen as a result of the earlier blow. He immediately knit his eyebrows together. This pure young cotton hand was not only about to catch the opponent off guard, but its attack also carried a wild, violent hidden force made of fire. This force was able to enter the other person's body and cause a great amount of destruction. Even if the other person was able to quickly react and avoid being injured, it would cause the other party to split his focus while being entangled with that hidden force. However, at a glance, why was Xiao Yan completely fine? This fellow really did not get his reputation in the northern region from nothing. Looks like the old me also needs to be a little more serious. Wu Chen's face gradually turned solemn as this thought flashed through his heart. His fiery red, large hand was also became brighter. At the same time, a flame like Dochi slowly surged from under both his feet. The old me also wishes to experience the Wind Lightning Pavilion's 3000 Lightning Movement. I want to see if my Burning Flame Valley Sky Shattering Stone steps are stronger or if their 3000 Lightning Movement is better. Wu Chen laughed. His right foot, covered in flames, suddenly stomped on the ground. Bang. A muffled sound appeared. The tough rock under Wu Chen's foot cracked apart. His body emitted a chi sound as it strangely disappeared. The solemnness on Xiao Yan's face became denser the instant Wu Chen disappeared. A moment later, all the pores on his body opened wide. The 3000 lightning movement was unleashed by him to its limit as a reflexive action, and an afterimage appeared. Qi. The fiery red human figure carried a low, deep sonic boom as it ruthlessly collided with the afterimage like a human-shaped tank. The afterimage instantly collapsed. The fiery red human figure immediately stabilized his body after having missed. A sonic boom erupted in front of him and a crack appeared on the ground. Without waiting for this sonic boom to spread, the fiery red human figure once again violently stomped on the ground. His body was just like a rocket that rose into the air. In an instant, he had appeared in front of Xiao Yan. What swift speed! Xiao Yan's expression changed as he glanced at the red figure, which approached in a flash. The Dou skill which Wu Qin had displayed might not be as agile and flexible as the 3000 lightning movement, but its forward momentum and destructive strength were exceedingly terrifying. A heavy ruler appeared in Xiao Yan's hands while the veins in his arms pounded. He let out a cold cry in his heart, six-joint body flowing ruler, six-joint flame. The first move that Xiao Yan used was the strongest move of the six-joint body flowing ruler. He did not hold anything back because Xiao Yan was clearly aware that a fight with an eight-star Dou zone was one that was extremely arduous. The heavy ruler was accompanied by an incomparable wind as it furiously hacked down. It had just been swung when a red figure appeared. The large hands full of a red glow ruthlessly smashed at the heavy ruler while fiery red Dou Qi surged. Clang. A clear metallic sound reverberated across the sky. Immediately, an intense rippling force spread through the air in a lightning-like manner. After which, the two figures flew backwards in front of the anxious gazes over everyone. Finally, they collided with the towering walls around the large hall. Bang. The wall behind Xiao Yan had been depressed, forming a large hole in the process. Cracks spread out like a spider web. He let out a soft cough before he slowly raised his head and rubbed off the trace of blood on the corner of his mouth. 
The wild, heated expression in his eyes revealed his addiction to battle, causing the hearts of those around to be shaken. This fellow dared to collide with an eight-star expert Dozone. Such courage really caused others to have no choice but to be impressed. Again. Xiao Yan stepped forward. His voice once again resonated over the ground. That wild heat within his voice caused the skin on one's head to feel numb. Chapter 1061, Hidden Skill When the disciples from the Burning Flame Valley in the empty ground saw Xiao Yan rub away the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth, continued to stand as straight as a spear, and emit a sharp aura as he did so, all of them became speechless. None of them had expected Xiao Yan to endure Wu Chen's fierce attack. Five exchanges has passed. On the stairs, Tang Jin exhaled a gentle breath as he slowly announced. At this moment, his eyes also contained a faint surprise when they looked at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan being able to last for five exchanges in Wu Chen's hands without falling had caused him to feel a little surprise. After all, he understood Wu Chen quite well. An eight-star Do Zone was definitely considered a top-tier expert across the Central Plains region. Tang Hua Air by the side also gently nodded. Her eyes contained a curious glint as they stared at Xiao Yan. This young man, who was of similar age to her, seemed to always surprise others. Wu Chen's body also gently drifted down from the sky. His foot violently stomped on the ground as a majestic force surged out. Immediately, the hard stone floor under his foot shattered into a cluster of powder. After gently waving his sleeves, Wu Chen narrowed his eyes, and he looked at Xiao Yan a short distance away. He commented in a faint voice, it is not a bad dough skill, and it is very strong. However, the gap between our strengths is too large. It is likely that even I would not dare to easily receive this strike. Xiao Yan's heart let out a cold laugh in the face of Wu Chen's words. The solemnness on his face became denser. Regardless of how much he disliked Wu Chen, he was an eight-star dozone. zone. If Xiao Yan did not seriously threaten him, it was likely that he would have difficulty enduring for ten exchanges. Moreover, he was unable to use the Skyfire Three mysterious change in this place. Otherwise, it might end up being something that Wu Chen and the others could use against him. At that time, it was likely that whatever he said would be useless. This old fellow's sky-shattering stone steps has an extremely fierce explosive force. However, it is fortunately not as agile as the 3000 lightning movement. There are still five exchanges left. It looks like I must go all out. Xiao Yan's expression became more solemn. A majestic, jade green Dou Qi filled his entire body. This Dou Qi was like a flame as it wrapped around him. Wave after wave of dense heat was repeatedly emitted from the Dou Qi. However, if you only possess these skills, it is likely that you will not be able to endure the remaining five exchanges. Wu Chen smiled. A gloating expression, that was difficult to hide, was present in his eyes. He clenched both of his hands and a fire light lingered over it. His warhammer-like large hands were clenched and the surrounding space formed a slight distortion. Wu Chen's voice had just sounded when his feet once again violently stormed forward. The stone floor under his feet blasted apart. His body emitted a swoosh sound and a deep sonic boom. In the blink of an eye, he appeared in front of Xiao Yan, who was a hundred meters away. The red figure flashed within the dark black eyes of Xiao Yan. His face changed slightly, and the 3000 lightning movement was used in reflex. His body also hurriedly withdrew a couple of steps in the process. RIP A red figure suddenly arrived just as Xiao Yan was pulling back. The figure grabbed onto Xiao Yan's clothes as a fiery red glow swept forth, tearing his clothes and causing a trace of blood to appear. Xiao Yan's body rushed back. His expression was as deep as water while he glanced at the naked hand of Wu Chen. There were five bright red blood traces there. The five blood scars had just appeared when they were covered by a seared black color. Clearly, Xiao Yan was wounded by Wu Chen's pure yang cotton hand. Your reflexes are not bad. However, you will not be so lucky next time. Wu Chen randomly tossed aside the cloth fragment. He glanced at Xiao Yan, who was swiftly withdrawing, and laughed. Xiao Yan's expression was a little gloomy. There was indeed too much of a gap between an 8-star Dozong and a 1-star Dozong. If he had not relied on the effect of the 3000 lightning movement, it was likely that Xiao Yan would have already been injured by Wu Chen. Nevertheless, it was much better when compared with the situation of being only able to flee for his life when he met Fei Tian back then. At the very least, Xiao Yan was still able to retaliate a little even though he appeared a little miserable. If this continues, it is likely that I will really have difficulty enduring without using the angry Buddha Lotus Flame. A glint swiftly flashed through Xiao Yan's eyes while his body swiftly pulled back. This time around, I shall completely end this. Wu Chen's eyes calmly watched Xiao Yan as he swiftly pulled back. Wu Chen's foot was once again lifted before it suddenly descended. Xiao Yan's swiftly withdrawing figure suddenly came to a halt when Wu Chen's foot had just landed. His foot also violently stomped on the ground. The powerful strength shattered the hard stone floor into powder. He swung his sleeves and the powder formed dust as it spread apart, causing one sight to become extremely blur. The dust that spread apart did not cause Wu Chen to pause. He coldly let out a simple trick laugh before his body let out a swish sound as it rushed forward. Wu Chen figure was rushing forward and was just about to charge into the permeating dust when a figure sprang out from within it. After which, a silver glow flickered and it hurriedly fled. You wish to escape. 
Although that figure was extremely fast, it was still immediately discovered by Wu Chen. After a moment of surprise, a cold laugh was emitted. Wu Chen's body suddenly turned and appeared in front of the figure within a breath's time. After which, the large hand that contained a fiery light viciously slammed into Xiao Yan's back. This palm was firmly slammed into the figure. Its vast and mighty force sent Xiao Yan flying. Immediately, that figure fell onto the ground a hundred meters away amid numerous cries of surprise. The hard ground cracked apart and numerous arm-thick cracks appeared. Quite a number of Burning Flame Valley elders had a slight change in their expressions as they stood on the stairs. Tang Hua Air covered her small mouth. She did not expect Xiao Yan to reveal such a large opening to Wu Chen. Xiao Yan's body, which had landed on the ground, staggered up. However, Wu Chen merely frowned. His body moved and appeared beside him. After which, he grabbed Xiao Yan's neck and slowly lifted him up. Immediately, a faint voice was emitted, admit defeat. If the old me wanted to kill you, you would have already lost your life. Xiao Yan's feet landed on the ground after his neck was grabbed by Wu Chen. His pale white face, however, revealed a strange smile as he said in a hoarse voice, nine exchanges. Wu Chen was startled when he heard these words from Xiao Yan. Before he could recover, Xiao Yan, whose neck had been grabbed by him, immediately let out a bang and exploded. After which, he suddenly disappeared. The sudden scene caused most of the people present to feel stunned. Even Wu Chen, who was involved, was startled for a moment. After which, he suddenly reacted to the situation. His eyes immediately landed on the spot covered by dust. At this moment, the dust had gradually become thinner. A vague figure slowly walked out of it. Immediately, that familiar face that wore a smile appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Spiritual Avatar Wu Chen's expression gradually turned gloomy. A moment later, he finally spat out two words from between his teeth. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled when he saw Wu Chen's gloomy face. This old fellow had been tricked by him. That old man had caught the spiritual avatar and had such fun beating it up. Tang Jin slowly nodded on the stairs. His eyes contained some admiration. Xiao Yan was able to use this tactic to divert Wu Chen away. If that spiritual avatar was a little stronger, it was likely that Xiao Yan would have been able to muddle through these ten exchanges. Tang Hua Air by the side also sighed in relief. She immediately curled her mouth and laughed, this Xiao Yan is really cunning. Wu Chen was looking at the smiling Xiao Yan with a gloomy expression within the battleground. A moment later, he inhaled a deep breath of air and said, the old me has indeed underestimated you. However, you need not be so happy. There is still one last exchange. This time around, the old me will definitely not hold back. A ruthless expression flashed across Wu Chen's eyes when his words sounded. Clearly, he had lost a great amount of face from having come close to a loss by Xiao Yan's hands this time around. The bright red glow was just like a flame at this moment as it repeatedly surged out of Wu Chen's body. In the end, even his white hair turned into a fiery red color. Looking from a distance, he appeared just like a fire god descending. He was filled with a frightening might. The expressions of Tang Zhen and the others on the stairs slightly changed when they saw this aura. All of them were aware that this time was going to be the start of a serious fight. However, it was really a little too much of a bully's move to use such a powerful dough skill against someone from the younger generation. This old fellow is really becoming shameless these days. Tang Jin slowly said. The anger within his voice was something that everyone present was aware of. This valley chief of the Burning Flame Valley was indeed furious this time around. The second elder by the side opened his mouth, but could only shut it again in the face of the frightening pressure that spread around Tang Jin. He too did not expect Wu Chen would be forced by Xiao Yan to act like this. Wu Chen did not sense the fury of Tang Jin. At this moment, his heart was similarly filled with anger. He had suffered a loss in Xiao Yan's hands despite his strength. This was something that he had difficulty accepting. Moreover, this had occurred in front of so many people. The surrounding natural energy around Wu Chen had become wild, violent under influence of his majestic, mighty fire Dou Qi. An instant later, numerous arm-sized cracks began to spread under his feet in all directions with his feet being the center. Soon after, his toes suddenly pressed down. Bang. A loud and clear sound appeared. Wu Chen's body transformed into a fiery light that shot out in a lightning-like manner. Within a breath's time, he appeared above Xiao Yan's head. His old face vaguely possessed a savage expression. Dominating Fire Demon Palm The enormous hand was covered by a glaring red glow. After which, it was accompanied by a frightening momentum as it smashed furiously towards Xiao Yan below. Xiao Yan raised his head. His looked at the fiery red color that filled his eyes. A cold smile also slowly rose on his face. He raised his hand and his sleeves fell. After which, a beautiful, three-colored fire lotus appeared in front of everyone's eyes. Tang Jin's expression instantly changed the moment the three-colored fire lotus appeared. Chapter 1062, Succeed The three-colored fire lotus rotated over Xiao Yan's palm. Each time it rotated, the surrounding space would form numerous dark black spatial lines that caused one's heart to feel a chill. The appearance of the fire lotus allowed everyone to clearly sense the natural energy suddenly become fierce and untamed. Moreover, the temperature was also swiftly rising. 
This unusual phenomenon resulted in the expressions of everyone changing. Even Tang Jin revealed a shocked expression in his eyes. That strange three-colored fire lotus seemed to hide a terrifying destructive power. Moreover, this kind of strength was something that he felt somewhat familiar with. This is, the heavenly flame strength. Tang Jin's eyes shrank as he thought within his heart. Among those who experienced a change in their expressions because of the appearance of the fire lotus included the person involved in the battle, Wu Chen. Due to his close proximity, he was the one who had the deepest understanding of the destructive strength contained within the fire lotus. In the face of the exquisite, three-colored fire lotus, the third elder of the burning flame valley finally revealed a look of disbelief for the first time. He would have never imagined that Xiao Yan, a one-star dozone, would be able to unleash this frightening strength, even he was terrified of, even if he had broken his head in the process. How is this possible? A glow swiftly flashed across Wu Chen's eyes. A moment later, he suddenly clenched his teeth and a ruthless expression appeared in his eyes. Although Xiao Yan's fire lotus was frightening, his dominating fire demon palm was also not ordinary. No one knew just who would be defeated in the other party's hands. Wu Chen, this old demon, who had become experienced with age, was not only not shaken by the fire lotus but had instead formed a greater fighting intent at this moment. This was because he clearly understood that he might still win if he advanced, but if he were to withdraw, he would definitely lose. Regardless of whether the ten exchanges had reached, any carelessness on his part would result in him becoming extremely miserable because of this beautiful, three-colored fire lotus. The ruthlessness in Wu Chen's eyes became even more intense while this thought flashed through his heart. The majestic Dou Qi in his body whizzed as the red glow surged on his enormous hand. There was a vague mysterious fire red seal that was vaguely present on his palm. A glaring glow caused quite a number of people around him to hurriedly shut their eyes. Dominating fire demon palm, fire demon encasing world. The aura within Wu Chen's body surged with a loud cry. His hand swelled in a lightning-like manner. In an instant, it had swelled to ten feet in size. Looking from a distance, he appeared just like a lamp that was emitting a strong glow. After this cry sounded, the mysterious red seal in Wu Chen's palm also swelled. The wild, violent energy contained within it also increased. Third Elder has used the strongest fire demon seal in the dominating fire demon palm. Numerous surprised cries sounded from the empty ground as they looked at Wu Chen's hand, which had swelled. No one expected that this test, which would only last for ten exchanges, would end up become this life and death face-off. They were all clearly aware that the current Wu Chen had already used all of his eight star dozone strength. Moreover, the key person who caused this was a young one star dozone. This scene caused quite a number of people to feel ridiculous. The gap between a one star and eight star dozone was not something that an ordinary item could measure. Xiao Yan's expression did not change as the fiery red glow soared above his head. He really disliked Wu Chen. He seemed really intent on not giving him any chances during this ten exchange test. Even if he had to use most of his strength in this last chance, Wu Chen still did not show any signs of hesitation. All of this was to prevent Xiao Yan from successfully obtaining that Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Wu Chen's attacks were all extremely heavy-handed during these couple of exchanges. If Xiao Yan did not possess any skill, it was likely that his fate would not have been good. This was the ultimate reason why Xiao Yan had hardened his heart and used the three-colored fire lotus. Since you do not wish to allow me to have an easy time, I shall make you pay the price for it. A vicious expression flashed across Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. His hands were suddenly swung and the three-colored, exquisite fire lotus suddenly shot out. Wu Chen let out a furious roar the moment the fire lotus shot out, dominating fire demon seal. The roar had just sounded when the mysterious fire red seal glow immediately surged. The symbol fell from Wu Chen's hand at that instant before transforming into a shocking blow. Even space shook because of its frightening strength as it rushed down in a lightning-like manner. The glow and the three-colored lotus floated closer together. In a mere instant, the two collided between Wu Chen and Xiao Yan like meteorites. They contained a terrifying strength in front of a countless number of gazes. The entire place was quiet when the two collided. An innumerable number of expressions on everyone's faces seemed to have stilled at this moment. Bang. This kind of unusual silence lasted for only a breath's time. After which, an energy storm that frightened even an elite dozone instantly brewed at the spot where the two collided. Grug. The energy storm had just appeared when the fast rotating energy tail violently swung into Xiao Yan and Wu Hao's body. Immediately, the two appeared to have received a heavy blow as they spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. Their bodies appeared just like kites with their string cut as they flew backwards. They landed heavily, rubbing and creating a hundred meter long scars on the ground. Only then, did they slowly come to a stop. After the two were sent flying, the frightening energy storm began to increase in intensity. Flame surged within it. Not only did this cause the temperature of this place to rise, but it also stirred the energy, turning it wild and violent. No one dared to randomly absorb this energy into one's body at this moment. The enormous energy storm was over a thousand feet in size. It appeared like a hurricane as it spread across the sky. The fierce, violent pressure that rained down from the storm caused the expressions of those present to involuntarily change. At this moment, the empty space outside of the hall had been completely shattered. Wave after wave of energy strikes continuously spread from the storm. Even some of the enormous trees in the distant forest broke after being implicated by the force. 
All the elders of the burning flame valley in front of the large hall, including the second elder, inhaled a deep breath of cold air. They could sense that if they were to be dragged into the frightening energy storm in the sky, it was likely that they would at least suffer serious injuries even if they did not die. Tang Jin's face was stern. No one had expected things to turn into this state. This was merely just a test, but the things that were created seemed as though one was attempting to destroy the entire burning flame valley. If I do not take care of this mess, it is likely that the burning flame valley will be turned into chaos by this thing. Tang Jin could only slowly sigh after being quiet for a moment. He glanced at the second elder beside him. The second elder quivered because of Tang Jin's glance. His face was immediately covered with a bitter smile. He knew that the matter today had completely angered Tang Jin. However, being an elder, he needed to step forward and take care of these matters. After all, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was not an ordinary thing. Tang Jin ignored the bitter smile on the second elder's face. His foot slowly stepped forward. The space became distorted and his body appeared to have instantly teleported in front of the enormous energy storm in the sky. His finger gently cut through the empty space in front of him and an enormous spatial line appeared. After which, his hands were inserted into the spatial line before suddenly pulling it apart. With this pulling action, a crack, over a hundred feet in size, immediately formed in space. That crack line contained an endless darkness, which caused one to vaguely feel afraid. Tearing space, this soul-stirring ability was likely something that only an ultimate expert at the Dozoon class was able to perform. Go. Tang Jin's hands faced the enormous energy storm from a great distance. He suddenly clenched them. After which, the quickly rotating energy storm gradually came to a stop. Finally, it was violently pushed before being tossed into the dark black crack line. The energy storm had just been thrown into the spatial line when it swiftly mended. In an instant, it completely vanished. That frightening energy storm that raged over the place disappeared with it. The many surrounding disciples from the burning flame valley finally sighed in relief after seeing the frightening thing disappear. They immediately wiped the cold sweat off their faces. If Tang Jin had not intervened today, it was likely that this place would be turned into ruins. Tang Jin exhaled after having finished off the energy storm. He returned his somewhat trembling hands under his sleeves. He had a clear understanding of the dominating fire demon palm. It was impossible for it to create such a frightening energy storm. In that case, it seemed that the storm this time around was triggered by the mysterious fire lotus. This Xiao Yan is indeed not an ordinary person. He is able to get the heavenly flame to unleash such might. My burning flame valley has controlled the nine dragon lightning flame for many years, but we are unable to reach such a stage. This boy is really extraordinary. Tang Jin sighed quietly in his heart. He involuntarily cherished such talent. However, on second thought, Xiao Yan likely already possessed a teacher in order for him to reach such a level. Immediately, disappointment flashed through his eyes. Tang Jin's eyes swept under him as he stood in the sky. After which, they paused on the spot where Xiao Yan and Wu Chen had landed. At this moment, the both of them struggled for a moment before climbing to their feet with much difficulty. They looked at each other from a distance. There was some provocation in their gazes. The ten exchanges are over. Wu Chen, you have lost. Tang Jin slowly descended from the sky and spoke in a faint voice. The miserable-looking Wu Chen was startled when he heard Tang Jin's voice. Immediately, he grit his teeth unwillingly. He did not expect that he would lose to a younger generation, a result that was completely unexpected. Although he was not satisfied, his heart involuntarily formed a chill when he recalled the frightening energy storm from earlier. If he had been swept into it, it was likely that he would, at the very least, end up seriously injured. Xiao Yan wiped the trace of blood off of the corner of his mouth. His expression vaguely contained a paleness. However, there was an even greater heat to it. Back then, the three-colored fire lotus was unable to do anything to an eight-star dozone. Now, however, it was already strong enough to do some damage. In other words, he had another method to deal with an expert of this level in the future. Tang Jin's eyes slid to Xiao Yan. He smiled slightly and his voice had become a little friendlier. Since Wu Chen has already lost, according to the rules, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change should belong to you, congratulations. Chapter 1063, Inheriting the Secret Technique Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart after hearing Tang Jin's words. A joy that was difficult to hide surfaced on his face. He cupped his hands to him and solemnly said, Thank you Valley Chief Tang. Tang Jin waved his hand and replied, You have relied on your own ability. The old me has provided very little help this time around. The ten exchange test this time around was something that Xiao Yan had relied on his own abilities to pass. Honestly, he had provided very little help. Valley Chief Tang is too courteous. If not for you, it is likely that this test would not have even existed. Xiao Yan grinned. He had quite a good impression of Tang Jin. This person possessed an unfathomable strength, but he did not carry the aloofness that an elite Dozun possessed. He could be considered much more approachable compared to Lei Zunjia from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Tang Jin smiled, but did not argue with Xiao Yan on this topic. He turned his head and looked to the second elder in front of the hall. With an indifferent voice, he asked, Second elder, Xiao Yan can be considered to have successfully passed this test. Do you have anything else you wish to say regarding this? 
The second elder let out a bitter laugh after hearing this. He immediately sighed and nodded. Since Xiao Yan has passed the test according to the agreement, the old me will naturally no longer say anything. We will listen to Valley Chief decision. Tang Jin's face became a little warmer after seeing that the second elder did not say anything else. His eyes looked once around him as he commanded, everyone should disperse. The many burning flame valley's disciples around hurriedly acknowledged him after hearing Tang Jin speak. After which, they withdrew the strange gazes that were being shot onto Xiao Yan's body. All of them slowly left while chatting with one another. Numerous exclamations were vaguely transmitted over from a great distance when they did so. Clearly, Xiao Yan's performance today had given them a great shock. Wu Jin stood in the messy empty ground. His expression was a little volatile. A moment later, he could only swing his sleeves unwillingly, give Xiao Yan a vicious stare, and cease being involved in this matter. Tang Jin's eyes landed on Xiao Yan after seeing that there was no objection. He smiled and said, follow me. He turned around and led the way into the deep regions of the valley after instructing him. Tang Hua Air quickly followed. Behind them, Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before hurriedly catching up. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change is a top-tier secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. Hence, it is usually stored in the Dou Technique Hall within the valley. Tang Hua Air and Xiao Yan followed behind Tang Zhen. She informed Xiao Yan with a smile as they walked. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded to Tang Hua Air. He, Xiao Yan, just what Dou Technique class does the Fire Lotus that you used earlier belong to? Why is it that its strength is so terrifying? Tang Hua Air was a little impatient after seeing that Xiao Yan did not wish to say more. She dawdled for a moment before finally inquiring. Tang Jin, who was walking in front, also listened in when Tang Hua Air's question was asked. Xiao Yan smiled. He casually replied, that fire lotus is something that I created using the heavenly flame. Therefore, it is quite strong. However, this thing is too exhausting to use. The angry Buddha lotus flame was Xiao Yan's trump card. Back then, he had relied on his hot-blooded head and some luck to create this angry Buddha lotus flame. After so many years of perfection, the strength of the angry Buddha lotus flame had undoubtedly become more impressive. Moreover, the effects that it achieved were things that no other Dou technique Xiao Yan practiced could match. Hence, Xiao Yan did not wish to reveal too much about it to an outsider. Even though he had a good impression about Tang Hua Air and Tang Zhen, the matter of the angry Buddha Lotus Flame had too many implications. Therefore, it was impossible for him to easily reveal it to another. Tang Hua Air might be a little dissatisfied with Xiao Yan's reply, but she was not a fool. Immediately, she ceased asking more questions. After letting out a lovely laughter, she changed the conversation topic. Xiao Yan chatted with Tang Hua Air during the journey. The rock fragment path had shortened as they talked. Xiao Yan raised his head when he sensed Tang Jin in front suddenly come to a stop. At this moment, there was a building in the lush green forest at the end of this rock fragment path. There were three large words vaguely visible on the building, Dou Technique Hall. This place is our Burning Flame Valley Dou Technique Hall. Usually, people are forbidden from entering it. Tang Hua Air explained to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan slightly tilted his head. His eyes swept over the forest around without anyone noticing. He could vaguely sense that this place possessed a concealed aura. Clearly, they should be the guards of the Dou Technique Hall. Follow me. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change is a top-tier secret technique of my Burning Flame Valley. Therefore, only at this place will one obtain the most perfect inheritance. Tang Jin waved his hand at Xiao Yan. After which, he walked into that enormous hall. Xiao Yan quickly followed. Three figures leaped down from the top of the building when Xiao Yan's group stopped in front of the Dou Technique Hall. After which, they turned into three red-robed elders who bowed to Tang Jin. Elders, please open the Dou Technique Hall. Tang Jin waved his hand and faintly requested them. The three elders, who were covered by a majestic aura, swept their gazes over Xiao Yan when they heard this. After which, their hands formed numerous mysterious seals at the same time. Many fiery red glows rushed out of their hands and shot onto the tightly shut door. The surface of the large door immediately formed tons of intense ripples after the red glows landed on it. Only then did the large hall emit a creaking sound as it slowly opened. Tang Jin took the lead and strode in after seeing the door opened. Xiao Yan and Tang Hua Air quickly followed. The surroundings became a lot dimmer after they entered the hall. Row after row of neatly arranged, tall shelves entered their eyes. The wooden shelves were filled with many scrolls of various colors. However, Tang Jin did not remain for long in this place. Instead, he walked up the stairs. This hall had a total of three floors. Xiao Yan's group climbed to the third story before they came to a stop. The third story of the Dou Technique Hall was not very large in size. At a glance, it appeared quite empty. The four corners of this floor were covered in a dense glow. The space outside these glows was distorted. Clearly, all the things in this place had an additional special protection added to them. Do not randomly touch the things here. Otherwise, there will be some trouble. Tang Jin reminded Xiao Yan before walking to the middle of this level. There was a red glow lingering there. Tang Jin's ten fingers swiftly pressed on the glow and it gradually disappeared. Finally, it revealed a head-sized red-colored crystal ball. The crystal ball was suspended in midair. It was completely red in color. 
At a glance, one could see that the crystal was filled with a countless number of mysterious seals which gave it an extremely mysterious appearance. This is my Burning Flame Valley's inheritance crystal. Not only is the complete training method of the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame within it but also some improvements and experiences of the Burning Flame Valley's chief over the generations. Tang Jin spoke with a faint smile. A heated expression immediately surged into Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this. This had exceeded his expectations. He originally thought that Tang Jin would only give him a complete Skyfire 3 mysterious change scroll. However, he did not expect Tang Jin to allow him to receive this kind of inheritance of the secret technique. Thus, not only would he be able to swiftly comprehend the completed version of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, but he would also possess the experience of the predecessors of the Burning Flame Valley over the generations. In the future, he might even be able to rely on his ability to make this Skyfire 3 mysterious change even stronger. Thank you very much. Xiao Yan inhaled a breath of air, cupped his hands to Tang Zhen, and spoke in a solemn manner. You have saved Hua Air's life. This can be considered a little reward from the old me. After all, the old me only has this one daughter. Tang Jin waved his hand as he said, All right, place your soul into it and you will be able to obtain the most complete Skyfire 3 mysterious change inheritance. However, this place is a forbidden ground of my burning flame valley. Hence, the old me will remain guard here. Xiao Yan did not have any objections. The Do Technique Hall was an extremely important place for any faction. Tang Jin had already done him a great favor by allowing him to enter this place. Xiao Yan slowly walked forward. He let out a gentle breath and gently placed both of his hands on the fiery red crystal ball. After which, he gradually shut his eyes. His spiritual strength surged from him and was inserted into the crystal ball. The spiritual strength had just entered the crystal ball when Xiao Yan's body suddenly trembled. A rumbling explosion was emitted within his head. An enormous amount of information continuously surged into Xiao Yan's head like a tide. This information was so large that Xiao Yan felt his head become a little dazzled despite his ability. However, Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut, did not notice the extremely bright crimson color that was being emitted from the crystal ball the moment his spiritual strength entered it. The intensity of the glow caused the entire Do Technique Hall to vaguely radiate a fiery red glow. Tang Jin and Tang Hua Er, who were beside Xiao Yan, became stunned because of this change. A moment later, they faced one another and inhaled a breath of cool air. This so-called inheritance crystal ball also possessed a kind of testing effect when transferring the secret technique. A person with extremely great talent for practicing the secret technique would be able to cause the crystal ball to emit a glow. Back then, Tang Hua Er had also caused this change. However, when compared to the glow that Xiao Yan had created, it was just like the difference between a firefly and a bright moon. No wonder. Tang Hua Er was stunned for a moment before she suddenly muttered. She had just recalled Xiao Yan telling her that he felt that the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was extremely suitable for him. Back then, she had thought that he had randomly spouted those words. However, looking at it now, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change did appear like it was tailor-made for him. The surprised look in Tang Jin's eyes also gradually disappeared. A regretful expression replaced it. Ugh, if this person was a disciple of my Burning Flame Valley, it is likely that my Burning Flame Valley would have produced another shocking individual like the Burning Flame Ancestor back then. Chapter 1064, Xiao Xian Burning Flame Ancestor Tang Hua Air by the side was slightly startled when she heard Tang Jin muttering to himself. After which, she asked with some uncertainty. Tang Jin smiled at Tang Hua Air's uncertainty. He glanced at Xiao Yan, who had sunk deep into the inheritance world of the Crystal Ball. After which, he placed both of his hands behind him and looked to the ceiling of the hall. A respectful expression was revealed in his eyes. Burning Flame Ancestor is the founder of our Burning Flame Valley. However, due to the great amount of time that has passed, many people have forgotten about this peak expert who once shook the entire continent. Tang Hua Air involuntarily clicked her tongue when she heard this. It was also the first time that she had heard of this so-called Burning Flame Ancestor. It seemed that the gap in time was indeed a large one. Is the Burning Flame Ancestor very strong? Tang Hua Air asked somewhat curiously. She seemed to be extremely interested in this legendary figure. He's more than strong, according to what I know, there are five ultimate experts in the Dochi continent during that era. These five people represented the peak strength of the Dochi continent. The Burning Flame Ancestor was one of them. The five of them possessed mysterious and great power. It is rumored that they were just one step away from the legendary Dochi class. Tang Jin slowly said. His voice contained an admiration for the experts during that era. Dochi. A shocked expression appeared on Tang Hua Air's pretty face. This title did not require any decoration. It alone possessed an endless amount of pressure, causing everyone to turn into tiny ants in the face of this term. Who are the four remaining ultimate experts? Tang Jin revealed a pondering expression. A long while later, he finally replied, due to it being a long time ago, I am unable to clearly remember the exact names of the four others. However, I am aware that the three among them belongs to three other great factions, the Gu Clan, Hall of Souls, and Pill Tower. All of them are currently the true peak level factions. Tang Hua Air's face was surprised. Immediately, she asked in a strange manner, what about the other person? Which faction is he from? Could it be the Flower Sect or the Profound Sky Sect? 
Tang Jin slowly shook his head. There was also some uncertainty between his brows as he replied, this person does not seem to belong to any top factions in the Central Plains today. However, I still have a clear memory of his name because, according to the records in the ancestral books, this expert and the Burning Flame ancestor had quite a good relationship. It is rumored that this Skyfire 3 mysterious change had been created by him. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change was created by that expert. Tang Hua Air's small mouth immediately widened in shock when she heard this. Her face was filled with surprise. Clearly, she seemed to be in a state of disbelief. The ancestral books record it like this. Due to it being too long ago, it is difficult to determine if it is true or false. Tang Jin nodded as he replied. What is the name of this mysterious and ultimate expert? Tang Hua Air became more curious as she hurriedly asked. Tang Jin fondled his beard. He thought for a moment before he said somewhat uncertainly, he seems to be called Xiao. Xiao Xian. Ugh, it has been many years since I read those ancestral books. I cannot remember his name too clearly. During that era, the Burning Flame Valley was not weaker than those peak factions like the Hall of Souls. Unfortunately, no one like the ancestor has appeared in the Burning Flame Valley after that. Hence, its reputation has become far inferior to those factions like the Hall of Souls. Tang Jin sighed when he finished speaking. Xiao Xian. Tang Hua Air muttered the words in her mouth. Suddenly, she quietly glanced at Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut by the side. She smiled and said, Xiao Yan's surname is also Xiao. Could he be related to this elder Xiao Xian? Tang Jin was startled when he heard this. He immediately burst out laughing, there are as many people in this world who have the surname Xiao as there are hairs on a cow. Based on what you say, would it not mean that all these people are related to this elder Xiao? Tang Hua Air stuck out her tongue. She had only randomly spoke. Naturally, she would not be so serious. However, aren't you overestimating Xiao Yan by comparing him with that burning flame ancestor of our burning flame valley? Although Tang Hua Air had quite a good impression of Xiao Yan, her heart still felt that there was too much of a gap between Xiao Yan and the expert from that era. Kuku, you should not underestimate him. I have the feeling that this Xiao Yan is not a simple person. I have nothing but praise for that heavenly flame fire lotus of his, moreover, he is only around 20 or so, yet he possesses many achievements in terms of alchemy and dochi. Such a talent is something that even you are far inferior to. Tang Jin's eyes turned to Xiao Yan, who had his eyes shut. The regret in his eyes once again surged as he sighed. Tang Hua Air stuck up her small mouth. Although she was a little dissatisfied, the truth was indeed as she had witnessed. Hence, she could only mutter under her own breath. If this was before Xiao Yan had exchanged blows with Wu Chen, she would have confidently fought with him. However, after seeing that fire lotus, she had completely lost this intention because she knew that she would definitely die in the face of that fire lotus. Such a talented young person is not someone from my burning flame valley. How can it not cause one to feel regretful? Tang Jin let out a long sigh and ceased saying anything. He waved his sleeves and blew the dust on the ground away. After which, he sat down cross-legged and planned to wait on this spot until Xiao Yan awoke. Tang Hua Air could only sit down and accompany him when she saw him. A day had passed after the two of them had sat down. Xiao Yan's body remained as still as a statue throughout the day without making the slightest movement. If his breathing hadn't remained consistent, it was likely that even Tang Jin would have thought that some accident had occurred during the inheritance. The fiery red crystal ball was continuously emitting a bright red glow in the spacious hall, lighting up the hall until it appeared like it was daytime within. Xiao Yan still maintained with both his hands extended beside the crystal ball. However, his skin also appeared to release a vague red glow at this moment, causing it to appear extremely mysterious. Why is he still not done? Back then, my inheritance only lasted an hour. Tang Hua Air supported her cheeks with her hands while looking at the unmoving Xiao Yan. Finally, she could not resist opening her mouth to ask. Back then, you were lazy and did not absorb all of the experiences and improvements of the ancestors within the crystal ball, yet Xiao Yan has chosen to absorb all of them. Tang Jin faintly explained. Once I have digested all the experience that I have absorbed, I will still be able to continue absorbing. Tang Hua Air extended her tongue and laughed. Ugh, I really don't know what to do with you. Your talent is also extremely great. If you were a little more serious, the position of the Valley Chief of the Burning Flame Valley will definitely belong to you in the future. Moreover, with sufficient strength, even those old fellows whom you dislike will not be able to nag you. Tang Jin shook his head and helplessly teased. I I. Tang Hua Air hurriedly nodded, seemingly afraid that Tang Jin would continue his nagging. Chi. Tang Jin was even more helpless when he saw this. He shook his head before his expression suddenly changed. He turned to the crystal ball and saw the red glow swiftly disappear. Now, Xiao Yan's body was covered in a red glow. A moment later, both of his eyes trembled and were slowly opened. Is he awake? Tang Jin hurriedly stood up, smiled, and asked when he saw Xiao Yan open his eyes. Xiao Yan's body remained still in the same spot. It seemed as though he was organizing the large amount of information within his head. This continued for a moment before his entire body shivered. A life force surged into his dull eyes. His gaze slid to Tang Jin as he grinned and nodded. 
Immediately, he cupped his hands together and respectfully said, Valley Chief Tang, thank you for your generous gift. Xiao Yan was clearly aware that he benefited by accepting such an inheritance. Moreover, his relationship with Tang Zhen was not considered a very good one. However, the things that Tang Zhen had done for him were indeed worthy of this formal thanks. Tang Zhen merely waved his hands randomly in the face of Xiao Yan's thanks. He smiled and said, The complete training method of the Skyfire Three Mysterious Flame should be completely in your head, right? Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. A thought passed through his mind and a mysterious training method immediately surfaced within it. This was the complete version of the Skyfire Three Mysterious Change. It included not only the first change but the second and third change training methods. I have finally obtained it. Xiao Yan's heart was also exceptionally excited. With this Skyfire 3 mysterious change, his fighting strength would swiftly rise. The Skyfire 3 mysterious change might be able to allow you to raise your fighting strength significantly for a short period of time. However, the energy that you obtain will be exceptionally wild and violent. You should be careful when controlling it. Tang Jin reminded. Xiao Yan nodded. This was something that he was already aware of. After all, he had practiced the first change of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change for many years. He was already able to control the energy it created very well. Since you have already obtained the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, let's leave the hall first. Tang Jin smiled. After which, he led the way down the hall. Xiao Yan and Tang Hua'er followed close behind. Xiao Yan's mood was joyful as he left the Dou Qi Hall and felt the fresh air blowing on him. Valley Chief Tang, I have already disturbed you for quite a number of days. Today, Xiao Yan shall leave. If there is anything you need help with in the future, you can come and look for me. Since the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was already in his hands, there was naturally no longer any reason to remain in the Burning Flame Valley. Therefore, Xiao Yan immediately cupped his hands together and spoke. Are you leaving? Tang Jin had the intention of getting Xiao Yan to stay, but when he heard this, he could only sigh in the end. He nodded and said, I think that you should have some important business. The old me shall not insist, but you must remember not to leak the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Kuku, Valley Chief Tang, please rest assured that Xiao Yan is not someone who does not understand the situation. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He naturally understood such rules. Tang Jin smiled. After which, he patted Xiao Yan's shoulder and said, If you have time in the future, you can come to my Burning Flame Valley as a guest. As long as I, Tang Jin, am still the Valley Chief of the Burning Flame Valley, you, Xiao Yan, will be a VIP in my Burning Flame Valley. Xiao Yan let out a smile in the face of Tang Jin's good intention. The two cupped their hands to each other. After which, their figures rose into the air, and they swiftly flew toward the exit of the Burning Flame Valley. Chapter 1065, News About Little Fairy Doctor Xiao Yan did not pause for long after leaving the Burning Flame Valley. Instead, he rushed in the direction of Tianhuang City. While he was traveling, he savored the complete training method for the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change was a peak-level secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. However, the uniqueness of this secret technique also made it difficult for one to judge its class. After all, in the hands of some people, this secret technique was completely useless. However, in the hands of some experts, who possessed many types of powerful flames, the might that it could unleash would definitely be comparable to other D-class high-level secret technique. Luckily, Xiao Yan belonged to the second category. Being in possession of the Green Lotus Core Flame, Falling Heart Flame, and even the Bone Chilling Flame, he was coincidentally able to unleash the Skyfire 3 mysterious change to its peak. It was just as Tang Hua Air had said. This kind of secret technique seemed to have been tailor-made for Xiao Yan. The simultaneous eruption of the three types of Heavenly Flame would definitely provide a terrifying increase in strength. Xiao Yan estimated that if he were to completely unleash it, it was likely that he would truly be able to fight head-on with even old demons in Fei Tian and Wuchen class. He would no longer need to end up so miserable after having just endured for ten exchanges in their hands. However, the energy that is created each time the Skyfire 3 mysterious change erupts is extremely wild and violent. This is even more so when all three changes are used. There is no telling what degree this wild, violent energy will reach. Even with the strength of my current body, it is likely going to be a little difficult for me to endure. An expression of deep thought flashed across Xiao Yan's face. After all, the flames inside his body were not ordinary. Instead, they were heavenly flames, the strongest of all flames. A Skyfire 3 mysterious change that relied on three types of heavenly flames as a foundation was likely something that no one, even in the Burning Flame Valley, had ever achieved. After all, even if they possessed the ability to find three types of heavenly flames, who would dare to place three types of heavenly flames within one's body at the same time without a mysterious qi method like the Flame Mantra? It looks like even if I completely master the completed version of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, I should not use it easily. Otherwise, it will be quite harmful to my body. Xiao Yan softly sighed. Everything was full of advantages and disadvantages. These words were indeed true. Nevertheless, he was currently in possession of another trump card. When he fought with others in the future, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change would greatly shock everyone. Xiao Yan gradually pulled his mind back when he thought of this. His eyes looked into the distance. 
He could see the vague outline of a city located in the distance. I wonder how Lu Qing information gathering has proceeded in relation to the little fairy doctor. Her woeful poison body is indeed quite troublesome. After all, the reputation of this kind of poison body isn't very good, hopefully nothing has gone wrong. Xiao Yan softly muttered to himself. After which, he increased his speed, transforming into a ray of light that flashed through the sky and rushed to the distant city. Xiao Yan's figure rushed into Tian Huang city through the sky before landing in the deserted western side of the city. He identified the direction of the Lu clan before walking over. It was ten minutes later when Xiao Yan arrived outside the manor of the Lu clan. Before he could say anything after appearing, the couple of guards outside of the Lu clan manor's door hurriedly stepped forward. They inquired in an extremely respectful manner, Are you Mr. Yan Xiao? This scene caused Xiao Yan to be startled. Of course, he was unaware that there was currently an uproar in Tian Huang city because of his name. Everyone knew that the Lu clan had a young alchemist who had reached the seventh tier. Although Xiao Yan felt a little surprise in his heart, he still smiled and nodded. The respectful expression in the eyes of those few guards became even denser when they saw him nod. Their leader hurriedly got someone to go in and inform Lu Qin while he personally led Xiao Yan into the manor. Not long after he had entered the manor, Xiao Yan saw Lu Qin, Lin Yan, and some others hurrying over from the other end of the path. You have finally returned. I thought that something had happened to you in the burning flame valley. Lu Qin hurriedly stepped forward. He finally sighed in relief after seeing that nothing was wrong with Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled and said, I'm fine. It is just that I spent some time helping the Burning Flame Valley refine a medicinal pill. It is good that you are fine. However, recently my Lu clan has become much more lively because of you. Lu Qing spoke with a grin. Why? Currently, many factions are aware that my Lu clan has a tier 7 alchemist. Therefore, they have come with the intention of bettering relations and trying to establish a relationship with you, a young alchemist grandmaster. TSK TSK, an alchemist is really the most popular occupation. Lin Yen smacked his lips and spoke with an envious face. There are indeed quite a number who have arrived. Among them include some powerful factions. All of them want to see if you will become their honorary elder. There is no need for this honorary elder, I do not intend to stay anywhere and help people refine medicinal pills for a lifetime. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. Yes, I knew that you wouldn't like it. Therefore, I found an excuse to reject them. If this matter is not done properly, it will cause others to bear a grudge. Lu Qing nodded as he replied. Xiao Yan smiled. After which, he directed the conversation to the main topic, do you have any news about the matter that I informed you of last time? Lu Qing's expression had become much more serious when he heard these words. He led Xiao Yan and the others to a stone pavilion. Only after everyone was seated did he speak in a solemn manner, yes, I have some news. Xiao Yan's attention was braced a little when he heard this. That Xian Lan whom you have mentioned should be a member of the Yi clan in the Pill region. Moreover, her full name should be called Yi Xian Lan. Lu Qing said. Yi clan. Xiao Yan muttered. His finger gently knocked against the stone table as he said, What is the strength of this Yi clan like? Quite strong. At the very least, it is far from what my Lu clan can compare with. Of course, being able to enter the elder seat of the Pill Tower is not something that an ordinary faction could achieve. Lu Qing said, The Pill region is filled with all sorts of people. Many powerful factions on the continent possess a branch at that place. However, on the whole, there are five large clans related to the Pill Tower. The Yi clan is one of them. However, the current Yi clan is already declining. It has ended up as the weakest of the five large clans. Two years ago, they even lost an elder seat in the Pill Tower. If this continues, it is likely that they will remain the weakest of the five large clans and will sooner or later be replaced by other factions. Xiao Yan slightly tilted his head in acknowledgement. No wonder the Yi clan would send Xian Lan to the Jiangnan Academy. Their situation had already reached such a stage. What requirements must one meet to enter the Pill Tower Elder Seats? Xiao Yan inquired. Since he had promised to help Xian Lan, he would naturally need to pay more attention to this aspect. Breaking his promise was something he did not wish to do. I am not too certain about this. However, the conditions should be quite harsh. After all, that is the Pill Tower. Moreover, one must possess quite a great amount of contacts within the Pill Tower in order to enter it. Lu Qing laughed bitterly as he spoke. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. This matter was not really urgent and could be slowly discussed. Immediately, he changed the topic and asked, Do you have news related to the little fairy doctor? Lu Qing hesitated for a moment after hearing this. Finally, he replied, Does the little fairy doctor you mentioned possess the rumored woeful poison body? Xiao Yan's heart tightened when he heard these words. He nodded and asked in a deep voice, What happened? I have dispatched quite a number of people to inquire about the news in the pill region. Currently, the matter that was spreading wildly at the place is related to this little fairy doctor because she is in possession of the legendary Woeful Poison Body. A strange constitution like the Woeful Poison Body, whose name causes one feel fear, has appeared in the Central Plains before. Without exception, they cause great disasters. Originally, everyone thought that this kind of poison constitution had already been exterminated. 
Unexpectedly, it has appeared again. There was a fear between Lu Qin's eyebrows when he mentioned the woeful poison body. Where is she now? Xiao Yan softly asked. Perhaps it was because of the little fairy doctor's wretched background in her poison constitution, but Xiao Yan felt a special worry for her. Moreover, she had been following beside him during all these years. Regardless of what kind of danger he faced, she would not abandon him. She had already treated Xiao Yan as a good friend whom she could trust without reserve in her heart. Xiao Yan similarly understood all this. Hence, he had been thinking of ways to help her escape the pain of the woeful poison body. Xiao Yan would definitely intervene now that something had happened to her. I am also not certain about her exact location. However, there are quite a number of factions within the Pill region who are searching for her because they are all aware of what kind of a frightening thing this woeful poison body could create. Lu Qing understood a little as he looked at Xiao Yan's expression. Immediately, he mused for a moment before continuing, among these factions, the people from the Ice River Valley are the ones searching the most. Ice River Valley. Xiao Yan's expression changed when he heard this. That's right, based on what I know, this Ice River Valley has always been exceptionally interested in these special constitutions. They are perhaps searching for the little fairy doctor because they are interested in the woeful poison body. Lu Qing solemnly explained. Moreover, according to the information that has been acquired, the little fairy doctor has exchanged blows with the Ice River Valley's experts some time ago. Although she ended up fleeing successfully, she has also been badly injured. Otherwise, she would not have disappeared for such a long time. Lin Yan by the side spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. His expression also gradually became gloomy. It was unexpected that such a thing had happened during this period of time they were apart. Ice River Valley Xiao Yan tightly clenched his hands. A dark and ruthless killing intent flashed through his eyes. If anything happened to the little fairy doctor, he would get this Ice River Valley to pay the price with blood. Chapter 1066, Hurrying to the Middle Region From Xiao Yan's gloomy expression, Lu Qin could guess that the little fairy doctor likely had a complicated relationship with him. Xiao Yan, what do you plan to do? The Ice River Valley's strength is not inferior to the Burning Flame Valley. There are as many experts in there as the clouds. They are extremely difficult to deal with. Lin Yan seemed to have also sensed the killing intent in Xiao Yan's heart. His expression became much more solemn as he wondered aloud. I will make a trip to the Pill Region. Xian Lan has been with the Little Fairy Doctor. She might perhaps be aware of some news. As for all of you, it is best for you to remain in Tianhuang City. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before speaking. Let me go with you. I am a little familiar with the Pill Region. Lin Yan hurriedly said. Xiao Yan shook his head and rejected Lin Yan's good intention. He did not expect the woeful poison body to cause such a big commotion within the Central Plains region. If he wanted to help the little fairy doctor, some enmity would be unavoidable. It would not benefit Lin Yan to follow beside him. You should just wait at Lu Qin's place. There is not much you can help with regarding this matter. Xiao Yan patted Lin Yan's shoulder as he suggested. Lin Yan might be unwilling, but he could only nod his head after a brief moment of hesitation when he saw Xiao Yan's serious expression. He was also aware that with his Dou Huang class strength, it was impossible for him to be of much help to Xiao Yan. He might even end up burdening. Hence, he did not continue to insist. Since you have your own plans, I shall not dissuade you. I will send someone to pay attention to the middle region. If I really obtain news about the little fairy doctor, I will think of a way to pass it to you. Lu Qing found it difficult to comment on anything when he saw that Xiao Yan had already made up his mind. He took out a map from his storage ring and handed it to Xiao Yan. This is a map of the middle region. The Yi clan is in Yi city. You can head there if you wish to find Yi Xi and Lan. Xiao Yan did not reject this offer. He nodded and received the map. This thing would allow him to avoid losing his way in the middle region. When are you preparing to leave? Lu Qing asked after seeing Xiao Yan accept the map. Now. Xiao Yan replied with a deep voice. Currently, he was unaware of whether the little fairy doctor was dead or alive. He was really not in the mood to stay in this place for long. He needed to find Xi and Lan as soon as possible and obtain news related to the little fairy doctor from her. Lu Qing widened his mouth when he heard this. He could only smile bitterly and nod, all right, I will immediately get someone to arrange the wormhole for you. He beckoned with his hand after saying this and called a guard over. After Lu Qing softly issued some instructions, the guard swiftly withdrew. Remember, you should try to be careful in the middle region. That place is a complicated one filled with all sorts of people. There are many troublesome experts there. If you meet with any trouble, you can come to Tianhuang City. Even though my Lu clan isn't very strong, we will also try our best to protect you. Lu Qing looked at the guard who had ran out before turning his head. He solemnly informed Xiao Yan. Upon hearing these words, a smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's gloomy face. He nodded slightly even though he was aware that it was impossible for such a situation to occur. Should he really end up with a trouble that he could not resolve, it was likely that he would only bring trouble to the Lu clan by heading to this Tianhuang city. Other than that, there would not be any use. The wormhole was slowly rotating in the large square in the center of the Tianhuang city. Wave after wave of shocking spatial ripples was being emitted from within. 
Xiao Yan received a palm-sized silver-colored boat from Lu Qin's hands in front of the wormhole. After which, he cupped his hands to him and said with a smile, After I resolve these issues, I will return to Tianhuang City if I have the time. There is still a five days journey from here to the middle region. Lu Qin smiled. After which he patted Xiao Yan's shoulders and said, Take care, additionally, do not shame the Jianan Academy. You should know that you are the most outstanding student from the Inner Academy in many years. Relax, no matter what, I will not cause it to lose its reputation. Xiao Yan laughed. He cupped his hands to Lu Qin and Lin Yan in a solemn manner. Take care. After saying those words, Xiao Yan ceased delaying any longer. He turned around and walked into the wormhole. His back appeared exceptionally free and easy. Lin Yan and Lu Qin sighed as they watched Xiao Yan's back gradually disappear into the wormhole. They faced each other and bitterly laughed. The both of them were aware that Xiao Yan's trip would likely end up stirring a commotion within the middle region. This fellow, no matter how we try to catch up, he is always in front of us. Ugh, meeting such a monster is really a great blow to our confidence. Xiao Yan was seated cross-legged at the front of the space boat within the wormhole. The boat was emitting a bright silver glow. His expression was exceptionally solemn. He had a hunch that this trip to the middle region would likely not be a relaxing one. The commotion that the woeful poison body had stirred in the central plains had somewhat exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations. Moreover, there were those people who wanted to benefit from the mess among them. One example was the so-called Ice River Valley. Xiao Yan was aware that a special constitution would attract the attention of certain people. This was similar to Qin Lin in the Jiama Empire back then, the little girl who possessed the triple jade green snake flower pupils, which even astonished Yao Lao. However, it was also because of this that she ended up attracting the claws of the M.O. clan. Qin Lin The girl from back then who always timidly followed behind him and called him young master involuntarily surfaced in Xiao Yan's mind when he thought of her. He wondered how she was at this moment. However, according to what Yao Lao had said, staying at the Sky Serpent Mansion was better than anywhere else for her. It was likely that after these years, the timid girl from back then had become a great beauty. However, I still need to find the little fairy doctor now. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his drifting emotions and exhaled a deep breath. He was about to face a cruel situation. Forget about the people who wanted to capture the little fairy doctor. Among all the factions who wanted to destroy her before the woeful poison body erupted, just the Ice River Valley alone would require Xiao Yan to pay full attention. By being able to be one of the three valleys alongside the Burning Flame Valley and the Sound Valley, the Ice River Valley was likely even stronger than the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Hence, if Xiao Yan did not adequately prepare, it was likely that he would really meet his end in this middle region. Once I reach the middle region, I will need to think of ways to quickly gather the necessary medicinal ingredients to help Tian Wuzunja refine a body as soon as possible. At that time, with the help of a Dozun, I will have some additional confidence when facing a faction like the Ice River Valley. Moreover, the rate I gather those beast flames should also be increased a little. Otherwise, the current life-transforming flame I have created can only allow me to use the exterminating fire lotus once. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly flickered. The situation he was facing this time around was likely the grimmest one he had ever faced. Hence, he needed to put in all his effort. I should also begin to practice the remaining two changes of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change during these couple of days. Although I am pressed for time, it is fortunate that I have obtained the inheritance. Otherwise, even if it's me, it would be extremely difficult to obtain an initial mastery of it within such a short period of time. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath. His expression had gradually turned cold and stern. After which, he shut his eyes. A mysterious training method once again appeared in his mind. The sudden unexpected change in situation had caused Xiao Yan to completely sense the importance of strength. The Ice River Valley in front of him was just like an enormous being that he had difficulty surpassing. With his current strength, it would not be easy for Xiao Yan to shake this faction. Hence, he needed to do all he could to strengthen his trump cards and his own strength. Time flowed by within the wormhole like the sand between one's fingers. During these couple of days, Xiao Yan's mind had completely sank into the training method of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. This secret technique was quite difficult to practice. However, Xiao Yan had already practiced it for many years and already understood it very well. Additionally, he had also received the inheritance and experiences of the Burning Flame Valley's ancestors, allowing him to jump past a couple of detours during his training journey. Under these excellent conditions, Xiao Yan's progress in practicing the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was exceptionally quick. Five days passed by in the blink of an eye amid this kind of training. When Xiao Yan opened his eyes and woke up from his training, he was coincidentally able to see the distant, silver-colored circle. There was a dense spatial ripple spreading from it. Am I about to reach? Xiao Yan's fist suddenly tightened as he looked at the silver-colored light circle. A dense coldness surged into his dark black eyes. Xiao Yan suppressed a sigh within his heart as he suddenly stood up. The jade-green colored glow that flowed around his body slowly returned into his body. The space boat was just like a silver-colored ray of light that flew through the tunnel in a lightning-like manner. Within a couple of blinks, it approached the spot where the light circle was located. When the intense space ripple had come to a stop, the body of the boat was swiftly jolted. Xiao Yan was unconcerned with these kinds of bumps. His expression was calm as he controlled the space boat. With a swoosh sound, it rushed forward. 
The silver-colored light circle was within close proximity within a couple of blinks. The silver-colored glow grew brighter in Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. His fists gradually tightened as a cold glint flashed within his eyes. The space boat transformed into a silver glow. With a swoosh sound, it charged through the silver-colored circle and disappeared. Middle region, I, Xiao Yan, have arrived. Chapter 1067, E City The exit was a spacious stone platform. The platform was completely built from snow-white rocks. The most shocking thing was that this stone platform was nearly a hundred meters tall. Ten enormous rock pillars supported it to such a height. The rock pillars supporting the stone platform were just like pillars supporting the sky. They appeared towering and spectacular when looking from a distance. The space above this stone stage was very much different from other places. It appeared exceptionally messy. The large space was greatly distorted with some dark black cracks vaguely spreading out of it. Silver light would shoot out of this distorted space. Quite a number of people would be thrown out of the space each time the silver light appeared. After which, they would land on the stone platform below. This place was a wormhole transit point. Another silver glow flashed in that distorted space. A skinny figure appeared from within. Immediately, his feet pressed onto the air as he slowly landed on the stone platform. This human figure, who had been spat out of the distorted space, was naturally Xiao Yan, who had hurried over from Tianhuang City. After landing on the ground, he let out a sigh, and swept his gaze around. Surprise involuntarily surfaced in his eyes when he saw this towering stone platform. Is this the middle region? It is indeed worthy of being the middle of the Dochi continent. Just this wormhole transit point is already so grand. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the lively stone platform. He discovered quite a number of figures wearing alchemist robes and was quietly speechless. This place was indeed the pill region, these rarely seen alchemists in other areas were actually quite common in this place. Recent news in the middle region. The Ice River Valley is offering a sky-high price. Anyone who found the woeful poison lady or provide information about her whereabouts will be able to bag the sky-high reward of the Ice River Valley. A cry suddenly sounded on the stone platform while Xiao Yan was quietly sighing. This caused Xiao Yan's expression to slightly change. He immediately turned his head and his eyes followed the direction the voice originated from. He could see a skinny man holding a stack of papers. After which, he pasted these papers onto some stone pillars on the stone platform. Quite a number of curious onlookers were gathering around this person. Clearly, they were a little interested in the woeful poison lady mentioned by this person. Xiao Yan's expression was a little gloomy. The so-called woeful poison lady should likely be referring to the little fairy doctor. It was just unexpected, the Ice River Valley spent so much effort in order to search for traces of her. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly flickered. He slowly walked toward the small skinny man and curled his hand. A suction force surged out and sucked the paper out of the skinny man's hand. He glanced over it and saw the head of a lady drawn on it. Although the imagine looked blurry, Xiao Yan could tell that the drawing on the paper was the little fairy doctor. He he, this young brother is new to the pill region, right? This woman has the legendary woeful poison body. She has stirred a great commotion within the central plain some time earlier. Quite a number of factions have joined hands to hunt for her. However, she has managed to escape. The skinny man laughed in a flattering manner to Xiao Yan. His strength might not make it, but he possessed a sharp eyesight. At one glance, he could tell that this young man in front of him was not someone that he could afford to offend. Xiao Yan tightened the hand he used to hold the piece of paper. His gaze turned to the man in front of him as he faintly asked, it is rumored that the Ice River Valley has exchanged blows with her recently. Xiao Yan randomly tossed him a bag of gold coins. The skinny little man's face was filled with joy when he received the money bag. The flattery on his face became even more intense as he hurriedly said, This sir is correct. Half a month ago, the Ice River Valley found the woeful poison lady. The battle was quite a miserable one. The Ice River Valley has dispatched Bing Yuan and Bing Fu, these two elders. The two of them possessed quite a great reputation within the middle region. Their strength is around six stars or so. Xiao Yan's eyelids twitched. His voice also slowly became lower, what happened in the end? The Ice River Valley has dispatched quite a number of experts. However, that woeful poison lady is also not an ordinary person. She was able to kill quite a number of people when the Ice River Valley surrounded her. Moreover, she even managed to successfully escape from elders Bing Yuan and Bing Fu. However, according to the information obtained, the woeful poison lady suffered the two elders have an eyes mysterious palm despite having fled from the encirclement. Currently, she is seriously injured. It is due to this that the Ice River Valley has searched all over for her. They have put forward a sky-high reward. Anyone who provides some useful information will be able to obtain the reward. That skinny, little man spoke with a smile. The chill in Xiao Yan's lowered eyelids became even more intense. He slowly said, where was the place the Ice River Valley encircled the woeful poison lady back then? The fallen god stream in the north. However, that place has basically been surrounded by the people from the Ice River Valley. They suspect that the woeful poison lady did not flee very far. However, they did not manage to obtain any news despite having searched for such a long time. That man honestly replied. Is the Ice River Valley the only one attempting to capture the woeful poison lady? 
Originally, quite a number of factions wanted to act. However, quite a number of people from the Ice River Valley were subsequently killed by the Woeful Poison Lady. Therefore, they ended up saying that they will definitely capture the Woeful Poison Lady. The other factions no longer dared to intervene as a result, hence, the Ice River Valley is the only faction in the Middle Region which continues to chase after the Woeful Poison Lady. Xiao Yan's expression was indifferent as he nodded. The paper in his hand emitted a puff sound and transformed into a cluster of ashes that drifted down. He also suddenly turned around and walked away from the stone platform. Xiao Yan took out the map that Lu Qin had given him after he walking to the edge of the stone platform. He carefully studied it, identified the direction, and turned his eyes to the north. He softly muttered to himself, regardless of whether it is the Yi City or the Fallen God Stream, the both of them are located in this direction. However, Yi City is closer. I should be able to reach it within a day's time. It seems that I must increase my speed. Based on what the person said earlier, the little fairy doctor's condition is not very good. A killing intent surged in Xiao Yan's heart when he thought of this. With the little fairy doctor's strength, she could at the very most fight with a six-star dozone even if she undid the woeful poison body's seal. She would definitely be no match for the other party if they had two dozones. This Ice River Valley seemed to have used all their tactics in order to capture the little fairy doctor. Ice River Valley, if anything happens to her, the little me shall be an irreconcilable enemy with you. Killing intent surged within Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. His feet suddenly stomped on the ground and his body rushed into the sky. Immediately, it transformed into a colorful glow that rushed to the northern sky in a lightning-like manner. Yi City was not very far from Xiao Yan's position. It was merely a day or so journey. However, Xiao Yan did pause for a while when he found some cities along the way because he needed to gather beast flames. It must be said that the Pill region was worthy of being the middle of the Central Plains region or even the Dou Chi continent. Things were much easier to find in this place compared with other locations. Of course, the precondition was one needed sufficient money or something the other party was interested in. Xiao Yan had stopped at over at five cities along the way. His acquisition was unexpectedly plentiful. He had obtained twelve beast flames and had also found quite a number of ingredients that he needed to refine a body. This rewarding experience caused Xiao Yan's gloomy expression to become a little more relaxed. Xiao Yan also made full use of his time during his journey to refine all of the beast flames he had obtained, with the exception of a unique one that he kept for other uses, into his body. After which, he gradually merged them into the life-transforming flame, fire seed, allowing the fire seed to swiftly expand. By the time Xiao Yan had merged the last beast flame into the fire seed, an enormous deep green city vaguely appeared in the distant horizon. This city was situated on a flat plain. The surroundings of the city were filled with a lush, green forest. Numerous wide roads extended out of the forest and stretched into the horizon. I have arrived. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he saw the city that stood within the forest. A thought immediately passed through his mind and his speed was suddenly increased. The overlord of Yi City was the Yi clan, which had once been prominent within the Pill region. Of course, the current Yi clan no longer possessed the glory it did back then. Even though this was the case, a camel, which was about to die from being skinny, was larger than a horse. There were still no other factions within the Yi City who dared provoke the authority of the Yi clan. Being the overlord of the city, the Yi clan was situated right in the middle of the city. All the land within a thousand meters was the manor of the Yi clan. Normally, an ordinary person was not allowed into it. The defenses of this place were also exceptionally tight. Of course, this was only the case for an ordinary expert. I will definitely not marry that as asterisk 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 chow dan. At this moment, an argument had occurred within the meeting room of the E clan. A lady in blue clothes was furiously crying out. Her exquisite, pretty face was filled with fury at this moment. Nonsense. A green clothed, old man within the meeting room expression sank as he said, it is not like you are unaware of just what kind of situation the E clan is in. The Chow clan is also one of the five great clans. They are a perfect match for our Yi clan. Moreover, Chow Dan is a rare alchemist genius in the Chow clan. By marrying him, you will not only prevent the danger of the Yi clan from being eliminated from the five great clans, but you would have also found a good family to marry into. Even if I were to really marry Chow Dan, do you think that we can resolve this crisis? The Chow clan is filled with wild ambition. They have long desired to swallow our Yi clan. By doing this, you are merely delivering yourselves to be eaten. The blue clothed lady furiously retorted. Her words caused the green-clothed, old man to become dull. He immediately spoke in a deep voice, if this cannot work, then why don't you tell me what we should do? Don't tell me that you plan to rely on that whatever genius from the Jianan Academy that you speak of to come and rescue us. You have really overestimated that person. The danger that our E-Clan faces is not something that some random cat and dog can remove. Moreover, you have already spoken of that person for such a long time, but when will we see him? I think that he has already long since disappeared. Where would he get the guts to come and meddle in such a matter? The blue-clothed lady was dull for a moment after hearing this. For a moment, she was unable to find any words to refute him. Some random cat and dog is also not interested in helping you resolve whatever crisis. While the blue-clothed lady was speechless, a cold and indifferent voice suddenly resounded over the large hall. The familiar voice lingered over the ears of the blue-clothed lady. 
She was initially startled before she turned around with a face filled with joy. An involuntarily joyful cry was emitted when she saw the young figure that had slowly appeared at the entrance of the hall, Big Brother Xiao Yan. Chapter 1068, E-Clan A ghost-like figure slowly appeared at the entrance of the large hall while a pair of indifferent gaze swept over everyone within. After which, those eyes paused on the blue-clothed lady. His expression slightly warmed while his voice continued to contain a gloominess, Xi Long, why has this happened? The blue-clothed lady was clearly Xi Long, who had led Xiao Yan's group to the Central Plains. She appeared to have understood Xiao Yan's meaning when he said these words. Her pretty face dimmed as she softly uttered, I'm sorry. Xiao Yan gradually became a lot calmer after seeing the downcast appearance of Xi Long. She was not very strong. Moreover, it seemed that the Yi clan was currently not in a very good state. Even if Xi Long could convince them to aid the little fairy doctor, it was likely that they would not possess the ability to do so. Who are you? You actually dare to randomly barge into my Yi clan. Xi Lan's voice had just sounded when the expression of an old man in the large hall sank. He stood up and angrily cried at Xiao Yan. There were some other elders within the Yi clan beside him. They were also looking at Xiao Yan with similarly furious eyes. Some of the somewhat younger generation possessed a gloating expression in their eyes. Although the Yi clan was currently declining, it was not in a state where anyone could come and provoke them. Moreover, this person was actually a young fellow who was of similar age to them. Xiao Yan glanced at this old man. He was merely a one-star dozone. Moreover, from the looks of the seat he occupied, his position within the Yi clan should be quite high. However, Xiao Yan completely ignored him. The only one in the large hall who was able to catch Xiao Yan's attention was the green-clothed, old man who was seated on the leader's seat. Looking at the majestic aura that surrounded him, it was likely that this person was a six-star dozone. Follow me, lead me to her. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at Xi Lan as he spoke with a cold voice. Xi Lan clenched her silver teeth when she heard this. After which, she nodded vigorously. She had led the little fairy doctor and Xiao Yan to the central plains, but did not provide them with protection. Instead, she was powerless to do anything when the little fairy doctor fell into a dangerous situation. You impudent young man. That old man who had cried out furiously earlier had an even angrier expression when he was completely ignored by Xiao Yan. His hand slammed violently onto the surface of the table. One could hear a bang and the hard table was shattered into powder. He immediately waved his sleeves and the chair behind him carried a wild and violent force as it shot towards Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was completely expressionless. When the wooden chair had entered within a 10 feet radius, one could hear a muffled puff sound. Without any forewarning, it turned into dark black ashes that scattered down. There was surprise on the faces of quite a number of people present when they saw this scene. Clearly, they did not expect this young fellow to possess such skill. So you actually possess some skill. No wonder you dare to act so presumptuously in my clan. However, the old me shall teach you, this younger generation, what it means to respect your elders. That old man narrowed his eyes when he saw the wooden chair being incinerated in a strange manner. He let out a cold laugh. The fury in his eyes soared as his foot stepped on the ground. After which, his body rushed towards Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. A wave of strange green flame surged out from his shriveled hands. Fourth Elder, stop. Xi Lan hurriedly cried out. A paleness was revealed on her pretty face when she saw this old man attacking as he pleased. However, that fourth elder completely ignored her voice. His character was a little hot-tempered. The situation that the clan was facing also caused him to be irritated. Now, a young fellow, who had appeared from nowhere, dared to jump over him. How could he not be furious? Big Brother Xiao Yan, leave quickly. Xi Lan hurriedly turned to Xiao Yan and cried out when she saw that the fourth elder did not pause. The Yi clan might not be in a good situation now but they were still able to produce two to three elite dozones. If they really wished to capture Xiao Yan, it was likely that he would have difficulty fleeing given his strength. Xiao Yan also ignored Xi Lan's cry. His eyes looked at the old man who was heading over with a heated wind. A chill flashed across his dark black eyes. Right now, his mood was also extremely bad because he was worried about the little fairy doctor's condition. This old fellow had really knocked onto his desire to hurt. Brat, once I have captured you, I will deliver you to your elders and get them to teach you properly. The fourth elder's figure flashed and appeared in front of Xiao Yan while many gazes, that were intending to watch a show, watched. His fist was clenched tightly and green-colored, fierce flames appeared. After which, his fist was ruthlessly swung forward. This punch did not possess any fanciful moves. However, its majestic force caused a low, deep sonic boom to appear. The fire fist was swiftly magnified in those dark black eyes. At the same time, Xiao Yan raised his hand gently and slowly spread it apart. Bang. The fist from the fourth elder of the Yi clan, that contained a green-colored flame, smashed against Xiao Yan's palm in front of all the eyes within the large hall. However, before any cheers could be emitted, everyone's faces became stiff as they discovered that the skinny, weak-looking, young man did not move at all. Moreover, the cluster of green-colored flames on the fist of the fourth elder seemed to have met something frightening when it made contact with Xiao Yan's palm. It was extinguished in front of numerous stunned eyes. The entire large hall had turned silent at this moment. 
The members of the clan, who were gloating earlier, looked at each other. Their eyes contained some disbelief. Although the fourth elder was not the strongest in the clan, he was at the very least an elite do zone. Even in the clan, there was hardly anyone who could receive this powerful attack of his. If it is about teaching a lesson, you are really not qualified to do so. Xiao Yan slightly raised his eyes. His gaze was indifferent as he looked at the old man in front of him, whose expression had drastically changed. The corner of his mouth was lifted into an icy cold smile. His palm spun a little and abruptly shook. Bang. A frightening wild, violent strength surged out of Xiao Yan's arm like a torrent when his hand shook. After which, it was transmitted into the body of the clan's fourth elder. Grug. The hidden force that contained the heavenly flame trickily destroyed all of the fourth elder's defenses. His face instantly paled. His body seemed to have suffered a heavy blow as he flew backwards and heavily collided into a large pillar in the hall. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out in front of everyone's shocked eyes. The originally quiet, large hall had become dead silent when they looked at fourth elder, who had collapsed after spitting out blood. Even Xian Lan involuntarily covered her small mouth with her hand. Her face was stunned. In the past, she knew that Xiao Yan possessed the ability to fight with an elite dozone. However, at that time, he was unable to merely use a palm to strike an elite dozone until he spat out blood. It has only been less than a year, yet he is already this strong. Xian Lan's eyes stared at Xiao Yan's indifferent face. A fervent expression appeared in her eyes. It is not without reason that the clan has declined until such a state. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his hands. He glanced at the fourth elder, who had fallen onto the ground, before looking around the hall. After which, he shook his head and turned his eyes to Xian Lan, let's go. Stop. Two furious cries sounded the moment Xiao Yan's voice sounded. Immediately, two old men stood up. These two people were also elite dozones. Their strengths were a little stronger than the person earlier. Their strengths should be around that of a three-star dozone or so. The two people who had stood up this time around were not as reckless as that fourth elder. Instead, they furiously looked at Xiao Yan. They moved their bodies and blocked the exit. This young friend, this is our Yi clan. Putting aside your barging into this place, you have currently injured an elder of our clan. This matter cannot be justified, right? Although our Yi clan is currently in decline, it will not accept being bullied by others in such a manner. That green-clothed, old man in the leader's seat, who had not spoken since Xiao Yan had appeared slowly opened his mouth and spoke in a deep voice at this moment. The faces of everyone present became a little joyful when they saw this green-clothed, old man open his mouth. Being the pillar of the current Yi clan, he still possessed quite a great reputation within the pill region despite the Yi clan's decline. I am not the first who attacked. Moreover, I still have something to do. Xian Lan must leave with me now. I currently don't have the time to accompany you in pursuing whatever matter. Xiao Yan's eyes turned to the green-clothed, old man in the leader's seat as he furiously replied. What an arrogant brat. The expressions of the two Yi clan elders, who had blocked Xiao Yan's path, sank when these words sounded. They immediately cried out. The expression of the green-clothed, old man was a little ugly. He said, Xian Lan is a member of my Yi clan. She is not someone whom you can just bring away as you please. First elder, big brother Xiao Yan is the one whom I mentioned before. With his help, the Yi clan will definitely be able to enter the pill tower elder's seat once again. Xian Lan appeared to be unwilling to see the relationship between the Yi clan and Xiao Yan deteriorate too much as she hurriedly cried out. The green-clothed, old man was a little startled when he heard Xian Lan's words. He immediately frowned a little as he looked at Xiao Yan. Disappointment appeared on his face. Such a young age, how could he be the savior of the Yi clan as Xian Lan had mentioned? There is no need to say anything more. I have my own opinion regarding this matter. The green-clothed, old man faintly spoke. He immediately looked at Xiao Yan and said, This young friend, if you are really the helper that Xian Lan has invited, please temporarily stay in the Yi clan and allow us to play our role as a host. These words might be put beautifully, but their intention was to hold Xiao Yan back. A cold smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. His gaze stared at the green-clothed, old man as he said, I am not interested in helping your Yi clan. If not for Xian Lan, I would not even want to come to this place. Moreover, I have something to settle now and do not have time to waste with you. Xian Lan must leave with me now. A fury surfaced in the eyes of the green-clothed, old man when he saw that Xiao Yan was not willing to give in. He slowly took a step forward. In that case, allow the old me to try and see if you have the ability and the qualifications to do so. Chapter 1069, Whereabouts A gloomy expression flashed across Xiao Yan's face when he saw the green-clothed, old man stand up. Leave quickly. Xian Lan's expression also changed as she hurriedly turned to Xiao Yan and commanded. The two elders who had blocked Xiao Yan's path of retreat seemed to have heard her words. Do Qi slowly surged from their bodies. A cold smile was present on their faces. If you are really Xian Lan's friend, please remain in the Yi clan for a while. We might still be able to have a proper discussion. The green-clothed, old man's eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan while he spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan was expressionless. 
The current him was only concerned about the little fairy doctor situation. Where would he find the time to bother about whatever he clan? Follow me. Xiao Yan's gaze turned to Xian Lan as he spoke. After which, he turned around and walked toward the exit of the hall. The two Yi clan's elders, who were blocking the door, were completely ignored by him. This action of Xiao Yan caused Xian Lan to be a little startled. She looked at his back and knew that if she did not follow him herself, it was likely that Xiao Yan would no longer bother about the promise he had given her. A struggle flashed across Xian Lan's face when she thought of this. She suddenly clenched her silver teeth, turned around and followed close behind Xiao Yan. Insolence A fury immediately surged into the faces of the two Yi clan elders blocking the exit when they saw Xiao Yan's arrogance. They let out a cold cry and the both of them attacked in unison. Their hands contained a surging force as they grabbed at Xiao Yan's shoulders in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan's expression did not change in the face of an attack by two three-star dozones. He flicked his finger and a silver glow flashed. A silver-colored figure immediately appeared. Clang. The two elders' sharp eagle claw-like hands rushed over in a lightning-like fashion. After which, they heavily collided with the silver-colored figure. A metallic sound as well as sparks were emitted when both parties made contact. This contact caused the expressions of the two elders to drastically change. Before they could pull back, however, a pair of silver-colored metallic arms penetrated the silver glow while revealing afterimages. They ruthlessly landed on the respective chests of these two with such a fast speed that they could not react. Grug. The silver-colored metallic fists did not carry any majestic dou chi. However, it unleashed shocking damage when the fists landed on the bodies of the two elders. The both of them flew back like kites with broken strings. Finally, they were forced out of the hall. Two mouthfuls of fresh blood were spat out soon after. The interior of the hall was once again in complete silence as everyone looked at the two elders, who were suddenly sent flying from the large hall. Quite a number of people quietly swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Numerous shock eyes paused on the silver glow beside Xiao Yan. Following the gradual disappearance of the silver glow, a silver-colored figure was slowly revealed. This is the last time. Next time, I will not show any mercy. Xiao Yan's back faced the people from the Yi clan. His voice contained some ice-cold killing intent. The repeated hindrances had gradually exhausted his patience. The gloomy expression of the green-clothed, old man at the leader's seat slowly became solemn. His eyes stared intently at the completely still silver-colored human figure beside Xiao Yan. He sensed a dangerous feeling from its body. Currently, the Earth Demon Puppet had undoubtedly been greatly strengthened after absorbing the pale lightning at the Burning Flame Valley. According to Xiao Yan's guess, it should be able to fight head-on against a seven-star dozone. This first elder of the E-Clan was merely a six-star dozone. It was impossible for him to be a match for the Earth Demon Puppet. This is, a puppet. The green-clothed, old man's eyes paused on the Earth Demon Puppet for a moment. Finally, he appeared to have discovered something. His eyes narrowed while he slowly spoke, looking at Xiao Yan with surprise as he did so. Xiao Yan did not reply. He waved his sleeves and once again stored the Earth Demon Puppet into his storage ring. He demanded, can I bring Xian Lan with me now? The green-clothed, old man tightly frowned. His gaze was focused on Xiao Yan. This mysterious, young man had not only reached the Dozone class at such a young age, but he was also in possession of a puppet with a mind-boggling strength. It seemed that his background was quite impressive. No wonder Xian Lan would always be confident when speaking about him. The old Mi Zhong, the first elder of the Yi clan. Is this young friend named Xiao Yan? The gloominess in the green-clothed, old man's face was slowly withdrawn as he cupped his hands to Xiao Yan. The strength that Xiao Yan had displayed was sufficient to shake the current Yi clan. Hence, his tone was clearly much more polite than it was earlier. Xiao Yan nodded but did not wish to remain for long. He raised his leg and walked out of the hall. Xian Lan behind him hesitated for a moment before turning her head to Yi Zhong. She said, First Elder, I will return once Big Brother Xiao Yan settles his issues. Xian Lan hurriedly followed Xiao Yan after replying to him. Yi Zhong widened his mouth when he saw the situation. However, he could only let out a sigh. He ceased saying anything and allowed the two of them to leave. First Elder the fourth elder, who had been defeated by Xiao Yan with one palm, climbed to his feet at this moment and looked at Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong waved his hand and sighed, forget it, let them leave. This Xiao Yan might indeed not be an ordinary person. The Yi clan might really have to rely on him this time around. How can it be? He might be very strong, but this little strength is far from sufficient from allowing our Yi clan to enter the Pill Tower Elder's seat, isn't putting our hope on a person whose background we are unfamiliar with a little. That fourth elder hesitated for a moment before speaking. We have no choice. Currently, quite a number of strong factions are setting their sights on our E-Clan. If we do not adopt any measures, it is likely that the E-Clan will really be finished. Yi Zhong shook his head and helplessly uttered. Now, let's hope that this young man called Xiao Yan is really as capable as Xian Lan described. Moreover, it is likely that the matter today has given him a bad impression of our E-Clan. Ugh, this is also a matter that gives me a headache. Xiao Yan grabbed Xian Lan's arm after having led her out of the E-Clan. He flew out of the city. A moment later, he finally stopped on a mountain top outside of the city. 
You should be aware of the matter regarding the little fairy doctor, right? Xiao Yan immediately asked in a deep voice after having landed on the mountaintop. Xian Lan slightly nodded. The back of her teeth bit her lower red lip as she softly said, Back then, little fairy doctor Jie Jie, Zian, and I successfully exited the wormhole. After which, we spent a couple of months to reach the pill region. Once we arrived in the pill region, an immoral faction called the Yuxian Gate set their eyes on little fairy doctor Jie Jie due to her beauty. In her anger, she killed everyone in that faction. However, Yuxian Gate's chief is also an elite dozone. Although he ended up dying to little fairy doctor Jie Jie's hands, she had also suffered some injuries. Coincidentally, it had resulted in the weakening of the seal and the woeful poison body erupted. Finally, she was discovered by someone. The woeful poison body is a representation of disaster in the pill region because there have been a number of disasters that have been created as a result of the woeful poison body erupting, therefore, the news of the woeful poison body had just spread when many factions attacked her. The Ice River Valley is the most active one. However, their intention is not to destroy the woeful poison body. Instead, they wish to obtain this special body because the Ice River Valley loves to collect different kinds of unique bodies. After which, they will use a special method to transfer the soul of an expert within the valley into the body. Thus, they will be able to obtain some of the ability in her body. Xiao Yan's expression gradually became dark and solemn when he heard Xian Lan's words. This Ice River Valley was indeed not something good. Some time earlier, the place the little fairy doctor had been hiding was discovered by the Ice River Valley. After which, she exchanged blows with the other party's experts and suffered a serious injury, Big Brother Xiao Yan. Xian Lan is useless. I cannot even be of any help. Xian Lan's eyes also turned red when she spoke until this point. She had blamed herself over her helplessness. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He waved his hand and said. This is not your fault, you should know where the little fairy doctor is currently at, right? Yes, I have received the information that little fairy doctor Jie Jie has sent to me. However, that place is currently surrounded by the experts from the Ice River Valley. I am unable to even enter. Xian Lan nodded and said. Where is it? Fallen God Stream. It is indeed that place. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and spoke in a low voice. Although little fairy Dr. Jie Jie has fled the encirclement of the Ice River Valley, she has suffered a serious injury and doesn't dare reveal herself. However, the Fallen God Stream has already been surrounded by the Ice River Valley. The terrain there might be complicated but it is only a matter of time before she is found. Xian Lan softly said, Big Brother Xiao Yan, what do you plan to do now? What else can I do? Xiao Yan stood up. His eyes looked to the north as a dense, cold glint flashed across them. Head to the Fallen God Stream. In that case, I shall lead the way for you. I know how to find little fairy Dr. Jie Jie once I enter the Fallen God Stream. Xian Lan clenched her teeth and informed him. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. Immediately, he seemed to have recalled something and asked, That's right, where is Zi Yan? Has she been following beside little fairy doctor? Zi Yan. Xian Lan was startled when she heard this. She immediately let out a bitter laugh, she has been missing not long after we arrived in the pill region. Missing. Xiao Yan's expression immediately changed. She cannot be described as missing either. She left a message for us saying that she suddenly sent something and wanted to return home. Return home. Xiao Yan tightly knit his brows. Zi Yan's identity had always been a mystery. However, Xiao Yan could vaguely guess that her identity was definitely extremely strong. He wondered just where her so-called home was. Ugh, hopefully that girl is fine. Now, we can only wait until the little fairy doctor's problems are settled before finding her. Xiao Yan sighed. He once again grabbed Xian Lan and moved his body, rushing to the northern sky as he did so. He needed to find the little fairy doctor as soon as possible. Chapter 1070, Falling God Stream The Fallen God Stream was located in the northern part of the Pill region. The terrain of this place was complicated with the land appearing as though it had been hacked at by a humongous axe, forming numerous crack lines in the process. Each crack was over tens of thousands of feet long. Moreover, these mountain streams were also unfathomably deep. There was a poison fog that permeated it. Countless numbers of lethal poisonous creatures were present. The environment was extremely terrible. It could be considered a dangerous place in the Pill region. Under normal circumstances, there was seldom anyone who would come to this Fallen God stream with the exception of those with special requirements. However, due to the matter of the Woeful Poison Lady, this originally desolate Fallen God stream had swiftly become lively. The people in the Central Plains had quite a deep memory of the Woeful Poison body. In the past, some people who had possessed the Woeful Poison body had appeared. However, all of these people ended up causing a disaster in the Central Plains without exception. Wherever the poison body passed, life would cease to exist, everything would become silent. These short few phrases already describe just how terrifying the woeful poison body was when it erupted. Perhaps the creation of that kind of disaster was not the original intent of those who possessed the woeful poison body. However, when the woeful poison body erupted, it would bite the owner and take control of the body, turning it into a moving poison fog machine. In the face of such potent poison, even some elite dozones would end up with quite a miserable fate if they inhaled too much of it into their bodies. 
Back then, each woeful poison body eruption would cause the central plains to lose a large number of elite dozones. This had repeated itself a couple of times, causing the terrible reputation of the woeful poison body to be deeply imprinted into the hearts of everyone in the central plains. It was also because of the fear of this woeful poison body that many factions acted the moment they heard a woeful poison body had appeared. They wanted to destroy this woeful poison body before it could completely erupt. The Ice River Valley was the strongest among these factions. Although quite a number of people knew that they wanted to obtain the woeful poison body, no one stopped them due to the great strength that they possessed. Moreover, after the little fairy doctor had killed quite a number of people from the Ice River Valley, the grudge between both parties worsened. This Ice River Valley told the outside world that they wanted to kill her. However, if she were to really land in their hands, it was likely that outsiders would have difficulty knowing just what they would do. Nevertheless, this pill region, that had been calm for a long time, had turned into an uproar because of this woeful poison body. Currently, innumerable numbers of people had surged to the Fallen God Valley with the intention of finding the woeful poison lady within it. Most of these people were attracted by the sky-high price of the Ice River Valley. Of course, there were also some of them who had thoughts of destroying the woeful poison body. Regardless of what kind of thoughts these people had, the current Fallen God Valley had undoubtedly turned into a lively place in the Pill region. The Fallen God stream was not very far from E-City. With Xiao Yan's speed, he only spent a day or so before reaching this lively area despite bringing Xi and Lan along. Xiao Yan and Xi and Lan slowly landed on a towering mountaintop. His gaze looked into the distance. There was a spacious plain covered with rock fragments in front of him. Countless numbers of dark black lines were present in the plains. These cracks were just like savage mouths of demons that had surfaced from beneath the ground. After which, they were extended into the distance. This kind of distant black color caused one's heart to feel cold. The plains were filled with some extremely large rock fragments. These enormous rocks were just like a rock mountain. Their bodies were dark in color and some black fog lingered over the sky all year long. This poison fog rose from between the mountain streams had covered the entire sky above the plains after accumulating for many years. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his eyes that he had shot into the distance. He looked at the plains right in front of him. There were densely packed human figures there. Moreover, these human figures were continuously forming groups as they advanced into the Fallen God stream. Clearly, they were intending on looking for traces of the little fairy doctor. Is this the Fallen God stream, it is indeed dangerous. However, someone with the little fairy doctor's special constitution is like a fish finding water in this place. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze, nodded, and judged the situation. Xian Lan also nodded. She immediately said, Big Brother Xiao Yan, the sky of the Fallen God stream is covered with poison fog. Therefore, we cannot fly in. We can only enter from the Fallen God stream below. It is the only path into the Fallen God stream. However, there are experts from the Ice River Valley guarding at that spot. They are continuously observing the activity within the Fallen God stream. Xiao Yan inclined his chin. He asked, what kind of strength do the experts dispatched by the Ice River Valley possess? Based on the information that I have obtained, the ones leading the search this time around are two elders from the Ice River Valley, Bing Yuan and Bing Fu. They were the ones who had exchanged blows with little fairy Dr. Jie Jie. However, I think that there should be other experts besides the two of them. I guess that there are at least four elite dozones. Xian Lan mused for a moment before saying. Four dozones, huh? Xiao Yan nodded. It seemed that the Ice River Valley did not deploy an ultimate dozone class expert. However, it made sense if he thought about it. With the current strength of the Little Fairy Doctor, these Ice River Valley's elders were sufficient to capture her. Can you find the location of the Little Fairy Doctor after we enter the Fallen God stream? Xiao Yan asked. Yes. Xian Lan nodded. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he heard this. He said, in that case, let's enter the Fallen God stream and find the Little Fairy Doctor first. Xiao Yan extended his hand and grabbed Xian Lan's waist after saying these words. His body moved and rushed down from the mountaintop. Within a couple of flashes, he landed outside of the Fallen God stream. The entrance to the Fallen God stream was between two towering black-colored rocks that seemed to reach to the sky. There was a path that was a couple of hundred feet wide at that spot. However, there was currently quite a number of white-clothed figure currently present around this entrance. Clearly, they should be people belonging to the Ice River Valley. Let's go. Xiao Yan landed on the ground and released Xian Lan. After which, he walked to the entrance. Xian Lan hurriedly followed behind him. There were nearly a hundred Ice River Valley disciples guarding the two enormous rocks of the entrance. Numerous sharp eagle-like eyes repeatedly swept over the groups of people in the road below. Their leader was a white-clothed, old man seated with his legs crossed. A cold air continuously radiated out of his body, causing the nearby temperature to drop. This white-clothed, old man had his eyes shut from the beginning. However, when Xiao Yan's group entered, he seemed to have sensed something and opened his eyes. There was surprise in his eyes when he looked at Xiao Yan below. Although quite a number of people had been attracted over to this place because of the issue of the woeful poison lady, there were not many truly strong people among them. After all the sky-high reward of the Ice River Valley did was not tempting to such an expert. 
Moreover, from the looks of the Ice River Valley lineup, it was clear that they fully intended on obtaining the Woeful Poison Lady. Therefore, they did not intend to fight with this Ice River Valley. After all, it was not something good. It was due to this that caused that person to be a little surprised upon seeing Xiao Yan. He had seen quite a number of people during this period of time, but he had not seen many elite Dozongs. Although he felt surprised, he did not open his mouth to ask anything. He merely withdrew his eyes after a glance. A one-star Dozong would not be able to stir many waves even if he harbored ill intent. It has been some time since Bing Yuan and the others entered the Fallen God stream and engaged in the search. I wonder if they have found that woeful poison lady. Xiao Yan and Xian Lan walked into the Fallen God stream without any obstruction in front of the eyes of the many people from the Ice River Valley. They only came to a stop after they reached an isolated area. Where should we head to? Xiao Yan glanced at his surroundings. The poison fog in this place was not very dense, but it did affect his visibility. Moreover, the countless numbers of dark black mountain crevices would cause one to feel giddy. The difficulty of finding someone in such a complicated environment was quite large. Follow me. Xian Lan carefully looked around her. After which, she took out a jade bottle from her storage ring. She opened it and a small, dark black thing fled from it. This thing appeared somewhat similar to a mouse, but its back had a pair of thin wings. A buzzing sound appeared when they were flapped. This is a poison-seeking mouse. However, it has already been dead for a long time. After the little fairy doctor special refinement, it is able to lead us to her. Xian Lan released the small black mouse. It made a circle in the air before it suddenly flew quickly toward the western area of the fallen god stream. Quick, follow it. Xian Lan hurriedly said after seeing this. After which, Xiao Yan swiftly grabbed her waist. His body moved, transforming into a black figure that easily followed behind the small, black mouse. Poison objects filled the interior of the Fallen God stream. However, Xiao Yan did not face the slightest obstruction. He came to a sudden understanding of this strange scene after some uncertainty. It was likely due to the heavenly flame within his body. This kind of extremely hot object restrained dark, cold poison substances. With Xiao Yan's speed and the fact that they were not obstructed in any way, the two of them gradually entered deep into the Fallen God stream after a short half an hour. At this moment, the poison fog around them had become much denser. Fortunately, they had the heavenly flame isolating them. Xiao Yan and Xian Lan did not suffer from the corrosive force as a result. Their full speed advancement continued a while before the small, black mouse in front of them suddenly came to a stop. Xiao Yan also sensed this abruptly from behind. He grabbed the mouse, hugged Xian Lan, and fled to the back of an enormous stone. A thousand foot large mountain stream appeared in front of Xiao Yan and Xian Lan. A poison fog lingered over the mountain stream. However, there were over a dozen white colored figures standing around this mountain stream at the moment. One of the white figures remained suspended in the air. All of them were facing the wall of the mountain stream where a cave stood. Woeful Poison Lady, obediently returned to the Ice River Valley with the old me. You might still have a chance to live if you do so. Xiao Yan's expression changed. His eyes followed the voice of the old man and looked to the cave. His eyes suddenly shrank. He could see a white colored figure at standing elegantly at that spot. Her grayish purple eyes were filled with cold killing intent. The Little Fairy Doctor Chapter 1071, Extermination by the Ice River Valley Xiao Yan's tightened heart gradually relaxed as he looked at the white-colored figure in the cave. It's good that she's all right. Xiao Yan muttered softly to himself within his heart. His eyes swiftly landed on the old man in the air above the mountain stream. The old man's head was full of white hair. His clothes were white with some snowflower-like lines over them. His entire being emitted a chillness from the inside out. Xiao Yan's eyes paused on that old man. His eyes narrowed, six-star dozone. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before turning his gaze away. At this moment, there were dozens of white-clothed figures standing around the mountain stream. Clearly, they were the disciples from the Ice River Valley. His gaze took one look around before they finally paused on a huge protruding rock on the edge of the mountain stream. There were two white-clothed old men standing with their hands behind them at that spot. One of them possessed a strength similar to the person in the air, who had reached the six-star dozone level. The one behind might be inferior to these two, but his strength had reached that of a two-star dozone. There are three elite dozones. Moreover, there are dozens of elite Ice River Valley disciples, this Ice River Valley is really willing to take out this much strength. Xiao Yan softly muttered to himself while a chill flashed across his dark black eyes. Big brother Xiao Yan, those two are the elders of the Ice River Valley, Bing Yuan and Bing Fu. They are both very strong. Be careful. Xian Lan's eyes also swept around the place once. After which, her expression became tense as she spoke. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. This lineup might be quite great, but it did not threaten the current him. The Earth Demon Puppet was able to block a six-star Dozong at this moment. Moreover, he was in possession of the Skyfire Three Mysterious Flame and Tian Wazunja in his ring. Woeful Poison Lady, you will not be able to escape. You have been struck with the Ice Zoom Force. Unless you have an antidote for my Ice River Valley, the remnant mysterious Ice Chi in your body will freeze all of your life force within a month's time. 
The old man in the air glanced indifferently at the little fairy doctor in the cave before speaking. Following me back to the Ice River Valley is your only chance of survival. The little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes, which were void of emotion, glanced at the old man from the entrance of the cave. A ridicule surfaced on her pale face as a cool voice resounded over the mountain stream with a chill within it, before my life force is frozen, I will destroy this body of mine and will not leave anything for your Ice River Valley. A cold glint immediately flashed across the eyes of the old man in the air when he heard these words. He slowly said, you are the one who has cut off your only chance of survival. He did not delay any longer after saying these words. A chilling aura gradually surged from his body. Since you don't like to take a path that allows you to live, the old me shall personally capture you and bring you back to the Ice River Valley. The space in front of the old man became distorted after his final words sounded. Immediately a chilling aura lingered and densely packed ice pricks surfaced in the air. Chi chi chi. The old man waved his sleeves gently. Countless numbers of ice pricks in front of him shook as they rushed out from all directions with a swoosh sound. The densely packed surroundings enveloped a radius of a hundred feet around the mountain stream. The little fairy doctor frowned as she looked at the ice pricks that cut through the air and rushed over. Currently, she was seriously injured and was definitely no match for Bing Yuan. Moreover, there were two other elite Do zones around the mountain stream. If she were to attack, it was likely that she would really not have the opportunity to flee this time around. Even if I die, I must definitely not land in their hands. A dense, grayish-purple Do Chi surged out of the little fairy doctor's body. After which, it covered the entrance of the cave. The ice pricks were swiftly eroded when they shot over. However, the energy barrier that was formed from the grayish-purple Do Chi swiftly paled under the continuous attack of the ice pricks. Crack. Crack. The remaining ice pricks shot against the mountain walls surrounding the cave. Layer after layer of thick ice began to spread out with a cracking sound. Under this chilly air even the surrounding poison fog had become much thinner. The little fairy doctor's expression changed slightly as she sensed the swiftly surging chilly air around. This chilly air was extremely strange. If it managed to enter one's body, it would be extremely troublesome to deal with. Back then, she had accidentally allowed this chilly air to enter her body, causing her dochi to slow signs of sluggishness. It was due to this that the so-called ice zoom force from Bing Yuan and Bing Fu managed to seriously injure and force her back. I cannot stay in this place too long. The little fairy doctor became decisive when this thought flashed through her heart. Her body transformed into a lightning flash and shot out of the cave. She headed to the deep regions of the mountain stream. Ice ceiling formation. The little fairy doctor had just charged out of the cave when dozens of cold cries sounded simultaneously. Immediately, cold air surged into the sky. One could see that the space within the mountain stream suddenly stilled. After which, it formed a thick, hard ice with a cracking sound. In the blink of an eye, it formed a hundreds foot large ice cabinet in this mountain stream. The little fairy doctor and Bing Yuan were sealed within it. The people inside could no longer see the outside, but those outside were able to see every action of those inside. You still wish to flee. A cold smile involuntarily surfaced on Bing Yuan's face when he saw her. His body moved and appeared behind the little fairy doctor in the blink of an eye. Cold air lingered over his fist before he viciously threw it out. The little fairy doctor instantly turned around when she sensed the shocking cold air that had appeared behind her. Grayish purple Do Chi swiftly rose on her hand before she swung it out. Bang. The fist and palm made contact, bringing about a shock wave that formed a ring and swept around them. Bing Yuan hurriedly took two steps back under the recoil of this air wave. The little fairy doctor, on the other hand, was sent flying backwards. Currently, she was suffering from serious injuries and her fighting strength was greatly reduced. It was impossible for her to be a match for a six-star Do Zone. The little fairy doctor stabilized her body. Her originally pale expression involuntarily became paler. A bitterness appeared on her face as her gaze swept over the airtight ice wall around her. It seemed that she really had nowhere to flee to today. Follow the old me back to Ice River Valley and you will still be able to live. If you continue being stubborn, do not blame the old me for being vicious. Bing Yuan's feet stepped on the empty air and slowly walked toward the little fairy doctor. His tone still remained indifferent. A coldness gradually rose in the little fairy doctor's grayish purple eyes as she looked at Bing Yuan slowly walking over. Her hands swiftly formed a strange seal. At this point, she could only undo the seal of the woeful poison body. Although this would greatly bring forward the time when the poison body would erupt, it was at least better than landing in the hands of this old fellow now. Bing Yuan was also aware that the little fairy doctor was about to risk her life and go all out when he saw the seal formed by her hands. His expression also sank a little. After which, his body shot forth in a lightning-like fashion. A shocking cold air was rotating quickly around his palm. Bing Yuan's speed was extremely quick. In the blink of an eye, he had caught up with Little Fairy Doctor, who was swiftly pulling back. A dense chillness covered his indifferent face. His hand, which was covered by cold air, carried a bone-piercing force as it transformed into numerous afterimages that filled the space around the Little Fairy Doctor. A low, deep sonic boom was formed amid this fierce palm wind. The chilly air was extremely dense. Even the air had formed wave after wave of faint white fog that rose up. 
The little fairy doctor's lovely body was just like a small boat amid a wild storm. It swayed in all directions. Her dodging appeared quite dangerous. She would have been struck violently if she was even the least bit closer. Although the little fairy doctor had barely managed to dodge the torrent-like attack of Bing Yuan, her intention of undoing the seal was also interrupted. The treacherous situation continued and she was in an extremely risky position. Bang. Another cold wind struck out, and the little fairy doctor, who had nowhere to flee, could only once again raise her palm and collide head-on with Bing Yuan. Grug. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out and the little fairy doctor's lovely body was sent flying backwards. Bing Yuan's expression was cold and indifferent. A chilly air was spat out of her mouth and froze the fresh crimson blood just as it was about to reach the ground. Your woeful poison body has yet to truly reach its peak. Otherwise, just the old me would not be able to do anything against you. Unfortunately. Bing Yuan looked at the little fairy doctor, who was wiping away the trace of blood from the corner of her mouth. He let out a faint smile, but the chillness in his eyes was not reduced as a result. Bing Yuan had already lost his patience to speak. His body flashed and he once again rushed toward the little fairy doctor. This time around, some killing intent had gradually surged in his eyes. As long as the woeful poison body was still preserved, it did not matter whether the little fairy doctor lived. The little fairy doctor appeared to be aware that a killing intent had rose in Bing Yuan's heart when she saw the savage smile that had surfaced on his face. Immediately, she hurriedly maneuvered the little remaining Dou Qi within her body in preparation for the last struggle. Crack. When little fairy doctor had just made up her mind, the enormous ice walls around her suddenly emitted a cracking sound. Immediately, numerous cracks spread out. The ice wall eventually burst apart with a boom sound. The ice walls blasting apart also surprised Bing Yuan. Before he could recover, the rushing sound of wind was suddenly transmitted from above the mountain stream. A figure violently shot toward him. This sudden attack did not cause Bing Yuan to panic. A few waves of ice-cold Dochi surged out of his hand. After which, it collided with the figure that had shot over. However, the noise that was created was wave after wave of sharp miserable cries. Bing Yuan focused his eyes and his expression turned dark and solemn. He discovered that the ones being thrown over like weapons were the disciples of the Ice River Valley. Brat, for daring to intervene in this big matter of our Ice River Valley, I will definitely chase you until the ends of Earth. A couple of furious roars were transmitted from the mountain stream during the time that Bing Yuan's expression turned gloomy. His eyes twitched as he suddenly raised his head, only to discover that a young man was standing with a smile on the edge of the mountain stream. There were still two Ice River Valley disciples in his hands. Clearly, he was the one who had shot these people forward. The people from the Ice River Valley are indeed shameless. So many of you are attacking an injured, weak lady. Not only did you throw aside your face, but you also threw away the flesh beneath it. The young man laughed. After which, his eyes slid in another direction. The white-clothed lady at that spot revealed a pale, pretty face that was filled with disbelief due to his sudden appearance. Xiao Yan looked at the face that was so heartbreakingly pale. A gentleness surfaced in his eyes as his soft, warm voice slowly drifted down. Sorry, I've arrived late. Chapter 1072, Turning the Situation Around Xiao Yan The little fairy doctor was startled as she looked at the young men standing beside the mountain stream. A beautiful smile slowly surfaced on her pale, pretty face. It was the joyous, beautiful smile of someone finding great hope while one was in despair. Bing Yuan's eyes stared at Xiao Yan in a dark and dense manner. His ice-cold voice appeared as though it had risen from hell, Brat, you dare to meddle in the affairs of my ice river valley. After scanning the area with his eyes earlier, Bing Yuan had discovered that the dozens of elite ice river valley disciples around the mountain stream had been reduced by half. A dense bloody scent spread over the place. Clearly, these missing disciples had already perished to the hands of this person. This result caused an incomparable fury and killing intent to surge in his heart. His eyes were just like that of a ferocious fierce wolf as they stared at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan merely smiled as he sensed the savage expression in Bing Yuan's eyes. He casually said, the people from the Ice River Valley are all really bad apples. A one-star Dozong dares to act this insolent in front of me. The young people these days are really becoming more and more arrogant. Bing Yuan laughed out loud from extreme anger when he heard Xiao Yan's words. His voice was filled with a dense killing intent, the old me doesn't care about your background. However, I must inform you that this fallen god stream will be your burial ground. Bing Fu, I'll leave him to you. Do not hold back. Capture him first and break his limbs. Bing Yuan's eyes turned to the other side of the mountain valley. There was a white-clothed old man located at that spot. His expression was also staring at Xiao Yan in a dark, solemn manner. Xiao Yan had acted too quickly earlier and had exceeded everyone's expectations. Within a short half a minute, nearly twenty Ice River Valley's disciples had fallen to his hands. All of this had progressed in front of him as though he had been slapped in the face, causing him to feel a fiery hot pain. Relax, I will let him understand what it means to suffer a fate worse than death. At the same time, I will let him know that rushing forward into something unrelated to him will not lead to anything good. That white-clothed, old man called Bing Fu nodded. His old face revealed a cold, savage smile. The little fairy doctor swiftly recovered when Bing Yuan was conversing with Bing Fu. 
Her pretty eyes swept around her and the joy that had just surfaced immediately scattered. Even though Xiao Yan had hurried over, it would also be difficult for him to rescue her in this kind of situation. Instead, he would end up being implicated. After all, the Ice River Valley had a total of three Dozongs in this place. With Xiao Yan's strength, attempting to successfully flee with her was. Xiao Yan, leave. I have my own means of escaping. I will think of ways to find you after I escape. The little fairy doctor suddenly cried out to Xiao Yan after her pretty eyes swiftly flashed. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He smiled as his gaze slid to the little fairy doctor and said, Do you think I will believe you? You can rest assured. Since I dared to come to this place, I naturally have the confidence to rescue you. The little fairy doctor felt her tense heart relax a little for some unknown reason after seeing the smile on Xiao Yan's face. She understood Xiao Yan quite well. He had seldom done anything that he was not confident in. It was perhaps as he had said. His heart should have his own plans. The old me really wishes to know just where your confidence comes from. Bing Fu stepped through the empty air and slowly headed towards Xiao Yan. The aura that surged out of his body with each step he took turned colder. A mocking smile also surfaced on his face. Bing Yuan, attack. You should settle the important matter first. We will avoid being punished if any unexpected situation occurs. Bing Yuan slowly nodded. His cold eyes were withdrawn from Xiao Yan. After which, he turned to the little fairy doctor and coldly laughed, rest assured that after capturing you, the old me will let you see just what kind of ending such arrogance will meet. Bing Yuan was unwilling to delay any longer after saying these words. Both of his hands curled in a shockingly cold aura swiftly brewed in his hands. Within the blink of an eye, it agglomerated into a fast spinning ice wheel. The edge of the ice wheel was as sharp as blade, and it immediately emitted a toothing sound. Go. The sharp ice wheel rotated at high speed in Bing Yuan's hands. A denseness was slowly lifted on the corner of his mouth. He flicked his finger and one could hear a swoosh sound. The fast spinning ice wheel penetrated through the air as it appeared in front of the little fairy doctor in a flash. After which, it carried a stern killing intent as it rushed toward her long neck. The icy cold wind, that had arrived suddenly, caused the little fairy doctor's expression to change. Her body moved and quickly hurried back. The speed of the ice wheel was unexpectedly quick as it was swiftly magnified in front of her eyes. Clang. The ice wheel cut through the sky. The moment it was about to catch up to the little fairy doctor, a silver glow strangely appeared in front of her. The silver glow flickered and a silver-colored arm and fist swung out. It sent the ice wheel flying. This sudden unexpected change caused Bing Yuan's expression to alter. His face revealed a shocked expression as he looked at the silver figure in front of the little fairy doctor, especially when he saw its empty eyes. He narrowed his eyes and exclaimed, a puppet. The silver-colored human figure that had suddenly appeared had naturally attracted the attention of the others. Bing Fu's expression also sank. Although he was unable to detect the puppet's aura, he could still sense a danger emanating from it. You are already so old. It seems that all these years have grown on your skin, thick skin. You actually used such a vicious blow against a wounded, weak lady. Xiao Yan laughed from the edge of the mountain stream. However, his laughter contained an ice-cold killing intent. His finger slowly pointed at Bing Yuan. Kill him. The earth demon puppet, who was in front of the little fairy doctor, immediately rushed out like a cannonball when Xiao Yan's voice sounded. It appeared in front of Bing Yuan in a flash. Its fist ruthlessly smashed toward his chest without any fanciful moves. This swift and fierce attack by the earth demon puppet caused Bing Yuan's expression to change. He threw a palm out as a reflex action, stirring a cold air that rose from all directions as he did so. Bang. The fist and palm made contact, but the earth demon puppet did not move even a little. On the other hand, Bing Yuan's throat let out a groan as he took a couple of quick steps back through the empty air. A shock finally surged into his eyes. With his strength, he was unable to obtain the upper hand in a head-on clash with this mysterious puppet. Bing Fu, kill that brat. He is controlling the puppet. Bing Yuan stabilized his body before he let out a roar. His face was furiously green when he did so. Bing Fu's expression slightly changed when he heard Bing Yuan's roar. It seemed that this puppet was indeed extremely troublesome. Immediately, he turned his eyes towards Xiao Yan. His eyes were filled with killing intent. Qi. When Bing Fu turned his cold eyes to Xiao Yan, a figure hurriedly rushed over from the mountain stream. After which, she appeared in front of Xiao Yan and said in a solemn voice, Leave him to me, you should deal with the others. Xiao Yan involuntarily shook his head when he saw this. He extended his hand and pulled the little fairy doctor behind him. After which, he softly said, There are still injuries in your body. It is best that you take a rest first. These people alone will not be able to do much. What an arrogant tone. Bing He, you will lead the others to capture the woeful poison lady. Leave this person to me. Bing Fu furiously laughed out loud. He clenched his hand, and a cold air surged from it. A long spear that was formed from ice appeared in his hand. The body of the spear shook and formed numerous afterimages. After letting out a furious laugh, Bing Fu's body moved, transforming into a white figure that shot towards Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. The long spear cut through the air, bringing with it an ear-piercing sound. 
The last white clothed old man from the Ice River Valley nodded after hearing Bing Yi's cry. He quickly waved his hand and lead dozens of figures toward the little fairy doctor behind Xiao Yan with a swoosh sound. This place turned extremely cold in an instant. The little fairy doctor's face involuntarily became tense when she saw Bing Fu attacking. The Dou Qi in her body swiftly surged. There is indeed no other puppet. However, there is a special spiritual body. Xiao Yan smiled as he looked at the cold face of Bing Fu. His finger gently rubbed the white-colored ring on his finger. An illusionary spiritual body slowly appeared and turned into the shape of an elderly man. Bing Fu, who was charging forward, suddenly halted when the spiritual body appeared. His eyes looked at the spiritual body with shock. After Bing Fu halted, Bing He's group, which was following close behind, also stopped. They looked at each other as they did so. Even with their eyesight, they were unable to see through Tian Wazunja. Ugh, you little fellow. You are asking these old bones of mine to come out and be a fighter again. Tian Wazunja twisted his body after appearing. After which, he turned to Xiao Yan and helplessly shook his head. Surprise flashed through the eyes of the little fairy doctor behind Xiao Yan when she saw him summon such a powerful spiritual body. Her heart completely relaxed. Following this relaxation, the injuries within her body that had been suppressed by her were also released. A giddiness appeared within her head as a mouthful of fresh blood was uncontrollably spat out. The little fairy doctor, who had suddenly spat out blood, startled Xiao Yan. He hurriedly grabbed hold of her and looked at her pale face. She seemed as though she would collapse from a single gust of wind. The killing intent in his dark black eyes surged. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He turned his head to Tian Huazunja. That voice of his contained a denseness, I will be troubling you, old Mr. Yao. Please finish off these people as soon as possible. The little fairy doctor is seriously injured and cannot last for long. 10 minutes. Tian Huazunja glanced at the little fairy doctor, who was supported by Xiao Yan. With his eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that she had suffered serious injuries. His expression also became a lot more serious. After nodding slightly, he turned around and looked at Bing Fu's group. All of them were wearing a surprised expression. His foot slowly stepped forward, and a majestic spiritual storm immediately swept out with him at the center. The expression of the shocked Bing Fu changed drastically when the spiritual storm erupted. His voice had become a little sharp in his horror. 8 Star Do Zone Chapter 1073, Extremely Weak The invisible spiritual storm rotated around Tian Wazunja. His body was floating through the air while wave after wave of strange ripples were continuously formed around his body. His indifferent eyes turned to the shocked Bing Fu, but he did not say anything. Instead, his body moved and mysteriously disappeared. Bing Fu's heart immediately turned cold the instant Tian Wazunja disappeared. His body hurriedly withdrew as he loudly cried out, This friend, the old me is Bing Fu from the Ice River Valley. The matter today is unrelated to you. Please do not interfere in today's matter on account of the Ice River Valley. The Ice River Valley will provide you a great reward as thanks after this matter is over. There was a threat of panic that was difficult to hide in Bing Fu's cry. This elite eight-star Dozong, who had just appeared, completely turned the situation around. He could not understand why a little fellow would possess such a terrifying lineup with him. Ice River Valley. Is it very great? This alone cannot deter the old me. The space in front of Bing Fu fluctuated after his voice sounded. Tian Wazunja's figure strangely appeared. He smiled faintly at the Bing Fu before he swung his palm in a gentle manner. This palm might appear weak, but Bing Fu felt a heartfelt chilliness. The Dou Qi within his body completely erupted at this moment. Layer after layer of icy cold armor was formed on the surface of his body from the cold air that lingered around it. The armor was snow white in color. It might appear crystal clear and weak, but its defensive strength was impressive. Of course, this kind of strength was not worthy of being mentioned in the eyes of Tian Wazunja. Although he currently only possessed the strength of an 8-star Dou Zone, his knowledge was that of his Dou Zone self back then. A 6-star Dou Zone was unworthy of any of his attention. Bang. The palm gently landed on the ice armor on Bing Fu's body without a care of the world. A majestic spiritual strength surged out in a flood-like manner. Crack. That firm ice armor's defenses did not hold up in the face of this vast and mighty strength. The palm fell and crack lines spread. After which, the ice armor emitted a cracking sound as it burst apart. Grug. The ice armor was shattered and Bing Fu's expression instantly turned pale. A mouthful of fresh blood carried a chilly air as it was spat out. His body flew backward after that. Bing Fu's expression turned savage as he flew backwards. His eyes were red as they glared at Tian Wazunja. Immediately, he roared, Bing He, lead the others and kill that brat. Not far behind Bing Fu, Bing He gradually recovered from the shock brought by Tian Wazunja. He heard Bing Fu's cry and could only grit his teeth. After which, he waved his hand and spoke to the dozens of elite Ice River Valley disciples behind him, follow me, we must capture the woeful poison lady at all cost and kill that brat. The dozens of Ice River Valley disciples glanced at Tian Wazunja in the sky with fearful eyes after hearing this. After which, they turned toward the other battleground in the mountain stream. 
Bing Yuan was already showing signs of being defeated under the attack of the Earth Demon Puppet. He could not spare any effort to pay attention to the change in the situation of this place. Why aren't all of you attacking? Bing He let out a stern cry when the Ice River Valley disciples hesitated. Upon hearing his cry, the disciples from the Ice River Valley shivered. After which, they hurriedly voiced their acknowledgement in a respectful manner. Bing He nodded his head with a gloomy expression when he saw this. His foot pressed against the empty air and his body shot towards Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. Many Ice River Valley disciples hurriedly activated all of the Dou Qi within their bodies, turning into many colorful glows that surrounded Xiao Yan. Bing Fu, who was in the air, saw Bing He's group taking action. After which, his eyes were turned to Tian Wuzunja. A dark, ruthless expression flashed across it. A cold aura once again surged within his body. He took the initiative to rush over and get entangled with Tian Wuzunja. In this current situation, it was likely that only by capturing Xiao Yan would they be able to get the puppet and the mysterious spiritual body to surrender. Otherwise, they would only end up dead. Xiao Yan looked at the people from the Ice River Valley rushing over from the edge of the mountain stream. A cold smile surfaced on his face. He turned his head to the little fairy doctor and softly ordered, Leave them to me. Do not intervene. The little fairy doctor nodded slightly. The leader of this group, Bing He, was a two-star Dou Zong. Other than him, there were quite a few Dou Huangs. However, Xiao Yan should be able to deal with them all with his strength. Xiao Yan's foot slowly stepped forward. His hands quickly formed numerous strange seals as he did so. Immediately, an illusionary figure rushed from between his brows. It fluctuated and formed Xiao Yan's appearance. This was the 3000 lightning illusionary body that Xiao Yan had practiced. After the tempering at the Heaven Mountain Blood Pool, its current strength should be at the peak of the Dou Wang class. Although he wouldn't dare to say that he could deal with Bing He using this, it was not a difficult task to block the other Ice River Valley's disciples. Go. Xiao Yan flicked his finger and the spiritual avatar beside him nodded. His body moved and a silver glow flashed under his feet. He disappeared in a flash. The next time he appeared, he was already behind Bing He. After which, he blocked the many Ice River Valley's disciples. The spiritual avatar that had suddenly appeared caused Bing He to be startled. Immediately, his eyes turned slightly cold. His gaze stared at Xiao Yan as he spoke with a cold smile, Brat, you have quite a number of tactics. However, with this one-star Dozong strength of yours, you are still no match for the old me. A shocking ice-cold Dou Qi slowly surged out of Bing He's body after his voice sounded. Cold air lingered over his ten fingers. After which, they transformed into ten sharp ice bricks. If word of what happens today reaches the Ice River Valley, you will no longer be able to stay in this pill region. Bing He let out a dense laugh. His feet stepped through the empty air, and his body transformed into lightning as he shot towards Xiao Yan while carrying a shockingly chilly air. Xiao Yan merely shook his head slightly as he looked at Bing He, who was rushing over. This person was merely a two-star Dozong. Xiao Yan had personally killed such a person before he had advanced to the Dozong class, there was even less need to discuss this. Boom. Bing He's figure flashed. He appeared in front of Xiao Yan, and he revealed a dark vicious expression in his eyes. His fist that was covered with ice prick smashed towards Xiao Yan's chest in a vicious manner. The fist that contained a cold air suddenly arrived within Xiao Yan's dark black eyes. However, he merely revealed a cold smile. His hand spread out and a jade green flame slowly surged with a puff sound. Chi. The fist that was filled with ice pricks accurately struck Xiao Yan's palm. However, the ice pricks on it instantly melted when he did so. Even the shockingly cold aura that the fist contained seemed to have met its nemesis at this moment as it quickly scattered. Without the support of the cold air, this punch from Bing He immediately had its strength greatly reduced. It even failed to force Xiao Yan back a single step. A two-star Dou Zong of the Ice River Valley is actually so weak. Xiao Yan's hand was just like a vice grip as he firmly grabbed Bing He's fist. He gently shook his head and his voice contained faint ridicule. Due to the heavenly flame, he was completely immune to the cold force from the Ice River Valley. Disbelief surged into Bing He's eyes when he saw his attack was so easily blocked by Xiao Yan. His eyes suddenly shrank when he saw the jade green flame that lingered over Xiao Yan's palm. Immediately, he screamed, Heavenly Flame. That's right. Xiao Yan smiled. The chillness in his smile was exceptionally dense. His palm curled and tightened into a fist. After which, he swung his arm forward. Octane Blast. His punch violently smashed into Bing He's body and a shocking hidden force entered him in a lightning-like manner while possessing a wild and violent heat. The icy cold Dou Qi within Bing He's body was completely without resistance under the hidden force of this heavenly flame. A Chi Chi sound was emitted as the Dou Qi miserably fled. Grug. The chaotic flow of Dou Qi within his body caused Bing He to spit out a mouthful of fresh blood. Immediately, he clenched his teeth and did his best to maneuver all the Dou Qi within his body. After which, the Dou Qi swiftly agglomerated on his hand. An increasing amount of ice-cold Dou Qi gathered. One could see a thick layer of ice being formed on Bing He's hand. 
This ice was crystal clear, appearing just like an icicle. Moreover, there was a serpent-like line on the ice that wiggled like it was alive. Ice Serpent Arm Bing He's face was bright red as a low roar surged from his throat. The cold air around Bing He instantly surged after his roar sounded. The strength within his arm also increased by multiple times as this occurred. Little bastard, receive a punch from me if you got the guts. Bing He's eyes was filled with a crazy killing intent as his face turned red. A furious cry was emitted before he threw his punch forward. One could see the surrounding air swiftly agglomerate into many ice cubes after he threw his fist forward. This cold air caused the moisture within the air to turn into ice cubes. The shocking cold air rushed over. However, Xiao Yan's expression did not change. A jade green flame surged out of his body like a volcano. After which, it gathered onto his right fist in a lightning-like manner. Within a couple of breaths, it had agglomerated into a half-foot large jade green fire wolf. Xiao Yan did not hesitate any longer after the fire wolf was formed. He threw his fist forward. The fire wolf roared out like rolling waves of water on Xiao Yan's fist. The frightening temperature vaporized the cold air that had come over. After which, it violently collided with Bing He's arm the next instant. An air wave scattered all around in a ring-like manner after the two collided. The surrounding large rocks emitted cracking sounds and formed numerous cracks with a cracking sound. This collision continued for merely an instant before that Bing He discovered that the ice on his hand swiftly melted with a shocked expression. A chillness flashed through Xiao Yan's eyes when he sensed the stalemate between both parties. The strength on his arm surged. Grug. Another force once again surged out. Finally, it broke apart the ice on Bing He's hand. Ice fragments scattered in all directions. A paleness surged onto Bing He's face in the face of this heavy blow. His footsteps swiftly shifted back. Finally, they violently collided with a large rock. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. After which, he raised his head. His face was filled with shock. He really had difficulty imagining that a one-star Dozone could unleash such a frightening fighting strength. While Bing He was struggling to stand up once again, a figure appeared in front of him in a ghost-like manner. His toes gently pressed on his forehead, causing Bing He's entire body to immediately stiffen. The people from the Ice River Valley are only at this level. Chapter 1074, Leave No One Bing He's expression turned white. His body did not dare to even move a little. He knew that if he dared to make even the slightest unusual movement, his head would be smashed into pieces with a bang, appearing just like a watermelon that had landed on the ground. Bing He's body maintained his pose of being about to climb to his feet. He swallowed a mouthful of saliva. A moment later, he quietly turned around a little and spoke in a hoarse voice, If you kill me, this pill region will have nowhere that you can hide. Xiao Yan looked down at the pale white face of Bing He from above. However, he merely laughed and said, Since I have intervened, I am naturally not afraid of whatever Ice River Valley of yours. Humph, what an arrogant tone. Don't think that you possess the qualification to fight with the Ice River Valley by possessing an 8-star Dozone spiritual body and puppet. My strength is merely ranked among the weakest among the elders of the Ice River Valley. Moreover, even Bing He and Bing Yuan are ranked at the middle. If the true experts from my Ice River Valley come out, the capital that you are proud of will immediately become not even worth mentioning. Even though Bing had sensed that the situation was a little wrong after hearing Xiao Yan's words, he still involuntarily let out a cold laugh. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. This Ice River Valley was also one of the three valleys. It was likely that its strength was not weaker than the Burning Flame Valley. Just the third elder of the Burning Flame Valley alone had the strength of an eight-star Dozone. That second elder had already reached the peak of the Dozone class. Of course, the most frightening person was naturally the Burning Flame Valley's Tang Zhen. Even with Xiao Yan's eyesight, he could only describe Tang Zhen with the words, unfathomable. Although it was extremely difficult for Xiao Yan to accurately determine how strong or weak a Dozun class expert was, his instincts told him that Tang Jin's strength was definitely even stronger than Lei Zunja from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Since the Burning Flame Valley possessed such strength, the Ice River Valley, which was ranked alongside it, would definitely not be weaker. Hence, Xiao Yan did not doubt what Bing He had said. Before he had come to the Pill Region, he had already understood that he would be enemies with the Ice River Valley after rescuing the Little Fairy Doctor. However, with Xiao Yan's character, would he just abandon the Little Fairy Doctor just because of the strength of this Ice River Valley? Back then, when he was merely a small doja, who had just stepped onto the path of dochi training, he had already dared to oppose the great being of the Jiamai Empire. Even less needed to be said now. Bing He looked at Xiao Yan's silence and thought that he had a change of mind. His tone had also become a little calmer as he said, If you take the initiative to hand the body of that woeful poison lady to the Ice River Valley, my Ice River Valley will definitely not let you lose out. With your talent, you will definitely be placed in an important position by the Valley Chief. It should be known that our Valley Chief loves getting to know experts from all over the place. Bing He's words had just sounded when he saw Xiao Yan's face slowly turn gloomy. Immediately, a chill rose within his heart. His hand slammed against the ground as he hurriedly withdrew with the help of the pushing force. Bang. However, his body had just moved when a cold smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face. His leg kicked out in a lightning-like manner. It ruthlessly struck Bing He's body. 
The powerful force caused his body to fly like a kite with a broken string. After which, he heavily smashed into an enormous rock. The sound of bones cracking could faintly be heard. Droplets of cold perspiration continuously surged onto Bengi's forehead as he slowly rolled down from the large rock. He raised his head and his eyes looked at Xiao Yan viciously. He furiously roared, Little bastard, you will sooner or later regret these actions of yours today. Boom. Bengi's roar had just sounded when a white figure suddenly shot over from the sky. It immediately smashed into the enormous rock beside him. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. After which, this figure slowly rolled down like a corpse, appearing just like a pile of mud. Bing He hurriedly turned his head and shock immediately surged into his eyes. He could see that the figure was actually Bing Fu. However, his entire body was covered with fresh blood. His breath was extremely weary and he appeared close to death. Ugh, it is really troublesome without a body. It is this annoying just to deal with a Do Zone. An elderly figure slowly appeared beside Xiao Yan. This person was naturally Tian Huazunja. He glanced at the mud-like Bing Fu and laughed, I really had an enjoyable time beating him up. However, you can rest assured that the old me made sure that he still had a breath left. Xiao Yan nodded. He softly said, Old Mr. Yao, you can rest assured that the matter of the medicinal ingredients are more or less settled. It is likely that you will be able to soon possess a body once again. A joy that was difficult to hide surfaced on Tian Huazunja's face when he heard this. The matter of his body was something that he had always been concerned about. After hearing these words of Xiao Yan, it seemed that the day would not be far away. Little fellow, you are really reliable. Haha, the eyesight of the old me is as good as ever. A glint immediately flickered in the eyes of Bing He when he heard Tian Wazunja's words, This elder, our Ice River Valley specializes in refining bodies. Moreover, the bodies that we create will possess some special ability. As long as you help my Ice River Valley perform one task, you will be able to obtain it for free. The smile on Xiao Yan's face was withdrawn. Dense, cold killing intent gradually surged within his eyes. Tian Wazunja was also startled because of Bing He's words. He glanced at Xiao Yan. A strange smile appeared on his face a moment later. He slowly walked to Bing He, lowered his body, and slammed his hand gently on his back. He smiled and said, Do what? We can discuss it. Help the Ice River Valley capture the woeful poison lady. My Ice River Valley can help you refine a body that you will be extremely satisfied with. A wild joy surged over the deep regions of Bing He's eyes when he heard this. Tian Huazunja slowly nodded. After which, his hand gently shifted to Bing He's neck. He also sensed this abruptly and all the pores on his body immediately opened up. He threw a palm toward Tian Huazunja in front of him. Crack. The wind from the palm had yet to reach Tian Wazunja when his expression turned slightly cold. His hand suddenly used some strength and Bing He's neck was broken amid a cracking sound. Little fellow, you should not give such a person the chance to speak in the future. Otherwise, an unexpected change might occur sooner or later. Tian Wazunja randomly tossed aside the ice cold Bing He before turning his head to Xiao Yan and speaking in a faint manner. Xiao Yan quietly relaxed his tightly clenched fist. He nodded to Tian Wazunja, cupped his hands together, and said, Thank you for your reminder old Mr. Yao. The battle on the other side should also be ending. A silver glow immediately rushed out of the mountain stream after his voice sounded. After which, it appeared in front of Xiao Yan. At this moment, the hands of the earth demon puppet held a bloody-faced Bing Yuan. When he saw Bing Fu, who was like a pile of mud and Bing He with his neck broken, a viciousness immediately shot out of his eyes. He stared intently at Xiao Yan as he said with a hoarse voice, Little bastard, all of you will not be able to escape. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. He received the seriously injured Bing Fu from the hands of the Earth Demon Puppet. After which, his eyes turned to those disciples from the Ice River Valley. He commanded, kill them, leave no one alive. The Earth Demon Puppet immediately flashed out when these words sounded. It charged into the group of Ice River Valley's disciples like a ferocious tiger. Immediately, numerous miserable screams sounded from the edge of this mountain stream. Under the fierce might of this Earth Demon Puppet, only four of these Ice River Valley's disciples managed to flee. However, their speed was far inferior to the Earth Demon Puppet. They were all caught after a brief chase. After which, they toppled over like wheat in the hands of the Earth Demon Puppet. The Earth Demon Puppet, which was covered with the scent of blood, finally returned after having killed all the disciples from the Ice River Valley within the shortest amount of time. The spiritual avatar of Xiao Yan also returned along with it. Xiao Yan returned the spiritual avatar to between his eyebrows. After which, he turned his eyes toward the quivering Bing Fu and smiles as he said, I wish to know something. Bing Fu's eyes stared viciously at Xiao Yan. He did not expect Xiao Yan to be so ruthless. He had killed all of them off. Little bastard, don't think that the Ice River Valley will not be aware of what has happened here by killing everyone. Just wait, a short while later, you will become the wanted target of the Ice River Valley. At that time, there will not be a single place you can hide in the Pill region. Xiao Yan slightly frowned. He curled his fingers as a wisp of a jade green flame slowly rose. After which, it was gently pressed on Bing Fu's shoulder. A wave of chi chi sounds was immediately emitted from where Xiao Yan's fingers landed. Bing Fu's face had also become distorted from the intense pain. 
I wish to know what that I soon force as you mentioned earlier. Xiao Yan withdrew his finger after watching Bing Fu's distorted face and demanded an answer. Bing Fu's eyes were vicious. He completely ignored Xiao Yan's words. Xiao Yan's face was indifferent. His finger pressed onto Bing Fu once again without saying anything. Qi. White smoke rose and Bing Fu's entire body shook. His face had become unusually savage because of the intense pain. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his finger and indifferently demanded, speak. Bing Fu's breathing had become ragged. A moment later, he finally clenched his teeth and said with a hoarse voice, I soon force is a unique Dou Qi of my Ice River Valley. One must reach the Dou Zone class in order to create it. If this Ice Zoom force enters one's body, it will quietly conceal itself and gradually freeze the blood and veins in one's body. How can it be undone? There is no method to undo it unless you get the Valley Chief of my Ice River Valley to personally do it. However, I don't think that you are capable of that. Bing Fu let out a dense laugh. Xiao Yan's eyes turned icy cold. He ignored him and nodded slightly to Tian Wazunja. After which, he turned around and walked away. He had just taken a few steps when he heard a bone-cracking sound being emitted from behind. These are their souls. Keep them. Xiao Yan grabbed the three jade bottles that shot over from behind him. He glanced at them and stored them in his storage ring. After which, he swiftly walked to the little fairy doctor. He involuntarily felt his heart ache when he saw her pale white face. He softly said, let's leave this place first. I will think of a way to deal with the so-called I soon force. The little fairy doctor gently nodded. Her pretty eyes looked at the young man in front of her. Within less than a year, he seemed about to catch up with her. Xiao Yan extended his arm, grabbed the little fairy doctor's tiny waist. After which, he got the earth demon puppet to bring Xi and Lan, who was hiding in one corner. His body moved and he swiftly rushed toward the deeper regions of the fallen god stream. The surroundings of this mountain stream immediately became quiet after Xiao Yan's group left. Only the corpses and fresh blood all over the place gave an indication of the intense battle that had erupted at this spot earlier. Chapter 1075, Recuperate Sticky fresh blood was scattered on the stone fragments beside the mountain stream. A dense bloody scent was emitted. Numerous ice-cold corpses had collapsed in a mess beside the stone fragments. Everything in this place was quiet. Only a bloody scent that refused to disappear lingered, indicating that an intense battle had occurred here earlier. The silence in this place continued for a long time. Only then was it broken by the many sounds of rushing wind that suddenly appeared in the sky. Their expressions changed suddenly when they discovered the corpses on the ground. An elderly figure slowly landed on an enormous rock. From the looks of his appearance, he was the elder from the Ice River Valley who had been guarding the entrance to the Fallen God stream. The Ice River Valley elder stopped and looked on with shock at the ground full of bodies. With a twist of his body, he appeared behind a large stone and stared unbelieving at three corpses before him. A couple seconds later, he took in a deep breath. Elder Bing Xian. An Ice River Valley's disciple with a similarly pale white face landed beside the old man. He swallowed a mouthful of saliva and softly said, all the corpses of the elites from the Ice River Valley, who had headed to the Fallen God stream to search for the woeful poison body, are here. They include Bing Fu and the other two elders. The elder, who was called Bing Xian, involuntarily shut his eyes. His eyes were already murky when he opened them once again. Carry all the corpses back. I want to return to the Ice River Valley immediately. Bing Xian turned around and left after speaking. His expression appeared unusually gloomy. The disciple from the Ice River Valley nodded. He looked at the corpses of the three old men and a chill involuntarily rose within his heart. These are three expert dozones. Who possessed such a frightening strength to kill all of them? Although Bing Xian did not know who the murderer was, he knew that this pill region might well cease to be calm in the future. With the strength of the Ice River Valley, it would definitely not sit back and do nothing in the face of three of its elders being killed. While these Ice River Valley's disciples were dealing with the messy situation, Xiao Yan was gently placing the little fairy doctor down in a secret mountain cave in the deepest parts of this fallen god stream, far from the mountain stream. He took out a moonlight stone and shot it into the wall of the cave. A gentle light immediately scattered down, expelling the darkness within the cave. Xian Lan stood beside the little fairy doctor. She hurriedly took out some warm fur from her storage ring when she saw her pale face. After which, she placed it on the ground and softly said, Little fairy doctor Jie Jie, rest first. The little fairy doctor smiled and nodded to Xian Lan. She sat down on the warm fur before lifting her eyes to look at Xiao Yan by the side. She appeared to have recalled something as she suddenly said, it has been less than a year, but you have broken through to the Do Zone class, in that case, have you resolved the demon poison spot in your body? Xiao Yan involuntarily and helplessly smiled when he heard this. He said, now is not the time to bother about that demon poison spot. You should take care of your body fist. The little fairy doctor held her cheeks with her hands. She blinked her curly eyelashes. Her voice appeared extremely soft due to her weak tone, I'm still alright. It will be fine if I rest for a period of time. Xiao Yan understood the little fairy doctor's character extremely well. He ignored her words, squatted down, and grabbed the little fairy doctor's snow-white hand. A thread of spiritual strength was carefully transmitted into her body. 
It was only slowly withdrawn after a careful examination. Xiao Yan's expression was a little ugly when he withdrew his spiritual strength. At this moment, the situation in the little fairy doctor's body was extremely terrible. Quite a number of places within her were seriously injured. Moreover, the thing that caused Xiao Yan's heart to sink was that so-called ice soon force. He was unable to detect where it was. However, he could vaguely sense that the ice soon force hidden in little fairy doctor's body was emitting an ice cold temperature, gradually freezing the blood and veins in the little fairy doctor's body. Xian Lan, do you know about the ice river valley ice soon force? Xiao Yan turned his head, looked at Xian Lan, and asked. Xian Lan mused for a moment after hearing his question. After which, she replied, based on what I know, this ice soon force is a unique dou chi that the ice river valley possesses. Moreover, only an expert dou zone will be able to practice and form a tiny amount of it. However, if this ice soon force is inserted into the opponent's body when exchanging blow, it would cause the situation to become extremely troublesome for the opponent. Therefore, quite a number of experts specifically defend against the ice soon force when fighting against the people from the ice river valley, even I am uncertain about the method to remove it. Xiao Yan slightly frowned. He looked at the pale white face of the little fairy doctor and involuntarily felt a heartache. His hand gently fondled her long, snow-white hair. He must get rid of this ice soon force as soon as possible. Otherwise, the little fairy doctor would never be able to recover from her injuries. This ice soon force is indeed strange and unique. However, it is not something that only the Ice River Valley's valley chief could remove as Bing Fu had mentioned. Xiao Yan once again inserted his spiritual strength into the little fairy doctor's body. He sensed the uniqueness of the ice soon force, and he slowly opened his eyes. He knit his eyebrows and fell deep into thought. This continued for half an hour before he relaxed his tight frown. He waved his hand and a wooden box appeared in the mountain cave. With a flick of his finger, some water that he had prepared in his storage ring flowed out and filled the wooden tub. After doing all this, Xiao Yan clenched his hand and a cluster of jade green flame surged out. His finger was gently flicked and many medicinal ingredients rushed out of his storage ring. After which, they were inserted into the flame and swiftly vaporized, transforming into a somewhat bright red powders and liquids. After having thrown all these powders and liquids into the tub, the clear water within immediately transformed into a bright red color. Moreover, there were still water bubbles rising on the surface, causing it to appear as though it was boiling. The clear water within the wooden tub was immediately filled with a hot fire affinity energy following the many powders and liquids that were poured in. This fire affinity energy was extremely dense. However, it was strangely gentle. Xian Lan, remove the little fairy doctor clothes and help her into the tub. Xiao Yan suddenly turned around after throwing in the final medicinal ingredient before speaking in a faint voice. Xian Lan and the little fairy doctor were startled when they heard this. An alluring bright redness immediately surged onto the little fairy doctor's pale white face. Xian Lan's eyes exchanged looks with the little fairy doctor. Only after that did she move gently and walk to the little fairy doctor's side. After which, Xian Lu gently removed her clothes even though the little fairy doctor's bright red peach blossom face was clearly visible. After the removal of her clothes, one could see her perfect white jade-like smooth body revealed in this ice-cold air. Splash! Xiao Yan let out a soft sigh of relief after hearing the slight sound of someone entering the water. He turned around and saw the little fairy doctor curling herself up in the wooden tub. The pretty face, that was revealed over the surface of the water, was an alluring bashful red. Absorb the energy inside and circulate it around your body. It might be a little pain, but it will be fine if you endure it a little. Xiao Yan softly instructed. After which, he flicked his ten fingers gently and ten wisps of jade green flames suddenly shot out. After which, they emitted chi sounds as they entered the wooden tub like jade green water snakes. Burble burble. The surface of the water appeared to be boiling as it repeatedly emitted hundreds of bubbles following the entry of the glazed lotus heart flame into the wooden tub. The little fairy doctor, who was soaking within it, emitted a groan from her throat. The boiling hot feeling caused her to feel as though she was in a sea of flames. Although it will be a little painful, the heavenly flame will allow the medicinal strength to enter your body in an even more perfect manner. At the same time, it will also suppress the ice soon force from spreading. Xiao Yan hurriedly explained when he saw the little fairy doctor tightly frowning. The little fairy doctor tightly bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth. She nodded and formed a training seal with her hands under the water. After which, she endured the boiling hot feeling and swiftly absorbed the dense fire affinity medicinal strength that was within the wooden basin. The water within the wooden basin gradually formed a whirlpool under the little fairy doctor's absorption. Numerous wisps of red-colored energy repeatedly surged into the little fairy doctor's body at a speed visible to the naked eye. Following the bright red energy entering the little fairy doctor's body, her pale white face gradually turned red. Strangely, an extremely icy cold vapor was being emitted from one side while a faint red-colored, hot vapor was being emitted on the other side. At a glance, the entire situation was exceptionally strange. It is really effective. Xian Lan by the side joyfully exclaimed after seeing the scene. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart. It was fortunate that there was not much ice-soon force within the little fairy doctor's body. Otherwise, even if he had a method that could work, it was likely impossible to completely remove the ice-soon force without at least 10 days or half a month. Xian Lan, you have a better understanding of the pill region. 
Therefore, I wish to ask you for help. Xiao Yan turned his head, looked at Xi and Long, and spoke in a deep voice after seeing that the ice soon force in the little fairy doctor's body was gradually being removed. Yes, big brother Xiao Yan, please tell me what to do. Leave this fallen god stream and help me gather all of these medicinal ingredients. Xiao Yan took out a piece of white paper from his storage ring. The names of some medicinal ingredients were written on it. All of them were the medicinal ingredients he needed to help Tian Wazunja refine a body. He had already killed many people from the Ice River Valley. It was likely that he had formed a death feud with them. Therefore, Xiao Yan needed to be prepared. Xi and Lan glanced at the white paper after receiving it. She involuntarily became speechless. The names of the medicinal ingredients that were written on it were some she had never even heard of. However, she still nodded and said, Big Brother Xiao Yan, please be reassured that if I fail to gather all of them, I will return to the clan and take them for you. Xiao Yan quietly nodded. He flicked his finger and the earth demon puppet flashed and appeared, it will protect you during this trip. However, it is best that you place some clothing over it before leaving the fallen god stream in order to avoid attention. Xi and Lan solemnly nodded. She could guess the importance of this matter to Xiao Yan and did not stay for long. After carefully storing the white paper into her storage ring, she swiftly walked out of the cave. The earth demon puppet followed close behind her. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze after watching Xi and Lan disappear from the cave's exit. He threw his eyes back to the little fairy doctor in the wooden tub. A cold glint flashed across his eyes. Ice River Valley, this matter will not be resolved easily. Chapter 1076, Traces of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast The expulsion of the ice soon force from the little fairy doctor's body took nearly four days of Xiao Yan's time. Xiao Yan had mixed around a hundred types of medicinal ingredients medicinal strength into the water during these four days. After which, he allowed the little fairy doctor to absorb all of them into her body. Only then was the ice soon force, hidden in her body, gradually forced out. Due to this, Xiao Yan felt that the ice soon force of the ice river valley was troublesome to deal with. However, this special Dou Qi that could only be practiced after one had reached the strength of a Dou Zone did indeed have extraordinary aspects. Xiao Yan was seated cross-legged on a stone within the warmly lit mountain cave. A wooden tub with rising heat was in front of him. The wooden tub was filled with a bright red medicinal liquid. The little fairy doctor was seated within it. She bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth and droplets of perspiration formed while carrying some cold air. After which, they rolled down her face and fell into the wooden tub. The perspiration was subsequently scattered by the heat within the medicinal liquid. At this moment, most of the medicinal liquid within the wooden tub had been absorbed. Hence, the little fairy doctor's smooth shoulders had been revealed. The medicinal liquid dripped onto one and quietly rolled down. She appeared like a top-quality suet jade, causing one to feel an unwillingness to part with her. A faint fog rose from the wooden tub. A couple of threads of snow-white hair fell onto little fairy doctor's forehead. They set off her pretty face, that was dripping some sweet perspiration, causing her to appear exceptionally enchanting. Her grayish-purple eyes gently blinked, releasing an unusually shocking allure. Bright red medicinal strength surged into the little fairy doctor's body from the wooden tub. This continued for a long time before her lovely body suddenly shook. Her small mouth widened and a small ice cube, formed from cold air, shot out of her mouth and struck an enormous rock in the cave. Immediately, that piece of rock was covered by a thick layer of ice amid a cracking sound. The paleness on the little fairy doctor's face diminished after this tiny ice cube left her body. A sleek red color slowly appeared. Xiao Yan, who was training with his eyes shut, quickly opened them to this commotion. He saw the little fairy doctor's expression as he involuntarily rejoiced. He asked, has the ice soon force been removed from your body? The little fairy doctor smiled sweetly and nodded. That's good. This thing is troublesome to deal with. I have tried nearly a hundred types of medicinal ingredients in order to concoct a suitable medicinal strength. Xiao Yan sighed in relief when he saw her nod. He immediately sighed in relief and smiled as he said, since the ice soon force had been removed, you should not be in a serious condition. The injuries in your body are a small matter now. I have the confidence to help you swiftly recover. The little fairy doctor nodded once again. She did not doubt Xiao Yan's pill refinement abilities at all. You, can you turn around first? The little fairy doctor's eyes turned away. A bright redness suddenly flew onto her pretty face as she softly asked. Xiao Yan was initially startled when he heard this. Immediately, he gave her an embarrassed smile and hurriedly turned around. He twisted his head to one side as he did so. The little fairy doctor quietly sighed in relief after seeing Xiao Yan turn around as he had been told. She bit her lower red lip with the back of her teeth and moved her lovely body. Her hand moved as her body rose from the wooden tub and a clean, white-colored dress flew out of her storage ring. Within an instant, it wrapped around her perfect, clean body. I'm done. Xiao Yan only turned around after hearing her gentle voice escape her lips from behind him. He looked at the lady, who appeared exceptionally fresh in a white-colored dress, and an amazed expression involuntarily flashed past his eyes. The little fairy doctor's current demeanor was just like when Xiao Yan had met her for the first time back in Qingshan town. She was just like a piece of jade that warmed one's heart. The current her was truly like the little fairy doctor from back then. 
She was viewed as a goddess in the hearts of those mercenaries from Qingshan town and not the poison sect poison lady from the Chuyun Empire, a name everyone feared. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew the surprise in his eyes and involuntarily felt a little pleased. The period of time in the Chuyun Empire was likely the darkest period in the little fairy doctor's heart. Even with his company later on, she still appeared a little quiet. Clearly, she was influenced by her memories of that time. However, when Xiao Yan saw her today, this girl, who had a desolate and pitiful background, appeared to have begun to walk away from the shadow of her memory during that period of time. The current her was truly the little fairy doctor whom Xiao Yan was acquainted with back then. What are you looking at? The little fairy doctor curled her pretty eyes a little as she softly laughed. Her beautiful eyes danced. Looking at a beauty. Xiao Yan teasingly laughed. After which, he leaped down from the large rock and landed beside the little fairy doctor. He grabbed the other party's snow white wrist, shut his eyes, and once again began to probe the injuries within her body. The little fairy doctor's pretty eyes looked at the young face in front of her. This face might not be as young nor as handsome as those she had seen over the years, but he was just like good wine as it seeped into one's heart, causing one to feel exceptionally warm. Thank you. The little fairy doctor muttered to herself using a soft voice only she could hear. Immediately, a faint warm smile was lifted on her pretty face. This smile was different from the past. At this moment, it seemed that something was added to it, causing this pretty smile to appear even more alluring and warm. Xiao Yan had shut his eyes. He slowly opened them a moment later and said to the little fairy doctor with a grin, The situation is much better than I had thought. Take this medicinal pill. You should be able to recover to your peak within two to three days. Xiao Yan took out a round medicinal pill from his storage ring and handed it to the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor extended her hand and took the medicinal pill. She slightly nodded. It seemed that she could be much more relaxed with Xiao Yan beside her. How is your woeful poison body? Xiao Yan's glanced at the little fairy doctor's expression and suddenly asked a question. I'm all right. However, there should only be two to three months until it erupts. I am able to sense it. The little fairy doctor smiled. That causal manner of hers appeared as though she was speaking about something else. This is all right. Xiao Yan intently frowned. His voice involuntarily dipped. He was a little unhappy about the attitude the little fairy doctor used to treat herself. The little fairy doctor slightly smiled after appearing to have heard the displeasure in Xiao Yan's voice. She softly said, even if the poison body really erupts and attacks my consciousness, I will definitely still recognize you at that time. The memory of the person in front of her occupied a large portion of her life. He was her first friend, and her only good friend that she acknowledged from her heart. This simple friend seemed to have deviated into something else within her heart. His weight in her heart had become heavier. You are really only speaking nonsense. Relax, I will obtain the monster core of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast within these two to three months. At that time, I will be able to allow you to completely control the woeful poison body. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head as he promised. Although he already possessed a rank 6 monster core of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast in his storage ring, it did not satisfy the requirements. Unless he really ended up reaching that stage, Xiao Yan did not intend to risk using it. After all, this was related to whether or not the little fairy doctor would live or die. Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast The little fairy doctor's pretty eyes blinked when she heard this. A strange expression surfaced on her face. She hesitated for a moment before saying, If it is the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast, we will be able to find one in this fallen god stream. Xiao Yan was startled. A wild joy suddenly appeared on his face as he asked, What rank is it at? Rank 7, I think. It is able to transform into a human form. Little fairy doctor softly replied. You have seen it. Where? The wild joy in Xiao Yan's eyes became denser as he hurriedly asked. Poison objects roam the interior of the fallen god stream. It does not lack poison magical beasts with terrifying strengths. This place possesses some magical beast factions scattered around. Moreover, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast is coincidentally an overlord of this fallen god stream. The little fairy doctor's hand parted a thread of snow white hair on her forehead. The strange expression on her face became even more prominent as she said, Not long after I entered the fallen god stream, I met that sky poison dragon scorpion beast, that fellow was like a lunatic after seeing me. He repeatedly howled, wanting to capture me to be his woman. Back then, I was seriously injured and did not wish to get entangled with that maniac. All I could do was think of a way to escape. Xiao Yan was stunned. He looked at the strange expression on the little fairy doctor's face with surprise. A moment later, he could not help but shake his head. He laughed, feeling that the entire situation was comical, looks like your charm is too much to handle. Even a magical beast has become crazily attracted to you. He even wishes to capture you to make you his wife. What is there to laugh about? That fellow clearly fancies the woeful poison body. A bright redness surfaced on the little fairy doctor's face as she chided when she heard Xiao Yan's teasing. Xiao Yan ceased laughing, aware that the little fairy doctor was right. His eyes revealed an excited expression as he said, What is that large fellow's strength like? I never exchanged blows with him. However, it is likely that his strength is even greater than Bing Fu and the others. Based on my guess, he should have reached the 8-star Dozone level. The little fairy doctor voiced her thoughts. An 8-star Dozone, huh? 
Xiao Yan nodded in acknowledgement. Fortunately, it was not a bone that he could not chew. You should recuperate first. Once your injuries are completely healed, we will attack that sky poison dragon scorpion beast. If we can obtain its monster core, the problem of the woeful poison body will be completely resolved. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before waving his hand and announcing his decision. The little fairy doctor gently nodded when she heard his words. The woeful poison body was a large stone that had been pressing on her heart for a long time. It would naturally be best if she could completely resolve it. Before this, I will also need to make some preparations and ensure that no accidents will occur. Xiao Yan smiled. His body moved, and he once again sat on the rock. An excited expression flashed across his dark black eyes. He really wanted to know just what level the little fairy doctor would reach after completely controlling her woeful poison body. Would she leap to the Dozun class? If that was possible, would he not possess two elite Dozuns beside him, including Tian Wazunja? Even Xiao Yan could not help but feel his emotions surge when he thought of this. In the past, he never would have expected two extraordinary experts to gather beside him. Chapter 1077 Advancement Xiao Yan did not become hasty despite having obtained traces of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. A fierce beast with the strength of an eight-star Dozone was not an ordinary being. If he did prepare enough, it was likely that his chances of succeeding would not be great. At the moment, Xiao Yan's strength was merely that of a one-star Dozone. The little fairy doctor had exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations and reached the level of a six-star Dozone. This kind of training speed was also quite great. If they were to join hands, it would not be impossible to kill the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. However, they would definitely exhaust a ton of effort to do so. After all, an eight-star Dozone was similar to an existence like Fei Tian. Additionally, no one knew just what kind of trump cards the other party possessed. If they failed to capture him the first time and allowed him to flee, where would they go to look for him? Moreover, even if Xiao Yan possessed the energy to do so, the little fairy doctor did not have the strength to do so at the moment. Hence, he would rather not act. Once he acted, he would have absolute confidence he would succeed. Moreover, being an overlord of this fallen god stream, that sky poison dragon scorpion beast already possessed a human form. His intelligence would not be inferior to that of a human. He might even be more cunning than that. Hence, quite a number of powerful magical beasts would gather under him. If Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor were to attack, these magical beasts would pose some trouble. Fortunately, Xiao Yan had Tian Huizunja, this great helper. Based on his initial plan, he would help Tian Huizunja refine a body before attacking the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. However, after searching for the ingredients in his storage ring, he discovered that he was coincidentally missing one item, the essence blood of a rank 7 magical beast. Of course, strictly speaking, it was not that he did not possess that item. The essence blood that had been refined from the corpse of the heaven demon phoenix was of a rank that far exceeded the requirement. Unfortunately, there was an insufficient amount of it. Only the few miserable droplets of the heaven demon phoenix essence blood remained in Xiao Yan's hands. This little bit was insufficient to refine a body. Hence, the essence blood that was required to refine this body would likely have to come from that sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan's upper body was naked as he sat within the cave that was filled with warm light. The ink-like demon poison spot was slowly wiggling on his chest. The circular surroundings of the poison spot had a faint green color. A high temperature was continuously being emitted from it. Under this high temperature, the demon poison spot was repeatedly emitting wisps of black air. Finally, these wisps were absorbed by the high temperature. With Xiao Yan's current strength, this demon poison spot no longer posed much of a threat to him. Moreover, with the help of the heavenly flame's might, he was able to refine it as he pleased. Of course, due to him being afraid that refining it all at once would cause his strength to soar and end up influencing his training foundation, Xiao Yan paid special attention during the refinement. He acted just like he was removing a cocoon as he slowly pulled out a thread at a time. Finally, he completely refined it and turned it into something he could use. Although Xiao Yan's advancement was suppressed during this careful refinement, his training speed was also something that an ordinary Dou Zone would not be able to match. After all, other people did not possess such pure Dou Qi for them to refine and absorb. If one were to talk about it, Xie Bai Yan from the 10,000 Scorpion Gate back then had really left Xiao Yan with a wonderful treasure. A bonfire was burning within the cave. The little fairy doctor was holding her cheeks beside the bonfire. Occasionally, her eyes would glance at Xiao Yan, who was training. Each time, her eyes would pause on the demon poison spot on Xiao Yan's chest, stirring her memories. She recalled the scene of the fight with the 10,000 Scorpion Gate in the Chuyun Empire back then. Boom. While the little fairy doctor's thoughts were drifting, a deep, muffled sound suddenly appeared in the cave. She hurriedly raised her head, only to discover that the energy within the cave had suddenly become violent. It was as though the energy was being dragged by something as it wildly surged to a corner of the cave. The little fairy doctor's eyes followed the direction the energy was surging to. Immediately, they paused on Xiao Yan's body. Surprise flashed across her pretty eyes, advancement. This unusual phenomenon was not foreign to the little fairy doctor because she had already experienced it many times. Xie Bai Yan's strength had reached that of a 3 to 4 star Dozone back then. Although the poison spot that had been formed from all of his Dou Qi had caused Xiao Yan to suffer a little, it could be considered a great tonic. The little fairy doctor softly laughed and did not feel worried. 
When she saw Xiao Yan again, she had sensed that he was at the peak of a one-star Dou Zone and was not far from breaking through. Moreover, after having viciously refined the Dou Qi within the demon poison spot, Xiao Yan had naturally reached the requirement for his advancement. It was just as the little fairy doctor had expected. Xiao Yan's face did not reveal any panic after the unusual phenomenon occurred. Instead, he increased the suction. A cluster of jade green flame swiftly poured out of his body. After which, the natural energy that surged over underwent an initial refinement by the heavenly flame before being unceremoniously absorbed into his body. Poison objects roamed all over the fallen god stream. Even the natural energy of this place was mixed with some poison gas. An ordinary expert would not dare to train in this place. Fortunately, Xiao Yan possessed the heavenly flame. The poison gas mixed in the natural energy was automatically removed by the frighteningly high temperature of the heavenly flame. The energy that a Do Zone required to advance was extremely great. An unceasing amount of energy surged into the cave, forming an energy swirl around Xiao Yan. After which, it poured into Xiao Yan's body. The little fairy doctor lazily stood up after seeing the activity that Xiao Yan had created. She walked to the entrance of the cave. The poison beings within the fallen god stream were extremely sensitive to energy. This large-scale absorption of natural energy by Xiao Yan would definitely attract their attention. Therefore, she would need to put in some effort to guard him. The little fairy doctor's footsteps stopped at the entrance of the cave. She looked at the dark black world outside and lazily leaned against a rock wall. After musing for a moment, an unusually majestic aura slowly spread out, deterring some of the fierce and vicious poison creatures that had been attracted by the commotion. The unusual phenomenon in the cave continued for around half an hour or so before the raging natural energy gradually weakened. The energy swirl that lingered around Xiao Yan's body also became illusory. Not long after the final thread of energy entered Xiao Yan's body, his tightly shut eyes quivered a little. After which, he slowly opened them. Two substance-like energy pillars made of light shot out of his eyes and struck the enormous rock in front of him. The light emitted a puff sound as it penetrated through the rock. This was a situation that had occurred due to his body being overfilled with energy. The light within Xiao Yan's eyes was concealed after these two energy light pillars shot out. They once again returned to their rippleless forms. At a glance, he did not appear to be any different from his condition earlier. However, his aura was at least twice as strong as it was before. Xiao Yan extended his hand and gently clenched it. He could see the empty space above his hand forming wave after wave of distortions. Controlling space, this was the sign of an expert Do Zone. However, one would only possess an initial control at this class. Only when one reached the Do Zone class or even the Doshin class would one be able to use spatial strength with a high degree of skill. Are you done? A warm laugh sounded in front of Xiao Yan while he was tirelessly and happily distorting space. He raised his head and saw the white-clothed little fairy doctor, who appeared exceptionally pure and enchanting. This demon poison spot is really a good thing. If I had to rely on absorbing the energy from the outside world, it would likely have required one month for me to reach the two-star level. Xiao Yan grinned. He lowered his head, glanced at the black spot on his chest, and replied. The precondition is that you must possess the strength to control it. Did you forget how you were tortured by this thing in the past? The little fairy doctor rolled her eyes at Xiao Yan. This fellow had really forgotten the pain after the wound was healed. Xiao Yan smiled. He put his clothes back on and asked, Is Xian Lan still not back? Ugh, it has been four days since she left. Did something happen to her? The little fairy doctor inclined her head and inquires with some hesitation. I don't think so, the earth demon puppet is protecting her. If something happened to her, something should have also happened to the earth demon puppet. However, I have not sensed anything wrong with the earth demon puppet. Xiao Yan mused for a moment, shook his head, and said, let's wait for another two days. We will attack the sky poison dragon scorpion beast after the earth demon puppet returns. That way, we will be able to ascertain that nothing will go wrong. The little fairy doctor did not voice any objection to Xiao Yan's decision. She immediately nodded after Xiao Yan spoke. Xian Lan still did not return after another day had passed. Just when Xiao Yan also thought that something was wrong, the sound of rushing wind finally appeared outside of the cave. Immediately, a familiar figure rushed in with some anxiety. The earth demon puppet followed close behind her. Xiao Yan and little fairy doctor finally sighed in relief after seeing that Xian Lan was fine. They frowned when they saw her somewhat panicking face. What happened? Big brother Xiao Yan. Things have become troublesome. Little fairy doctor Jie Jie and you are wanted by the Ice River Valley. Moreover, they seem to also be aware that the both of you are still in the Fallen God Stream. Currently, many experts from the Ice River Valley are hurrying to the Fallen God Stream. Moreover, it is rumored that an expert at the peak of the Do Zone class is among those hurrying over. Xian Lan forcefully swallowed a mouthful of saliva as she hurriedly spoke with a somewhat pale face. Peak of the Do Zone class. Xiao Yan's and the little fairy doctor's expressions changed when they heard this. Immediately, their faces turned a little gloomy. This time around, the Ice River Valley was really willing to put in great capital. The peak of the Do Zone class. Even Fei Tian from the Wind Lightning Pavilion had not reached that level. Looks like we need to speed up our journey. We must settle the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast before they find us. 
Everything will be fine once I help Tian Wazunja refine a body. Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. Currently, he didn't have the time to think about how the Ice River Valley had become aware of their trail. He raised his head to look at the sky outside before suddenly standing up. His eyes slid to the little fairy doctor. Let's get moving. Chapter 1078, Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast Poison fog lingered deep within the fallen god stream. Even the air contained a little stench. It would be quite troublesome if it was absorbed into one's body. The interior of the fallen god stream was filled with a countless number of enormous dark black crevices. Occasionally, numerous roars would be emitted from these fissures. All the living creatures in this place seemed to possess a lethal poison after years of evolution. If one were careless, one would fall in the most unexpected place. The faint sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared in this desolate region. Immediately, a couple of figures rushed over from the distance. Their figures flashed a couple of times and appeared a hundred meters away. It was only possible to see their appearance once they approached. Naturally, they were Xiao Yan's group, searching for the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Xiao Yan's figure gently landed beside a black rock. His eyes looked into the distance, but his sight was severely impeded due to the poison fog. Little Fairy Doctor, where is the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast? Xiao Yan turned his head and looked behind him, where the Little Fairy Doctor and Xian Lan were located. The Little Fairy Doctor looked around her after hearing his question. She slightly shut her eyes. Being in possession of the woeful poison body, she appeared to be exceptionally sensitive to certain poison creatures. After sensing for a moment, she once again opened her eyes and pointed to the north. She softly answered, that way. We should arrive soon. I am able to smell the poison on that fellow's body from a great distance. Xiao Yan tilted his head. He glanced at the earth demon puppet, following close beside him, and immediately inhaled a gentle breath. It seemed that a fierce battle was unavoidable today. With the strength of an eight-star dozone and the powerful physical body of a magical beast, this sky poison dragon scorpion beast would definitely be an extremely troublesome opponent. Xian Lan, you should hide further away when the fight begins. Do not get involved in it. Xiao Yan instructed Xian Lan before moving his body. He rushed in the direction the little fairy doctor had pointed out. Xian Lan nodded. With her strength, it was obvious that she did not have the qualification to participate in a fight of this level. Hence, it was best that she hid far away. Let's go, you have consumed the poison-avoiding pill that Xiao Yan gave you. As long as you do not take the initiative to disturb those fierce poison beings, they will not come and look for you. The little fairy doctor smiled to Xian Lan. After which, she pulled her along and swiftly followed Xiao Yan in front. While Xiao Yan's group began to hurry toward the area where the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was hiding, the entrance of the Fallen God stream had become unusually lively because of the arrival of a group of people. A large group of white-clothed human figures, containing a shockingly cold aura around their bodies, filled the entrance of the Fallen God stream. The temperature of this place seemed to have been affected by them as it descended. There were four old figures standing with their shoulders bent right at the front. These four figures randomly stood. There were three majestic, ice-cold auras slowly spreading apart among them, giving one a kind of extremely pressurizing feeling. The person who attracted the most attention among the four of them was an elder. This old man had white hair and was holding a walking stick with a snake head that appeared to be made from white jade. The snake head's large, savage mouth was widened, and it had a pair of snake eyes which emitted a dark, cold aura. He appeared exceptionally ordinary compared to the three elders beside him. Not even a little energy seeped out of his body. Even that elderly face appeared exceptionally shriveled. His narrowed eyes appeared turbid. His appearance was no different from that of an ordinary old man. The thing that surprised others was that this old man, who did not seem special, was actually standing at the middle of this group of people. Even the three white-clothed, old men with majestic auras remained half a step behind him. Their brows revealed a respectful expression. There were many people currently watching the show around the Fallen God stream's entrance. They were startled when they saw this lineup, especially when they saw the special snow flower image on the clothes of these people. A commotion was stirred as a result. They are people from the Ice River Valley. The one leading them are four expert dozones. Heavens, what does this Ice River Valley intend to do? According to rumors, Bing Fu along with two other Ice River Valley's elders and some disciples have all died in the hands of the woeful poison lady. From the looks of it, the Ice River Valley is really angered this time around. If I have guessed correctly, that old man holding the walking stick should be that elder Tianxi from the Ice River Valley, even in the Ice River Valley, he is considered an important person ranked among the top three. Elder Tianxi. It is actually him. It is unexpected that the Ice River Valley has even dispatched him this time around, that Woeful Poison Lady will likely have a difficult time escaping this time around. The surrounding private conversations did not disturb this white-clothed group. The white-haired, old man holding a walking stick made in the shape of a snake opened his somewhat turbid eyes. He faintly asked, Is everyone here? Everyone is here and waiting for Elder Tian Shi's orders. A white-clothed, old man by the side hurriedly replied. The old man called Elder Tian Shi nodded slowly. He extended his hand and a coldness lingered over it. 
after which, an ice mirror was formed. A picture was present on the ice mirror. Coincidentally, the images of Xiao Yan, the little fairy doctor, the earth demon puppet, and even Tian Wazunja were present in the picture. These are the remnant figures found in the damaged souls of the Ice River Valley's disciples. However, it is unexpected that the woeful poison lady had external reinforcements. However, these few people are extremely foreign to the old me. It is likely that they are people from outside the pill region. Kuko, the Ice River Valley has not met such a challenge for many years. The hands of the old me are almost rusty. The old man holding the snake walking stick swept his turbid eyes over the ice mirror and laughed. His laughter was just like that of an owl, giving one goosebumps. A chill surfaced on the skin of the three white clothed elders when they heard this laugh. They knew that the happier the laugh of this person, the denser the killing intent was in his heart. Let's go, the old me really wishes to meet this group of foreign experts soon. The might of the ice river valley cannot be challenged. The old man gently waved his hand. After which, he lifted the snake walking stick and slowly walked into the fallen god stream. All the disciples from the Ice River Valley followed close behind them. They did not create even the slightest sound when they walked, displaying an appearance of being well-trained. Numerous gazes looked at the people from the Ice River Valley as they gradually disappeared from their sight. They looked to each other and a fiery heat appeared in their eyes. All of them knew that this fallen god stream would likely cease to be calm. We have arrived, that rock fortress is where our target is located. Xiao Yan's footsteps paused suddenly when he heard this. After which, he raised his head, narrowed his eyes and looked into the distance. He could see a large, white-colored rock fortress vaguely visible under the cover of the dense fog. The Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast is in that place. Xiao Yan rubbed his hands. A heat surfaced in his eyes. After searching the Black Corner region all the way to the Central Plains, he had finally found a living Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. The little fairy doctor smiled and nodded. She said, I think that it is likely that it has sensed my presence. It seems that a poison beast that has reached such a rank also possesses a sensitivity to this woeful poison body of mine. In that case, let us see just what this so-called ancient poison beast looks like. Xi and Lan, you should remain here. Do not follow us. Xiao Yan smiled before instructing Xi and Lan. Understood. Xi and Lan nodded before reminding, all of you should be careful. Xiao Yan grinned. His toes pressed on the ground and his body turned into a black line that rushed toward the rock fortress. The little fairy doctor and the earth demon puppet followed close behind him. With the speed of the three of them, they had appeared within a thousand meters of the rock fortress after a short moment. Following their approach, they were finally able to sense just how large this rock fortress was. The place appeared exceptionally vast and mighty. Roar. Just when these three people stepped into a thousand meter radius of this rock fortress, the land suddenly began to shake. Immediately, a soul-stirring dragon roar was emitted from the rock fortress, and a violent storm swept over, sending the rock fragments on the ground flying. Haha, little beauty. It is unexpected that you have come looking for me. In that case, you should obediently stay behind and be my woman. This king wants that woeful poison body of yours to give birth to perfect descendants with the purest bloodline. The dragon roar resounded over the place as a loud laugh was emitted from the rock fortress. After which, the roar spread apart like a wave. One could hear the sharp sound of rushing wind appearing after the loud laugh rang out. A blood-red figure rushed out of the rock fortress in a lightning-like manner. A pair of hundred-foot-large dragon wings were extended from his back. A blood-colored scorpion tail, over ten meters long, was behind it. The tip of the tail contained a sharp, cold glow. The figure remained suspended in the sky with the round moon located behind it. Both of its wings were extended and its poison tail appeared just like a snake. It hissed to the sky while a monstrous fog spread. Xiao Yan's group slowly stopped. They looked at the human figure with its dragon wings in the distant sky. They sensed the monstrous aura and surprise flashed across their eyes. Was this that legendary sky poison dragon scorpion beast? It is indeed very strong, however, its monster core and essence blood are ours. Chapter 1079, Dragon Scorpion Tribe A solemnness flashed across the little fairy doctor's pretty eyes as she looked at the figure in the sky, where poison fog permeated. This sky poison dragon scorpion beast possessed an extremely frightening strength. A fierce battle was likely unavoidable today if they wanted to hunt it. A blood-red figure remained suspended in the sky. Enormous dragon wings slowly flapped behind it, carrying wave after wave of wild wind. However, other than the wings and the sharp scorpion tail behind, this sky poison dragon scorpion beast was no different from an ordinary human. Moreover, his face was extremely handsome. Additionally, there was an evil feeling vaguely seeping from him. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast slowly descended from the sky. Finally, it paused in the air above. His eyes swept over the little fairy doctor before pausing on Xiao Yan beside her. He lifted his eyebrows and laughed, I was wondering why you have the guts to deliver yourself to this place. You have actually got some helpers. However, just this brat's two-star dozone strength makes him unworthy of attacking this king. I have come to this place with the intention of obtaining something from you. 
The little fairy doctor slightly smiled as she softly informed him. Oh. This is naturally not a problem. As long as you remain behind to be this king's woman, never mind asking for just one thing. Even if you demand more, this king will be able to give it to you. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast laughed when he heard this. His gaze immediately contained some lewdness as he stared at the little fairy doctor's alluring body. He had never met a woman who could attract him in this manner in all these years. However, he clearly understood that this kind of attraction was mostly due to the woeful poison body. Being a poison beast, this kind of woeful poison body was just like tonic to him. Just the scent of her would cause his soul to flutter and feel incomparably comfortable. When he met the little fairy doctor for the first time back then, he knew that this woman would definitely be his. In that case, please hand your monster core to me. The gaze of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast caused a cold glint to flash across the little fairy doctor's eyes while she demanded in a faint voice. The smile on the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's handsome face slowly stiffened while a gloominess appeared. He licked his lips and said, It seems that those who come don't have any good intentions and those with good intentions don't come. If it had been someone else who said these words in front of this king, he would definitely be turned into a corpse at this moment. However, this king is so fascinated by you. Therefore, this offense to me shall be repaid by the man beside you. The dragon wings behind the sky poison dragon scorpion beast were flapped after these words sounded. His body suddenly disappeared from the spot. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed the moment the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's body disappeared. At the same time, a silver glow flashed under his feet as he swiftly withdrew by a couple of steps. Qi. Xiao Yan's withdrawing feet had just landed when a hand with blood red, sharp nails tore through the spot in front of him, like a sharp sword. A dark black line appeared in the space where the hand passed. Huh. The empty space in front emitted a surprised huh when the attack missed. Immediately, the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast surfaced in an unusual manner. His gaze was dark as he glanced at Xiao Yan. Without saying a word, he emitted a swoosh sound as a black figure rushed out in a lightning-like fashion, piercing through the sky. Within a flash, it appeared in front of Xiao Yan's forehead. An unusually sharp scorpion tail had appeared. The sharp tip contained a bright red color. Clearly, it possessed a lethal poison. Qi. The sharp scorpion tail's tip pierced at Xiao Yan's forehead in a lightning-like manner. After which, it penetrated through his forehead, but no fresh blood appeared. After image. Surprise immediately flashed across the eyes of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast when he saw the scene. He swept his gaze around, only to see a figure slowly appearing a few dozen meters away. That figure was Xiao Yan. Good brat, I have underestimated you. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast also felt surprised when he saw Xiao Yan dodge the attack from his scorpion tail. However, before he could act, a grayish purple dochi pillar shot over from behind him, accompanied by the ear-piercing sound of rushing wind. Hee hee, little beauty, this little attack can't do anything to this king. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast laughed when he sensed the wind from behind him. The scorpion tail behind him pierced out in a flash. After which, it easily blocked the grayish purple dochi pillar. I don't care where you have come from. Since you have come, there is no need to leave. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast laughed out loud as his eyes swept over Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor. After which, he opened his hand and let out a clear loud roar to the sky. This place suddenly began quiver after the roar spread. Immediately, rampaging noises could be heard. Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor looked in the direction the noises had come from, and they saw a black line sweeping over the land like an ocean wave from the horizon. Poison gas that filled the air lingered over the black line and formed something like a poison cloud. Be careful, all of them are poison beasts within the fallen god stream. The little fairy doctor's body flashed and appeared beside Xiao Yan. Her face was solemn when she spoke. The black line gradually approached while little fairy doctor was speaking. Xiao Yan glanced over and found that it was not a black line. Instead, it was a sea of densely packed poison beasts. The poison cloud that agglomerated in the air was formed from the breaths of these poison beasts. Xiao Yan's eyes coagulated as he studied the scene. He was even able to sense two similarly strong auras from within the densely packed sea of poison beasts. Although they were much weaker compared to the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, they should have reached the strength of a four-star doe zone or so. This king is the overlord of this region. Since you have arrived at this place, whether you live or die will also be determined by this king. A dark, dense expression surfaced on the evil face of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast as he laughed. We will deal with these poison beasts. Leave the sky poison dragon scorpion beast for the earth demon puppet and old Mr. Yao to handle. It is likely that they will properly entertain him. Xiao Yan merely smiled faintly in the face of the arrogance of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. He flicked his finger and the earth demon puppet appeared in front of him. Immediately, he rubbed his finger over the white colored ring and Tian Wazunja's illusionary soul slowly drifted out. TSK TSK, little fellow, you really think too highly of the old me. You have found such a troublesome fellow. Tian Wazunja saw the sky poison dragon scorpion beast with the monstrous poison fog not far away after he appeared. He immediately exclaimed, this fellow's fighting strength is likely even stronger than that Fei Tian. How did you offend such an existence? I have no choice. 
The essence blood of a rank 7 magical beast is needed to help you refine a body. Xiao Yan spread his hands and smiled as he answered. Tian Wazunja was momentarily dull when he heard this. He immediately and helplessly shook his head as he said, All right, all right. Little fellow, you always have a reason. However, I alone will not be able to deal with him. Although Tian Wazunja's spiritual strength was quite powerful, it would be a little lacking if he were to openly fight with an expert at the level of this sky poison dragon scorpion beast. All of these drawbacks were due to his inability to use Dou Qi. The earth demon puppet will do its best to aid you. I think that there should not be any problem, right? Xiao Yan's finger pointed to the earth demon puppet beside him and laughed. Tian Wazunja sighed in relief when he saw the puppet. The fighting strength of the current earth demon puppet was not inferior to that of an 8-star Dozone. With its help, Tian Wazunja would have greater confidence when facing that fellow. The smile on the face of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast stiffened a little when Tian Wazunja and the earth demon puppet appeared. His voice was gloomy as he said, So, you have come prepared. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. He ignored that fellow and glanced at the countless numbers of poison beasts rushing over while emitting a loud rumbling sound. After which, his eyes slid to Tian Wazunja and said, Old Mr. Yao, try to be as quick as possible. The little fairy doctor and I will stop all these poison beasts. Aye, no problem. With the earth demon puppet, it will not be too difficult to finish him off. Tian Wazunja slowly nodded as he replied. Old fellow aren't you afraid of biting your tongue by saying such big words? This king is a member of the scorpion dragon tribe. You dare to touch me. The eyes of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast were dark and dense as he spoke. Scorpion dragon tribe. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. He had heard of this magical beast tribe before. It could be considered an extremely powerful tribe in the magical beast world. Moreover, their reputation was also quite great. It is rumored that all the members of the scorpion dragon tribe possess a rare ancient dragon bloodline within their bodies. Ancient dragon. It was referring to that extremely mysterious void ancient dragon. There was seldom anyone on the Dochi continent who had seen traces of such a legendary existence. Within the magical beast world, any magical beast who possessed a hint of a relation to this mysterious void ancient dragon was an indication that they were strong. They were just like this sky poison dragon scorpion beast in front. The strength of an 8-star Dozone could be considered a top-tier expert across the entire Dochi continent. Moreover, this scorpion dragon tribe was much greater in numbers compared to the void ancient dragon. Hence, even though it could not be compared to a tribe like the heaven demon phoenix tribe, they could be considered ranked among the top. Xiao Yan did not expect this sky poison dragon scorpion beast to be a member of that scorpion dragon tribe. However, now that things had developed like this, he had no choice but to continue. Forget about this fellow being a member of the Scorpion Dragon tribe. Even if he was a void ancient dragon, it was likely that Xiao Yan would still have no choice but to attack. Old Mr. Yao, please attack. Xiao Yan's eyes turned to Tian Huazunja. A dense coldness flashed across his face as he slowly spoke. A cold glint flashed across the empty hollow eyes of the Earth Demon puppets by the side after Xiao Yan's last words sounded. The silver glow on its bright body became even more intense. It did not even pause for a moment as its body flashed and rushed at the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. The expression of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast immediately became quite ugly when he saw the Earth Demon Puppet rushing over. Killing intent surged wildly in his eyes. He furiously laughed, since all of you are seeking death, this king shall grant your wishes, ants. Tian Wazunja illusionary body trembled before slowly disappearing in a strange fashion. A clear, loud laugh carried a pride that resounded over the sky. Ha ha, ants. If the old me had not lost my body, you would also be just an ant in the eyes of the old me. Even though this is the case, the old me will definitely take your essence blood today. Chapter 1080, Slaughtering the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast Xiao Yan turned his head after watching the Earth Demon Puppet and Tian Wazunja charge the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. He threw his gaze toward the countless numbers of poison beasts emitting a loud rumble while heading this way. Due to these beasts being closed by, Xiao Yan could see that two figures were standing on the backs of a large magical beast at the front. The two vast and mighty auras, that Xiao Yan had sensed earlier, were originating from them. This Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast is indeed worthy of being the overlord of the Fallen God Stream. He possesses two underlings with such strength under him. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes, placed his gaze on the two figures, and made a comment. Leave the two of them to me. You should block the beast crowd. What do you say? The little fairy doctor sweetly smiled as she asked. Is that alright? Xiao Yan hesitated a little after hearing her before asking. The two of them have just reached the strength of a four-star dozone. My injuries have already completely healed. It should not be too difficult to deal with them. The little fairy doctor continued to smile as she said, on the other hand, there is a great number of beasts in that beast crowd. If you are not serious, you might end up falling unexpectedly. They are but a bunch of evil beasts, what can they do? Xiao Yan laughed loudly, appearing extremely prideful. Foolish brat. You dare to create trouble in the territory of my leader. You really don't know how to write the word death. A furious roar was emitted from the beast crowd that had rushed over while Xiao Yan was laughing. Immediately, two sounds of rushing wind appeared. 
Two figures rushed forward and appeared a hundred meters from Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor. The two figures looked exceptionally strange because their sizes did not match. One was as fat as a ball and the ground appeared to shake when he walked. The other was as skinny as a twig, appearing just like a bamboo pole. A sinister cunningness flickered deep in eyes. Even Xiao Yan could not help but be startled when he saw these two people. He immediately found it comical. The outer appearances of these two were really strange. Get out of the sky scorpion region. Otherwise, die. That large human figure revealed a fierceness in his eyes as he stared at Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor. He clenched his hand and an enormous hammer that was the size of a human appeared. The large hammer was randomly swung and a low sonic boom resounded. Even the ground was shaken until a couple of deep pits formed. The skinny person beside him swept his gaze across Xiao Yan's group in a sinister manner. After which, he swiftly glanced at the, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. A soul-stirring battle had already erupted there. Three experts with the strengths of an eight-star doe zone were exchanging blows. The activity created would naturally not be small. Wave after wave of frightening energy rippled down. Even though they were far away, it was still possible to sense the pressure contained within the energy waves. Why have these people suddenly come to the Sky Scorpion region? Moreover, the two who are fighting with the leader possess a strength that is not inferior to him. The two in front are also clearly not ordinary people. Surprise appeared in this person's eyes as they quietly flicked around. Leave them to me. The beast crowd is coming. You should act. It is rumored that the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast is able to borrow the poison gas from the beast crowd. Therefore, you need to chase them away as soon as possible. The little fairy doctor clenched her hand. A grayish purple, mighty Do Chi lingered over her palm. After instructing Xiao Yan, she moved her lovely body and rushed forward, charging at the fat and skinny duo. Little girl. You are seeking death. The old me will not hold back because you are a girl. The large fatty immediately let out a furious roar when he saw the little fairy doctor charging over. He stepped on the ground, causing it to shake as he did so. After which, he charged at little fairy doctor like a small mountain. The large, metal hammer in his hand carried a continuous sonic boom as it viciously smashed toward the little fairy doctor. Clang. A vast and mighty dochi pillar shot out and heavily collided with the metal hammer. Immediately, a metallic sound erupted. Sparks shot out. That enormous metal hammer was sent flying while the charging fatty staggered backwards. This woman is really fierce. Ganho, why aren't you attacking? The expression on the fatty's face changed as he cried out in a deep voice after having been forced back by the little fairy doctor with only one blow. That skinny, twig-like man frowned when he heard the cry. He clenched his hand and two long daggers appeared. His foot stomped on the ground, emitting a swoosh sound as he transformed into a blurry figure that shot toward the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor did not panic even a little in the face of this combined attack by the skinny and fat figures. Her footsteps were elegant and calm. Each time she waved her hands, a vast and mighty dochi would appear, forcing these two to hurriedly dodge. Neither dared to even make the slightest contact with it. Xiao Yan sighed in relief after seeing that the little fairy doctor did not face any problems. He raised his eyes and looked at the beast crowd. With a cold laugh, his body flashed and appeared in the air above them. The seals formed by his hands changed and the fallen heart flame was separated from the glazed lotus heart flame before remaining suspended in front of him. Xiao Yan shut his eyes and spread both of his hands. A thought passed through his mind and the fallen heart flame in front of him immediately shook. After which, a powerful invisible wave formed a circular ripple form as it spread out. The invisible ripple swiftly spread and made contact with the beast crowd in the blink of an eye. Numerous mournful roars immediately sounded. The mighty momentum of the beast crowd became chaotic. Wisps of white smoke began to appear on the bodies of some of the magical beasts. Puff. 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 Another invisible ripple spread and arrived. Immediately, clusters of flames burst forth among the beast crowd. Innumerable poison beasts were ignited despite the absence of fire. They turned into fireballs that wildly fled in all directions. A moment later, they collapsed and transformed into piles of ashes. The beast crowd did not lack powerful beasts who possessed a little intelligence but had yet to transform into a human form. They were able to barely block this kind of heart flame attack. Moreover, being in possession of an intelligence, they did not act as crazily as the other magical beast and charge forward despite knowing that the area in front of them was filled with danger. Of course, those magical beasts that possessed an intelligence were a minority. Most of the magical beasts only used their instincts. Currently, they were under the control of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast, so all they knew was they needed to charge forward. However, under the large-scale attack of the Heart Flame from the Fallen Heart Flame, any magical beast that entered within a hundred meter radius of Xiao Yan would, without exception, transform into ashes amid wave after wave of puffing sounds. Even though this was the case, there was still an unceasing number of magical beasts charging over without any fear of death. This resulted in a thick layer of ashes forming on the plains, causing it to appear exceptionally desolate. Xiao Yan involuntarily knit his brows as an increasing number of magical beasts charged forward. He glanced at the poison cloud lingering just above the magical beasts. He did not know just how long he could continue this killing if they continued forward. These magical beasts were controlled by the sky poison dragon scorpion beast and did not feel any fear. 
Roar. A loud, clear dragon roar resounded while Xiao Yan was pondering the problem. An uproar was formed in the beast crowd and the poison fog in the air began to move. The direction it shifted in was the battleground where the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was located. Xiao Yan's expression slightly changed. The current sky poison dragon scorpion beast was clearly no longer able to endure the combined attacks of Tian Wazunja and the earth demon puppet. He was thinking of using the strength of the poison cloud formed from the tens of thousands of beasts. If he was allowed to do as he wished, it was likely that some unexpected change might be added to the situation. Since you wish to borrow the strength of the poison cloud, I shall destroy it. A cold glint flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He swallowed the fallen heart flame back into his body. The flame swiftly merged with the green lotus core flame and once again formed the glazed lotus heart flame. The seal on his hand changed and a jade green flame shot toward the sky. It wiggled and transformed into a large fire wolf that was hundreds of feet in size. The fire wolf leaped across the sky, emitting a high temperature in the process and causing the surrounding poison fog to instantly scatter. When this fire wolf, formed from the glazed lotus heart flame, had appeared, the beast crowd below immediately formed an intense commotion. They felt a fear deep in their hearts to this creature that was hot and filled with yang energy. Heavenly Flame The sky poison dragon scorpion beast, which had fallen into an entanglement, sensed the fire wolf that had formed in the sky. His expression also drastically changed in the process. Hee hee, now is not the time to be distracted. A laugh suddenly sounded from behind the sky poison dragon scorpion beast just when his mind was momentarily distracted. Immediately, a palm that contained a vast and mighty force was firmly imprinted into the back of the beast. Grug. After receiving the heavy blow, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out of the mouth of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. This fresh blood had just appeared when they transformed into blood arrows that ruthlessly shot into the face of the earth demon puppet that had arrived in front. A chi chi sound appeared. However, the earth demon puppet did not react to this. Its powerful fist was still unceremoniously swung forward. Bastard, this king will not let all of you off. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast dodged the mountain-like blow from the earth demon puppet in a miserable manner. His expression was purplish as he furiously roared. Scorpion dragon swallowing sky. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast emitted a hiss from his throat after having pulled back. His body immediately swelled. Instantly, he transformed into a thousand foot large ferocious beast. It raised its head and faced the poison cloud that had been formed by the poison vapor from tens of thousands of beasts. A suction force surged from its mouth. Heaven swallowing. In your dreams. Xiao Yan let out a cold laugh when he saw this. The seal formed by his hands changed and the fire wolf widened its enormous mouth. An enormous fire pillar shot out and struck the enormous poison cloud. The temperature of the heavenly flame was frighteningly high, causing the poison fog to immediately form white smoke. The terrifying poison gas gathered within was scattered like a balloon that had burst apart. Due to the burning of the heavenly flame, the amount of poison vapor that was absorbed by the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was so little that it was pitiful, which caused the sky poison dragon scorpion beast to become furious. Its blood red eyes stared at Xiao Yan, and its dozens meter long scorpion tail pierced through the air, shooting at Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's expression did not change. The seal on his hands moved and the enormous fire wolf pounced down, allowing the scorpion tail to penetrate its body. The high temperature contained within it caused the scorpion's tail to emit waves of chi chi sounds. How? The intense pain that was transmitted from its tail caused the sky poison dragon scorpion beast to face the sky and emit a mournful wail. However, its miserable wail had just sounded when a silver colored figure appeared above its head. A punch smashed its large eye without showing any mercy. Bang. A low, deep sound appeared. Fresh blood spluttered into the sky, causing the place to appear as though it was raining blood. Under this heavy blow, even the sky poison dragon scorpion beast could not resist. It fell from the sky and heavily struck the ground. The land vibrated and the mountains shook. Chapter 1081, Kill After the enormous body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast smashed into the ground, the entire land trembled. It was as though an earthquake had occurred as numerous arm thick cracks spread from the spot where it had landed. The body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast formed an enormous pit in the ground. The intense pain that was transmitted from its eye caused it to emit a painful roar. Fresh blood flowed out of its shattered eye like a small stream. The punch from the earth demon puppet earlier had really caused it to suffer. Bastard, this king will tear all of you into a thousand pieces. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast roared furiously at the sky. Its voice was filled with an incomparable amount of killing intent and fury. This very day was likely the only time he had ever become so miserable since he had taken the form of a human. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast widened its enormous mouth after it had let out that furious roar. Dense, blood-colored energy swiftly agglomerated. Within a short moment, it transformed into a blood-colored light pillar that was half a foot wide. The frightening energy contained within the light pillar caused the surrounding air to form waves of intense ripples. Chi. Its savage head was swung as the blood-colored light pillar cut through the air with a swoosh sound. It was just like reverse lightning as it rushed to the sky. Be careful. Tian Wazunja revealed a sober expression when he saw the blood-colored light pillar. 
This sky poison dragon scorpion beast was about to go crazy. Anyone present would likely not have an easy time if they were to endure such a powerful attack. Xiao Yan had immediately sensed danger from the blood-colored light pillar. Before Tian Hua Zunjia issued his warning, he had activated the 3000 lightning movement. Numerous afterimages were left behind in the sky while his actual body strangely disappeared. The blood-colored light pillar possessed a lethal force, and it appeared like a cannon attempting to blast a fly in the face of Xiao Yan, who was as slippery as a loach. Moreover, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast had difficulty precisely controlling the attack due to the intense pain. Therefore, this blood-colored light pillar cut through the air and shot into the distant sky. After which, it disappeared from everyone's sight. Xiao Yan, I will trap it. You should command the earth demon puppet to strike its head. Tian Huazunjia ordered with a deep voice. His expression became a little grave after having dodged the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's fierce counter-attack. Understood. Xiao Yan hurriedly nodded when he heard him. This sky poison dragon scorpion beast was indeed very troublesome to deal with. Two experts who had both reached the strength of an 8-star do zone were unable to do anything to it within a short while. Moreover, this was with Xiao Yan aiding them on the side. If Xiao Yan had not destroyed the poison cloud earlier, it was likely that the current situation would have ended up completely different. Tian Huazunja's face was serious. A vast and mighty spiritual strength surged out of his body without holding back. While his hands moved, the spiritual strength transformed into a thousand-foot-large invisible net. Go. Tian Huazunja waved his sleeves. The enormous net, formed from the spiritual strength, immediately whizzed down. After which, it trapped the large body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. The large spiritual net had just made contact with the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast when wave after wave of sizzling sounds appeared. This kind of spiritual net could ignore the beast's powerful physical body and restrain its soul. This sudden restraint shocked the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. It hurriedly struggled, but no matter how it moved, the enormous spiritual net appeared just like the maggots in one's bones. It firmly adhered to its body, binding it firmly in the process. Do it. Tian Huazunja sternly cried. Xiao Yan nodded once. He curled his finger and the earth demon puppet, that had remained in air, rocketed down from the sky. After which, it viciously smashed into the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast like a cannonball. Its frightening forward momentum caused the beast's body to collapse. Roar. The frightening force that was transmitted from the puppet's body caused the sky poison dragon scorpion beast to emit a crazy and furious roar. Its enormous tail was swung, transforming into a black glint as it shot toward the earth demon puppet on its back. Xiao Yan coldly laughed when he saw this from the sky. His hand seal changed and the fire wolf in the sky, that had been formed from the glazed lotus heart flame, rushed down with lightning-like speed. After which, it ruthlessly bit the scorpion tail that was about to strike the earth demon puppet. Immediately, wave after wave of sizzling sounds appeared. The fire wolf pounced down and caused a white fog to rise over the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its terrifyingly high temperature caused the beast to feel wave after wave of intense searing pain. Bang. Under the dual suppression of the enormous spiritual net and the fire wolf, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was unable to move for a moment despite its large size. It could only struggle, causing the ground to tremble. Crack lines swiftly spread all over it. Bang. A silver glow flashed and appeared on the head of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its bright silvery fist struck out without mercy, firmly landing on the beast's head. The fighting strength of the earth demon puppet was largely determined by its physical body, which had undergone many refinements. Despite its physical body being unable to use any Do Qi, its destructive strength was still terrifying. With this punch from it, even the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, which possessed the strength of an 8-star Do Zone, ended up emitting a miserable wail. Its body struggled, and it started to go crazier. Waves of corrosive strength and dense blood fog swiftly flowed out of the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast as it was wildly struggling to escape. The spiritual net of Tian Huazunja began to emit a Chi Chi sound when this strange blood fog formed. Bang. 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 Xiao Yan's expression sank when he saw the scene. The fist of the earth demon puppet was once again tightly clenched. After which, it threw one punch after another, acting like a pile driver as it mercilessly smashed into the same spot on the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's head. A Chi Chi sound was emitted when the strange blood fog adhered onto the body of the earth demon puppet. The shriveled surface of the puppet's body formed some lines because of this corrosion. Xiao Yan's expression slightly changed when he sensed the transformation of the Earth Demon Puppet. It was unexpected that the poison vapor in the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was this fierce. Even the tough physical body of the Earth Demon Puppet was unable to withstand it. A ruthless expression flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He really did not believe that the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast would be able to turn things around in the face of this lineup of theirs. An order was released from Xiao Yan's heart and a bright silver glow erupted from the body of the Earth Demon Puppet, barely blocking the blood fog. His fist was like a great storm as it landed on the head of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast in a crazy manner. The low, deep sounds appeared as though it was beating a drum, causing one's heart to tighten as it did so. With the current physical strength of the earth demon puppet, a single punch could cause an ordinary elite dozone to spit out blood. 
However, this guy poison dragon scorpion beast was relying on its thick hide to endure dozens of punches. Even though this was the case, the crust on the top of its head had finally cracked apart. Fresh blood wildly surged out. One could even vaguely see the whitish organs in its head. Along with this intense pain, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was shocked to realize that a helpless feeling was slowly spreading out of its heart. Its life appeared to be swiftly leaving its body. At this moment, it finally began to feel afraid. If this continued, it was likely that he would have difficulty escaping this catastrophe. Stop. What exactly do you want? I am a member of the scorpion dragon tribe. They will not let you off if you kill me. The sky poison dragon scorpion beast single eye turned red as it furiously roared. This time around, there was an additional fear in its roar. We want your monster core. Xiao Yan faintly smiled. He did not give the sky poison dragon scorpion beast even a moment to catch its breath. He clearly understood that if he made even the slightest mistake in the face of a magical beast as strong as the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, it was likely that everything would come to naught. They had spent such a great amount of effort to capture this fellow. If it were allowed to escape, Xiao Yan would really end up losing more than he would gain. Hence, even while Xiao Yan was speaking, the earth demon puppet remained a tireless slaughtering machine as its fist viciously smashed down again and again. Each time it swung its fist, it would cause a fluctuation to spread across space. A circular invisible ripple would spread each time its fist landed. This kind of spreading force shattered the flesh on the surface of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Even with the tough body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, it was somewhat unable to endure any longer after forcefully receiving so many heavy blows from the earth demon puppet. An aura of death covered its heart. In the face of this kind of feeling of death, a viciousness surged into the remaining eye of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast that was staring at Xiao Yan. A moment later, it finally spoke in a dense voice, I, am Ohi, shall use the bloodline of the scorpion dragon tribe to swear that you will have to flee for the rest of your life while being chased by my scorpion dragon tribe. The final blood red eye of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast fell out of its face after its words were voiced. After which, it exploded. A tiny blood glow penetrated the air at a shocking speed before entering Xiao Yan's body in a lightning-like manner. The speed of this blood glow was extremely frightening. Even Xiao Yan could only blink his eyes. He did not possess any ability to dodge it. The Scorpion Dragon Tribe will not let you off. You will not be able to escape. The Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast viciously laughed. Two blood streams flowed out of its enormous eyes, giving it an extremely frightening appearance. Xiao Yan's expression became gloomy. He moved his hand seal and the body of the Earth Demon Puppet immediately unleashed an extremely bright silver glow. It gathered all of its strength before smashing its fist down. Following this punch, one could see space crack apart. A half-foot-wide dark black hole formed. Bang. The frightening punch contained a shocking strength as it ruthlessly smashed the head of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Under this frightening strength, its large head let out a boom sound as it transformed into a countless number of bloody pieces of flesh. The innumerable number of beasts lingering in the distance immediately ceased their uproar after the head of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast exploded. A moment later, they scattered. Their fleeing speed was even faster than when they were charging here. Chapter 1082, Successful Obtainment The instant the head of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast burst apart, the fat and skinny experts, who were fighting with the little fairy doctor, also sensed something. They turned their heads and looked at the enormous cold corpse, which was lying on the ground in the distance. Their expression suddenly and drastically changed. The eyes of the two looked at the corpse of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Disbelief filled their eyes. Being the beast's subordinates, they were clearly aware of its strength. Even though there were a countless number of vicious poison beings within this fallen god stream, the strength of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was ranked among the top. In the past, there were some human experts who had come to provoke it, but their fates were to become part of the yellow soil in this region. The fierce reputation of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was something that no one dared offend during these years. Unfortunately, the scene that had appeared today had caused the fierce reputation of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast to completely disappear. The skinny, yellow-clothed man stared at the corpse of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast with flickering eyes. After which, he looked at Xiao Yan's group again. His throat quivered. Other than Xiao Yan, the remaining two people gave him an extremely dangerous feeling. This kind of feeling was something that he had sensed on the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast in the past. Clearly, these two were existences that were on the same level as the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. I wonder how Leader offended such an expert. They actually came hunting for him. The yellow-clothed man's eyes flickered as this thought swiftly lingered in his heart. You dared our kill Leader. The Scorpion Dragon Tribe will definitely not let you off. The fat expert, who looked like a small mountain, was dull for a moment before he finally recovered. He furiously roared, Gone ho, attack, take revenge for the leader. The flicker in the eyes of the yellow-clothed man became more intense. He immediately clenched his teeth and said in a deep voice, I will not accompany you if you wish to seek death. His toes pressed on the ground after those words sounded, and he withdrew in a lightning-like manner. Within a couple of breaths, he had transformed into a blurry figure that disappeared into the distance. The fat man was stunned when he saw the yellow-clothed man fleeing at the last moment. 
His face immediately flushed red as he furiously cursed, you cowardly fellow. Are you going to leave by yourself or should I attack? The little fairy doctor slowly walked over while he was cursing. Her pretty eyes stared at the fat man as she asked him a question with a smile. That fat man's face quivered when he saw the little fairy doctor slowly walking over. After the fight earlier, he was aware that this lady, who seemed to be smaller than his arm, possessed an unusually frightening strength. Even when he had joined hands with Gonho, they were barely able to hold her back. Now that Gonho had fled, how could he alone be a match for the little fairy doctor? The scorpion dragon tribe will not let you off. The expression of the fat man changed before he finally let out a furious cry. After which, he turned around and his small, mountain-like body rumbled as it transformed into a ray of light that fled into the distance. Although his body was large, he was not a fool. If he remained behind in such a situation, it was likely that he would not be able to escape death. This group of people could even kill the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, much less him. The little fairy doctor watched as the fat man fled into the distance. She let out a slight smile. Her body moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. She lowered her head to look at the enormous body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast on the ground, settled. Xiao Yan grinned and nodded. He immediately sighed in relief. This sky poison dragon scorpion beast was indeed extremely difficult to deal with. If he did not have the earth demon puppet and Tian Wazunja, it would have been very difficult to kill this big fellow with his strength unless he used the angry Buddha Lotus Flame. Let's swiftly take the items we need. The commotion this battle created is too large. It is unavoidable for it to attract the attention of the other fierce magical beasts in the Fallen God stream. If we are careless, we might end up with another fierce battle, the little fairy doctor whispered. The poison beings in this Fallen God stream were extremely ferocious. Any that possessed some strength were definitely extraordinary. Xiao Yan nodded in agreement. His hand grabbed toward the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. A suction force surged out and slowly lifted it until it was suspended in the air. Xiao Yan glanced at the large corpse in front of him. His face appeared a little solemn. The seal formed by his hands changed and the enormous jade green fire wolf burst apart, transforming into a fierce flame that swept over the body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Its frighteningly high temperature spread, and a distortion appeared in the surrounding space. Amid the burning of the glazed lotus heart flame, the enormous corpse of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast swiftly shrank. Its skin, shell, and flesh slowly turned white under the high temperature. Finally, they transformed into ashes and scattered down. Xiao Yan's expression did not change as watched the corpse that was swiftly shrinking while ashes scattered. Instead, he increased the temperature. What he needed was the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. This kind of essence blood would only appear after undergoing refinement and lots of burning. Under this high temperature, the fresh blood on the surface of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast was swiftly vaporized. The blood vessels at those injuries also turned pale white. The body of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast diminished as the glazed lotus heart flame's temperature continued to rise. In the end, it was only 5 feet in size. At this moment, the sky poison dragon scorpion beast had turned into a blood-colored ball of meat, rotating within the jade green flame. Xiao Yan controlled the flame's temperature. A moment later, he flicked his finger and the blood-colored ball of meat immediately cracked, forming a fissures in its body. Half a fist large blood-colored crystal rushed out and headed towards Xiao Yan. With a grabbing motion, Xiao Yan caught this fresh blood-like crystal in his hand. He sensed the vast and mighty energy within it and a pleased expression involuntarily flashed across his eyes. He had finally obtained the monster core of this rank 7 sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan's hand slowly rubbed the crystal core in a gentle manner before he carefully stored it in his storage ring. He raised his eyes, and they paused on the blood-colored flesh in the flame. There was still the powerful essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast within. After gently clenching his hand, the jade green flame that lingered outside of the blood-colored ball of meat began to rapidly spin. A terrifying tearing force, ungoverned by any rules, swiftly formed within it. After which, it ruthlessly squeezed the ball of blood-colored meat. The blood-colored ball of meat trembled intensely as the flame wildly spun. It repeatedly rotated left and right. In the face of such a rotation, droplets of somewhat purplish-colored blood were slowly revealed from within the meat. A pleased look appeared on the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth when he saw the scene. He maintained this kind of tearing force and gradually squeezed out the pure essence blood within that cluster of meat. With an increasing amount of essence blood dripping down, the blood-red ball of meat gradually turned a pale white color. This kind of pale whiteness was a kind of lifeless color. The essence blood was the source of a magical beast's life. Once the essence blood was drained, it indicated that its life had also vanished. The pale white color gradually spread from the high-speed rotation of the flame. Around ten minutes later, the last trace of blood coloring finally faded quietly from the ball of meat. The moment the last thread of blood color gradually disappeared, the ball of meat violently trembled and collapsed, transforming into pale white ashes that scattered down. Xiao Yan sighed in relief as he watched the ball of meat collapse and burst apart. His gaze landed on the flame. There was a cluster of purple-red liquid blood the size of a fist there. 
Despite being a great distance away, Xiao Yan was able to sense the powerful energy that was spreading from this liquid blood. Store it quickly. This kind of essence blood possesses a potent allure to other magical beasts. The little fairy doctor hurriedly reminded while sighing in relief after seeing the essence blood successfully refined by Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He beckoned with his finger and the purple-red liquid blood flew out. After which, he took out a jade bottle and carefully stored the blood into it. Old Mr. Yao, this is the essence blood required to help refine your body. You will once again be able to use a physical body soon. Xiao Yan waved the jade bottle in his hand toward Tian Wuzunjia by the side as he spoke with a smile. A hearty smile involuntarily surfaced on Tian Wuzunjia's face when he heard this. He nodded in relief. It had been so many years. He was finally going to possess a body again. At the same time, he would once again sense the comfort of having Dou Qi flow within his body. Little fellow, the old me is really right about you, this favor, the old me will not forget it for the rest of my life. Tian Wuzunjia's illusionary hand patted Xiao Yan's shoulders. Even with his calmness, he still felt somewhat excited in his heart. Back then, he had placed his hopes in Xiao Yan in his desperate state because he had no other choice. However, he was quite pleased with the final result. Xiao Yan slightly smiled as he sincerely said, Old Mr. Yao has been a great help to me. If I do not put in all my effort, would I not be considered an inhumane and unjust person? Tian Wuzunjia fondled his beard and let out a heartfelt sigh, I really envy your teacher for having such an outstanding disciple. Xiao Yan softly laughed, but did not add anything to this topic. His eyes swept around him. Due to the death of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast, this region had become dead quiet. There was not the least bit of unusual sound. Let's go. We should leave this place first. The commotion we caused was too great. It is likely that someone will come and investigate. It is best that we leave first. The little fairy doctor softly suggested. All right. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He rubbed his storage ring and laughed, since we have obtained everything, we will proceed to the most important step next. Xiao Yan waved his hand after speaking. He took the lead and turned around. After which, he hurriedly rushed to the north. The little fairy doctor brought Xian Lan along and followed close behind him. This region once again fell silent after Xiao Yan's group left. Only the enormous pit in the ground represented the soul-stirring fight that had erupted at this spot earlier. Chapter 1083, Refining the Yin Yang Life Soul Pill A dense poison fog lingered in the air of a small valley in the northern region of the Fallen God Stream. This fog made it difficult for one to clearly see the interior of the valley. If one looked from a closer spot, one would coincidentally see a couple of figures standing in it. They were Xiao Yan's group, which had just obtained the monster core and the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Based on what Xian Lan has said, the Ice River Valley's experts should have already entered the Fallen God stream. Perhaps, they will find us quite soon. A bonfire was burning within the valley, emitting some light from the flame as Xiao Yan voiced his thoughts. Yes. Moreover, there is an existence at the peak of the Dou Zone class among those who arrived this time around. Xian Lan nodded. Her face was grave. The peak of the Dou Zone class, a strength was even greater than that of the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Although Xiao Yan currently had two eight-star Dou Zone beings around him, it was likely very hard for them to obtain the upper hand in such a fight. After all, the peak of the Dou Zone class was the strongest among the experts below the Dou Zone class. The little fairy doctor and Tian Wuzunjia by the side also nodded. They had a good understanding of this level. Even with Tian Huzunjia's pride, he had no choice but to admit that it was extremely difficult for him to fight an expert at the peak of the Dou Zone class in his current condition. Hence, we must settle the body of old Mr. Yao or the woeful poison body of the little fairy doctor before they find us. Otherwise, it is likely that the situation will not be favorable. Xiao Yan spoke with a serious tone. The little fairy doctor and Tian Wuzunjia nodded when they heard this. In this current situation, the strength of either of them would soar if they could settle their respective problems. Thus, they would have the ability to fight even when faced with an expert at the peak of the Dou Zone class from the Ice River Valley. You should help old Mr. Yao refine a body first. He was an elite Dou Zun in the past. Even though he might not be able to quickly recover his peak strength after he obtains a body, it should not be difficult for him to advance to the Dou Zun class. This woeful poison body of mine has never been completely controlled by anyone in the past. We are not certain what will happen after it is controlled. Therefore, I suggest that old Mr. Yao should have the priority. The little fairy doctor mused for a moment before she gave a serious suggestion. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of deep thought after hearing the little fairy doctor's analysis. Helping Tian Wuzunjia first was indeed the safest bet. The woeful poison body is a unique natural body. When it erupts, even an elite Dozun must temporarily hide from it. If you are able to control it, it is likely that your achievements will be extremely shocking. Tian Wuzunjia fondled his beard as he slowly spoke. Old Mr. Yao has praised me too much. The little fairy doctor curled her lips and smiled. The little fairy doctor is right. I will help old Mr. Yao refine a body first in order to resolve the current threat. Xiao Yan nodded and finally made his decision. 
He continued in a deep voice, in that case, I will first resolve old Mr. Yao's problem. I will now begin refining the Yin Yang life soul pill. All of you must guard me during this period of time and should avoid leaving this place so you don't attract any trouble. Xiao Yan ceased hesitating after making up his mind. He immediately began preparing after saying he would do it. His body moved and appeared on an enormous rock in the valley. With a wave of his hand, the 10,000 beast cauldron appeared and remained steadily suspended in the air. The little fairy doctor and the others nodded when they saw Xiao Yan begin to refine the pill. After which, they slowly withdrew and guarded him. Xiao Yan waved his hand and a jade green flame appeared. After which, it was randomly thrown into the medicinal cauldron by Xiao Yan. He rubbed his storage ring with his hand and numerous medicinal ingredients continuously flew out of it. Finally, all of them remained suspended in the air as well. Xiao Yan's eyes carefully observed these medicinal ingredients. After finding that there was no problem with them, he slowly shut his eyes. The medicinal formula of the Yin Yang life soul pill slowly flowed across his mind like flowing water. The various key points regarding the refinement were being familiarized by Xiao Yan at this moment. Xiao Yan's eyes were opened a moment later. He gently inhaled a breath of air and moved his finger. An extremely bright and beautiful flower rushed down. However, strangely there was a person's face at the center of the flower. Its eyes, nose, and mouth were all lifelike. Looking at it gave one the creeps. Ghost face flower. The name of this flower flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. This was one of the key ingredients in refining the Yin Yang life soul pill. It was extremely rare. Xiao Yan did not know just where Xian Lan had obtained it from. However, it seemed that she had put in a lot of effort to gather the ingredients. Xiao Yan glanced at this flower that gave one the creeps. He flicked his finger and the ghost face flower was thrown into the medicinal cauldron. The jade green flame swept over and wrapped around it. Ah. The ghost face flower had just been tossed into the flame when waves of black vapor were emitted from it. At the same time, a screeching baby cry was reverberated from the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan knit his brows. He did not expect this ghost face flower to be this strange. However, regardless of how strange it was, it was powerless to resist a heavenly flame. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind and Do Qi covered both of his ears, isolating the baby's cry as it did so. He clenched his hand and the flame's temperature suddenly soared. With the great increase in the flame's temperature, the black vapor emitted from the interior of the ghost face flower swiftly became fainter. In the end, it completely disappeared. Having lost the protection of the black vapor, the ghost face flower immediately withered. The human face also gradually disappeared. Around 10 minutes later, the flower finally burst apart and turned into a pile of dark black powder. Xiao Yan did not immediately withdraw the flame after the powder appeared. Instead, he grilled this pile of powder for some time until it revealed a cold luster. Only then did a thought pass through his mind. The cluster of flames wrapped around the dark black powder and left it suspended in one corner of the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan took a fist-sized red-colored fruit after having completed refining this ghost face flower. Wave after wave of dense, cold air poured out of the fruit. Soul Revival Demon Fruit, this strange fruit is really beneficial to the training of spiritual strength. It is likely that I need to prepare a little more of it in the future for any unexpected situations. Xiao Yan's eye swept over that red-colored fruit. He flicked his finger and threw it into the medicinal cauldron. While Xiao Yan continued the refinement of the medicinal pill, the medicinal ingredients suspended in air were gradually thrown into the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan was extremely careful about refining this pill because he knew that if this Yin life soul pill refinement were to fail, the matter of Tian Huazunja's revival would be delayed for a period of time. In the face of the great enemy descending upon them, they no longer had much time to squander. The little fairy doctor and the others stayed a hundred meters away while Xiao Yan was refining the pill. No one emitted the slightest sound, afraid they would disturb his pill refinement. Moreover, all the poison beasts within a thousand meter radius of the small valley were expelled or killed by the little fairy doctor and Tian Huazunja through all sorts of means. They performed their roles as protectors quite well. Time swiftly flowed by while Xiao Yan undertook a retreat to refine this pill. Two days passed in the blink of an eye. The area to the south of the Fallen God stream, where the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast resided back then, was completely quiet due to the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast having been finished off by Xiao Yan's group. At this moment, it was completely quiet. It was no longer covered in a poison vapor like it had been back then. The enormous rock fortress appeared exceptionally empty. It no longer possessed the domineering aura that existed when the Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast was residing in it. Waves of rushing wind sounds appeared a thousand meters from the rock fortress. A moment later, many white figures appeared on the flat land outside of the rock fortress. Old Shi, the energy ripple that we sensed two days ago should have originated from this place. An elder's gaze swept around the rock fortress before he respectfully spoke to that old man at the side, who was holding a snake walking stick. There is no longer any aura in this place. The old man who was addressed as Old Chi paused his eyes on the rock fortress as he faintly commented. From what I know, this should be the Sky Scorpion region. It is managed by a Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion beast that has reached the strength of an 8 star dozone. zone. However, from the looks of it now. Another old man frowned and revealed what he knew. Sky Poison Dragon Scorpion Beast. Old Chi narrowed his eyes and slowly said. 
This place has the remnant aura of a corpse. If I have guessed correctly, that fellow should have been finished off. What? That fellow possessed the strength of an eight-star dozone. Even in this fallen god stream, it is one of the few such existences. Who is able to kill it? The remaining people exclaimed after hearing this. Other than the corpse aura, there are traces on the ground that show that it has been grilled at high temperature. Clearly, it is someone who possesses a great control of fire. From the remnant souls of the Ice River Valley's disciples back then, I discovered that there is a young man among them who controls a kind of extremely powerful flame. If I have guessed correctly, this should have been done by that group. Old Chi grabbed some grass and gently pinched the blades. The grass turned into dust when he did so. Done by that group. They are this strong. The expressions of the remaining three white-clothed elders changed. That was an eight-star dozone. They were able to easily kill Bing Fu and the two others. What is there to be surprised about them being able to fight with an eight-star dozone? Old Chi faintly smiled. He slowly stood up and turned his eyes to the north of the fallen god stream. His shriveled face revealed a strange smile. However, the air still possesses the remnant aura of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. It is likely they took its monster core. We should be able to find them if we follow this aura. Old Chi is wise. The three white-clothed, old men rejoiced and respectfully praised him when they heard his words. Old Chi randomly waved his hand. He gripped the snake walking stick and slowly walked to the north of the fallen god stream. A faint laugh was slowly being emitted from him. The old me is really becoming curious about this group of people. Not only have they housed the poison lady but they have also come here to kill this sky poison dragon scorpion beast for no reason. Haha, ha, not bad. The three old men behind faced each other. They immediately let out cold laughs. They really did not know whether it was those fellows misfortune or honor that stirred the interest of old Chi. Those who offend the Ice River Valley will not come to a good end. What pitiful individuals. Chapter 1084, Refining a Body A hot air wave was flowing to and fro within the quiet small valley, causing the poison fog in the air to continuously pale. There was a human figure sitting on an enormous rock in the valley. An enormous, crimson medicinal cauldron was suspended in the air in front of the figure. Jade green flames burned fiercely within the cauldron. The hot air wave of the valley was spreading from this place. A couple of human figures were standing a hundred meters away from this enormous rock. Their gazes were gathered on the medicinal cauldron. It has already been six days. Xian Lan looked at the focused human figure on the enormous rock, sighed softly, and commented. A tier 7 medicinal pill is not easy to refine. Naturally, one must spend some time. The little fairy doctor was not surprised. She softly said, moreover, the pill chi within the medicinal cauldron is becoming denser. It is likely that it will not be long until the pill is formed. Xian Lan nodded when she heard the little fairy doctor's explanation. She was just about to speak when the medicinal cauldron, a short distance away, suddenly shook. A clear buzzing sound rippled from it and reverberated over the valley. What is it? This unexpected change caused the little fairy doctor and the others to hurriedly throw their gazes over. An unusually dense pill chi suddenly spat out from the medicinal cauldron like a volcano after it emitted a buzzing sound. One could vaguely see the origin of the pill chi seemed to be from a round medicinal pill wrapped in a jade green flame. Is it about to form a pill? The little fairy doctor felt joyful when she sensed the density of this pill chi. In front of the focus of the little fairy doctor's group, the pill chi being spat out from the medicinal cauldron became denser. In the end, almost the entire valley was permeated by this pill fragrance that braced one's attention. Clearly, this was an indication that a pill was about to be formed. Although the Yin Yang Life Soul Pill was at the tier 7 middle grade level, it was not very difficult to refine. Additionally, with the experience of having aided Tang Jin in refining the Fire Bodhisattva Pill, the refinement this time around was unexpectedly smooth. Everything seemed to progress naturally and not even the slightest mistake appeared along the way. Xiao Yan slowly opened his narrowed eyes while the pill chi spewed forth. He looked at the scene and a pleased expression surfaced on his face. The spewing pill chi became fiercer. In the end, it broke through the layer of poison fog in the sky. Having been summoned by this dense pill chi, dark clouds swiftly began to gather in the sky. A joy immediately appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw the scene. He did not expect the Yin Yang Life Soul Pill to attract pill lightning. Pill lightning, that was the greatest headache for Alchemist, was something that Xiao Yan loved to see because his Earth Demon Puppet would be strengthened after a pill lightning refinement. The last time around, the Earth Demon Puppet was strengthened to the point that it could contend with an 8-star dozone. Xiao Yan wondered just what level the Earth Demon Puppet would reach if it was to experience pill lightning again. While Xiao Yan excitedly summoned the Earth Demon Puppet once again, the dark clouds that had gathered in the sky suddenly paused. After which, they became distorted. Although there were some muffled thunderous sounds, a scene where lightning cut through the distant air and fell did not occur. Instead, after some squirming, the dark clouds gradually scattered. The sudden scattering of the pill lightning was just like a basin of cold water being splashed on Xiao Yan's head, extinguishing all of his excitement. This, why did the pill lightning disappear by itself? Xiao Yan was stunned as he looked at the dark clouds in the air before he bitterly laughed a moment later. 
Big Brother Xiao Yan, the poison fog within the fallen god stream is far too dense. Perhaps it is because the poison vapor has covered the pill qi, causing the pill lightning to fail to find its target and ended up scattering by itself. The little fairy doctor's group was also stunned by this scene. After which, Xian Lan mused for a moment before finally crying out loud. Xiao Yan could only nod his head when he heard this. After his earlier absent-mindedness, his heart understood what had occurred was indeed partly due to the poison vapor covering the land here. However, there was another reason. It was that the Yang life soul pill was unable to attract pill lightning. This kind of medicinal pill might be considered a tier 7 middle grade pill, but strictly speaking, it had only barely reached the middle grade. If it was not due to the unique effects of the pill, it would be only a tier 7 low grade level. The pill chi that it emitted was perhaps unable to attract pill lightning. This, along with the poisonous vapor hiding, caused the pill lightning to gradually scatter after it had appeared. Unlucky, however, I'm pressed for time and don't have the time to deal with pill lightning. Xiao Yan quietly voiced his unluckiness in his heart before he waved his hand. The black-red medicinal pill within the medicinal cauldron was sucked out. This is the Yin Yang Life Soul Pill Ha. Xiao Yan's eyes observed the medicinal pill in his hand as he muttered to himself. This medicinal pill was the size of a dragon's eye. It was both black and red in color. It had a rounded surface that contained a brilliant luster. When one's hand rubbed over it, one would feel an icy coldness on one side while the other was warm, causing one to feel a great comfort. Since the medicinal pill has been successfully refined, next will be the refinement of the body. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air. He randomly stored away the medicinal cauldron and waved his hand. A corpse that was covered in ice appeared. This corpse was that of Yin Shan from the Misty Cloud sect. Originally, Xiao Yan had prepared it for Yao Lao back then. However, a corpse of this level could no longer catch Xiao Yan's eyes. It would be used to conduct an experiment. After summoning the corpse, the body refining method that Yao Lao had taught Xiao Yan flowed into his mind. A moment later, he quietly nodded. He waved his hand and an invisible wind dragged the corpse, suspending it in the air. Xiao Yan waved his hand and a wisp of glazed lotus heart flame appeared. It emitted a puff sound as wrapped around the corpse. The cold ice on the corpse swiftly melted under the frighteningly high temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame. Old Mr. Yao, hand me a thread of spiritual strength. Xiao Yan spoke in a deep voice as he looked at the ice that swiftly scattered. Hearing this, a thread of spiritual strength was immediately separated from between Tian Wuzunja's brows. After which, the spiritual strength drifted to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan grabbed the spiritual strength and randomly tossed it into the corpse. After which, the Yin Yang life soul pill was tossed to Tian Wuzunja. Consume it. Once I give the word, you should immediately enter this body. Tian Wuzunja nodded with a grave expression. He stuffed the medicinal pill into his mouth without any hesitation. An excitement was flickering in his eyes. Xiao Yan swiftly took out a jade bottle from his storage ring after seeing that Tian Wuzunja had consumed the medicinal pill. The interior of the jade bottle was filled with a purple-red colored blood. A shockingly wild and violent energy seeped out of it. This was the essence blood of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan's hand squeezed with a great force and the jade bottle burst apart. The large cluster of liquid blood scattered. With a wave of Xiao Yan's hand, all of the blood landed on the body surrounded by flames. Waves of sizzling sounds were suddenly emitted when the liquid blood had just made contact with the corpse. One could see the skin of the corpse began to swiftly rot. This change did not cause Xiao Yan's expression to alter. After an indifferent glance, Xiao Yan commanded the glazed lotus heart flame and suddenly increased its temperature. Following the increase in the temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame, the blood that adhered to the corpse began to slowly seep into it in a strange manner. The originally pale white flesh was gradually filled with life when the essence blood merged with it. Around half an hour after the essence blood gradually merged into the corpse, Yun Shan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened. His empty eyes contained a fluctuating life force. Of course, this life force was not Yun Shan's life force. Instead, it was due to the threat of soul from Tian Wuzunja. When Yun Shan opened his eyes, Xiao Yan suddenly let out a deep cry, Old Mr. Yao, enter. Tian Wuzunja, who had already been waiting for the order by the side, was filled with excitement when he heard Xiao Yan's cry. After which, his illusionary figure rushed into the corpse. After which, he penetrated through the glazed lotus heart flame and pounced into the corpse, which was covered in a red-colored glow. A strange black-red ripple emitted from the middle of Tian Wuzunja's brows the moment his soul made contact with the corpse. The ripple spread at lightning-like speed as it covered the entire body. Puff. The soul of Tian Wuzunja and the corpse suddenly collided as the black-red ripple spread. This time around, the collision did not repel the soul. Instead, the soul slowly merged into the body. Is it successfully completed? Xi and Lan and the little fairy doctor by the side were unable to control their joy as they asked after seeing Tian Wuzunja's soul merge with the body. Not yet. Old Mr. Yao must endure the burning of the heavenly flame and gradually obtain control of the body. Only then can he be considered to have truly revived from the flames. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he shook his head. The subsequent step was the most important one. 
If Tian Huizunjia was unable to endure the burning of the heavenly flame, it was likely that not only would this physical body be wasted but his soul would also suffer a fatal blow. The both of you should head to the entrance of the valley and stand guard there. The earth demon puppet will aid you. Remember, do not allow anyone to enter. Xiao Yan instructed them in a deep voice. The little fairy doctor and Xian Lan nodded when they heard him. They grabbed the earth demon puppet and slowly stepped back. Finally, they came to a stop at the entrance of the valley. Xiao Yan turned his gaze away after seeing this. He looked at the corpse with a painful expression, burning within the heavenly flame in the air. His fist slowly tightened. You must endure. The burning of the heavenly flame continued for two days. Even though this was the case, the flame burning outside of the corpse did not disappear. However, the pain on the face of the corpse was gradually reduced, perhaps as a result of it having become numb. Moreover, a hidden mighty aura was quietly brewing within the body. Another day passed. On this day, the slight sound of rushing wind suddenly appeared a distance from the valley that had been quiet for a long while. A moment later, a white-clothed man carrying a snake-shaped walking stick slowly appeared at a spot around a hundred meters from the entrance of the valley. Many white figures appeared one after another behind him. Kuku, the poison fog of this fallen god valley is really too dense. It even hid the scent of the monster core. However, we have finally found them. The old man holding the snake-shaped walking stick looked at the valley. His smile was exceptionally dense. Chapter 1085, Peak of the Doe Zone Class The entrance to the valley was a path that was a couple of dozen feet wide. The little fairy doctor and Xian Lan were seated cross-legged on the walls beside the path. The earth demon puppet, with its hollow eyes, was beside them. Xian Lan held her cheeks with her hand as her gaze repeatedly swept over the valley. There had been no commotion in the valley during these couple of days of waiting. She really did not know how things were progressing. Ugh. Xian Lan softly sighed. She stretched her lazy waist and was just about to speak to the little fairy doctor beside her when the little fairy doctor's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened. A grave expression instantly surged onto her pretty face. What is it? Xian Lan was shocked when she saw the appearance of the little fairy doctor, and she hurriedly asked. The people from the Ice River Valley have arrived. An icy cold glint flashed across the little fairy doctor's pretty eyes. She slowly stood up from the ground as a faint killing intent gradually wreathed out of her body. Xian Lan's expression also changed when she heard the little fairy doctor's words. Her eyes hurriedly looked to the outside of the valley. She indeed saw some white figures in the distance. You are the woeful poison lady, right? While Xian Lan was looking at the area outside of the valley, an indifferent, old voice was suddenly transmitted from the distance. After which, it landed in the ears of the little fairy doctor and Xian Lan. The little fairy doctor did not reply to this voice. An icy cold expression was present in her eyes. She clenched his fist and grayish purple dochi chi slowly extended out like two enormous pythons. Immediately, they meandered around her body. A gentle ripple was suddenly formed in the air at the entrance to the valley not long after the old voice sounded. Immediately, a hunchbacked figure, holding a snake-shaped walking stick, slowly appeared in front of the little fairy doctor's and Xian Lan's eyes. Following the appearance of this hunchbacked figure, sounds of wind parting appeared behind him. A moment later, numerous white figures landed behind the hunchbacked figure in an orderly fashion. This group of people was silent after making their appearance. A killing intent was vaguely and slowly spreading at the same time, causing the surrounding poison gas to scatter. The little fairy doctor's eyes narrowed when the old man holding a snake-shaped walking stick appeared. She quietly tightened her hands and said in a clear cool voice, it is indeed an expert at the peak of the Dozone class. This ice river valley is really willing to put in the effort. Haha, it is not overboard for the old me to act for the woeful poison lady. Moreover, according to the rules of my ice river valley, those who have killed the elders of my valley will also be captured and put to death. The old man holding the snake-shaped walking stick was naturally the elder Tian Shi from the Ice River Valley, who had entered the Fallen God stream in search of Xiao Yan's group. At this moment, his narrow eyes were looking at the little fairy doctor above him. He smiled slightly while his voice contained an unconcerned tone. He is. Ice River Valley's elder Tian Shi. Xian Lan, who was behind the little fairy doctor, revealed a somewhat pale white face due to the large group of Ice River Valley's experts that had appeared. When her eyes paused on that old man, her paleness grew even more intense as she involuntarily cried out. Elder Tian Shi. The little fairy doctor was startled. Immediately, her face changed a little. Even someone like her, who had entered the pill region a short while ago, had heard of this person's name. It was rumored that this old fellow was not only strong, but had also practiced the ice soon force of the Ice River Valley to a peak level. An ordinary Dozone was unable to even last ten exchanges against him. Moreover, each time this person fought, he would not leave anyone alive. Additionally, he relied on the overbearingness of his ice soon force to freeze his opponents into lifelike ice sculptures, causing one to feel terrified just by looking at it. The fierce reputation of this old fellow was quite well known in this middle region. The little fairy doctor had not expected the Ice River Valley to dispatch this old demon. Why are there only the two of you? I remember there seemed to be a young man and a spiritual body that possessed a great strength, no. Tianxi gently stuck the snake-shaped walking stick into the ground as he laughed, asked the both of them to come out. 
Today, the old me shall not let anyone off. Otherwise, it would be difficult for me to account to the valley chief. I'm afraid that you don't have that ability. The little fairy doctor coldly laughed. She turned her head to Xian Lan and said, head to the valley. Look after Xiao Yan and Tian Wazunja. Xian Lan hesitated for a moment after hearing her words. However, after thinking about how she would only be a burden to the little fairy doctor, she could only clench her teeth and swiftly withdraw. After which, she leaped into the valley. It seems that all of them have hid in the valley. Could it be that they were injured when fighting the sky poison dragon scorpion beast the last time? Tian Shi was unconcerned about Xian Lan leaving. None of these people would be able to flee today. The little fairy doctor knit her eyebrows. She did not expect this old demon to be aware of their fight with the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. He was indeed somewhat skilled. Old Chi, leave this woman to us. You can just rest. One of the three white-clothed, old men beside Tian Chi glanced at the little fairy doctor before speaking in a respectful manner. There's no need. The old me is also extremely interested in this woeful poison lady. Tian Chi suddenly rubbed the back of his ear when he spoke until this point. There was a brown scar at that spot. An ugly hole was vaguely present in the scar. It was as though the flesh had been dug out of that spot. It caused one to shiver when looking at it. Tian Shi rubbed this brown scar. A chill suddenly surged out of both of his eyes. I can't remember just when I exchanged blows with that last person that had the woeful poison body. However, I have a deep memory of that person. Today, allow the old me to see just what level this woeful poison body has reached. The three white-clothed, old men looked at each other after hearing this. None of them dared to say anything more. Being defeated by the expert who possessed the woeful poison body back then had left a bloody scar in the heart of Tian Shi. They did not dare to say anything over this matter. All of you should guard the four corners of this valley. Do not allow anyone to escape. Tian Shi lifted the snake-shaped walking stick as he slowly walked forward. After which, his feet stepped on empty air as he climbed to through the air. His eyes glanced at the little fairy doctor and the earth demon puppet beside her before laughing with a faint voice, other than you, there will not be anyone else alive in this valley. The little fairy doctor's face was icy cold. Her eyes swept over the valley without leaving a trace while her hands involuntarily tightened. There was still no activity within the valley. It seemed that the merger of Tian Wazunja with his physical body had yet to finish. I can only try my best to delay the time. Hopefully, Xiao Yan can increase the speed of the merger. The little fairy doctor inhaled a gentle breath. She shifted her legs. Her foot had just stepped forward when the earth demon puppet seemed to have been dragged by something. A boom sound appeared as its foot stomped violently on the ground. After which, it rushed toward Tian Shi in the sky. The little fairy doctor hurriedly followed after seeing this. The vast and mighty Dou Chi on her palms transformed into two grayish purple large Dou Chi pythons. They emitted a hissing sound as they cut through the distant air and bit at Tian Shi. Is this that puppet? It is indeed a little extraordinary. However, the true peak of the Dou Zone class is not someone you can fight against by relying on numbers. Tian Shi smiled indifferently in the face of the Earth Demon Puppet as it led the attack. He clenched his shriveled hand and one could see the space in front of the Earth Demon Puppet fluctuate. A moment later, it transformed into a real substance. Bang. The Earth Demon Puppet violently collided against the space wall. The rebounding effect returned most of the force to the body of the puppet, sending the Earth Demon Puppet flying. Tian Shi slowly raised his shriveled hand after randomly forcing back the Earth Demon Puppet. After which, he faced the little fairy doctor and made a sudden grabbing motion. Immediately, a ten-foot-large, cold air palm shot out and grabbed the two large grayish-purple Dochi pythons. With a ruthless pinch, the two enormous pythons crumbled, transforming into countless energy spots that scattered to the ground. A cold smile surfaced on Tian Shi's face after having shattered the enormous pythons. He waved his hand and an enormous palm appeared in front of the little fairy doctor in a lightning-like fashion. After which, it was violently slammed down. The little fairy doctor's pretty face changed slightly when she sensed the shocking cold air that had suddenly arrived. She could sense the circulation of the Dou Qi within her body was clogged in the face of this shocking cold air. What powerful ice zoom force! A seriousness surged onto the little fairy doctor's face. Dense, grayish-purple Dou Qi swiftly surged out of her body. After which, it gathered above her head. Bang! The large, cold ice palm landed without any obstruction, colliding with her grayish-purple Dou Qi. Frightening cold air surged out. Immediately, tiny ice flakes surfaced on her grayish-purple Dou Qi. The enormous palm completely smashed the little fairy doctor's defenses in a tricky manner. Grug. Her defenses were easily broken and the enormous force sent her body across space before she had the time to withdraw. Immediately, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. Her lovely body flew backwards like a kite with a broken string. Finally, she smashed into the wall. The powerful force caused fissures to appear on the mountain wall. The little fairy doctor was forced back in defeat after merely one exchange. An expert at the peak of the Dou Zone class was this powerful. Tian Shi smiled slightly after having defeated the little fairy doctor with one palm. He was about to give chase when a silver-colored figure once again rushed over without fearing death. A silver glow was flickering over its fist. Faint disdain surfaced in Tian Shi's eyes when he sensed the sharp wind contained on the fist of the silver-colored figure. 
All the puppet had was brute strength. It was still fine if it was dealing with an ordinary dozone. However, it was undoubtedly just a reckless act against him. Snow White, cold air swiftly gathered on Tian Shi's hand. In the blink of an eye, it transformed into an ice fist that struck forward. Bang. The ice fist and the fist of the Earth Demon puppet violently collided at a speed that caused a great impact. Ice flakes immediately flew in all directions. Tian Shi coldly laughed as the ice flakes shot out from the ice fist, and his arm suddenly and strangely wiggled, like a snake, before it suddenly shook. Boom. The floodwater-like force surged out while the arm was wiggling. This force contained the strength of the Earth Demon puppet. That strange wiggling technique seemed to have completely reflected the Earth Demon puppet's attack. The force spread out in a ripple form and a half a finger deep fist mark sank into the chest of the Earth Demon puppet. If it did not possess any life nor feel any pain, it was likely that Tian Shi's hand would have killed it. Even though this was the case, the Earth Demon puppet was still violently thrown down. Finally, it shattered a couple of large rocks before it was deeply imprinted in the mountain wall. You're only SOSO. The snake-shaped walking stick in Tian Shi's hand gently pressed against the empty air as Tian Shi swiftly glanced at the defeated little fairy doctor. He faintly laughed, the current you is indeed much weaker compared to the last person in possession of the woeful poison body. Obediently return with me to the Ice River Valley and you might still have a chance to survive. Otherwise, your fate will not be better than the others. The little fairy doctor's face was ice cold. She wiped away the trace of blood on the corner of her mouth. The seal formed by her hands changed and was just about to undo the seal of the woeful poison body when a soft laugh suddenly spread from the valley. I think that there is no need to return to the Ice River Valley. This fallen god stream is not a bad burial ground. It should be quite a good place for your old bones to be buried here. Tian Shi slowly withdrew the smile on his face while he stood in the air. His eyes were gloomy as they landed on the entrance of the valley. Two figures were slowly walking out. Tian Shi's eyes paused on the young figure. Soon after, they turned to the old man, who was wearing a smile. After which, his gloomy face slowly stiffened. Do Zun. His soft voice contained a little dullness and shock as it suddenly spread, causing the air around to quietly freeze. Chapter 1086, Throwing an Egg Against a Stone, Useless Effort Do Zun. These two simple words appeared to possess a demonic power that instantly caused the air above the land to solidify. The chilly killing aura that was formed by the many Ice River Valley's disciples completely collapsed in the face of these two words. Two figures slowly walked out of the entrance of the valley. Xiao Yan lifted the little fairy doctor up, and saw the hint of blood on the corner of her mouth. The slight smile on his face involuntarily tightened. However, this smile was filled with a killing aura and a chilly feeling. Have you succeeded? The little fairy doctor looked at Tian Wazunja behind Xiao Yan and asked joyfully. Xiao Yan grinned slightly and nodded. He asked, are you all right? It's just some minor injuries. The little fairy doctor randomly replied. This time around, she had paid some attention and did not allow the ice soon force to invade her body. Additionally, that Tian Shi wanted to capture her alive. Therefore, he had held back when he launched his palm attack. It was due to this that her injuries were not considered serious. Xiao Yan grabbed the little fairy doctor's hand. He only felt assured after probing her. Turning his head, he looked at Tian Shi in the sky, whose face had suddenly turned volatile and uneasy. He smiled as he said, this elder's blows are really heavy. Tian Shi's expression was dark and solemn as he glanced at Xiao Yan. After which, he let out a cold snort. His eyes slid to Tian Huazunja. Although he had yet to say a word, the vague pressurizing feeling that spread from his body caused Tian Shi to feel as though his heart had tightened. This kind of pressure was something that he had only sensed from the Ice River Valley's valley chief and another old demon who had always surpassed him. Those two had truly stepped into the Dozun class. In other words, this plain old man was definitely a Dozun expert. The appearance of this person should be that of the spiritual body back then, at that time, he had only reached the level of an 8-star Dozun. Now, however, it seems like that was done on purpose. A thought quickly passed through Tian Shi's heart in this quiet atmosphere. Due to Tian Huazunja's soul completely merging with this new body, even the appearance of the body had changed. It had turned into one that was similar to Tian Huazunja's soul. Therefore, Tian Shi had managed to recognize Tian Huazunja as the spiritual body from just a glance. This friend, we can choose not to pursue the matter of you having killed the elder of the Ice River Valley. However, my Ice River Valley cannot let off these people. Hopefully, on account of my valley's chief face. Tian Shi was worthy of being an expert renowned for a long time. Even when facing an elite Dozun, he was still able to calm himself after losing his composure. He covered his hands respectfully to Tian Wazunja, but he was interrupted before he could say all that he wanted to say. I am unfamiliar with your valley chief. The old me doesn't think I need to give him any face. Tian Wazunja gently twisted his arm. He still felt a little unfamiliar after having merged with this body. However, this feeling of possessing a physical body was really too wonderful. He glanced at Xiao Yan beside him and smiled. After which, he raised his head and answered Tian Shi with a smile. Tian Shi's expression slightly sank when he heard this. With his status and strength, it had been a long time since someone dared to say such words to him. 
While Tian Chi's expression had sunk, the three Ice River Valley's elders not far below also gradually recovered from their shock. Their gazes contained disbelief as they looked at the old man behind Xiao Yan. Dou Zhu. How was it possible that this group of people would possess an expert at such a level? Being expert Dozones, they clearly understood just how frightening a Dozun was. They had never expected this situation, where nothing could have gone wrong, would undergo such a drastic change within an instant. Dozun, that was an ultimate expert that even Elder Tian Shi would have difficulty defeating even if he personally fought. The three Ice River Valley's elders exchanged glances with each other. Their mouths were filled with bitterness. The change of this situation was really testing one's ability to resist a blow. Earlier, they were the wolves surrounding the goats. However, in the blink of an eye, a fierce tiger appeared among these goats. The change of identities from the hunter to the hunted seemed a little too quick. The old me is aware that you are not a nice person. Similarly, the old me also belongs to the type of people who will take revenge against those who offend me. Since you have wounded someone, you will naturally have to pay the price for doing so. Tian Huazunja gave a faint smile while the expressions of the people from the Ice River Valley were volatile. He turned his head to Xiao Yan and said, leave them to me. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He lifted the little fairy doctor and slowly took two steps back before softly saying, since the Ice River Valley intends to deliver such a big gift, we should just accept it. Tian Huazunja smiled and nodded. His robe suddenly rose despite the absence of any wind. The surrounding air was like a wave of water as it began to swiftly fluctuate. A mighty force slowly spread out. This friend, do you really wish to become enemies with my Ice River Valley? Don't think that you can be fearless just because you are an elite Dozun. My Ice River Valley has never been afraid of anyone. Tian Shi's eyes became darker when he saw the situation. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hand struck the empty air ruthlessly as he coldly cried out. Tian Huazunja acted as though he did not hear this cold cry. The space around his body began to fluctuate even more intensely. Under this kind of fluctuation, the surrounding rock fragments began to tremble. They quickly split apart, transforming into countless grains of tiny sand. A denseness flashed across Tian Shi's eyes when he saw Tian Wazunja ignoring him. An elite Dozun was indeed extremely strong. However, it was impossible to get him to withdraw with just this. It was not as though he had never seen an elite Dozun. Everyone from the Ice River Valley, listen up. Form the strong dragon mysterious profound formation. Tian Shi swiftly took a couple of steps back and cried out to the members of the Ice River Valley below in a stern manner. All the members of the Ice River Valley shivered when they heard Tian Shi's cry. However, these people were also considered the elites in the Ice River Valley. They immediately spread apart and formed an extremely mysterious formation. Tian Shi was located at the eye of the formation. Ha! Huh. Wave after wave of low cries was repeatedly being emitted from the mouths of the Ice River Valley's disciples. Immediately, clusters of white-colored cold air shot from the tops of their heads. The white-colored cold air of the three Ice River Valley's elders were the strongest. Countless blobs of strange white-colored, cold air rose before agglomerating in the sky, lingering over Tian Shi's body. At this moment, both of his eyes furiously opened. The seal formed by everyone's hands swiftly changed, forming numerous dazzling afterimages. Strong Dragon Mysterious Profound Formation, Blood Offering Summons the Profound Dragon. Tian Shi's fingernail cut the tip of his finger. Fresh blood shot out and immediately merged into the murky, cold air. He widened his mouth and an unusually mighty deep blue air shot out. Finally, it agglomerated with the many intermingling vapors. As it swiftly wiggled, a thousand foot large, frosty dragon slowly appeared in the sky. This icy cold, enormous dragon was really huge. The surface of its body was covered with countless numbers of blood traces. An ice cold bloody glint flickered in the eyes of the large dragon. Its gaze stared at everyone below, looking at them as one would look at an ant. This large dragon did not merely appear powerful. There was a dragon's might seeping out of its body. A paleness surged on the faces of Tian Shi and those people from the Ice River Valley when the ice cold, large dragon appeared. The skin of some of the disciples had even become much drier. Their hair also showed signs of a weathering yellow color. Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he looked at this icy cold dragon. The Ice River Valley really lived up to its name. They possessed such a mysterious formation. However, at a glance, it seemed the price they paid to use this kind of formation was significant. Tian Huazunja's body was suspended in the sky. His eyes looked at the large dragon as some surprise flashed through them. This icy cold dragon was agglomerated from the Dou Qi and essence blood of all the people here from the Ice River Valley. Its might far exceeded that of an ordinary peak level Dou Zone. This friend, if you withdraw now, my Ice River Valley will still see you as a VIP. Tian Shi spoke in a deep voice while his eyes stared intently at Tian Huazunja, whose robes were fluttering despite the absence of any wind. You are merely bluffing. Tian Huazunja faintly replied. You are bringing this on yourself. A cold glint flickered in Tian Shi's eyes. He did not believe that this dragon, formed from everyone's Dou Qi, posed no threat to this person in front of them. Go. Tian Shi furiously cried out as he pointed his finger at Tian Huazunja. The icy cold, large dragon in the sky immediately let out a roar. It widened its large mouth as a dragon aura, dozens of feet large, shot toward Tian Wazunja in a lightning-like fashion. Faint white-colored ice fragments appeared wherever the dragon's aura passed. 
Tian Wazunja's finger gently cut the space in front of him as he looked at the icy cold dragon aura that shot over. The air was just like thin paper as it was torn apart. A dark black spatial crack, that looked just like a pocket, appeared out of nowhere. The dragon's aura was sucked into it. Tian Wazunja rubbed the crack with his hand after the dragon's aura was absorbed into it. The spatial line strangely disappeared. He raised his head, aimed his hand at the distant dragon, and suddenly clenched it. Spatial strangling. The space of the entire place immediately began to fluctuate after Tian Wazunja's soft cry sounded. The space around the icy cold, large dragon swiftly became distorted. Spatial folds could even be vaguely seen. Crack. A dark black broken layer appeared after the folds revealed themselves. The large dragon's body was forcefully torn apart by the spatial distortion. After which, it was swallowed into the dark black crevice. The icy cold dragon immediately roared at the sky after its body broke. Its enormous body carried an incomparable sonic boom as it charged over toward Tian Wazunja. Tian Wazunja revealed an empty smile as he watched the icy cold, large dragon charge over. He suddenly clenched his hand. Crack. 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 More space was swiftly distorted. Numerous folds continuously appeared. The location where each fold appeared was the spot where the dragon was located. It had yet to even reach a thousand feet from Tian Wazunja when its enormous body was shattered into pieces and swallowed into nothingness. By the time the icy cold, large dragon had charged at Tian Wazunja, only its enormous head remained. Tian Wazunja extended his hand and pressed it on the dragon's forehead. With a flick of his finger, that ice dragon was shattered into ice fragments that permeated the sky. Throwing an egg against a stone, utterly weak. The faces of Tian Shi and the others immediately turned red the moment the ice dragon was shattered. They spat out mouthfuls of fresh blood at the same time. An elite Dozun was this terrifying. Chapter 1087, Sun Flame Grug Fresh blood was spat out as Tian Shi's body fell from the sky. His feet staggered over a dozen steps on the ground before he gradually steadied himself. A pale whiteness surged onto his shriveled face. Bang. Bang. All the elite Ice River Valley's disciples also flew backwards, appearing to suffer from a heavy blow, while Tian Shi was forced back. After which, they collapsed onto the ground one after another. No one knew if they were dead or alive. Only the three white-clothed elders present were able to barely stabilize their bodies. However, their faces were currently covered in shock. None of them had expected the great formation, formed from all of their strengths, would be unable to last for even one exchange in the hands of this person in front of them. An elite Dozun was indeed not someone they could defeat by just relying on numbers. This person's control of spatial strength has reached an incredible level. He doesn't appear like someone who has just advanced to the Dozun class. Some shock swiftly surged into Tian Shi's eyes as he stabilized his body. He swiftly scanned over the Ice River Valley's disciples who had been shaken until they were unconscious. His eyes flickered. My Ice River Valley has miscalculated this matter today. With this person protecting the woeful poison lady, it is impossible for the old me to capture them alone. I can only head back and inform the valley chief about this matter. Tian Shi was indeed an old, crafty fellow. After this exchange, he knew this mission would not progress any further this time around. Therefore, he decisively clenched his teeth and a mighty, cold air gathered on his palm. After which, his fist smashed onto the empty space behind him. This empty space immediately became distorted when his fist was thrown at it. A dark black spatial tunnel appeared behind him. Bing Xiao, leave with me. The dark black spatial tunnel had just appeared when Tian Shi's hand grabbed toward the three white-clothed elders. A suction force surged out and sucked all three of them to his side without any resistance. His body moved and entered the spatial tunnel. Don't let him escape. Xiao Yan hurriedly cried out when the dark black tunnel appeared. There was naturally no need for Xiao Yan to open his mouth to remind Tian Wazunja when it came to something like this. Tian Wazunja swiftly reacted to the situation. His palm aimed at the black spatial tunnel from a distance before he ruthlessly clenched it. An invisible ripple spread and one could see the spatial tunnel begin to swiftly collapse. The expression of Tian Shi suddenly changed when the spatial tunnel collapsed. A cold glint immediately flickered in his eyes. His palm slammed onto the back of a white-clothed elder and a frightening cold air surged out, sending this elder flying in the process. Bang. That white-clothed elder had just been sent flying when the hidden force, placed in his body by Tian Shi, suddenly exploded. His body was immediately covered by an icy coldness. After which, it exploded with a bang. I shattered into little bits that shot in all directions as a shocking air wave spread out in a lightning-like fashion. In the face of this wave from the explosion of a body, the invisible strength that spread from the hands of Tian Wazunja was impeded. After which, it was momentarily blocked. Tian Wazunja eyebrows were knit when the white-clothed elder's body exploded. This old fellow was really ruthless. He decisively attacked his companions beside him. With a wave of Tian Wazunja's sleeves, the spatial ripple spread again and resisted the air wave that was created from the explosion of the white-clothed elder's body. After which, it swiftly spread toward Tian Shi. Tian Shi's expression changed when he saw that the explosion of an expert Dozong did not obtain much effect. 
Immediately, a fierce glint quickly flashed through his eyes. The other two white-clothed elders felt a chill rise in their hearts when they saw the fierce glint in Tian Shi's eyes. The both of them acted in union without prior agreement as they attempted to move their bodies and flee. However, this thought had just appeared when Tian Shi let out a cold smile. His palm was imprinted on the backs of these two people with lightning-like speed. A wild and violent force shot out of them. Bang. Bang. The two elders did not have the time to put up any defenses. That frightening cold air surged into the bodies of these two elders, and the circulating Dou Qi in their bodies immediately stilled. After which, they began to swell. Bang. Bang. Another two loud noises appeared. An even more powerful cold wave surged and spread in a lightning-like fashion. Some of the large rocks on the ground were covered by the tough ice almost immediately because of this icy cold wave. The Ice River Valley's disciples on the ground were quickly transformed into many lifelike ice sculptures. The life within their bodies was completely frozen at this instant. The two large, ice-cold waves, that had erupted, shook the invisible interfering force of Tian Wazunja until it collapsed. The spatial tunnel rotated and a pale-faced Tian Shi swiftly entered it. Finally, he disappeared. It's a small world and we will meet again. The matter today is definitely not over. All of you should wait to be killed by my Ice River Valley. While Tian Shi's figure was disappearing, a vicious, dense voice was slowly being transmitted from the spot where the spatial tunnel disappeared. After which, it reverberated over this valley's entrance. Tian Wuzun just slightly knit his brows when he saw that Tian Shi had successfully fled. He had not expected this person to be able to part space and flee despite not having reached the Dozun class. Moreover, he had underestimated the heartlessness of that fellow as well. He had willingly sacrificed three Dozong elders in order to flee. He escaped. The little fairy doctor's eyebrows were vertical as she softly exclaimed. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He felt a little regretful. Finally, he glanced at Tian Wazunja in the air and said, Old Mr. Yao has just obtained a body. Although your spiritual strength has been greatly strengthened in an instant, the Dou Qi within your physical body cannot be completely recovered within this short amount of time. You have completely relied on your spiritual strength in the fight earlier. Otherwise, it is likely that Tian Shi would not have fled. Tian Wazunja in the air moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. He helplessly shook his head at Xiao Yan as he said, I could have destroyed the spatial tunnel. However, that old fellow is really too ruthless. He threw three Dozong experts like bombs. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He said, it is fine as long as we can scare those old fellows off. We are currently unable to fight head-on against the Ice River Valley. We need to find an even more secretive spot and help settle the issue of the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. Once she is able to fully control the woeful poison body, the Ice River Valley will have to really think twice even if they wish to touch us. Two Dozuns can be considered an extremely powerful force even in the Central Plains region. Tian Wazun just slightly nodded. Although he currently possessed a body, he did not truly possess the strength of a Dozun yet. He needed to wait until he had familiarized himself with this body in order to be called a true Dozun. We will let you decide where we should go. You can be considered to have given the old me a second chance to live. The old me will return you this favor. Tian Wazunja fondled his beard as he spoke with a smile to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled. He mused for a moment before replying, Since Tian Shi has already fled, it is likely that the Ice River Valley will learn about us soon. Therefore, it is likely that we can no longer remain here. Moreover, the Fallen God Valley is not a suitable place if we wish to help the little fairy doctor resolve the issue of her woeful poison body. The poison vapor in this place is too dense. If the woeful poison body retaliates, we will end up with a trouble that we cannot predict. Hence, we must find a place that is filled with light and heat. That kind of place will be able to suppress the woeful poison body, and it will raise the chance of success by 10%. Filled with light and heat. Tian Wazunja and the little fairy doctor pondered the options. It was not easy to find such a place within the pill region. I do know of a place that is filled with light and heat. A voice suddenly sounded while Xiao Yan and the two others were deep in thought. The three of them followed the voice and looked over. Coincidentally, they saw the smiling Xian Lan walking out of the valley. Where? Xiao Yan rejoiced when he heard her words, and he hurriedly asked. Yi City. My Yi clan has a unique place that is called Sunfire Ancient Altar. The sunlight from the sky during the daytime will gather at that spot. There is a hole in the ancient altar that reaches deep underground. Occasionally, some core fire seedlings will drift out of the hole. When this core fire seedling makes contact with sunlight, it will transform into a kind of flame. My Yi clan calls it sun flame. Xian Lan softly explained. This kind of sun flame might not be a heavenly flame, but it is far stronger than an ordinary beast flame. Some of my Yi clan's ancestors would frequently borrow this kind of sun flame and increase the success of their pill refinement. Unfortunately, this sun flame cannot exist for too long. It will automatically scatter. Xian Lan's voice was a little regretful when she spoke until this point. Even though it didn't last long, the sun flame was still quite tempting. There was an unknown number of factions who coveted this city. They were all after the sun fire ancient altar. Sun flame. Xiao Yan muttered this name in his mouth. This world was indeed filled with mysteries. The sun flame's formation was similar to that of a heavenly flame's birth. 
No wonder it was hidden as a treasure by the Yi clan. Based on what you say, the Sunfire Ancient Altar should be forbidden ground of your Yi clan. They will actually loan it out. Xiao Yan knit his brows and questioned after pondering the proposition. He had met those people from the Yi clan before, and he did not have a good impression of them. Xian Lan also appeared to be aware that Xiao Yan did not have a good impression of them. She let out a bitter laugh before gritting her silver teeth and saying, They offended Big Brother Xiao Yan last time because they were unaware of your identity. If you go there again, Xian Lan guarantees that they will not offend you. The current Yi clan was in a gradual decline. Only her grandfather was a tier 7 alchemist. This kind of strength was not enough to allow the Yi clan to continue being one of the five great clans. If they did not seek outside help, it was likely that they would be swallowed and taken over by other factions. Moreover, from the way Xian Lan saw it, who was more suitable to provide this outside help other than Xiao Yan? He had already reached the seventh tier at such a young age. Such achievement was not the least bit inferior even when compared with the so-called genius seen once in a hundred years from the Chao clan. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing Xian Lan's words. He then gently nodded and replied, Hopefully it will be just as you have said. If I can resolve the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue, I will do my best to help with the problem of your Yi clan on your account. Joy surfaced on Xian Lan's face when she heard this. By saying this, Xiao Yan was clearly giving the Yi clan another chance. Big brother Xiao Yan, you can rest assured about this matter. Xian Lan heavily nodded her head. She had already made up her mind. No matter what happened this time around, she would definitely make those pedantic fellows from the clan truly view Xiao Yan as the savior of the Yi clan. Chapter 1088, Blackfire Sect In that case, let's make a trip to Yi City, it is best that we resolve the issue of the woeful poison body as soon as possible. If none of you have any objections, we will head out now. What do you say? Xiao Yan was unable to say anything more after hearing Xian Lan plea. He nodded and made his decision. After which, he turned his head to Tian Wazunja and the little fairy doctor and asked them what they thought. The little fairy doctor naturally had no objections to this. After some deep thinking, Tian Wazunja also nodded. He said, after advancing to a Dozun, I am already able to continuously absorb the natural energy and turn it into Do Qi in my body. I can also train while traveling. It is not a problem to start moving now. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw they were both in agreement. He immediately walked out of the Fallen God Valley. Tian Wazunja and the others quickly followed from behind. After two days of traveling, Xiao Yan's group gradually approached the exit of the Fallen God stream. The human traffic gradually increased. For safety's sake, Xiao Yan's group put on dupangs to hide their appearance. From what Xian Lan had said, the Ice River Valley had issued a wanted order for all of them. Although they might not be afraid, it would still be a little troublesome if they were exposed. Currently, Xiao Yan was thinking of resolving the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue. It was naturally best if these problems did not appear. The entrance of the Fallen God stream was still filled with the sea humans. It was not reduced because of the flow of time. It seemed that there was still a countless number of people attracted by the sky-high reward that the Ice River Valley offered. However, the current Fallen God stream no longer had a single Ice River Valley personal standing guard. Perhaps this was because of Tian Shi's group being completely defeated. Hence, Xiao Yan's group did not meet with even the slightest obstacle, and they successfully walked out of the Fallen God stream. After which, they found a deserted area and hurried to Yi City from there. The Fallen God stream was not far from Yi City. With the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they reached this lush, green city, situated on some plains, within half a day. The few of them landed in the city, but did not stay for long. With Xian Lan leading them, they hurried to the Yi Clan Manor in the middle of the city. Around ten minutes later, Xiao Yan's group arrived at the front door of the Yi Clan. At this moment, the main door of the Yi Clan was opened. The thing that surprised Xiao Yan's group was that there was not a single guard at the entrance. Moreover, the thick door showed signs of being broken. Xian Lan's expression involuntarily changed when she saw the damaged door. After which, she increased her speed and charged in. Xiao Yan spread his hands behind him. This scene clearly represented that something bad had happened. It was unexpected that the Yi clan had fallen into such a state. Currently, Xiao Yan was not wearing a dopan. However, he had once again put on the skin-like object that could change his appearance, causing him to appear slightly different. Xiao Yan led the little fairy doctor and Tian Wazunja as they slowly walked into the Yi clan. After which, they followed a small rock path and headed toward the interior. This walk continued for a couple of minutes before a large hall appeared in front of the three of them. Some furious cries were vaguely being transmitted from within. Indeed, a clan that has been inherited over generations has declined until such an extent. Now, others barge into their manner and act as they pleased. Would the ancestors of the Yi clan leap out of their graves if they become aware of this? Xiao Yan involuntarily shook his head when he heard the furious cry that was emitted from within the hall. He felt somewhat sad for this Yi clan. A great clan that had once been extremely prominent had actually been turned into such a state. It really gave one the feeling that people change. Xian Lan was currently standing outside of the door. Her pretty face was green with fury as she looked into the hall. 
Her lovely figure trembled slightly due to her fury. Xiao Yan led the little fairy doctor and Tian Wazunja up to Xian Lan. He leaned against the door and looked at the interior of the hall. At this moment, the large hall was a complete mess. All the members of the clan Xiao Yan had met back then were there. However, these people's faces were filled with an angry green color at this moment. There was a green clothed person wailing and rolling all over the ground in front of them. One could tell that he was a member of the clan from his clothes. The other side of the members of the clan was a group of people in black clothes. The aura of this group of people was quite strong. Clearly, they were not weaklings. Moreover, Xiao Yan was surprised to find that the two shady faced black robed elders leading them had reached the strength of six star Do zones. Moreover, from the majestic Do Chi undulating around them, it was likely that these two people were at the peak of the six star Do zone class. They were a little stronger when compared to the first elder of the clan, who was Xian Lan's grandfather. Who are they? Xiao Yan randomly asked. They are people from the Black Fire sect and could be considered a strong faction within this pill region. Their sect is located quite close to Yi City and has been coveting after the Yi City for some time. It is unexpected that they dared to barge in. Xian Lan tightly clenched her fist. Her low voice contained a fury that she could not suppress. The two old fellows at the front are the Black Demon Twin Evil. They are extremely strong and have quite a fierce reputation. Even grandfather is not match for either one of them. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. This was the first time he had heard of the Black Fire sect. However, the strength of these two old fellows was indeed great. The peak of a six-star Do Zone. They were a little stronger than Bing Fu from the Ice River Valley. This central plains was indeed filled with experts. If an expert of such a level was placed in the Black Corner region, he would, at the very least, be an overlord. Zhao Hei, Qin Mo, your Black Fire sect should not be overboard. My Yi clan might no longer have the glory of its past, but if we were to really fight with your Black Fire sect, it will not benefit you in any way. The green-clothed, old man in the large hall was furious as he angrily shouted. He he, Yi Zhong, you need to bluff in the front of the two of us. Your current Yi clan no longer possess the qualification to continue being called one of the five great clans of the Pill region. One of the leading black-clothed elders faintly laughed when he heard this before ridiculing Yi Zhong. This time around, the two of us have come to incorporate your Yi clan under us by the orders of the sect leader. If you surrender, our Black Fire sect will not treat all of you shabbily. You will still have a place to survive in this Yi clan. If you do not obey, he he, you should all be aware of the tactics of my Black Fire sect. The other shady-faced elder laughed and spoke with a hoarse voice. In your dreams. The faces of all the members from the Yi clan were filled with anger when these words were spoken. Yi Zhong widened his eyes and furiously cried out. Boom boom. Yi Zhong's cry had just sounded when numerous black shadows suddenly rushed out of the hands of the two black-clothed elders. After which, they landed in the large hall while emitting boom boom sounds. Everyone's expression instantly became furiously green when they saw this because the black shadows were dark black coffins. Please accept these coffins if you do not wish to obey. The shady-looking black-clothed old man smiled densely toward Yi Zhong. A cold, majestic aura slowly spread out of his body. After which, a roar sounded within this large hall, causing some of the weaker Yi clan's members to turn a little pale. Xiao Yan continued to remain by the door. He narrowed his eyes and watched the show that was playing out within the hall. This black fire sect really did not show any mercy when they act. He counted the number of coffins and found that there was one more than the number of Yi clan members currently in the hall. That extra coffin was perhaps prepared for Xian Lan. It was just that these people were unaware that Xian Lan had been following beside Xiao Yan during these few days. Xian Lan by the side tightly clenched her hand. Her lovely body trembled due to her fury. A moment later, her expression suddenly dimmed. She was unable to do anything with her current strength. Big brother Xiao Yan, please help the Yi clan, will you? Xian Lan is willing to do anything as long as the clan is well. Xiao Yan, who had tilted his head, was suddenly startled. He turned his head and looked at the blue-clothed girl, who had lowered her head. Her eyes were red as she bit her lower red lip. Xiao Yan softly sighed when he saw her. Relax, it is not as though this is the first day that you have been acquainted with him. Don't you know what his character is like? The little fairy doctor involuntarily shook her head with pity, and she softly comforted with a smile after seeing Xian Lan's appearance. Since I have already given you my word, I will naturally help you. At this moment, Yi Zhong in the large hall was greatly shaken by this ruthless act of the Black Fire sect. He looked at those coffins with a cold luster in his eyes as a desolate feeling surged onto his face. Had the once prominent Yi clan reached such a stage in his hands? Hand over Yi City in the Sunfire Ancient Altar of the Yi clan. My Black Fire sect does not wish to do something so ruthless. I shall give you five minutes to think it over. The lives of all the young and old in the Yi clan will be determined by your decision. The black clothed, old man smiled in a sinister manner while he slowly threatened Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong's face slightly twitched upon hearing this. His entire body trembled. With the current strength of the Black Fire sect, it was very difficult for the Yi clan to continue fighting with them. The atmosphere within the large hall had become extremely pressurizing because of Yi Zhong's silence. These five minutes swiftly passed by in silence. 
The dense smile of the two black-clothed, old men slowly widened when the five minutes was up. Surging energy gradually gathered in their palms. Yijong, you are the one who seeks such an ending. Do not blame the two of us. Ugh. A soft sigh finally sounded from outside of the door just as killing intent surged out of these two black-clothed, old men. The two of them were startled, and they suddenly turned around, only to see a young man leaning against the door. Their eyes turned cold and a curse was spat from their mouths. Get lost. The young man ignored them. He moved his feet and slowly walked into the large hall. A calm, soft voice slowly sounded like a wave of water. One minute. Bring the coffins with you and get out of E-City. Otherwise, you can remain here. Chapter 1089, Sunfire Ancient Altar The young man's calm voice was just like flowing water as it crossed the large hall. This caused everyone to be stunned. Such a tone was really filled with extraordinary arrogance. The black-clothed elders who were called Zhao Hei and Qin Emma were startled when they heard his voice. Their expressions immediately turned sinister. Both pairs of eyes looked at the young man, who was slowly walking in, like fierce wolves. A moment later, they ferociously smiled, a mere two-star dozone dares to act so presumptuously in front of the two of us old fellows. There is still forty seconds. The young man appeared to have not heard the ferocious laughs of the two of them. A somewhat lazy voice was emitted from his mouth. Kill him. Zhao Hei's expression was dark and chilly as he slowly commanded. A fierce expression instantly flew into the eyes of the many people from the Black Fire sect the moment they heard this order. Powerful Dou Qi surged out of their bodies. After which, they unleashed their Dou Qi together without any prior agreement and rushed toward the young man, who was slowly walking over. A jade green flame surged out of Xiao Yan's body and transformed into a fire barrier. Those fierce attacks automatically disappeared when they made contact with the fire barrier. They did not even cause Xiao Yan's footsteps to pause for even a moment. Zhao Hei and Qin Emo were initially startled when they saw the jade green flame that surged out of Xiao Yan's body. They suddenly cried out involuntarily, Heavenly Flame. A wild joy and greed suddenly rose into the eyes of the two of them after their involuntary cry. The Black Fire sect was renowned for its fire affinity. They naturally had a great understanding of heavenly flames, which were the strongest of all flames. Brat, you possess such a unique item. However, since you have delivered yourself to us, the two of us shall kindly accept. Zhao Hei smiled. He exchanged expressions with Qin Mo. After which, their feet abruptly stomped on the ground. The two of them attacked at the same time and rushed towards Xiao Yan. Ugh, time's up. Xiao Yan let out a soft sigh and shook his head slightly when the two of them attacked. The space around Xiao Yan was slowly distorted while his soft sigh slowly sounded. Immediately, an old figure strangely appeared. His sleeves were randomly swung toward the two who had shot over explosively. Immediately, the empty space appeared to be violently blended by an invisible hand, revealing numerous spatial folds. A majestic and frightening strength cut through the space quietly like floodwater as the sleeves was swung. After which, it gently collided with Zhao Hei's and Qin Mo's chest without forming even the slightest ripple. Grug. The bodies of Zhao Hei and Qin Mo suddenly stilled as the wind blew over. The ferociousness on their faces instantly transformed into shock. Before this shock could completely disappear, two bright red mouthfuls of fresh blood along with some shattered inner organs were spat out from their mouths. Bang. After the fresh blood was spat out, the two figures flew back like kites with broken strings. They subsequently smashed against the ground, rolled miserably for over ten times before violently colliding into a wall. The vague yet clear sound of bones being crushed rang out. The entire hall was silent. All the gazes were looking at the old figure beside Xiao Yan with dull expressions. With just a random wave, two experts at the peak of the six-star Do Zone class were defeated so miserably without any ability to defend themselves. Do. Do Zoom. Yi Zhong was stunned as he looked at this old figure. Although not the least bit of aura seeped out of his body, he could still sense a dangerous feeling. He had experienced such a dangerous feeling before. However, all of those who gave him such a feeling were powerful existences who had stepped into the Do Zoom class. Since when did Mai Yi clan have an interaction with such an expert? This thought flashed through Yi Zhong's heart. Ever since their Yi clan began to decline, they hardly possessed any ability to interest an elite Dozun. Otherwise, this Black Fire sect would not dare to find trouble with them. While Yi Zhong was feeling doubt in his heart, his eyes suddenly landed on Xi and Lan outside of the large hall. He was immediately startled. He seemed to have recalled something. His eyes were suddenly turned to Xiao Yan. Although his appearance had changed a little, Yi Zhong could still see a little familiarity in his outline. He is Xiao Yan from back then. This thought flashed through his heart. Even Yi Zhong could not help but inhale a breath of cool air. The last time they met, this person only had a powerful puppet beside him, yet why was there another mysterious elite Dozun beside him after only a short one month period or so? This person definitely possesses a great background. Otherwise, how is it possible for him to get an elite Dozun to follow beside him? My Yi clan was blind in old age. We nearly offended this great being. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the churning thoughts within Yi Zhong's heart. 
He glanced at the fresh blood on the corner of the wall as well as the shock Zhao Hei and Qin Mo. After which, he involuntarily let out a cold laugh. The strike from Tian Hua Zunjia earlier had caused these two a serious injury at the very least. Even if they managed to recover, it was likely that a sequelae would be left behind. This senior, the two of us are elders from the Black Fire sect. We are blind to have offended you today. Please forgive the both of us. Zhao Hei and Qin Mo climbed up from the ground in a miserable manner. Their hearts were so shaken that they did not possess the slightest anger. Being those involved, they had a clear understanding of how terrifying the attack earlier was. By being able to defeat the two of them so easily, the other party was definitely an expert of the Dozun class. Such an existence was not someone their Black Fire sect could offend. Damn it, how is it possible for the clan to be acquainted with an elite Dozun? We have miscalculated this time around. Once we return, we must definitely inform sect leader about this. It is best that we stop having any ill thoughts toward the clan in the future. A camel that dies from being too skinny is still bigger than a horse. The mouths of the two of them were filled with bitterness. They forcefully endured the waves of intense pain that was emitted from their bodies as they rubbed off the fresh blood on their faces. However, they no longer possessed even the least bit of prestige that they had displayed earlier. In front of an elite Dozun, their lives were just like ants that were not even worth mentioning. This point was something that the both of them were clearly aware of. Get lost. If you return again, I will head to your Black Fire sect and accompany all of you with a little chat. Xiao Yan indifferently glanced at these two people, who were scared witless, as he coldly spoke. Zhao Hei and Qin Mo coldly shivered when they heard his words. However, they did not dare say anything else. Both of them supported each other and fled to the door. Take your stuff with you. Xiao Yan's cold cry quickly followed after these two had just exited through the door. The both of them hurriedly turned around and submissively returned all the coffins in the hall to their storage rings. Only then did they lead their men and miserably fled without daring to utter a word. All of this occurred in front of the stunned gazes of the members of the E-Clan. The members of the E-Clan in the large hall only recovered a while after watching the people from the Black Fire sect flee in a miserable manner. Some respect surged in their eyes when they looked at Xiao Yan and Tian Wazunja beside him. Grandfather, are you alright? Xian Lan's figure hurriedly ran into the hall and inquired with a worrying voice while facing Yizhong. Yizhong shook his head. His eyes immediately landed on Xiao Yan as he softly sighed. He bowed his body and cupped his hands together in a grave manner. Mr. Xiao Yan, thank you for rescuing us. Please do not take the disrespect of the clan back then to heart. Xiao Yan Some of the members of the clan were startled when they heard Yizhong's words, especially the few clan's elders who had exchanged blows with Xiao Yan back then. Their eyes were astonished when they looked at Xiao Yan. An ashamed expression soon followed. Xiao Yan randomly waved his hand. He was too lazy to say any courteous words. Instead, he stated his intent, this time around, I have come to the clan with the intention of borrowing the Sunfire Ancient Altar. May I know if Elder Yizhong will lend it to me? Yizhong's eyes glanced at Xian Lan beside him after hearing this. She hurriedly nodded to him. He could only bitterly laugh as he said, Mr. Xiaoyan has rescued my Yi clan today. Although the Sunfire Ancient Altar cannot be loaned to an outsider based on the rules of the clan, the Yi clan has already fallen to such a state. It is likely seeking its own death if it still insists on its old ways. Xiaoyan only gently nodded his head after hearing that Yizhong did not say anything to evade the issue. Yizhong instructed the clan members to clean up the large hall before personally leading Xiao Yan's group to the deeper parts of the E-Clan manor. Around ten minutes later, an extremely deserted, rocky open ground appeared in front of them. In the middle of the open ground was a somewhat ancient altar. The enormous rocks that were used to build the altar were filled with the traces of time. Clearly, this altar had existed for a long time. Xiao Yan approached the altar and discovered that it was exceptionally bright. Moreover, the closer he got to the altar, the hotter and purer the surrounding energy was. Numerous substance-like light rays scattered down from the sky. After being reflected by the smooth rock walls, they ended up gathering on a dark black stone tablet. There is a hole that connects deep underground under the stone tablet. Some core heart fire seedlings will escape when the stone tablet is shifted away. It will subsequently light up the sunlight gathered here and form the sun flame of course, this was the case in the past. Yizhong softly sighed and bitterly laughed as he stared at the ancient altar. What happened? Xiao Yan slightly frowned when he heard his words. Since a couple of years ago, seldom do core heart fire seedlings come out of the hole. It is not possible to excite the sunlight and form the sun flame. Yizhong sighed. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He did not need to rely on whatever sun flame for his purpose. All he wanted to do was borrow the pure, natural energy of this place to suppress the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. Little fairy doctor, enter the altar. Xiao Yan turned his head and instructed to the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor nodded when she heard this. Her toes pressed on the ground and her body gently landed inside the altar. The dense heat and light energy around caused her eyebrows to turn vertical as she felt some discomfort. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after seeing the little fairy doctor enter the altar. He once again summoned the earth demon puppet. After which, he finally relaxed and walked into the altar. 
Old Mr. Yao, please stand guard for us. Do not allow anyone to interrupt. Tian Wazun just smiled as he nodded. His body moved and appeared on a huge tree by the edge of the open ground. Finally, he sat on it. You can rest assured that unless an elite Dozun comes to this place personally, no one will be able to interrupt you. Yi Zhong also wisely withdrew far away when he saw this. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His eyes swept around him. There were many rock walls around this altar. If one did not approach it, it would be difficult to see what was happening within from the outside. Therefore, it could be considered a hidden place. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze. He looked at the little fairy doctor in front of him, who appeared a little uneasy. With a soft laugh, he said, in that case, I should also begin. Chapter 1090, Poison Dan Method, Begin. The little fairy doctor nodded when she heard him. She inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the anxiety in her heart. After which, she sat cross-legged on the altar. She straightened her upper body. Her long neck and narrow waist formed an alluring curve. Xiao Yan also sat down. He raised his head and looked at the countless lights that shot down from the sky. His hand gently caressed the empty air. Immediately, a warm feeling was emitted from his palm. He sensed a kind of pure light and heat in the sunlight. Not bad. Xiao Yan slightly praised. This was indeed a good place. Even if he did not do anything, this place would cause the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body to be naturally suppressed. Thus, they would be able to avoid the situation of having the woeful poison body erupt midway through, causing some unnecessary trouble. Xiao Yan's eyes slightly shifted. After which, they paused on the dark black stone tablet set in the altar. Yi Zhong had already mentioned that this stone tablet was the key to activating this altar. Xiao Yan's hands gently pushed the dark black stone tablet. A hot feeling surged from within. However, it did not cause Xiao Yan the slightest discomfort. He used a little strength and pushed the stone tablet aside amid a cracking sound. The stone tablet was slowly pushed aside and a head-sized dark black hole appeared in Xiao Yan's sight. It was likely that this was the hole that Yi Zhong had mentioned. Creak creak. When the stone tablet was pushed aside, it seemed to have activated something. The stone walls around the altar slowly moved. Immediately, they formed a round stone wall, surrounding Xiao Yan and the little fairy doctor in an extremely tight manner. If one were to look from the outside, one could only see the towering, ancient stone walls. Following the formation of the circular shape of the stone walls, the stone walls seemed to have gradually become smooth. An increasing amount of light rays were reflected by the mirror-like stone walls. Finally, they gathered at this hole in the ground. The bright, dazzling light was extremely glaring. Although the sunlight had gathered, not the slightest bit of fire seedlings were emitted from the hole in the ground. Hence, the so-called sun flame did not appear. Fortunately, the light and hot energy of this altar were becoming more intense with the gathering of the sunlight. In the end, the little fairy doctor's eyebrows were slightly vertical. This sunlight left a searing feeling when it landed on her body. Sizzle sizzle. Wave after wave of grayish purple poison fog gradually surged out of the little fairy doctor beyond her control. After which, they collided with the hot sunlight in the outside world and emitted a sizzling sound. There is no need to panic. Xiao Yan comforted her and smiled as he looked at the little fairy doctor, who had her hands clenched. He waved his hand and a crystal that was filled with a wild and violent energy appeared in front of him. It was the monster core of the sky poison dragon scorpion beast. Xiao Yan flipped his hand after taking out the monster core. A jade box appeared in it. The jade box was snow white in color. There was a faint cold air seeping out of it. A jade green color as well as a sticky substance that was still wiggling appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes. The Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva Xiao Yan had spent a great amount of effort in order to obtain this unique treasure. It was one of the key ingredients for the so-called Poison Dan Method. It is rumored that this Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva can sense the Bodhisattva Heart, however, ever since I got a hold of it, this thing has not given me the slightest clue. Xiao Yan looked at the Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva in the jade box and helplessly shook his head. After which, his eyes landed on the little fairy doctor in front of him as he continued with a solemn voice, I will use three types of heavenly flame to force the poison chi within your body to a certain spot. The process will be very painful. You must endure it. If we cannot even progress past this step, the remaining steps cannot begin. The little fairy doctor clenched her silver teeth as she looked at Xiao Yan's grave expression. She gently nodded. She knew that Xiao Yan had spent a couple years of effort in order to help her resolve this woeful poison body. Now that they had everything ready, she would definitely endure regardless of how painful it would be. Otherwise, how could she be worthy of the effort that this person in front of her had put in over the years? I will need to undo the seal within your body and completely unleash the woeful poison body. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath. His hand involuntarily trembled a little. Should he fail to suppress the woeful poison body, it was likely that the little fairy doctor would die on the spot. I trust you. The little fairy doctor appeared to be aware of the worry in Xiao Yan's heart after seeing his somewhat trembling hands. An alluring smile surfaced on her pretty face as she softly uttered encouraging words. 
Xiao Yan slowly tightened his hand. His voice was deep, I have already prepared for today for many years, and I will definitely not make a mistake. Remove your clothes. I will begin undoing the seal. Xiao Yan's expression was serious. His mind was the most focused it had ever been as he commanded in a deep voice. The little fairy doctor was startled when she heard his command. A redness swiftly flew onto her pretty face. However, when she saw Xiao Yan's expression, which was so solemn to the point it did not possess any other emotion, she gently clenched her silver teeth. In any case, this fellow had already seen her many times. She did not mind allowing him to see her another time. The little fairy doctor gently removed her clothes while possessing this thought that caused her face to redden. After which, her dress fell past her lovely, white, smooth skin. A suet jade-like, perfect figure was exposed under this hot sunlight. Regardless of how sturdy Xiao Yan's heart was, his eyes involuntarily flickered for a moment when he saw the perfect body of the woman in front of his eyes being exposed. However, he swiftly focused his mind. His eyes gathered on the little fairy doctor's body. Her suet jade-like body possessed numerous faint red scars. These scars were composed of a countless number of symbols that climbed all over the little fairy doctor's body, forming a perfect seal in the process. Xiao Yan curled his fingers. A jade green flame formed over his fingertip. His eyes focused as his hand swung at a lightning-like speed. After which, it heavily pressed on the little fairy doctor's smooth abdomen. A sizzling white smoke was emitted. The faint red scar, that spread all over her body, slowly began to wiggle under his finger. The scar swiftly paled. Wave after wave of frightening deep grayish poison fog erupted from the little fairy doctor's body after the symbol swiftly paled. Her grayish purple eyes gradually turned pure gray. This kind of grayish color contained the scent of death. It was without even the slightest bit of life. At a glance, one would feel a fluttering feeling that seemed to have spread from deep within their soul. When the woeful poison body completely erupted, this kind of grayish color would swiftly devour all of the life force belonging to its owner. The bright redness on the little fairy doctor's face swiftly vanished following the spread of this grayish colored poison fog. Her originally gentle face slowly became expressionless. However, the pain and struggle that faintly seeped from between her eyebrows indicated that she was resisting the backlash of the woeful poison body. They were both pressed for time. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind as a jade green flame was spat out of his mouth. The dark black ring on his finger gradually trembled. A dense white colored flame slowly curled and rose. Xiao Yan grabbed this cluster of dense white flames. He stuffed it into his jade green flame. The three types of flames underwent a drastic change the moment they made contact. However, Xiao Yan had already mastered this kind of change. He spent a short moment before he completely merged the three types of flames. The final creation from the merger of the three types of heavenly flames was a pure green white flame. It slowly rose while waves of destructive strength slowly spread from it. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after the successful merger of the three types of heavenly flames. He glanced at the gray poison fog that was surging out of the little fairy doctor's body in front of him. He then inhaled a deep breath of air. He waved his hand and the green white flame surged out. It expanded and bundled around the little fairy doctor's body. Sizzle 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 sizzle. The flame had just covered the little fairy doctor when the dense, gray-colored poison gas around her body emitted an intense sizzling sound, as though it had met its nemesis. After which, it withdrew with lightning-like speed, fleeing back into the little fairy doctor's body. Chi. The little fairy doctor's grayish-purple eyes immediately turned a pure gray color when the poison gas entered her body. A deadly aura radiated out of her. The little fairy doctor's body moved and charged out of this altar. However, Xiao Yan was already prepared for this. The little fairy doctor's body had just moved when he suddenly stood up. His hand was covered in the green-white flame as it pressed onto the little fairy doctor's shoulder, violently holding her down in the process. Gather. The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hand changed as he furiously cried out. The green-white flame transformed into countless numbers of tiny fire seedlings after the cry sounded. They penetrated the little fairy doctor's skin and entered her body. Finally, they wildly chased after the gray-colored poison gas. The green-white fire seedlings from all directions covered every corner of the little fairy doctor's body. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's current strength was much stronger than before. Otherwise, it was likely that he would have found it difficult to control so many fire seedlings. The permeating gray poison gas began to swiftly scatter after being chased by the fire seedlings. Moreover, under the control of Xiao Yan's mind, all of the poison gas gathered in the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. Hiss 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 hiss. Slight sounds were continuously emitted from the little fairy doctor's body. Wave after wave of gray-colored poison gas hurriedly fled from the combined might of the three heavenly flames. Finally, the gas was chased to her lower abdomen. All the green-white flames gathered at this spot. They transformed into a fire circle that trapped the poison gas within. The vast, mighty poison gas, that was filled with a deadly aura, gathered in the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. At a glance, it looked like a swirl. The interior of the swirl was a deadly world. Even an elite Dozun would not dare to easily face such a frightening poison gas head-on. 
If Xiao Yan had not been relying on the strength of three types of heavenly flames, he would have been eroded by this kind of poison gas into nothing with just the first contact. There was no need to even talk about driving it away. Gathering the poison gas, replacing it with the monster core, and using the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva too. Xiao Yan softly sighed after sensing the poison gas that had gathered together. He suddenly grabbed the sky poison dragon scorpion beast's crystal monster core, and he placed it on the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. The crystal had just made contact with the little fairy doctor's skin when she strangely emitted an unusual glow. After which, the crystal slowly merged with her skin. The monster core was strangely swallowed by the little fairy doctor's skin, soon entering the swirl of grey poison gas. After which, it lingered in the middle of the swirl. Xiao Yan's expression became graver after the successful insertion of the monster core. His eyes slid to the jade box beside him, where the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva was located. The next step was the most important one. Chapter 1091, I will kill whoever dares touch you. Xiao Yan's hand slightly curled. A suction force pulled the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the jade box into his hand. His eyes coagulated. A green-white flame separated from the surface of the little fairy doctor's body. After which, it wrapped around the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. When the flame made contact with the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, it immediately began to writhe as though it had been provoked. From the looks of it, it seemed that it intended to escape the flame. Xiao Yan would not allow such a situation to occur. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva might possess a unique effect, but it needed to undergo a slight refinement by the heavenly flame before it could be used on the little fairy doctor's body. The green-white flame churned even more intensely. He slightly clenched his hand. Under this frightening temperature, the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva lasted two to three minutes before it gradually ceased wiggling. Ha! Huh. Xiao Yan removed the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the flame after the refinement was completed. However, he was surprised to see that the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had gradually revealed many emerald green, dust-like particles. In the blink of an eye, they formed an emerald green bead the size of a palm. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva slightly trembled the instant the emerald green bead was formed. Immediately, this bead fell and was grabbed by Xiao Yan's hand. This emerald green bead was not smooth. Instead, it felt a little rough. However, one could sense a thriving life force when one held it in one's hands. This is Bodhisattva Seed. Xiao Yan's eyes revealed his surprise as he looked at the emerald green bead that had appeared in his hand for no reason. A moment later, his eyes focused as he exclaimed. The Bodhisattva Seed, like the Bodhisattva Heart, was something that originated from the Bodhisattva Ancient Tree. However, this kind of rare item was just as rare as the Bodhisattva Heart. Normally, it would transform into powder in an instant after falling from the Bodhisattva Ancient Tree. It was extremely difficult for an outsider to obtain. The precipitation within the Bodhisattva Body Transformation Saliva can actually form the Bodhisattva Seed. Xiao Yan's eyes flashed quickly as he suddenly came to an understanding. The legend says that one would be able to sense the existence of the Bodhisattva heart by obtaining the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva was indeed true. However, the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva in the legend should mean the Bodhisattva seed. Only by obtaining the Bodhisattva seed would one obtain the chance to sense the legendary Bodhisattva heart. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his hand. A joy flashed through his eyes. He did not expect this unintentional consequence would enable him to obtain this unique item. A divine item like the Bodhisattva Heart possessed an allure that could not be matched by an elite Dozun because the Bodhisattva Heart could raise the chances of success while one was advancing to the Doshin class. Just this point alone was enough to cause every elite Dozun to pounce on it like a moth attracted to fire. Xiao Yan did not have time to carefully study why he did not sense anything after obtaining this Bodhisattva Seed. His hand grabbed the cold jade box suspended beside him and carefully placed the Bodhisattva Seed into it. After which, he returned the box to his storage ring. This thing was far too precious. If word were to spread, it would end up resulting in a big commotion. Even some old demon Dozuns, who were living in seclusion, would likely be lured out by this. At that time, he would have to flee with all his might. Therefore, Xiao Yan made up his mind. If he did not possess sufficient strength, it was best that he did not find the Bodhisattva heart. Otherwise, he would really end up in a miserable state and would lose more than he would gain. After storing away the Bodhisattva seed, Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly looked back at the little fairy doctor in front of him, whose body was trembling while her eyes were tightly shut. Subsequently, he grabbed the emerald green Bodhisattva body transformation saliva from the flame. He inhaled a deep breath of air and pressed it against the little fairy doctor's smooth lower abdomen. The Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had just made contact with the little fairy doctor's body when it emitted a squeaking sound. It found her pores and quietly entered her body. An emerald green color, that was filled with life, immediately spread from the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen after the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva entered it. Within a couple of breaths, it completely circulated around the little fairy doctor's body. An emerald green liquid adhered on every corner of the little fairy doctor's body. Upon the invasion of this Bodhisattva body transformation saliva, her veins and muscles, that had lost some life because of the poison air, once again began to radiate with life. 
The density of the life force being emitted was even greater than it had been before. It is indeed worthy of being the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Joy flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he sensed the life force swiftly radiating from the little fairy doctor's body. The effectiveness of the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva had exceeded his expectations. Next will be to resolve the strength of the woeful poison. Xiao Yan's expression once again turned grave. He curled two of his fingers and swiftly pressed them against the little fairy doctor's lower abdomen. Following the arrival of his fingers, the green-white flame, surrounding the grayish swirl, immediately split apart, forming a small opening. Wave after wave of emerald green liquid swiftly entered through the gap. Finally, it carried a slight gurgling sound as it charged into the gray poison swirl. The gray-colored poison gas, that was filled with a deadly aura, immediately reacted after the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva touched it. The grayish gas crazily churned. While it churned, the deadly aura contained within her body was swiftly neutralized by the life force contained within the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. Little fairy doctor, circulate your dochi and suppress the poison gas. Turn it into a poison dan. Xiao Yan immediately let out a stern cry after sensing the swiftly disappearing deadly aura. The cry was just like thunder as it rumbled to the deepest parts of the little fairy doctor's soul. The little fairy doctor's soul recovered some consciousness after this cry from Xiao Yan. After which, she hurriedly circulated her dou qi and followed the method that was described by the poison dan method from back then. She gradually began to suppress the mighty poison gas. Under the little fairy doctor's control, this poison gas spiral began to head to the monster core located at the middle. The monster core began to emit a wild, violent energy in the face of the poison gas in an attempt to resist the erosion. Boom. This kind of poison gas and wild energy collision did not last long before it suddenly unleashed a wave of deep muffled sounds. The energy within the monster core was swiftly swallowed and occupied by the woeful poison vapor. Along with the erosion of this poison gas, the monster core began to turn round, and the crystal started to emit a gray luster. The gray-colored poison gas spiral continued to rotate at a rapid speed. Mighty woeful poison gas surged unceasingly into the round monster core. As more dochi surged into it, the size of that monster core shrank at a slow pace. Who, thank the heavens! Xiao Yan exclaimed in the outside world when he sensed the orderly scene occurring within the little fairy doctor's body. Immediately, a tiredness rose within his heart. After which, his limbs collapsed. Everything seemed to have smoothly progressed. Currently, all he needed to do was wait for the little fairy doctor to absorb all of the woeful poison gas. Once the poison dan was formed, the woeful poison gas would be fully under the little fairy doctor's control. It would no longer erupt without reason. It had been many years since he had made his promise to the little fairy doctor. Now, he had finally fulfilled it. While Xiao Yan was resolving the woeful poison body's problem for the little fairy doctor, there was a cold aura spreading within a large hall located deep within an icy region far from the city. You left with 54 people, yet you are the only one who has returned. Tian Shi, is this the accountability that you have brought back? A white-robed figure was seated on an ice-cold throne in an ice-cold hall. A pair of emotionless eyes glanced at the old man creeping on the ground within the hall. His calm voice, however, caused the coldness within the hall to soar. Valley Chief, this entire matter is not related to this subordinate. All of it is because there is a mistake in the report. There is an elite Dozun in that group. This subordinate can be considered lucky to have managed to escape and return this time around. The old man on the ground of the hall raised his head. He was surprisingly elder Tian Shi who had escaped from the hands of Tian Wazunja. Dozun. How many star Dozun? A ripple appeared in the eyes of the human figure on the ice-cold throne when he heard this. He should only be a one-star Dozun. Otherwise, this subordinate would not have been able to escape from his hands. Tian Shi hesitated for a moment before respectfully replying. Koko, no wonder he is able to turn Tian Shi into such a miserable state. He is a one-star Dozun. An elderly voice suddenly sounded. If one were to follow the voice and look over, one would see another old man in a white leather outfit located in a corner of the hall. A smile was hung on this old man's face. He did not possess the respect an ordinary person would show when mentioning a Dozun. Only one star, huh? The human figure on the ice-cold throne slightly nodded. His finger gently pressed on his large armrest. A moment later, he spoke in a faint voice, this venerable self must obtain the woeful poison body. If it's a one-star Dozun, he does not possess the qualification to get this venerable self to give up. Do you know where that group headed to? Tianxi shook his head with some embarrassment when he heard his question. He hardly had the time to flee. Where would he find the time to bother about the whereabouts of those fellows? The human figure on the ice throne frowned when he saw Tianxi shake his head. A chill, that caused one's heart to palpitate, slowly permeated the hall. Tianxi trembled under this frightening chill that would even cause Dou Qi to freeze. TSK TSK, Bing Zunja, there is no need to get angry. We are aware of where that group of people is. A strange black vapor suddenly appeared within the hall while a coldness spread. Immediately, the black fog gathered, transforming into a human figure. 
The black fog wiggled and a faint metallic clanging sound was emitted from within. Hall of Souls. You have actually come to my ice river valley, what rare guests. The appearance of the black fog did not cause the human figure on the icy cold throne to feel even the least bit surprised. He simply spoke in an indifferent manner. TSK TSK, there is someone within that group who is a target of our Hall of Souls. Since we have similar motive, we might be able to join hands together this time around. What does Bing Zunja think? A strange laugh was emitted from the wiggling black fog. The woeful poison body belongs to my ice river valley. We will leave the others to you. The human figure on the ice cold throne slowly stood up. A frightening air seemed to have been spat out of his breath, transforming into a cold stream that spread apart. He spoke these words softly after glancing at the figure made of black fog. You are indeed worthy of being Bing Zunja. This boldness is something that an ordinary person has difficulty matching. TSK TSK, in that case, I hope that we will cooperate well. While a large hand was moving against Xiao Yan's group in an ice-cold, large hall, the space of a wormhole on the far edge of the pill region began to form some ripples. Immediately, many human figures broke through the space and appeared. After which, they emitted some swoosh-swoosh sounds and stood orderly in this open space. Numerous powerful killing auras spat out like volcanoes, causing this open ground to instantly become silent. Everyone were stunned as they looked at the black-colored figures. The hearts of those with stronger eyesight would beat rapidly at this moment because they would have discovered that the weakest among these black figures was at the Do Wang class. Their hearts would start beating even quicker when their eyes moved over the two black-clothed, old men, who were the leaders. They caused the space around them to distort by simply standing there. The entire area had become quiet as their vast, mighty auras spread, causing quite a number of self-proclaimed experts to tremble. These black figures did not leave immediately after landing on the ground because the space of once again became distorted soon after they landed. When the space became distorted, the many black figures, with the exception of the two leading old men, emitted a swish sound. They knelt to the distorted space with one knee on the ground in front of many shocked eyes. There was a respect that came from their hearts appearing in their eyes. Numerous dull gazes slowly turned to the distorted space. Expert Dozones knelt and welcomed while elite Dozones lowered their heads. This terrifying lineup was something they had seen for the first time in all these years. They really wanted to know which damn, ultimate authority possessed such greatness. It was likely that even the three valleys and two sects didn't possess such an ability. The fluctuating space slowly came to a stop in front of many people's unblinking eyes. Immediately, a delicate figure slowly appeared in the distorted space. After which, she lifted her leg gently and strode through the space, appearing in this sunny area. The delicate-looking green-clothed lady gently placed her foot on the empty ground while the entire place was silent. Her alluring, exquisite face was gently raised. She looked in the direction of the distant city. Immediately, she revealed a smile. A smile that could ruin a city. Xiao Yan Ge Ge. With Sun Air around, anyone who dares to touch you, I will kill them. Chapter 1092, Core Bead Numerous rays of light scattered down from the sky onto the ancient altar. Finally, they entered the interior of the altar, as though it had a true form, bringing about wave after wave of warmth. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged under the many intersecting light rays. He glanced at the little fairy doctor in front of him. There was no longer even the faintest bit of poison vapor being emitted from the surface of her body. Her skin, that had originally been a pale white because of the woeful poison body, had once again emitted healthy, sleek, red color. Clearly, this body of hers, that had been destroyed by the poison over many years, had once again been revitalized. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around before they paused on the little fairy doctor's smooth lower abdomen. At this moment, a surging energy was located at that spot. Moreover, this energy was continuously shrinking to that spot at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the face of this shrinking, the little fairy doctor's naked body appeared like warm jade as it slowly emitted a faint luster. Looking from a distance, she appeared just like a fairy in the sky, giving her a holy feeling. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around some more before being lowered. An ordinary person was unable to imagine just how difficult it was to resist this allure when it was spread at an unexpected time. It was just like a goddess in one's heart suddenly revealing an enchanting appearance in front of oneself. It was just like a charm being suddenly unleashed. Xiao Yan's eyes observed his nose while his nose observed his heart. This lasted for a moment but Xiao Yan was still unable to focus his mind. Immediately, he let out a bitter laugh. He took out a large robe from his storage ring and gently covered the little fairy doctor's lovely body. He was also an ordinary man. It was best that there was less of such temptation. One would be psychologically deformed if there was too much of it. After completing this safety precaution, Xiao Yan finally let out a sigh of relief. His eyes wandered in all directions. The light being reflected from the smooth stone walls caused him to narrow his eyes. By sitting within this altar, it appeared as though he was in a world of sunlight. It seemed as if this altar was another bright sun surrounding them. Currently, the interior of the little fairy doctor's body could be considered to have entered an orderly state. As long as she compressed the woeful poison vapor into the monster core, she would be able to successfully form the poison dam. This process was something Xiao Yan was unable to help with. All she could do was rely on her own strength. 
Although there was nothing left for Xiao Yan to do in this place, it was naturally not possible for him to leave now. He needed to wait until the little fairy doctor completely formed the poison dan before he could relax. After all, this poison dan method was something that he had no experience with. Xiao Yan sat on the ground. He extended both of his hands in a bored manner and lazily stretched his waist. He shifted his eyes and suddenly stopped them on the bottomless hole within the altar. Xiao Yan blinked his eyes. He hesitated for a moment before shifting his body, carefully moving to the side of the hole in the ground. His gaze drifted into it, only to see an endless darkness. Other than its creator, it was likely that no one knew just where this hole led. The fire affinity energy inside is indeed extremely dense. Xiao Yan fondled his chin. He was unclear of why this hole no longer emitted the core fire seedlings. However, he was indeed a little interested in this thing. Of course, one should say that he was interested in the sun flame of this altar. After musing for a moment, Xiao Yan's hand gently pressed against the hole in the ground. He let out a soft cry and a suction force surged out of his hand. Following the surging of this suction force, a great amount of fire affinity energy was pulled up. Finally, it scattered. However, the so-called core fire seedling did not appear. Xiao Yan frowned when he saw this. He immediately let out a cold laugh. He did not believe that he was unable to pull out even a little core fire seedling. Xiao Yan resolved himself. He suddenly increased the suction force and wave after wave of dense fire affinity energy was continuously emitted from the hole in the ground. However, the so-called core fire seedling still did not show itself. This kind of crazy suction force continued for over 10 minutes. Just when Xiao Yan was feeling somewhat helpless, a thought suddenly passed through his heart. His hand quickly shifted aside. After his hand was shifted aside, a wisp of an extremely tiny, blood-red fire seedling fled the hole in the ground with lightning-like speed. This wisp of fiery red fire seedling had just escaped when it made contact with the light rays above. Immediately, a ripple was formed between the two. One could hear a puff sound as a wave of extremely warm white-colored flame appeared out of nowhere in front of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was surprised as he looked at the flame in front of him. The flame was pure white in color, but its interior was filled with countless vein-like blood threads. It was as though they were the blood vessels of this flame, covering its body. This is the sun flame. Xiao Yan gently extended his hand and received this white-colored flame. The fire energy within was extremely calm and did not possess the violence of other flames. However, with Xiao Yan's eyesight, he was naturally able to tell that this sun flame was much stronger than some ordinary beast flames. Due to it not possessing violent characteristic, it might not be strong when it came to attacking, but it was exceptionally suitable to be used to refine pills. After all, it was a little easier to control it. I wonder if this sun flame can nourish my flame creation skill. A thought suddenly passed through Xiao Yan's mind when he looked at this white flame. Currently, the life transformation flame was only in an embryonic form. It was far from sufficient for him to use it to form the extermination fire lotus. If this sun flame can also be turned into nourishment for the life transformation flame like other beasts' flames, he would have gained something for nothing. Xiao Yan did not hesitate even a little as this thought flashed across his heart. He clenched his hand and absorbed the sun flame into his body. After which, the glazed lotus heart flame surged out and easily refined it. Following which, the flame was merged with the tiny life transformation flame in his body. It is indeed effective. When the sun flame merged with the fire seed, Xiao Yan could clearly sense the fire seed significantly expand. This kind of swelling was far greater than when he absorbed some ordinary beast flames. A joy flashed across Xiao Yan's heart when he sensed the unique effect of this sun flame. This sun flame was not as difficult to tame as a beast flame. It was also extremely easy to refine it. If there was a large amount of it, it would be possible to cultivate this life-transforming fire seed. Upon thinking about how his extermination fire lotus would have enough resources to be unleashed without worry after the strengthening of this life-transforming flame, Xiao Yan's heart suddenly became fiery hot. His eyes suddenly turned to the hole in the ground in front of him as he laughed. He once again extended his hand and a suction force suddenly appeared. This suction continued for over 20 minutes before the wisp of a tiny blood-colored fire seed sprang out of the hole in the ground. It was swallowed by Xiao Yan after it merged with the sunlight and formed the sun flame. Having tasted the benefits of this sun flame, Xiao Yan became so happy that he ceased being tired. He repeatedly and forcefully removed core fire seedlings from the hole in the ground. However, this method of his was clearly not a long-term solution. The hole in the ground had already been exhausted of core fire seedling. After being forcefully sucked out five or six times, the seedlings finally ceased appearing. Regardless of how Xiao Yan sucked, even until he was covered with perspiration, not one fire seedling came out. Has it really been sucked empty? Xiao Yan rubbed the perspiration on his forehead. He frowned and looked at the hole in the ground, which was void of any activity, before muttering to himself. Xiao Yan knit his brows and mused for a moment. After which, he suddenly shut his eyes, and a majestic spiritual strength slowly spread from between his brows. Finally, it transformed into a tiny wisp as it entered the hole in a lightning-like fashion. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength immediately sensed a great heat after entering the hole in the ground. Even though his spiritual strength was protected by the heavenly flame, he still felt a slight giddiness. 
Xiao Yan's heart became cold as he sensed this giddiness. There was such a dense fire poison within the deep parts of this hole. Moreover, this kind of fire poison was even able to erode one's soul. Just when Xiao Yan was hesitant about withdrawing his spiritual strength, a red light suddenly flickered in the deepest regions of the dark black hole. Huh. The flickering red light was sensed by Xiao Yan. Immediately, he let out a surprised cry. He hesitated for a moment before maneuvering his spiritual strength. He rushed over to the place where the red glow was flickering. The shuttling speed of the spiritual strength was extremely fast. A moment later, the red glow appeared in front of Xiao Yan's spiritual sight. The red glow was emitted from a cluster of some unknown, sticky, blood-red liquid. This liquid was circular in shape and its size coincidentally sealed off the bottom of the hole. What a shocking fire affinity energy! Xiao Yan inhaled a breath of air the moment his gaze landed on the sticky, blood-red liquid. This sticky, solid-like liquid had been formed from countless amounts of pure fire affinity energy. No wonder this ground hole no longer produces any core fire seedlings. They have all been blocked at this spot. Xiao Yan also obtained an understanding after seeing this cluster of blood-red liquid. However, he did not have any thoughts of dredging it. The energy contained within it was too wild and violent. If he touched even a little of it, the rest would also react. If he was careless, it was likely that even the spiritual strength would not be able to flee this hole in the ground. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before finally deciding not to bother with it. Just when he was about to turn around and leave, however, he suddenly glanced over a red-colored light glow flickering within the red-colored liquid. This is... Xiao Yan's soul turned its eyes toward that red-colored glow, only to see that there was a thumb-sized, round, red bead suspended within the sticky blood-colored liquid. The blood-red bead might not be big, but at a glance, it appeared just like a fire bead with a flame burning above it. Its outer appearance was exceptionally mysterious. Xiao Yan's spiritual gaze was startled as he looked at the blood-red bead. A moment later, he finally inhaled a deep breath. Core Bead Chapter 1093, Obtain Core Bead Normally, it was called the core fire bead. It was a kind of energy bead formed from essence energy that was found deep underground after a countless number of years. This kind of bead contained an extremely vast, mighty energy within it. It was rumored that some tier 8 or even tier 9 medicinal pill would use this legendary core fire bead. This legendary core bead was usually hidden deep underground and was extremely difficult to find. However, when some volcanoes erupted, the core bead hidden deep within might be spat out. Normally speaking, most core beads in the hands of certain individuals were obtained by this method. It was extremely rare for someone to personally find this core bead deep underground like Xiao Yan just did. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily beat a little faster when he saw this core bead. He similarly understood just how rare a core bead was. Moreover, the core bead was also a key ingredient in refining the core lightning bead. The core lightning bead was not a medicinal pill. Instead, it was a refinement that utilized an extremely unorthodox formula. It referred a kind of strange refining method to refine the core bead. If the refinement was a success, it would end up forming a core lightning bead. This thing could not be consumed by a person, but it possessed an extremely terrifying might. Even an elite Dozun would at least suffer serious injuries even if they did not die should they be struck head-on by this thing. Xiao Yan had accidentally come across the refinement of this core lightning bead while searching through the medicinal formulae that Yao Lao had left behind. He had remembered it due to its shocking strength. After having arrived in the central plains, Xiao Yan had thought of creating one. However, he could only place this thought in his heart due to the difficulty of finding the core bead. He never expected that he would be this blessed today. If I am able to obtain it, it would end up being a kind of lethal trump card. Xiao Yan focused on the fiery red bead within the blood-red sticky energy. He mused for a moment before he was finally unable to endure the temptation in his heart. Wealth was found amid danger. It was worthwhile to take a little risk for a unique treasure like the core bead. Xiao Yan ceased hesitating as this thought flashed across his heart. A spiritual strength lingered over the blood-red colored, sticky liquid. Although there was still some distance, the wild, violent energy contained in the liquid still caused some ripples form in Xiao Yan's spiritual strength. Xiao Yan ignored the slight ripple in his soul. His heart focused on that fiery red bead as he waited for the best opportunity to attack. After a visual inspection, Xiao Yan understood that the wild and violent energy within the sticky liquid had an intermittent strength and weakness. One could use the strength of the glow on its surface to identify the level of this strength. This cluster of blood red, sticky liquid vaguely radiated a surging glow. Its intermittent brightness and darkness had become this bottomless hole's only source of light. Xiao Yan's spiritual strength lingered over this place like a poison snake and did not move. The invisible spiritual strength slowly wiggled. This silence continued for an unknown amount of time. Then, the repeatedly flashing fire glow on the sticky liquid surface suddenly descended to its dimmest level. Qi. The moment this blood-red liquid suddenly became dim, the spiritual strength that lingered over it was like a leopard as it pounced toward its prey. It transformed into a lightning flash as it shot out. Puff. The speed of the spiritual strength was extremely terrifying. 
Within less than a breath's time, it had charged into the blood-red liquid. A slight puff sound appeared as the spiritual strength charged into it. Xiao Yin seemed to have barged into magma the moment his spiritual strength made contact with the sticky liquid. A searing hot feeling eroded toward the deepest parts of Xiao Yan's soul. Fortunately, he had the protection of the heavenly flame, so this kind of searing heat was unable to cause him much harm within a short period of time. This kind of searing heat continued for a short instance before Xiao Yan's spiritual strength charged toward the core bead. His spiritual strength curled in a lightning-like manner and instantly turned around. Finally, it wildly shot toward the exit of the ground hole. Boom. The core bead had just charged out of this blood-colored sticky liquid, after being swept by Xiao Yan's spiritual strength, when the liquid seemed to have sensed something. A wave of frighteningly wild, violent energy transformed into a blood-colored flood as it chased after the fleeing spiritual strength with incredible speed. Xiao Yan felt the skin on his head turn numb after sensing the hot energy being transmitted from behind. If he were to be struck by the wild and violent energy within such a narrow space, it was likely that his soul would crumble on the spot. Immediately, he clenched his teeth and unleashed his speed to the limit. With a swoosh sound, he charged to the exit of the ground hole. Xiao Yan's speed was extremely fast. However, the blood-colored flood behind him was also similarly quick. It was following close behind as it rushed over. During this chase, the hole's exit at the top finally revealed some light. Xiao Yan braced his mind upon seeing this. He once again increased his speed. The next instant, he charged out of the narrow hole in the ground. The spiritual strength charged out of the hole in a lightning-like manner and entered the spot between Xiao Yan's eyes. The core bead was grabbed by Xiao Yan in his palm. Xiao Yan curled his hand after the soul returned to his body. A suction force surged out and the dark black stone tablet by the side immediately shifted over with a rumbling sound. After which, it swiftly covered the hole in the ground. Boom. The dark black stone tablet had just covered the hole when it violently trembled. However, this black stone tablet had clearly been made from an extraordinary material. It was able to block the attack of the wild, violent energy. Swish. Swish. While the stone tablet was blocking the attack, the rays of light around the altar suddenly shifted. After which, all of them landed on the stone tablet. The tablet was just like an extremely heavy crown as it firmly pressed on the hole. With the aid of the sunlight, the shaking of the stone tablet was slowly reduced. A moment later, it stopped. Xiao Yan, who was waiting solemnly by the side, finally sighed in relief after hearing the stone tablet become quiet. Immediately, his eyes revealed a strange expression as he glanced at this ancient tablet. It unexpectedly possessed a suppressing effect. That was really close. Xiao Yan wiped off the cold sweat on his forehead as he bitterly laughed. If his speed had been a little slower while he was within the hole earlier, it was likely that he could forget about obtaining the core bead. His soul might have even ended up suffering a serious injury. After gradually calming his fluctuating mental state, Xiao Yan hurriedly glanced at the little fairy doctor by the side. He sighed in relief when he saw that she had not been disturbed. After which, he lowered his head and slowly opened his hand. A fiery red bead was lying within it. This is the core bead, huh? Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. A hot feeling spread out of the core bead. By holding it, Xiao Yan was surprised to realize that the surrounding fire affinity energy seemed to be vaguely gathering around his body. A wild joy suddenly surged into Xiao Yan's eyes when he sensed the slight change in the surrounding energy. This core bead possessed the miraculous effect of attracting the surrounding fire affinity energy. Would he not end up being able to gain twice the benefit with half the effort when he trained in the future? It is worthy of being the core bead. It is indeed mysterious. Xiao Yan played with the fiery red bead in his hand. He involuntarily felt unwilling to put it down due to him liking it too much. The reward this time around was indeed great. Unfortunately, I cannot easily pull aside the stone tablet now. Nevertheless, without the sticky liquid blocking its path, the core fire seedling should appear once again. The speed it creates the sun fire should also increase. Xiao Yan played with the core bead for a moment before turning his head back to the stone tablet. He shook his head a little regretfully. Originally, he had planned to use the sun flame in this place to cultivate and strengthen the life-transforming flame fire seed. Just when Xiao Yan was regretfully sighing, a ray of light scattered down from the sky and coincidentally landed on the core bead in his palm. Puff. The fiery red core bead suddenly shook under the shining light. Immediately, a slight sound appeared. A dense white flame suddenly curled and rose from the core fire bead. The sudden, unexpected change caused Xiao Yan to be startled. He was just about to toss aside the flame in his hand as a reflex when he glanced at the core fire bead below this white-colored flame. His eyes immediately coagulated, this is the sun flame. How can it undergo such a transformation without the core fire seedling? Xiao Yan knit his brows. Immediately, he seemed to have thought of something and his fist suddenly smashed against his palm. That's right, this core bead has absorbed an unknown amount of core fire seedling over the years. That is why it has such a reaction after making contact with sunlight. It has turned into the source of this sun flame. In other words, as long as the energy within this core bead is not exhausted, it will be able to continuously create sun flames. 
Even with Xiao Yan's calmness, he could not help but feel extreme joy despite his calm self. If this was really the case, the life transformation flame fire seed in his body would end up with an unending source of nourishment. Moreover, he would also be able to save time and effort since he wouldn't need to run around in search of various beast flames. I have really found a treasure this time around. Xiao Yan parted his mouth. At this moment, it was really only too practical to obtain the core bead. Xiao Yan inhaled a couple of breaths and got himself to gradually calm down. He glanced at the little fairy doctor, whose lovely body was still seated without the slightest movement. After seeing that she was fine, he gradually nodded and sat down once again. He began to absorb the sun flame created by the core bead. With the core bead, the strengthening of the life-transforming flame was only a matter of time. Xiao Yan's entire mind was focused on absorbing the sun flame during the subsequent days. Amid this refinement where meals and rest were forgotten, the life transformation flame within his body swiftly strengthened at a speed visible to the naked eye. Three days passed by in a flash during this training. When Xiao Yan was immersed in the joy of the swiftly strengthening life transformation flame, the year-round tropical climate of his city suddenly turned freezing one day. Tiny snowflakes slowly descended from the sky in front of the stunned gazes of a countless number of people. After seeing the snow that slowly fell over the entire city, there was finally someone who suddenly sensed something wrong. He leaped to high ground, looked out of the city, and immediately became stunned. One could see a countless number of white figures slowly surrounding the city and coming from all directions. These white figures were wearing a similar badge on their chests. It was a beautiful snow flower with a bone-piercing chill. Ice River Valley Chapter 1094, Imminent Big Battle A countless number of people within the city were stunned as they looked at the white figures that covered the area outside the city. Majestic and shockingly cold auras continuously surged out of the bodies of these people. Finally, they influenced the environment of the city. The descending temperature within the city and the scattering snowflakes were surprisingly a result of the majestic, cold aura. These, these are all people from the Ice River Valley. Why have they come to E city? Their lineup is this frightening. Don't tell me that they have come after the E clan. Nonsense, the Ice River Valley status is far greater than the E clan or even all the five great clans. Why would they covet after the E clan? In that case, do you think that they summoned such a large force just to come to E city to play? Due to the sudden arrival of the Ice River Valley's large army, that had come from all directions, E city descended into a great uproar. They did not understand just what kind of person could get one of the three large valleys, the Ice River Valley, to head over with such a large force. The cold air outside of the city was just like a natural barrier. It finally slowly came to a stop when it had spread around a radius of a hundred meters from the Yi clan. After which, they spread apart and covered the entire city. With this cold air barrier, Yi city was completely surrounded. No one could enter or leave. Yi clan, hand over the woeful poison lady and her group. Otherwise, the Yi clan will be destroyed today. While the people in the city felt panic because of the cold air barrier that had suddenly formed, a faint elderly voice was slowly transmitted throughout the city, spurred on by powerful Do Chi. Finally, it clearly resounded beside everyone's ears. Woeful Poison Lady. They are here because of the Woeful Poison Lady, no wonder. It is unexpected that the Woeful Poison Lady is at the E clan. These fellows are really bold. The commotion within the city had calmed greatly when they heard this elderly voice. Some people sighed in relief. It seemed that the Ice River Valley was after the E clan. Although they had surrounded the city, the Ice River Valley was unlikely to harm the innocents as long as the others do not act recklessly. A couple of white figures slowly walked through the air and arrived. After which, they stopped walking and swept their eyes indifferently over the city. After which, their eyes paused on the center of the city where the clan was located. The leader of these few white figures was surprisingly Shi Tian, who had fled miserably from Tian Wazunja's hands back then. A couple of powerful Ice River Valley elders were beside him. Additionally, there was an old man with white-colored woolen clothing. The old man had white hair and a warm smile hung on his face. Even Tian Shi's eyes would contain some fear when he looked at this person. Following the appearance of Tian Shi's group, another uproar appeared within the city. Numerous exclamations resounded over the place. That is Tian Shi from the Ice River Valley. It is unexpected that even he has come this time around. You are really blind. All you see is Tian Shi, but you have failed to recognize that great being beside him. That, that is the first elder of the Ice River Valley, Tian Shuangzi. This, the Ice River Valley has even deployed him. It is rumored that this Tian Shuangzi advanced to the Dozun class 10 years ago. The Ice River Valley has really put up a hefty price to capture this woeful poison lady. While the city was in an uproar, the interior of the E-Clan was also extremely uneasy. All the members of the E-Clan were looking at the lineup in the sky with stunned expressions, especially Yi Zhong and a few elders. Their faces were pale white. Tian Shuangzi, Tian Shi. Yi Zhong mouth slightly trembled. Either of these people was enough to destroy the current E-Clan. Now that the two of them were together, this E-Clan. Woeful Poison Lady. Since when did our E-Clan hide the Woeful Poison Lady? 
An elder opened his mouth and questioned in panic. The people on his sides pondered his questions after hearing him. A moment later, they seemed to have recalled something. Is it Xiao Yan's group? The woeful poison lady is among them. Yi Zhong and the other few elders suddenly understood something. Their bodies trembled. Finally, they understood who the culprit was. What is there to panic about? It is not as though we are asking you to fight to the death with them. A faint voice suddenly sounded while Yi Zhong's group was panicking. Yi Zhong turned his eyes, only to see an elderly figure slowly appearing in the courtyard. That person was naturally Tian Huazunja. Yi Zhong and the others did not dare to slight Tian Huazunja. They could not afford to offend the Ice River Valley, but neither could they offend the person in front of them. At that moment, they could only reveal a bitter expression. Being caught in between two enormous beings was the most miserable fate. Tian Huazunja placed his hands behind him. His eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at the sky in the distance. His sight seemed to have penetrated through the air as it paused on the white cotton-clothed, old man beside Tian Shi. Do Zunha. They have still found this place. Tian Huazunja softly muttered to himself. A soft sound also suddenly appeared by his side. Tian Huazunja turned his head only to see a young figure standing on the building eaves. His body stood as straight as a spear while a sharp aura was vaguely being emitted. Looking at his appearance, who else could it be other than Xiao Yan? Ugh, they are indeed resourceful to be able to find us here. How is the little fairy doctor? Tian Huazunja moved. He appeared beside Xiao Yan and asked. Soon. However, she cannot fight now. Xiao Yan slightly nodded as he answered. This time around, the Ice River Valley has sent some truly troublesome people. I will most likely be delayed by that old fellow. A grave expression flashed across Tian Wazunja's eyes. The current situation was not a good one. If he was restrained by a Dozun, Tian Shi would definitely attack Xiao Yan. The current Xiao Yan would likely have difficulty dealing with an expert at the peak of the Dozun class. Moreover, there were still quite a few similarly strong Ice River Valley's elders. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He also knew that they had descended into a dangerous situation. After letting out a soft slow breath, a ruthless expression suddenly flashed through his eyes. The experts that the Ice River Valley had deployed this time around had somewhat exceeded their expectations. However, they would likely have to put in a hefty price if they wished to crunch these hard bones. Otherwise, they would have difficulty succeeding. Elder Yizhong, please rest assured. This matter is something caused by my group. Your Yi clan will not be implicated in it. Xiao Yan turned his head and faced the white faces of Yizhong's and the others. He revealed a slight smile before finally turning his eyes to Tian Wazunja. He smiled and asked, Old Mr. Yao, do you dare meet this Ice River Valley with me? Kuku, the old me has even seen elite doshings back then, much less such a lineup. Tian Huazunja laughed. Xiao Yan chuckled. He raised his head and looked at the many white figures in the sky. A wave of pride surged from his heart. He had never feared fighting anyone ever since he had arrived in the Central Plains. Today, he would let this Ice River Valley know that they needed to prepare a good set of teeth if they wanted to grind his hard bones. Xiao Yan's pride surged to the sky as his feet stepped through empty air and shot to the sky. After which, he paused a short distance in front of Tian Shi's group in front of a countless number of gazes. Tian Huazunja followed close behind. Old demon Tian Shi, you fled quite quickly the last time. It is unexpected that you have summoned so many reinforcements. Xiao Yan's feet stepped onto the sky as he faced Qi Tian, who was holding a snake-shaped walking stick, on the other side. He involuntarily mocked. Tian Shi's expression involuntarily became a lot darker when he heard Xiao Yan's mockery. He said with a dense voice, Brat, you can just gain the advantage of words. Once you land in the hands of the old me, the old me will let you understand what is called a fate worse than death. A person who only managed to last one exchange dares to speak such arrogant words. Tian Huazunja grinned as he mocked. Seeing Tian Huazunja open his mouth, a terror also flashed across Tian Shi's eyes. Clearly, he still possessed a deep memory of the dangerous battle from the last time. Haha, this friend should be the person who defeated Tian Shi, right? Might I inquire your name? The white cotton clothed, old man stared at Tian Huazunja and laughed. Tian Hua. So it is actually Tian Huazunja. The old me is the first elder of the Ice River Valley, Tian Shuangzi. The old man smiled in a seemingly friendly manner. However, his eyes rotated as he said, This friend, today's matter is the grudge between my Ice River Valley and the woeful poison lady. Will you agree if the old me asks you not to intervene? Tian Huazunja laughed, but he did not reply. All he did was simply shake his head. The smile on Tian Shuangzi's face was not reduced when he saw this. He continued to speak with a smile, in that case, the old me can only stop you. There is no need to hold back. Tian Huazunja returned the smile. However, a faint chill had already appeared within his eyes. Where is the woeful poison lady? Could she be hiding again? Tian Shi felt a little reassured when he saw the two exchanging tit for tat. He swept his gaze around him, but still failed to find the little fairy doctor's figure. He coldly laughed, Today, my Ice River Valley has formed a city-locking formation around Yi City. None of you can flee. 
Xiao Yan's eyes gently drifted over Tian Shi. A faint chill also flashed within his dark black eyes. Kuko, there is no need to delay any longer. Things might change if you delay for too long. Leave this person to me. Hopefully, you will not make things go awry again. Otherwise, the valley chief will not let you off easily. Tian Shuang Zi's old sharp eyes swept over the city. Immediately, he frowned. His sharp instincts told him that it was best to stop speaking to the people in front of him. After saying those words, Tian Shuangzi once again stepped through the empty air. After which, he appeared ten meters away from Tian Huizunzhi. His eyes were locked onto Tian Huizunzhi. He did not even glance at Xiao Yan. Tian Shi nodded. His gaze was dark and ruthless as it turned to Xiao Yan. He laughed in a savage manner, Brat, I want to see just who can rescue you this time around. Xiao Yan's expression was calm. Majestic Dou Qi began to slowly circulate within his body. TSK Tisk, Elder Tian Shi, this person is the target of my Hall of Souls. May I know if you can leave him to me to deal with? Just as Tian Shi was about to attack, a dense black fog suddenly rushed over from the distance. After which, it appeared in the sky. A strange laugh resounded as it did so. Xiao Yan's calm expression instantly turned dangerous when this black fog appeared. His eyes revealed a ferocious expression as he looked at the black fog a short distance away. He spat out, Hall of Souls. TSK TSK, it is really unexpected. It has only been a few years since we last met, but you have advanced to the Dozone Zone class. The old fellow's eye for choosing a disciple is really quite good. However, regardless of how good his eyesight is, he was still ultimately captured by this protector. Haha. -ha. The black fog churned and transformed into a black figure. A strange laugh, that caused Xiao Yan's eyes to suddenly turn blood red, was once again emitted. A shocking killing intent surged out of Xiao Yan's body like a volcano. Both of his eyes were blood red as a voice that contained an incomparable killing intent slipped between his teeth one word at a time. Protector. Woo. Chapter 1095, Three Changes Upon sensing the wild killing intent that surged out of Xiao Yan's body, the eyes of the entire city carried some surprise as they looked at him. Tian Shi was also a little startled. Immediately, he thought about the change. It seemed that Xiao Yan should have some kind of grudge with the Hall of Souls since long ago. TSK TSK, not a bad killing intent. It is much stronger than the Yu back then, who only knew how to borrow the strength of others and act mightily because of it. That black fog also rippled slowly when glared at with Xiao Yan's blood-red eyes. Protector Wise cold laughter was immediately emitted. Xiao Yan's blood red eyes stared intently at Protector Wu. It was a long while later before he inhaled a deep breath of air. His hands trembled as he suppressed the explosive fury and killing intent within his heart. His voice had also become a little hoarse due to his fluctuating emotions. You deserve to die. Whether the old me deserves to die is not up to you as a younger generation to evaluate with such arrogant words. Protector Wu smiled coldly and said, The old me is even able to capture Yao Chen, much less you, this useless disciple. Xiao Yan's expression was deadly. He waved his hand and the earth demon puppet, which was emitting a bright silver glow, flashed and appeared. A ripple rose around the black fog of Protector Wu when he saw the appearance of the earth demon puppet. A surprised voice was emitted, it is actually a puppet. It is unexpected that after so many years, you are still only able to rely on outside strength. Hee <laughs> hee, Protector Wu, this puppet can match an 8-star do zone. However, you can rest assured that you can simply leave this puppet to the old me. All you need to do is capture this brat. Tian Shi by the side smiled and spoke in a faint voice. In that case, I will trouble Elder Tian Shi. Relax, once I capture this brat, the old me will hand him over to Elder so that you can vent your anger properly. Protector Wu laughed in a sinister manner after hearing his words. With Protector Wu's current strength, he might not be afraid of this puppet, but it would be somewhat troublesome to deal with. He could save a lot of effort if Tian Shi were to intervene and restrain it. Relax, I don't require the puppet to deal with you. Ridicule flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He could sense that Protector Wu had also become much stronger when compared to back then. Based on his guess, he should be around the level of an 8-star Do Zone. This training speed was quite great. From the looks of it, capturing Yao Lao back to the Hall of Souls had really benefited him. The strength of the current Protector Wu was only a little weaker when compared to Tian Chi beside him. However, just this alone was not enough to make Xiao Yan feel helpless. The person in front of him was the one he hated the most. If not for this person, Yao Lao would not have fallen into the hands of the Hall of Souls and suffered an endless amount of bitterness. Your tongue is as razor sharp as it was before. Protector Wu faintly smiled. His foot immediately stepped forward. A clanging metallic sound was emitted from the black fog. Immediately, a black metal chain, with a black fog lingering over it, was extended from the black fog like a poisonous snake. It surrounded Protector Wu's body. A cold glint was flashing on the tip of the chain. Relax, you will be able to see Yao Chen again very soon. At that time, this protector will let that old fellow know that not a single person my Hall of Souls wants will be able to escape. Xiao Yan's expression was cold and indifferent. A jade green flame slowly surged out of his body. His hand was clenched and the enormous heavy Xian ruler appeared. The heavy ruler was slightly inclined as it was pointed at Protector Wu. 
Xiao Yan said, your life will be taken by me today. TSK Tisk. Protector Wu merely laughed in a chilly manner in the face of Xiao Yan's words. Black fog surged and the dark black chain that lingered around him suddenly trembled. It immediately transformed into lightning as it shot straight towards Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's hand tightly gripped the heavy ruler. His eyes did not contain even the slightest ripple. His feet were gently shifted as the black-colored lightning penetrated the sky, shooting toward to his shoulder. Clang. A jade-green flame lingered over the heavy ruler. Xiao Yan turned his wrist and the heavy ruler carried a hot fire glow and ruthlessly hacked at the chain. Under the high temperature of the glazed lotus heart flame, the strange, black fog, that lingered over the chain, swiftly disappeared. Humph. Protector Wu was slightly startled as he sensed the enormous force being transmitted from the chain. Immediately, he let out a cold smile. His ten figures formed many afterimages. After which, one could hear wave after wave of the sizzling sound of rushing wind. Ten black-colored chains shot out of his body. They swiftly entangled in the air and formed a huge black chain spear. Go. A soft cry sounded and the enormous black-colored chain lance rushed forth in a lightning-like manner from the strange, black fog. It approached Xiao Yan within a flash. Xiao Yan's eyes narrowed when the black-colored chain lance disappeared. His legs swiftly took a couple of steps back. After which, his heavy ruler suddenly drew a couple of mysterious arcs. Six-joint body flowing ruler, six-joint fire. After images appeared as the heavy ruler was suddenly swung. A fire glow appeared on the top of the ruler. After which, it carried a sharp ruler glow and whizzed out. The ruler glow had just left the ruler when the space in front of it became distorted. An enormous chain lance broke through the air and revealed itself. It carried a frightening wind as it appeared in front of a countless number of gazes. Finally, it ruthlessly collided with that ruler glow. Bang. A shockingly loud sound appeared. A vast, mighty energy ripple spread out in a ring-like fashion. A silver glow flashed under Xiao Yan's feet as his body swiftly withdrew. A mere two-star dozone dares to collide head-on with this protector. You are really seeking death. Protector Wu gave a dense smile. The black glow on his finger flashed as it suddenly pressed against the empty air. Split. Swoosh 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 swoosh. After Protector Wu's voice sounded, the swiftly spreading energy ripple suddenly emitted the intense sound of splitting wind. Immediately, ten black figures suddenly rushed over like black-colored lightning. Their target was all the fatal spots around Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan knit his brow slightly after sensing that his entire body had been locked onto. However, his great battle experience allowed him to avoid panicking. The heavy ruler in his hand danced and numerous ruler after images appeared in a densely packed manner, transforming into layer after layer of defenses. Clang 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 clang. The black-colored chain shot against the ruler's shadow defense from all directions. It immediately emitted a continuous clear sound. Sparks swiftly flashed. Under the ten black chain crazy attack, the spherical ruler shadow defense ball began to show signs of shattering in, forcing him to swiftly pull back. This brat is nothing after having lost his puppet. Tian Shi was suspended in the air by the side. He involuntarily let out a cold smile as he shook his head when he saw Xiao Yan being continuously defeated. Disdain flashed across his eyes. The layers upon layers of ruler shadows swiftly disappeared following the crazy attacks by the black-colored chains. By relying on his own strength, Xiao Yan did indeed have difficulty fighting against an eight-star dozone. Fortunately, his true fighting strength did not match the strength on his surface. When the final layer of ruler shadows disappeared, a bright silver glow surged out of his body. His body trembled and transformed into many afterimages that withdrew in a lightning-like fashion. Swoosh swoosh. The black-colored chains followed like shadows. Those afterimages had just appeared when these chains suddenly arrived and shattered them into nothingness. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan was faster than Protector Wu's fighting speed after having used the 3000 lightning movement. Xiao Yan, is this the ability you relied on to come to the Central Plains region? It is a joke if you wish to rescue Yao Chen with this strength of yours. A cold glint flashed across Protector Wu's eyes as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was as agile as a monkey. He immediately emitted a cold, ridiculing laugh. The silver glow flashed through the sky, and Xiao Yan appeared a hundred meters away. He completely ignored Protector Wu's hooting as he raised his head and revealed a ferocious smile to Protector Wu. The seal formed by both of his hands suddenly changed. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, First Change Following the formation of the seal, a green-colored flame suddenly erupted from Xiao Yan's body before swiftly withdrawing again. Xiao Yan's aura suddenly soared when the green-colored flame shrank back into his body. Secret Technique Insignificant Skill Protector Wu let out a dark, cold smile in the face of Xiao Yan's soaring aura. He was completely unconcerned about it. This is, the Burning Flame Valley Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. Tian Shi by the side was slightly startled after seeing Xiao Yan use this technique. After which, he cried out in surprise. Protector Wu, you should be careful. This Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change is the top-tier secret technique of the Burning Flame Valley. I do not know how it managed to land in this brat's hand. 
If this secret technique is unleashed until the third change, his strength would at least be raised by three stars. However, those who can use the secret technique to the third change can be counted with one's fingers even in the burning flame valley. TSK Tisk, it's only three stars. This is insufficient to allow this brat to escape this protector's palm. That protector Wu coldly laughed when he heard Tian Shi's words. Xiao Yan acted as though he did not hear the conversation of these two. His face was indifferent. After which, his hand seal changed once again and a wave of invisible flame erupted from his body. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, Second Change Xiao Yan's aura continued to soar after this invisible flame erupted. This time around, the expressions of even Tian Shi and Protector Wu changed. This was because Xiao Yan's aura had currently already soared to the point where it was near the 6-star level. This brat actually possesses two types of heavenly flames. No wonder he manages to experience such a great increase in his strength when he uses the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flame. Tian Shi's expression slightly sank. A Skyfire 3 Mysterious Flames that consisted of two types of heavenly flame. This was something that even Tang Jin from the Burning Flame Valley didn't possess. No wonder he has the courage to come to the Central Plains. He does indeed possess a trump card. Protector Wu spoke. However, his heart gradually felt a little uneasy. This Skyfire 3 mysterious change had three changes. Xiao Yan had already reached the 6-star level after two changes. If he were to use it another time, would his strength not, at the very least, reach the 7-star level? It is rumored that each time a change of the Burning Flame Valley Skyfire 3 mysterious change is used, the energy that is formed is extremely wild and violent. Even some of their elders don't dare unleash the third change. With this brat's ability, he should have yet to reach that level. Protector Wu felt a little relaxed after comforting himself within his heart. He was about to raise his head when he saw Xiao Yan on the opposite side changing the seal formed by his hands. His face instantly stiffened. Xiao Yan's eyes stared firmly at Protector Wu as his black fog was rapidly fluctuating. The ferocious smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly widened. At the same time, a dense white colored flame suddenly erupted from his body in front of a countless number of stunned eyes. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, Third Change Chapter 1096, Terrifying Increase in Strength A dense white flame surged out of Xiao Yan's body in front of the many shocked eyes before it was immediately withdrawn, shrinking back into Xiao Yan's body with lightning-like speed. Following the return of the flame, an unusually powerful aura slowly erupted from Xiao Yan's body, as though it had just been awoken. The surrounding space began to fluctuate under this vast and mighty strength. Xiao Yan stood in the sky. His face was unusually bright red. Even his dark black eyes were covered by a wild and violent energy. This kind of fierce and untamed caused even Xiao Yan to quietly be surprised. He had not expected the eruption of three types of heavenly flames to create such a violent energy. Xiao Yan slowly clenched his fist with much difficulty. His entire body had become a little rigid due to the surging energy. This kind of rigidity lasted for a couple of minutes before Xiao Yan gradually became accustomed to it. What an overbearing Skyfire 3 mysterious change. After his body gradually adapted to this kind of wild, violent energy, even Xiao Yan could not resist gently inhaling a breath of cool air. If his body had not been refined by many natural treasures, it was likely that he could forget about using it to fight an opponent. He would suffer a backlash and die after having just used this thing. Who? A mouthful of hot air was spat out of Xiao Yan's mouth. The flush redness on his face gradually paled. The wave after wave of pain, that had been brought about by the circulating wild and violent energy, gradually diminished. After being tempered by an unknown number of medicinal ingredients and natural treasures, the physical strength of Xiao Yan was likely something that even some experts at the peak of the Dozone class could not compare with. No wonder Tang Jin instructed me to avoid using the three changes unless I have no choice. His words were indeed full of truth. Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. He sensed the surging energy within his body and the corner of his mouth was slowly lifted into a slight arc, however, this kind of feeling, after having endured the pain, is indeed extremely splendid. Based on Xiao Yan's own guess, his current strength had likely reached the level of a 7-star zone. In other words, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change had caused his strength to raise 5 stars. If an ordinary Burning Flame Valley's elder were to completely unleash the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, he might be able to increase his strength by 3 stars or so. However, the Skyfire 3 mysterious change had an extremely unique and mysterious aspect. The increase in one's strength was completely determined by the strength of the flame. The stronger the flame, the greater the increase in one's strength. The three types of flames Xiao Yan had unleashed were all heavenly flames, the strongest of all flames. Hence, the increases, brought about by the eruption, were quite terrifying. Of course, the current increase in strength might be extremely great, but the sequelae that it would bring would naturally also be great. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's body was far stronger than an ordinary expert's body. Otherwise, just this eruption alone would have been enough to cause him to spend half a year or more recuperating. This transformation of Xiao Yan had also attracted the attention of Tian Wuzunjia and Tian Shuangzi, who were merely facing each other without fighting. Their gazes drifted over. Tian Wuzunjia nodded with a smile. Even he had difficulty knowing all the trump cards that Xiao Yan possessed. 
However, he also understood that this person might appear young, but anyone who really wanted to kill him would likely find the experience unbelievably difficult. Tian Shuang Zi's eyes glanced over for a moment before slightly frowning. However, he did not pay much attention to the matter. Regardless of how strong the secret technique one used, that person would not be too much of a threat in his eyes as long as that person did not break through to the Dozun class. The only person whom he viewed seriously was Tian Wazunja in front of him. As for Xiao Yan, even if Protector Wu could not deal with him, there would naturally be Tian Shi and some Ice River Valley's elders intervening. He did not believe that a mere two-star Dozun would be able to turn everything around even if he did possess the Burning Flame Valley's secret technique. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the thoughts in this old fellow's heart. After gradually adapting to the majestic, wild, violent energy within his body, he once again lifted up the heavy Xian ruler. He slightly raised his head and his eyes landed on Protector Wu, whose black fog had stiffened, and Xiao Yan then glanced at Tian Shi beside him, whose expression had turned gloomy. All of this was because of his transformation. Xiao Yan finally parted his mouth and said, Old fellow, I said that I would take this old life of yours today. The sluggish, black fog slowly flowed once again. A face that was filled with a dark solemnness was revealed. Protector Wu's eyes were dense as he looked at Xiao Yan and said, What arrogant words. This secret technique might significantly raise your strength, but there is ultimately a time limit. Once the time limit of the secret technique is reached, you will just be a useless person. Before that happens, there's more than enough time to kill you. Xiao Yan smiled. However, this smile was filled with killing intent. What arrogance. Protector Wu coldly laughed. However, his voice had just sounded when he saw Xiao Yan's body suddenly tremble. A chill surged into Protector Wu's heart when Xiao Yan's body trembled. His sharp instincts over the years maneuvered his body as he hurriedly withdrew in a lightning-like manner. Just when Protector Wu had just taken two steps back, the space in front of him suddenly fluctuated. A ghost-like figure suddenly appeared. The heavy ruler, which was covered by a jade-green flame, carried a terrifying force that caused his skin to feel a chill, as it furiously hacked down. The heavy ruler adhered to the front of Protector Wu as it narrowly passed him. Although it failed to make contact, the heat contained on it still caused Protector Wu's face to instantly turn bright red. Protector Wu's body swiftly moved back after the ruler missed. A cold sweat involuntarily appeared in his heart. His back was covered in perspiration. If he had not reacted quickly earlier, it was likely that he would have been turned into mincemeat from Xiao Yan's slamming ruler attack. This brat's speed has become very fast after using that secret technique. Even I am unable to follow him. Protector Wu involuntarily felt some anger from embarrassment after the cold perspiration appeared. He let out a low furious roar, this protector doesn't believe that you, as a younger generation, can flick the sky around when even Yao Chen was unable to escape my hands. The furious roar had just sounded when Protector Wu abruptly changed the seal formed by his hands. One could hear a clanging sound as numerous dark black chains shot out of the black fog. Looking from a distance, they appeared just like an enormous spider web. Protector Wu was located in the middle of that large spider web, appearing just like a great demon. A low cry was emitted from the black fog. Immediately, numerous black shadows carried a sharp screech as they surged out of the black fog. These black shadows had just appeared when they adhered to the black colored chains that had spread apart. After the approach of these black shadows, the black colored chains appeared like numerous ferocious mouths that swallowed these black shadows. Immediately, strange, black glows began to linger over the chains. Hundred Soul Locking Sky Python After swallowing the black shadows, the black colored chain became more unusual. Immediately, a dense, cold cry suddenly sounded. The numerous black colored chains that reached toward the sky immediately emitted a clanging sound as they bunched together. In merely an instant, they turned into a large, black python that seemed alive. The black python was formed from many chains. At a glance, it seemed to be emitting a strange, metallic feeling. Black fog lingered over it as a kind of terrifying, cold aura spread from it. It appeared as though it was a large snake in some deep ravine, causing one to feel a fear by simply looking at it. Go. The black fog wiggled as a dense, cold voice sounded. The enormous black python's large eyes immediately displayed a black glint. It swung a tail, tore through the space, and rushed toward Xiao Yan in a lightning-like manner. Xiao Yan remained in the sky. His eyes were icy cold as he looked at the large, black python that was jolting over with the sound of rushing wind. He inhaled a gentle breath before suddenly tightly clenching the heavy Xian ruler in his hand. His body advanced instead of withdrawing. In front of many startled eyes, he used a fierce momentum similar to colliding meteorites as he charged toward that enormous, black python. Flame Splitting Tsunami Xiao Yan's body had just moved when the heavy ruler was suddenly swung. A large ruler glow, a hundred feet large, shot from the tip of his heavy ruler. Immediately, it ruthlessly hacked against the black python. Wave after wave of golden metallic sounds erupted. Sparks shot in all directions. However, this attack merely caused the black python's body to tremble a little. Six-joint body flowing ruler, six-joint flame. Xiao Yan's expression was dark and chilly after the ruler attack fell. He changed his ruler technique and another sharp ruler glow, that caused some Ice River Valley's elders to feel their skin turning numb again, struck the Black Python. 
The hacking this time around caused some of the black-colored chains to emit a sharp screech. They had actually broken apart. Xiao Yan's body moved closer to the large python. The black python, that had been ruthlessly hit twice by Xiao Yan, unleashed a counterattack under Protector Wu's control. One could see it opening its large mouth as a viscous black fog explosively shot forth. The interior of the black fog contained countless sharp screeches that caused one's soul to feel a piercing pain. Bang. The black air shot over in an explosive fashion. However, Xiao Yan's forward charging body did not pause because of it. A jade green flame surged out of his body and formed a fire curtain in front of him. The vicious, black fog emitted a sizzling white smoke when it came into contact with the fire curtain before being annihilated. Xiao Yan easily blocked the attack by the black python. After which, his body moved, and he appeared in front of it. He flipped his hand and the heavy ruler was withdrawn into his storage ring. Seals were formed in a lightning-like manner by his hands as a bright crystal glow swiftly agglomerated. Open Mountain Seal Xiao Yan's hand seal suddenly trembled. His eyes were icy cold as his left hand suddenly struck forward. It carried a vast, mighty strength as it ruthlessly landed on the black python's forehead. Many chains on the forehead of the black python were blasted apart after his palm fell. Tons of cold, black air seeped out. Xiao Yan's left hand fell while his right hand struck forward once again. See Flipping Seal The left palm spit mountains while the right hand flipped seas. By relying on the frightening strength that had been obtained with the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, Xiao Yan had used the first two seals of the God Seal skill together. If Sun Air were to see such mastery, she would involuntarily let out a gasp of surprise. The sea flipping seal was accompanied by a shocking, majestic strength as it violently struck the head of the enormous python in front of many stunned eyes. Bang. The body of the enormous python slowly stiffened. A moment later, a low and deep noise sounded. One could see its body slowly collapse, transforming into a countless number of cracked chains. They blasted apart amid wave after wave of sharp screeches. The Dark Soul Python that Protector Wu had spent a great amount of effort to create had crumbled in the face of Xiao Yan's string of fierce Dou techniques. While looking at the Dark Soul Python, which had been killed by Xiao Yan in a lightning bolt-like fashion before it could be of much use, even Protector Wu, himself, felt a great disbelief. His eyes were startled as he looked at the haughty figure in the air. His breath had yet to be even emitted from his throat when his eyes suddenly shrank. The figure in the air slowly disappeared. At the same time, the space in front of Protector Wu became distorted. A figure mysteriously appeared. That young face was wearing a ferocious smile. His hand contained an exquisite and pretty lotus that was quietly rotating. This palm is for my teacher. The ferociousness on Xiao Yan's face slowly spread. At the same time, the fire lotus in his hand was shot out in a lightning-like fashion. Finally, it was violently pressed into Protector Wu's body in front of his shocked eyes. Bang. A soul-stirring sound once again exploded. Chapter 1097, Easy Crushing. Bang. The soul-stirring explosion sounded. A surging fire wave swept through the sky at this moment. The fire wave rolled and spread. The high temperature caused the city, which had turned icy cold because of the cold air covering it, to swiftly become warm. Countless numbers of eyes all over the city watched the fire wave spreading across the sky. Their eyes were filled with shock. Within less than five minutes, Xiao Yan had completed a perfect counterattack and turned the situation of him being continuously defeated around. By relying on his two-star Dozong strength, he had defeated Protector Wu, whose strength had reached that of an eight-star Dozong. Such a situation was extremely unbelievable to everyone's eyes. The gap between every star in the Dozong class was unusually wide. Attempting to fight an opponent across stars was not something an ordinary person could accomplish, yet the situation appearing in front of them caused the skin on the heads of quite a number of people to become numb. This fellow was really far too abnormal. Tian Shi's group swiftly pulled some distance away in the face of the fire wave that was spreading over. His expression changed a little as he looked at the spreading fire wave. The frightening fighting strength that Xiao Yan had suddenly unleashed caused even him to feel somewhat afraid. The continuous string of high-class Dou skills earlier possessed a destructive strength that was far too strong. Tian Shi turned his head. He exchanged looks with a couple of Ice River Valley's elders. Some killing intent flashed across his eyes as he did so. This person already had such an advantage at such a young age. If he were allowed to grow, it was likely that he would become a great enemy of the Ice River Valley in the future. Therefore, this person must not be allowed to live. The members of the E-Clan within the E-Clan Manor watched the extremely intense battle in the sky. They involuntarily inhaled a deep breath of cool air, especially Yi Zhong. His eyes revealed his disbelief. He had never expected this young man, who appeared ordinary on the surface, to be this terrifying once he erupted. No wonder Xian Lan is so certain that he can save our Yi clan, this person is indeed extraordinary. The spreading fire wave in the sky finally disappeared in front of a countless number of gazes. The scene within was also gradually revealed. The first thing that entered one's sight was the young man with his tidy clothes. The soul-stirring explosion from earlier did not cause him the slightest injury. His aura was still strong and mighty, causing one to feel shocked. There was a black figure suspended in the air opposite him. 
Clearly, that figure was Protector Wu, who had suffered a heavy blow from the Fire Lotus. However, at this moment, the permeating black fog around him had been completely exhausted. Having lost the cover of the black fog, Protector Wu's somewhat illusionary body was exposed in front of a countless number of eyes, sparking numerous exclamations. It is actually a spiritual body. This hall of souls is indeed strange. Even the protectors in the hall are spiritual bodies. No wonder they are gathering souls from all over the place. Could it be due to this? Protector Wu's eyes became slightly gloomy after hearing the many private conversations that were transmitted over. That fire lotus explosion from Xiao Yan earlier had destroyed his strongest defense. At the same time, it had caused him to suffer a serious injury. That jade green fire lotus seemed to possess the effect of burning a soul, causing his entire body to be filled with an intense pain. Protector Wu's gaze flickered. His eyes were filled with unwillingness as he stared at Xiao Yan. However, he still felt extremely shocked at the frightening fighting strength that Xiao Yan had displayed earlier. Back then, when he had met Xiao Yan for the first time, Xiao Yan was merely a member of the younger generation who had yet to even reach the Dou Huang class. Even after borrowing Yao Chen's spiritual strength he had only just managed to reach the Dou Zone class. In his eyes, Xiao Yan had been a weak ant. Now, however, the person who was once an ant in his eyes had completely defeated him. If he had not unleashed all of the spiritual aura in his body at a critical moment, it was likely that he would have died to that fire lotus. This brat was able to break into the hall twice. He does indeed have some ability. Protector Wu clenched his teeth. He seemed to have miscalculated the situation today. He had never expected the ant back then to be able to grow to this unbelievable stage after training for a few short years. Looks like I need to return and transmit this information so the Hall of Souls will dispatch some additional protectors over. This thought had just flashed through Protector Wu's heart when his heart abruptly tightened. His feet stepped on the ground as he hurriedly withdrew. When his body was withdrawing, a strange figure appeared at the spot where he was located earlier. A fist, that was wrapped by a jade green flame, violently smashed against empty air. Some ripples even formed in the space where the fist landed. Once you have lost the black fog, you experts from the Hall of Souls are equivalent to a tiger having lost its claws. You pose no threat. A cold smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face after his fist missed. His body shook and mysteriously disappeared. Protector Wu felt a chill rising in his heart when he saw Xiao Yan's figure disappear once again. This brat's speed was really too terrifying. He would not be afraid if he was still in his peak condition. However, after the Fire Lotus attack, his soul had already suffered a serious injury. He could no longer keep up with Xiao Yan's speed. Protector Wu's foot stepped against empty air. His figure transformed into a black shadow as it withdrew with lightning-like speed, but his withdrawing figure suddenly stiffened. His face was filled with shock as he hurriedly turned around. Black fog surged onto his hand and countless black shadows surged out of the black fog while emitting a sharp screech. After which, they suddenly exploded with a bang. The explosion formed a fierce circular ripple that spread apart. However, when it spread to a certain empty spot in the air, a fist with a burning jade green flame viciously struck out. Protector Wu's attack was shattered until it withdrew. Immediately, Xiao Yan's attack penetrated through the remnant wave from the explosion and heavily smashed into Protector Wu's chest. Boom. Protector Wu's mouth immediately emitted a miserable cry after he was ruthlessly struck by a palm. His illusionary figure swiftly vibrated as his expression turned ghastly white. If this punch of Xiao Yan had not been blocked by the remnant waves of the exploding spirits, it was likely that it would have taken Protector Wu's life. Protector Wu borrowed this pushing force and his body flew back with lightning-like speed. A somewhat panicking screech was involuntarily emitted, Elder Tian Shi, lend me a hand. Xiao Yan's ghost-like figure once again appeared in front of Protector Wu after the roar had just sounded. His face was lifted into a savage smile as a fist ruthlessly smashed against Protector Wu's head. If this punch made contact, Protector Wu's soul would definitely be shattered on the spot. Bang. A fist was swung. However, just when it was about to smash into Protector Wu's head, an elderly figure appeared in a lightning-like manner. His shriveled hand grabbed Xiao Yan's fist. Two frightening forces erupted from the point of contact before transforming into an air wave that spread apart. Young man, why is there a need to have such a strong killing aura? Tian Shi held his snake-shaped walking stick. His other hand was grabbing Xiao Yan's fist as he slowly inquired. Are you finally unable to endure any longer? Xiao Yan's face gradually turned gloomy upon seeing Tian Shi intervening. He let out a cold laugh before his leg gave a kick. A sharp force formed a blade at the tip of his toes while emitting a dark chill. Bang. Tian Shi's expression was as deep as water. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hand shook strangely and blocked Xiao Yan's kick. Immediately, his body swiftly took a couple of steps back and brought Protector Wu, who was behind him, away at the same time. Elder Tian Shi, help me capture this brat. The Hall of Souls will give you a big thanks. If you feel that it is troublesome, you can also just delay him. I have already unleashed a signal. Soon, there will be some experts from the Hall of Souls who will come to lend a hand. At that time, this brat will definitely have difficulty escaping. Protector Wu's eyes were vicious as they stared at Xiao Yan. His tone was dense when he spoke. At this moment, he also understood that with his strength alone, it was impossible to capture Xiao Yan. 
If he were to fight alone, he might even end up perishing in Xiao Yan's hands. He had narrowly kept his life during the few exchanges earlier. If it was not due to his luck, it was likely that he would have already died. Tian Shi smiled and nodded in the face of Protector Wu's words. There would be quite a great benefit if it was possible to befriend a powerful faction like the Hall of Souls. Additionally, he already had a killing intent towards Xiao Yan in his heart. Naturally, he would not reject Protector Wu's request. Protector Wu, please rest assured. You can leave him to my Ice River Valley. Tian Shi softly laughed. After which, his dark, dense eyes were turned to Xiao Yan. He waved his hand gently and said, Bing Xian, Bing Hua, this brat is a little strange. The two of you should join hands with me and use the fastest speed to capture him. The two Ice River Valley's elders by the side were startled when they heard his words. They immediately replied with some hesitation, Old Shi, there are so many people watching. Isn't it a little inappropriate for the three of us to attack a member of the younger generation together? Younger generation. Tian Shi coldly laughed when he heard their question. He looked at the two of them and said, Even if the two of you were to join hands to deal with this brat, it is likely that you would meet your doom, yet you dare address him as someone from the younger generation. Bing Xian and Bing Hua were startled. Immediately, they felt some embarrassment. The strength of the two of them had only just reached that of seven star Do zones. They were much weaker compared to Protector Wu. The miserable ending of Protector Wu earlier had been witnessed by them. If Tian Shi had not intervened, it was likely that he would have died to Xiao Yan's hands. Therefore, they were unable to find anything to refute Tian Shi's words. After all, his words were indeed true. Bing Xian and Bing Hu exchanged glances with one another before clenching their teeth and nodding their heads. Immediately, they moved their bodies and formed a triangular formation with Tian Shi, surrounding Xiao Yan in the process. Sharp auras slowly locked onto Xiao Yan. Numerous exclamations were immediately emitted from Yi City when they saw the scene in the sky. This ice river valley intended to deploy three elders at the same time to deal with that unfamiliar, young man. The questioning of others is merely just empty words. True reputation will only exist in the hands of those who survive. Those who bother about empty reputations will sooner or later perish. Tian Shi ignored the uproar below as his gaze slowly focused on Xiao Yan. Finally, he uttered those words in a slow manner. The Yu after using the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is indeed very strong. However, you cannot turn the situation around today. If you surrender now, you will still be able to avoid suffering. Xiao Yan scoffed at Tian Shi's words. His eyes swept around him, and his expression slowly became grave. Two seven-star Do Zones and one Do Zone at the peak. With this lineup, it was really not difficult to capture and kill him. However, this was on the precondition of Xiao Yan not using his other trump cards. Unfortunately. Xiao Yan's expression gradually became calm. His hands were pressed gently together. After which, they formed many strange seals. Following the changing seals, the temperature around him suddenly soared. Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique Tian was Zunjia's ultimate move. Xiao Yan had never completely unleashed it ever since he had begun practicing it. Hence, he similarly had little knowledge of the might of this Dou skill, which Tian Wazunja claimed to be almost comparable to a Tian class Dou skill. Today, however, this Dou skill was completely unleashed by Xiao Yan's hands because of this dangerous situation. Chapter 1098, Sky Incinerating Expelling Flames The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hand suddenly stiffened after the cold cry sounded in his heart. He clenched his hand and a deep blue-colored flame slowly curled and rose from his palm. This deep blue flame was called the Sea Demon Flame. It was not a heavenly flame. Instead, it was merely one of the stronger beast flames that Xiao Yan had obtained when collecting beast flames. This flame originated from the body of a rank 7 magical beast, the Sea Demon Beast. It was quite strong. Of course, it was naturally unable to compare with a heavenly flame. However, this thing cannot be missing now that Xiao Yan wanted to use the Five Ring Flame Expelling Technique. The deep blue flame appeared and immediately swelled. It wiggled in a mysterious manner before transforming into a hundred foot large deep blue fire wolf. The five ring flame expelling technique required five types of flames to form five different fire spirits, a wolf, a leopard, a lion, a tiger, and a dragon. Only when all five types of fire spirits appeared together would it be possible to form the five ring flame expelling formation. Its strength was extremely frightening. However, it was a little unfortunate that Xiao Yan was only able to form three figures of the five spirits using three types of heavenly flames. Thus, its strength would be slightly reduced. Even if that was the case, its strength was still sufficient to burn the seas and boil the skies. TL, the last beast is changed to a dragon rather than a snake. The seal of Xiao Yan's hands changed once again after forming the fire wolf spirit. A fiery red bead quietly appeared in his palm. The sunlight from the sky caused a large cluster of white-colored flames to appear on Xiao Yan's palm. Xiao Yan's mind controlled this cluster of white-colored flames as it swiftly wiggled. Within a short period of time, it agglomerated into a fire leopard spirit. With Xiao Yan's current flame controlling ability and his practice of the flame creation skill, he had already reached the requirement needed for this five ring flame expelling technique. The formation of five types of fire spirits did not pose much difficulty to him. 
A large fire wolf and fire leopard stood in front of Xiao Yan in a ferocious manner. They emitted a low roar to Tian Shi's group. This action of Xiao Yan had also caused Tian Shi's group to be somewhat surprised. They were a little uncertain about Xiao Yan's intention. While Tian Shi's group was feeling surprise, Xiao Yan's hands once again swiftly changed. A green, invisible, and dense white flame slowly appeared from his palm one after another. Following the appearance of these three types of heavenly flames, the temperature of this place significantly rose. The cold air barrier that covered the city intensely fluctuated. However, it was fortunate that there were many Ice River Valley's disciples providing cold chi to it. Therefore no paleness could be found on the barrier of cold air. The familiarity Xiao Yan had over these three types of heavenly flame was far greater than the two flames from earlier. Hence, the formation of the last three types of fire beast did not exhaust too much time. Within a few minutes, a lifelike lion fire spirit, a lifelike tiger fire spirit, and a lifelike dragon fire spirit were born from the churning heavenly flames, appearing in this place. The space of the sky trembled following the appearance of these five types of fire spirits. The originally quiet natural energy also seemed to be dragged by something as it became extremely violent. The sudden change that had appeared stirred the surprise of a countless number of people. A moment later, numerous gazes were thrown to the five large fire spirits beside Xiao Yan without any prior agreement. These five large beings had only just appeared when such a change was formed in nature. Clearly, there was definitely a relation between the occurrences. Five ring flame expelling technique, it is unexpected that this little fellow has practiced it to this stage. Kuko, by having practiced my Do technique, he can be considered to have obtained some of my inheritance, right? Tian Wazunja's eyes was also attracted by the ripple in nature. Surprise flashed across his eyes when he saw the five familiar fire spirits. The corner of his mouth was immediately a little pleased. This Ice River Valley's way of doing things does really match the word, despicable. Forget about bullying someone younger just because you are older. Now, you even want to bully others with numbers. It really diminishes the prestige of a large section. Tian Wazunja glanced at Tian Shuangzi in front of him and faintly chastised. The winner becomes the king while the loser becomes the bandit. My Ice River Valley only cares about the results when doing anything, not the process of how it is done. Tian Shuangzi gave a smile in the face of Tian Wuzunja's mockery. He said, however, the performance of this brat has far exceeded my expectations. He will no longer have the protection of luck this time around. Tian Shuangzi clearly understood the strength of Tian Shi. Although Tian Shi had failed the last time, the reason for that was due to Tian Wuzunja. Moreover, he was currently aided by two Ice River Valley's elders. With the three of them joining hands, no one below the level of a Dozun could fight with them. There was no need to even talk about Xiao Yan. Tian Wazunja remained noncommittal. These two people stood in the sky without anyone being able to see through them. A big battle had erupted in the other place, but this side, which ought to be the battle that would attract the most attention, had two people facing each other like wooden pillars. They showed no traces of being about to fight. Of course, this kind of outer appearance was naturally only what an ordinary expert could see. In the eyes of those with good eyesight, they would naturally understand that Tian Wuzunjia and Tian Shuangzi had just experienced a dangerous clash. Both parties' auras were locked onto each other. As long as the aura either of them fluctuated even a little due to an external event, they would immediately attract a truly storm-like attack. An elite Dozun normally did not fight, but when they do, they would unleash a truly terrifying attack. The change in nature naturally did not escape the notice of Tian Shi's group. Their expressions immediately changed a little as their eyes sank while looking at the five fire spirits around Xiao Yan. Don't delay any longer. Attack. Tian Shi felt a little uneasiness within his heart. His expression was gloomy as he slammed the snake-shaped walking stick in his hand down, and he cried out with a deep voice. Bing Xian and Bing Hua nodded slightly upon hearing Tian Shi's words. They curled their hands and an ice-cold aura swiftly surged. Immediately, it transformed into two flickering ice swords. Threads of bone-chilling air continuously seeped out of them. The five fire spirit lingered around Xiao Yan's body. Hot flames continuously surged out of their bodies. Their high temperatures caused even the space itself to distort. Qi. Xiao Yan stood amid the fire spirits. His expression was calm. At a certain instant, he lifted his brows as a sharp, cold wind rushed up from behind him, striking at his fatal spot behind his head. Xiao Yan did not move his body in the face of this cold wind attack that had suddenly erupted. The wolf and leopard fire spirit by the side emitted low, deep roars. Two waves of flames shot out of their mouths and completely blocked the cold air that was rushing over in an explosive fashion. Five ring flame expelling technique, in formation. The sudden sneak attack that had erupted also broke the stalemate. A coldness flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. The seal formed by his hands changed suddenly as a cold cry was emitted from his mouth. After Xiao Yan's cry sounded, the five fire spirits beside him emitted a swoosh sound as they rushed out, forming a pentagon shape. They completely covered an area within a hundred meter radius as they moved. Roar. Low and deep roars were emitted from the mouths of the five fire spirits. Immediately, five completely different colored fire pillars were shot out of their mouths. After which, they shot straight into each other's bodies, forming a perfect pentagon-like shape. Chi Chi 
After the fire pillars were emitted into each other's body, the surface of the five fire spirits emitted a bright luster. Numerous light pillars erupted from their bodies. They immediately rushed out and transformed into many light rays that began to draw the shape of a mysterious large formation. The rays of light crossed and orbited each other. Within a short moment, they had actually created an extremely complicated light formation in the sky. The light formation had just been formed when a bright fire curtain rushed down, covering the space within a hundred meter radius within it. Tian Shi and the two others were also caught within this fire curtain. This sudden unexpected change caused the expression of Tian Shi's group to change. Their bodies moved and gathered together. All of their hands moved and majestic, cold auras surged out. Finally, they violently smashed into the surrounding fire curtain. However, all it did was cause the fire curtain to fluctuate a little. Their cold auras automatically disappeared upon contact with the fire curtain. Old Qi, the fire affinity energy within this formation is really too wild and violent. The Dou Qi within our bodies is being suppressed. Bing Xian's expression changed as he uttered some words after sensing that his attack had considerably weakened. Tian Shi's face was gloomy. His gaze was dark and dense as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was also within this great formation. He spoke in a dense manner, there is no need to panic. Regardless of how many tactics this brat has, he will definitely be unable to defeat the three of us. Therefore, don't panic and lose focus. Xiao Yan looked at Tian Shi's group within the formation and coldly laughed, that may not be certain. The hand seal of Xiao Yan's hand suddenly changed after his voice sounded. Following the transformation of his hand, the surrounding fire curtain began to form ripples. Immediately, a five-colored, brilliant flame surged out of it. After which, it transformed into a sea of flames that filled the light formation. The five-colored flame was extremely beautiful. However, when this flame appeared, even Tian Shi's expression became ugly despite his strength because he clearly sensed a kind of unusually destructive energy within the flame. Three types of heavenly flames, one type of beast flames, and one type of mysterious sun flame. The five types of flames merged together and stimulated each other. The final creation could only be described by the word, frightening. Sky incinerating expelling flames. Xiao Yan's expression was ice cold. The Dou Qi within his body continuously surged out. Finally, it entered the fire curtain around him. His finger suddenly pointed at Tian Shi's three men group below. The unusually frightening five-colored flame immediately appeared like a ferocious beast as it swept toward Tian Shi's group while being accompanied by distorted space. The current Xiao Yan had reached the strength of a seven-star Dou Zong after having unleashed the Skyfire Three mysterious change. There was not much of a gap between him and Tian Shi. After adding the fighting strength that was erupted from the five ring flame expelling technique, even Tian Shi could not help but feel shock within his heart. Tian Shi's expression slightly changed when he saw the colorful flames sweep over from all directions. Bing Xian and Bing Hua behind him felt their heads become numb. They could clearly sense an extremely violent, destructive might within the beautiful flame. This kind of destructive strength was something that even someone as strong as Tian Shi needed to treat seriously. Otherwise, he would only end up dying on the spot. At this moment, the extremely proud elder Tian Shi could not help but withdraw the poor estimation he made for Xiao Yan. Chapter 1099, Terrifying Clash The beautiful, five-colored flame swept across the sky. Its frighteningly high temperature caused the air to distort. One sight would appear a little blurry when one looked over. Faced with this terrifying, five-colored flames, a countless number of people within the city experienced a change in their expressions. Even with the isolation of the fire curtain, they could still sense the wild strength that caused one to be scared. It was difficult to imagine just what it would be like if they were in the place of Tian Shi's group. This answer was something that those who had not experienced firsthand could not clearly give. However, regardless of how stupid a person was, he would know that this kind of feeling would definitely not allow one to feel good. Of course, it was just as everyone had expected. The expressions of Tian Shi's group had become unusually ugly while they stood within the light formation. The destructive strength hidden within the brilliant flame was just like a poison needle hidden in the darkness, causing all of them to feel a continuous chill within their hearts. Old Qi, what should we do? Bing Xian swallowed a mouthful of saliva. His expression contained a little panic. That bright, five-colored sea of fire was really too frightening. If they were to allow themselves to fall into it, it was likely that the remaining two seven-star Dou Zones would end up with a terrible fate. They were practitioners of icy cold Dou Qi. Currently, the five-colored flame had coincidentally suppressed them. If they did not use some techniques, it was likely that they would perish in this place when the flame arrived. What is there to panic about? Tian Shi's expression sank as he coldly reprimanded. He immediately continued in a deep tone, he may have a formation, but so does our Ice River Valley. Form the Ice River Formation. This brat's explosive force is indeed very strong, but it will definitely be unable to last for long. Once the time limit of his Skyfire 3 mysterious change is up, this great formation will naturally be broken. At that time, it would only be too easy to kill him. Tian Shi was indeed worthy of being an expert renowned throughout the Pill region. Even in the face of such a situation, he did not reveal the slightest panic. Instead, he had identified the fatal weakness of Xiao Yan's strength within a sentence. Bing Xian's and Bing Hua's old faces turned red when they heard Tian Shi reprimanding them. They immediately nodded. 
Both of them stepped forward and took a position of the formation. A bone-chilling aura surged out of their bodies. Tian Shi's expression was dark and solemn as he looked at Xiao Yan in the distance. The snake-shaped walking stick in his hand slammed heavily against the empty air. A vast, mighty, cold aura surged out of his body and merged with the cold aura from the other two. It solidified into a clear white ice mirror that protected the three of them. The snow-white ice mirror was completely formed form the mighty aura of these three people. Its defensive strength was extremely terrifying. It was likely that even an expert at the peak of the Dozone class would have difficulty breaking it, even after using their entire strength. When this ice mirror was formed, the five-colored sea of flames came pouncing over. After which, it drowned the cold ice mirror within a fierce, intense flame. The five-colored flame had just made contact with the snow-white, cold ice mirror's surface when it suddenly emitted a sizzling sound. Tons of white-colored, cold fog poured from the surface of the ice-cold mirror, wildly blocking the burning and grilling of the five-colored flames. Chi Chi Droplets of ice-cold water continuously appeared on the surface of the ice mirror. After which, they rolled down the smooth mirror and were swiftly vaporized by the churning five-colored flame into nothingness. A brilliant sea of flames permeated the interior of the large light formation. A snow-white ice mirror surfaced in the middle of the sea of flame. One could vaguely see three blurry figures within it. Xiao Yan's eyes were cold and indifferent as he stared at the surface of the mirror that was melting. The corner of his mouth revealed a cold smile. The creation of the five types of flames created an overbearingness that even Xiao Yan himself was surprised about. Although there was indeed quite a big gap between Tian Shi and him, by relying on the Skyfire 3 mysterious change in the five ring flame expelling technique, this gap had already shrunk until it was extremely small. Attempting to forcefully fight against this five colored flame at this moment could only be described as seeking one's own suffering. The five colored sea of flames fiercely burned. Its terrifying temperature caused the interior of the light formation to become extremely distorted. There were even some dark black spatial scars appearing. The thick crystal layer of the snow white ice mirror within the sea of flame was melting. The melting speed caused Tian Shi's group to involuntarily change their expressions. Due to the suppression of their affinity, this five colored flame's destructive strength could be described as having reached an extremely vivid state. Old Chi, if this continues, it will be too much of a drain on our Dou Chi. We might not even be able to endure until the time limit of that brat's secret technique is up. Bing Xian's palm was supporting the ice layer above his head. Cold Chi was following his arm and pouring into the ice layer. Even though this was the case, he was still able to sense an extremely wild and violent heat seeping in. Tian Shi's expression was volatile. He had underestimated the destructive strength of the five colored flames. Transfer all of the ice soon force within your bodies into mine when the ice mirror shatters. I will use the attack and kill that brat in one blow. Bing Xian and Bing Hua hesitated for a moment after hearing Tian Shi's dense, cold voice. Immediately, they could only emit a bitterness from their mouths and nod. If the interior of their bodies did not possess the protection of the ice soon force, it was likely that they would suffer a ruthless searing pain in this terrifying sea of flames. Tian Shi ignored their bitter smiles. His eyes were focused intently on a space outside of the ice mirror. There was a vague figure at that spot. Crack. The five-colored flame crazily raged. Under its terrifyingly high temperature, the amount of water droplets on the tough ice mirror began to increase. The thick ice mirror gradually became thinner. Quite a number of people within the city felt their heads become numb as they watched this exchange within the light formation. That young figure had given them a shock that they had difficulty imagining. Not only did he defeat a protector from the Hall of Souls, but he was currently relying on his own strength to trap the three great elders of the Ice River Valley within the Sea of Flames, causing them to be unable to move. This battle result would cause some heated blood to boil by just hearing about it, much less personally witnessing it at this moment. Crack. A slight sound was suddenly emitted from within the light formation while a countless number of gazes were focusing on it. Immediately, many eyes abruptly narrowed. One could see numerous tiny cracks beginning to spread over the tough ice mirror. What a terrifying sea of flames. Even the combined strength of the three Ice River Valley's elders could not block it. Countless numbers of exclamations were immediately emitted from within the city when they saw the scene. Boom. The cracks spread at a faster speed. In the end, the ice mirror suddenly shook and blasted apart. Countless ice fragments shot in all directions as a shockingly cold aura spread out. For an instant, it even forced back this five-colored flame. While the cold chi spread, Bing Xian and Bing Hua let out a furious cry as each of them placed a palm on Tian Chi's back. A vast, mighty dou chi, that contained a tiny ice crumb, surged into Tian Shi's body. After the ice soon force within Bing Xian's and Bing Hua's bodies was inserted into Tian Shi's body, one could hear a crack sound. Layer after layer of faint blue ice was quietly emitted from under Tian Shi's skin. In an instant, it formed a thin, pale blue ice cloth on the surface of his body. A wave of extremely terrifying pale blue colored cold air suddenly surged out of Tian Shi's body when this ice layer appeared. In the face of this pale blue colored cold air, one could see the surrounding five colored flame pushed over a hundred feet away. Waves of dense, white fog would erupt each time the flame pounced over. Tian Shi sensed the terrifyingly high temperature that the five-colored flame radiated when the pale blue ice layer appeared. Over half of it had actually disappeared. Immediately, a fierce glint flashed over both of his eyes. 
He raised his head and stared at the distant Xiao Yan in a dense manner. His voice contained an incomparable chill as it reverberated over the light formation. Brat, it ends here. The dense voice had just sounded when Tian Shi suddenly clenched his hand. Wave after wave of liquid, like faint blue energy, surged out of his hand. This kind of faint blue colored energy still had some tiny ice fragments floating within it, emitting a strange luster. Tian Shi's hand grabbed this faint blue colored liquid. After which, he suddenly pulled. This cluster of liquid wiggled and formed a 20 foot large blue ice bow. The cold air in this place suddenly surged after this ice bow appeared. After which, even the monster's five colored flame from earlier began to withdraw some distance away. Ice God Bow. Tian Shi's expression was dark and cold. His hand pulled the bow string. A creaking sound was emitted as the bow was pulled until it was fully extended. The terrifying cold air gathered and a ten foot large blue colored ice arrow slowly appeared on the bow string. The appearance of the ice arrow caused Xiao Yan's expression to sink. He could sense that even the permeating five colored sea of fire had quietly parted to form a line for the target of the ice arrow. This Tian Shi is indeed worthy of being an expert at the peak of the Dozone Zone class. He is so difficult to finish off. Xiao Yan gently inhaled a breath of air. A fierceness flashed across his eyes. The seal formed by his hands suddenly changed. Following the change in the seal formed by his hands, the five colored flames that permeated the interior of the light formation began to churn. Immediately, the entire formation surged to Xiao Yan in all directions, gathering on his right hand. Chi Chi. With an increasing amount of five colored flames gathering on Xiao Yan's arm, a hundred foot large five colored flame hand slowly wiggled and appeared. It was worn over Xiao Yan's hand. Looking at it from a distance, it appeared just like the arm of a fire god, possessing unrivaled power that could destroy the world. This arrow will take your life. The corner of Tian Shi's eyes were lifted when he saw the enormous flame arm. A ferocious expression was immediately added on his face. With a cold cry, the fully extended bow in hands emitted a bang as it was released. Ice God Arrow, sealing the world in ice. When his fingers were released, the ten foot large blue ice arrow emitted a swoosh sound as it rushed out. The cold air of nature surged wherever the arrow passed. Even the surrounding fire curtain turned unusually dim. Xiao Yan's expression was fierce. He looked at the blue line magnifying at a lightning like speed. The fierceness in it flashed and his body became a little sluggish. After which, his foot stepped on the empty air in front of a countless number of shocked gazes. He waved his fire godlike arm and violently slammed it toward the blue colored arrow that was being shot over with a fierce momentum that would frighten anyone looking at it. Fire God Arm, Destroying the World. Chapter 1100, Shocking Battle The five colored flame and the ice blue light flee through the sky like meteorites. They used a kind of annihilation like spectacular momentum and crushed ruthlessly together in front of a countless number of gazes. Bang. The enormous flame hand was just like an arm that was furiously swung by a fire god. It emitted a world-destroying strength when it came into contact with the arrow. Clang. A sharp, piercing sound resounded over the sky. This sound appeared to be able to penetrate one's soul, causing a painful expression to surface on the faces of a countless number of people. They firmly covered their ears. Bang. The ice blue cold arrow blasted apart in all directions at this moment. Under this terrifying cold air, even empty space itself had a layer of ice fragments permeating over it. The enormous flame fist violently came smashing over from outside of the world that was formed by the cold aura. A frightening five colored flame and an ice blue, cold air mixed together in an uncontrolled manner as they began a life and death erosion. The five colored flame and the icy blue, cold air each occupied half of the sky. Both of them crazily shot out their energy. That shocking collision shook the sky. Tian Shi's body stood in the sky. His body continued to tremble as the pressure that was emitted from within the cold air caused both of his arms to involuntarily feel as though they were about to be torn off. He clearly understood that if he took even half a step back, the destructive force of the large fire god hand would instantly break through the ice god arrow's icy mirror and slam him into mincemeat. Therefore, he would definitely not pull back even if he had to use his last remaining strength. Bing Xian, Bing Hua, transfer all of your Dou Qi over. Tian Shi's expression was savage. His eyes were just like poisonous snakes as they stared at the blurry figure within the cold fog. He furiously roared. Bing Xian and Bing Hua behind Tian Shi were stunned when they heard his furious roar. They immediately grit their teeth as they placed their hands on Tian Shi's back. The Dou Qi within their bodies continued to surge into the other party's body. The pressure on Tian Shi's arm was reduced after receiving the support of their vast, mighty Dou Qi. A fierceness flashed across his eyes. He sternly cried out, extreme freezing. His cry sounded. The vast and mighty Dou Qi he received agglomerated with the Dou Qi within his body. After which, it surged into the permeating pale blue, cold fog. With this support, the temperature of the cold fog became frightening. At this moment, if an ordinary Dou Zone were to walk into it, they would be frozen into an ice sculpture within less than ten breaths time. Moreover, even a soul would not be able to escape from it. Crack crack. A slight cracking sound suddenly appeared. 
It immediately formed a continuous sound. Xiao Yan's eyes abruptly narrowed as he discovered a thin layer of faint blue ice growing over the enormous fire hand. In the face of this thin ice, even the five-colored flame on the enormous hand had become somewhat dim. The intensity of Tian Shi's resistance had far exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations. I cannot continue to be entangled with them. Once the time limit for the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame is up, the interior of my body will enter a weakened state. At that time, forget Tian Shi, just an ice river valley's elder will easily be able to kill me. A glint flickered in Xiao Yan's eyes. Immediately, he inhaled a hot air and the seal formed by his hands changed. One could see the five fire spirits of the five ring flame expelling technique unleashing a fire glow all over them. Five colored fire pillars shot out before agglomerating into the arm of the enormous fire god. After receiving the fire pillar's strength, the arm of the fire god unleashed a bright glow once again. The ice on it disappeared with lightning-like speed. A fierceness flashed across Xiao Yan's face as he sensed the mighty strength within the arm of the fire god. After which, he swung his fist out and ruthlessly smashed into the permeating cold fog mirror below. Bang. This collision emitted a shockingly loud sound. An enormous energy ripple spread out in a lightning-like manner. After which, it collided with the fire curtain around it, causing the five-ring flame expelling technique to tremble. After the punch landed, the space where the flame and cold air made contact split apart. A five-foot-large dark black hole appeared. The pure darkness within it caused one's head to feel numb. Cold air followed the arm of the fire god as it spread in all directions. The five-colored flame entered the cold fog, causing the frightening, pale blue fog to swiftly scatter. The arm of the fire god began to form numerous lines in the face of the corrosion of the cold air through every single opening it created. At the same time, the cold fog was swiftly scattering. The two frightening energies were diminishing after eroding each other. A sinister smile surfaced on Tian Shi's face as he watched the swiftly weakening arm of the fire god in the cold fog. He had successfully blocked Xiao Yan's terrifying attack and believed that it was impossible for Xiao Yan to unleash another attack of such a level. As long as he continued to delay things until the time limit for the Skyfire 3 mysterious flame was up, he would be able to need Xiao Yan as he pleased. The cold air swiftly scattered in front of Tian Shi's dark and cold gaze. Just when the cold air had completely vanished, the enormous arm of the fire god also emitted a boom sound and was blasted apart, transforming into ice fragments that scattered from the sky in all directions. Haha. Tian Shi finally could not control his joy when the arm of the fire god blasted apart. His face became sinister as he laughed out loud. Chi. However, his laughter did not continue for long before it was interrupted by the black figure that had shot down from the sky. Tian Shi raised his head and looked at the figure speeding over with sinister eyes. His old face revealed a mocking laugh, you dare to charge over. Do you wish to risk it all? Tian Shi's shriveled hand tightly grabbed his snake-shaped walking stick. He stomped his foot in icy blue, cold air once again surged out of his body. Being at the peak of the Dou Zone class, the strength of his Dou Qi was far from what Xiao Yan could compare with. The figure that shot down was extremely swift. Within a flash, it had appeared in front of Tian Shi. Xiao Yan's large robe suddenly emitted a sizzling sound at this moment as it turned to ashes. A palm-sized three-colored fire lotus suddenly appeared in a mysterious manner from under Xiao Yan's robes. The sudden appearance of the three-colored fire lotus startled Tian Shi. All the pores of his body suddenly opened up. He sensed the kind of strength from the arm of the fire god within this three-colored fire lotus. It was the kind of strength that contained an annihilating aura. Tian Shi's eyes had turned to the size of pinholes at this moment. Cold air from all around Tian Shi seemed to reflexively gather. A ghost-like figure emitted a swoosh sound as it appeared in front of Tian Shi. The three-colored fire lotus in his hand was ruthlessly pressed toward Tian Shi's chest with a momentum that even a swift bolt of lightning could not match. This fierce and swift attack caught Tian Shi off guard. This kind of terrifying fire lotus required a long time to create. He could not imagine just how Xiao Yan had managed to secretly form this fire lotus without even batting an eyelid. At this moment, it was pointless to think too much. With the only time that Tian Shi had, he lifted the snake-shaped walking stick in his hand and used it to block his chest. Boom. A miracle did not occur. Xiao Yan's three-colored fire lotus was ruthlessly pressed into the snake-shaped walking stick on Tian Shi's chest while he revealed a ferocious smile. After which... Bang. A large firestorm erupted in front of a countless number of shocked eyes, sweeping through the sky as it occurred. The surrounding fire curtain was unable to endure any longer while the storm ravaged the sky. It blasted apart with a bang. The five fire spirits also slowly scattered at this moment. The firestorm swept around. Bing Xian and Bing Hua, who were a short distance behind Tian Shi, did not have the time to dodge. They were violently struck and ended up spitting out mouthfuls of fresh blood. Their bodies flew back like kites with their strings broken. Finally, they fell to the ground and smashed hard into Yi City. Many of the buildings in Yi City were turned to rubble along the way. Countless numbers of gazes were stunned as they watched Bing Xian and Bing Hua fall. After which, they turned to look to the firestorm in the sky. A chill involuntarily spread across their hearts. Protector Wu in the sky looked at the firestorm. His illusionary body also rippled a little. The fighting strength that Xiao Yan had displayed caused him to feel the fear of death. 
Now, he finally began to regret his actions. Why did he take the initiative to receive this task, which he thought he would perform successfully with great ease, from the hands of the Honorable Elder, Do Zun? This was because only now did he become aware that this task, which he thought he would very likely succeed, was one that was filled with danger. Bang. A figure suddenly flew out of the firestorm while Protector Wu was feeling regretful. Bright red fresh blood was repeatedly spat out of his mouth. Tian Shi. Protector Wu's sharp eyes saw the ghastly-faced, blood-covered figure that flew out. He was carrying half of the snake-shaped walking stick. It was surprisingly Tian Shi. However, the miserable appearance of the current Tian Shi was even worse than Protector Wu's earlier state. From the looks of it, he would at the very least end up seriously injured. Boom. Fresh blood covered Tian Shi's body as he violently fell into Yi City in front of many eyes. After which, he smashed onto the ground and formed an enormous pit. His body was lying within the pit. No one knew if he was dead or alive. The Ice River Valley has lost. The entire city was silent. Numerous eyes looked at the enormous pit and their heads felt as though they were about to explode. The battles today had caused their hearts to be filled with only one word. Shock. How many times can one see such a soul-stirring battle in one lifetime? Protector Wu's stunned eyes looked at Tian Shi with his unknown fate. The terror in his heart spread. He nodded his head, turned around, and fled. However, Protector Wu had just moved his body when the space behind him fluctuated. Immediately, a hand mysteriously appeared. It gently landed on Protector Wu's shoulder as a faint voice, that caused his entire body to stiffen, slowly sounded. I will turn you to dust if you move again. Protector Wu's throat violently rolled. He slowly turned his head with much difficulty. A ferocious-looking, young face had revealed itself, 